Today, we build an army to take on the piglin threat in Minecraft Legends. We'll be playing through the entire game in one super long video. We'll discover the mysteries of the overworld and recruit some new allies to take on the destructive piglins. Let's get started. Whoa. So we got a fancy opening cutscene here with a cute little chicken on a tree. This game is so pretty. Oh, there's a little villager. Just enjoying the nice weather, but uh-oh. It's zombie villager. That's not good. Watch out! Aw! It's a nice zombie villager. Oh no, but what's that? Whoa! Is that another portal? It is! Uh, are you nice or evil? Well, which one are you? <laughs> I don't know anymore. I don't think he's very nice. He looks really angry. Oh no, the buddy! Angry Piglet is attacking. Run! Oh, it's setting the whole forest on fire too. There's a whole army of them. This is no good. We're gonna start a war. And they're sending in the invasion. This is really, really bad. What is that? Uh... Action, knowledge, come with me. We must witness this together. I don't know who that character is, but they had a lot of eyes. Interesting. So the piglins are taking over. What are these guys? They're very sparkly. Whoa. So maybe there really is two sides to this battle right now. Forsyth? You're afraid. We all are. No. I am just sad that it has come to this. Shall we begin? There's so many cool new characters. I like it. Whoa. So this just looks like a normal Minecraft village. Nice little basement here, though. This looks like somebody's sort of Minecraft house. Oh, there we go. A little miner, nice diamond armor. Hello, friend. <laughs> we didn't mean to startle you. Your bravery and creativity inspired us to seek your aid. You see, our world is under attack. It's being devoured. And it is a danger only you can prevent. Time is of the essence. Will you help us? <laughs> Thank you. Now step forward, brave hero, and join us. Hang on to your stomach. This will just take a second. Oh, that is Welcome. so cool. I'm afraid we have much to ask of you. So this is like a whole different Minecraft world. Hello! I hope you're feeling okay. That kind of trip always upsets my stomach. <laughs> Thank you for having the courage to come. I am Foresight. I'm Action. And I'm Knowledge. Nice to meet you. I wish you. we had met under different circumstances, but this world is under attack and we need your help. Foul creatures known as the Piglins have emerged from their fiery home and they mean to conquer this peaceful land and all the creatures that live here. We need your help to make sure that doesn't happen. But don't worry, you won't be alone. Behold, I always wanted to say that. <laughs> we present to you... Gifts! <laughs> With the right melodies from this loot, the LAs will gather your resources, keep them safe for you, 
and build whatever you need. Within this case burn the flames of creation. The flames will call upon friends to fight by your side. Whoa, These they're so cute. Helped us shape the overworld, and now they will help you defend it. And last but not least, this is the banner of courage. Raise it high, and this world will rise to your aid. Sounds like a plan. So we got a little squad here. The piglins' hunger is insatiable. They already have a foothold in the overworld. And if they are not stopped, they will devour everything. We didn't prepare the creatures of our world for this day. But we believe you can. That's why we called upon you. If there is any hope, it's you. Well, I'm well now. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, hey. <laughs> we don't it's okay, let's hop on. Just enough to show you a thing or two about these tools. And I guess with that, we're going on our adventure. Whoa, so this is sort of going to be our tutorial no on how to play. What you'll face in the overworld now that the piglins are here. So the sooner you master these tools, the better. Head over to action and we'll get started. Oh man, I'm so excited to finally be playing Run to Action, Reach Action using WASD. Press the space bar to jump. Okay, we should be good to go then. See, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard right now, but I think, you know, you can play on controller Great. too. Now let's get to work. The okay. overworld is filled with resources you can gather to help you fight the piglins. And that's where the LAs come in. Play the right melody on your loot, and they'll gather anything for you. Oh. Let's start by playing the melody to gather wood. Gotcha. So, gathering resources. Gather 60 wood from the trees nearby. So we can center our build view, and I guess there's a tree here, so we left-click to confirm, and here come the LAs. They're gonna take away all the pieces to this tree to uh, gather, gather some wood. Very cool. I don't see any other Make trees back this way. Make your way to where action is and use your loot to gather some stone. Ooh, okay. So, over here, no resources. Okay, wait, first we gotta run to you. Hi, nice action. Work. Let's do that again. This time, play the melody for gathering stone. All right, so there's a lot of stone over here. So, do we think that would work? Oh, I need to change it. There we go. So now we can do it and gather, get a ton of stone. The ladies will be really busy with that one. Gather 67 from the stone pillars nearby. Okay, well, that's the plan. This is so now cool. You've got resources you need. That's step one. Step two is playing the melody that will inspire the LAs to build what you need. Hey, build some stairs so you can come and join me up here. Ooh, so we get the build too. So building structures, reach action with a ramp. So we can press this to navigate to this and then we right click and build it. Uh, I don't know if that's, oh, oh, I see. Okay, this might take a little bit of getting used to but we should be able to build a ramp right up here. That is so neat. I like it. And now we can get over to action. Well done. Stairs are going to save you a lot of time out there. You'll use flames of creation to call your friends to battle. Lapis will keep these flames burning bright. Take some from that chest to play a spawner melody. Okay, so interacting. Open the chest near the near action. So I open up the chest. Whoa. Now, let's light those flames. Use okay. the spawner melodies to call the columns you met earlier. Didn't I just open it? I'm a little confused. Uh, so I guess we go here and we, we do some spawners. Okay, got some of those guys coming out. Building spawners, a golem spawner, right here and right there. Oh, great. Each spawner holds the flames of creation that will call upon your allies. Call them, call your allies. Okay, so spawn three golems. Q hold the spawn golems while standing near a spawner. Okay, so I go like this, and I spawn in a couple. And then I do that for this one. Got it. So we got three of each. Battle, but they'll rally behind you. Use the banner of courage to bring your friends over to me. Okay, the banner of courage. Mob rallying, rally your golems to action. So if I just press the button, oh, I see. So I, I need to be closer to them. Hey guys, follow me, here we go. This is so cool. So it really is just like a, a game where we get to take our army Excellent. and do a bunch of stuff with it. If you want the golems to stop following you, use your banner again to ask them to stop. So stop railing, release your golems, hold and stop your golems from following you. There we go. 
So they're gonna wait there. We're gonna run over this way. I don't know why he's so far away. Okay, so direct your golems to action. So I guess I might need to do that. I need to go farther out with it. So we just keep going. Got it. All right, very cool. I don't know why he is so far away. Okay, so destroy the piglin pits. Press Q to rally your golems to the piglins. Uh, okay, got it. And then over here. Then we press E to direct your golems to destroy the pits, which are these things right here. And whoa, the battle really commences. Can I help too? Yeah, I can swing my sword. That might make a bit of a difference. Um, yeah, we can press left click to attack the piglins with our sword. So really good stuff there. Keep going for this pit. Almost there. Got it. You've done it. Now take everything you've learned here into the real fight, and the piglins won't stand a chance. It is good that you are ready, as I must. Oh, oh no. But there we have it. Our first little mission, our trial mission, figured out pretty well. We're a natural at this. We'll be able to take on big piglin armies in Thank no time. Thank you again for your courage. We are honored to have you as an ally. We'll be with you every step of the way. <laughs> Well, that's great to hear. Let's go save the world. So here we are making our way out into the world. All the villagers are happy to see us. Oh, it's so pretty here though. So I guess the piglins haven't quite reached it. Oh, those are some of the mounts, I think. Whoa, so many pretty creatures just to see here. Oh man, I love it. Welcome oh, and they came with us. World. We would love to introduce you properly, but a village needs your help. Please, go to them. So we have to go save the village. Use them to make sure you're going in the right direction. Will do. So, the village under attack. Reach the village that is under attack. Way over this way, huh? Because there's the portal. So if we go this way, we should be able to help some villagers. And we can press M to see our map over here. So we're right there, and we're trying to go here. We've provided you with some starting resources. But remember that the LAs can gather more for you while you make your way. Oh, that'd Ethiopians be great. Are happy, this village is under attack. Go to them. Okay, so there's a village. Home of the, to the kind and peaceful villagers of the overworld. Growing and protecting villages will help you in your fight against the piglins. This village is under attack by piglin forces. So we'll definitely want to uh, go help out with that by just continuing this way. Lapis discovered, you discovered a new resource. So I guess if we want to, you know, get more resources, we can run up to a tree, like this one over here. This is a big tree, so yeah, we can get a good couple of them. And keep the LA's busy getting that wood while we try some other things. Now, I don't know if this is going to cancel with the other alleys or LA's are doing. Sort of hard to tell, but I don't, I don't think so. I think they're sort of both working together to get those resources. So that's really good. Yeah, you can see on the bottom left that we're going up with that. Now, apparently we can find Lapis somewhere. I did not see it by running by, but whoa, we got a little speed boost going on. I think we're almost at this village. Maybe, what is this thing? Whoa. Uh, can I interact with it at all? I don't think so, very weird. So I'll have to come back to that. Maybe it'll be something. We're at the dry savanna, very cool. Yeah, I wonder if there's different types of wood we could get. I'd have to assume so. Oh, got a little chicken too. I don't know if we can, oh, we can maybe get some chicken meat from them, but I think I'll leave them alone. All right, we're zooming through again. Oh, this is interesting material too. So maybe I could, I can't really mine that in the same way. So we're sort of figuring things out as we adventure around, cause like here's more resources, but I just, I can't really do anything with them. Anyways, we'll keep going. Please hurry, the piglins are relentless. I'm trying, That's I'm trying. The get oh. over there quickly. There it is, yeah, I can see something's on fire. <sighs> Oh, oh no. no. This is a whole mess. Poor villagers. They have nowhere to go. They're being rounded up too. No. Not the little fox, leave them alone. Oh. Okay, they hit each other that time. This is a disaster, we have to help. All right, let's go in then. The so I think for right now, must be stopped. 
We gotta spawn in our friends over here, just like quickly, this. Quickly, quickly! You have to get rid of all the piglins. Okay, so, whoa, 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 hold on. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I gotta spawn in some friends. Piglins can be used to fuel your spawners. There Connect we go. Connect the lapis to keep your fires burning. All right, we got a lot of friends going on. Um, so we want to gather them all up, I think, and just have them attack wherever we can. So if we see stuff like this, I think that's what we want to go do. We fight some piglins along the way. Okay, guys, let's go over here and attack this stuff. Oh, are they attacking? Am I pressing the wrong button? Oh no, this is a cage, so we don't break this open like the other things. So we just gotta click and hold it. But while that's happening, I guess I should be sending out you know, everybody to fight like that. So we saved some villagers there. That's great. And then over this way, we got another one. I'll open up this cage after I fight off this big one. Are they still fighting? They're not really. <laughs> Need to make sure that they keep running around and taking guys out. So, here, let's call them all over and then send them over this way. Oh no, did I tell them to stop? I gotta get used to the controls for sure. Uh, there you go, there you go. So they're fighting, they're keeping busy. Then we'll get them over here too. Come on guys. While that's happening. No, they're, no, they're, they're not coming over. <laughs> Come on guys, I gotta be really close for it to work it seems. That's okay then. Cause we just got another one opened up. I think we scared off all the big ones. There we go. We saved the day. They seem very happy about it. All in a day's work after all, but what's up there? Uh-oh. Whatever that is, is not looking so good. The immediate danger is over, but the village is devastated. The piglins have ruined the fountain. A carpenter hut will repair nearby structures. Get the LAs to work building one for you. Okay, so first I guess we have to repair structures. Building a carpenter hut near the, f the fountain to repair it. Uh, so this is the fountain, I guess. If we go here, we can build a carpenter hut. Sure. Oh no, wrong one. Oh yeah, I gotta right click. So I'm gonna put one right there and I guess that'll get started. Very cool. I don't know why it's so glowy here. I guess that's just exactly where I'm supposed to put it. But can I open up this chest? What do we get inside? The chest is empty. Please wait for villagers to fill it back up. Gotcha. So I guess now that we've saved this village, it sort of becomes a resource for us. We'll get different materials just building up here. So proceed to select the building hop bar to find it. Yep. Okay, so we already built the carpenter hut. Now that it's built, what do we do? I don't know. Uh, Because that didn't seem to do too much. Okay, no, there it goes. What a relief. The water flows again. Yeah, it looks good. So, with that done, we the got 5% of something. The mounting an attack on another village. There is no time to waste. The villagers need you. Okay, so where are we headed now? If we take a look at our map, um, this village is fine, but this one over here is what we need to focus These on. So we place a marker? Yeah, we, let's go and help them out. Okay, so I think that's gonna be right over this way. So hopefully we can bring our friends. If we get them to follow us. Wasn't there more of them? Yeah, okay, here we go. They're all following me. We're all just gonna rush over. And while that's happening, we should probably continue to craft stuff or collect. So I can do that. If there's any kind of stone I can get. That's probably also a good idea because I'm a little low on stone. Can I climb up this? Whoa. I can. Very cool. Remember over there? the map and compass will show you the way. If I'm following the map and the compass, don't worry. I haven't really found too much more stone, but it looks like this might be sun. Right here. Who's getting hurt? Oh no, it's because we ran through the, the toxic ooze over there. Gotta be careful of that. So there's still a lot to learn about how to play this and about this little world that we're in. But uh, we're getting there. I think if I run through this, right, this gives me a little speed boost, which is cool. We'll keep getting some other stuff. And then over here. So we just gotta sort of stay productive with everything as we're traveling around. Ooh, that was a little bit too far of a fall. But I think, yeah, we're almost at this village. So let's just do what we can to help. Oh no, here we go again. More images in the well. Is it our hero? Another village, it seems. And more piglins. Not again. Should we go warn them? As much as it hurts our hearts to see this happen, we must trust that our hero will see them through it. 
Ooh, they have a lot of lapis. Oh no, but here they come. Hopefully we've made it in time to stop them. The village was so nice and peaceful too. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna rush over as fast as we can to this meadow. Set that up there. And while we do already have some, I think we should set up some more of these. It is a good idea that we you know we brought over what we did, but they're still building stuff. In the meantime, I guess we need to, need to just go fight, right? Okay, so spawn in some friends. And this one's almost done. Okay, everybody, follow me. We're in a fight. I started to feed all these evil piglins. It tells me how many are left on the screen. It says that there's like you five have to left. I think the piglins attacking the village. We can't allow them to come gain on, any on. ground. Got it. Or at least maybe how many more I have to defeat before something happens. There we go. And that was it. That restored the fountains. That was a really quick one. We did great. The piglins are gone. We thank you. And the villagers want to thank you too. Go to the village chest at the base of the fountain for a surprise. Ooh, villager help. Open the vill village chest to collect the villager's help. So we go over here, hold Q to open the chest and we get ourselves. The villagers are peaceful, but want to help where they can. As gratitude, you can count on their resourcefulness to keep you in the fight. They'll keep gathering materials for you while you're out saving the day. Okay, the well they give us- The rallying on the outskirts of the village. I think another attack is on the way. Better build up some defenses while there's still time. Okay, so we got some prismary in there. The village defense. Build defenses Our around the village. Will work well to defend this village. So we have things like this ta arrow tower. So I guess this will shoot arrows at the piglins. That is so cool. So I can sort of set a couple of those up around the village. To make sure everything is nice and protected. This is awesome. So I guess there's probably going to be attacks on these villages when we're not even here. So having these defenses set up you need to get some is a good idea. Up around the village. I also want to set up some more of the, uh, there we go. Maybe a little bit more over here. I think we can set up one more tower. But in the meantime, oh, we probably got some other stuff, right? Let's see. Oh no, that's the wrong button. But okay, this is good to know. This little journal here. Okay, let's go back. Or not. It's not on me move. There goes. There's uh, still some time to gather up resources if you're getting low. But so be we quick. have an extendable wall. Uh whoa. This is cool. So let's have those like that. Then I guess there's sort of a limit on how big the wall can be. But we'll build it over this way too. Because this is gonna block piglin attacks. And obviously I can't get this the everywhere, are right? Close. Don't forget. But, your golem friends want to help too. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear that. We're just trying to build as much of a wall as possible. Maybe over here. They're almost here. Oh, I can't watch this. Ooh, very scary, but come on, we just gotta keep building. I'll definitely have to get more materials soon, but I think we're doing the a good job. Obviously here. the wall's not seamless. Brace yourself, hero. So I guess they're gonna be coming out of that portal over there. Hard to tell. Oh no, here we go. Hopefully I prepared enough in time. More piglins approaching. Well, this could get really messy really fast. The piglins will attack from all sides. So be sure to check your compass to see where they're coming from. Okay, so we, had, we could have also built ramps and gates and stuff, but I think we overall did a good job. I can maybe build like one more tower or something somewhere. Um, in the meantime, the things are getting a little crazy here. I, I guess they're coming over from the other side, but if I could get myself some extra wood for later while we're fighting, because it seems like over this way, defeat the waves of the attacking piglins. Um, I don't see any of them yet, but they gotta be coming in somewhere, right? Uh, oh, wait, here we go, here we go. So let's go and fight them as much as we can. I think the, uh, well, wait, there was some lapis over here too, so I guess for just defeating piglins and stuff, we're getting those kind of materials. That's good. And so let's call over all of our friends. But it can be a little bit difficult to tell where they're coming in from. I guess over here, all the villagers are freaking out. I mean, I would be too. Yeah, you can see some marks on the wall great. there. Just a little longer and you've got this. Okay, come on guys, come on. Just trying to get over here to them. Here we go, More it's gonna piglins. be a big fight. Huge crowd of them. But our wall is really doing a good job. So that's nice. There we go, so that sort of got all of them. I'm gonna call my teammates over. I'm just try to show up somewhere else now. Hmm. 
Seems like there might be a crowd of them over here now. Whoa, there definitely is. So, gotta fight away all these guys. Just slicing and dicing. Oh, it's the piglins! Hurry, the villagers need your help right now! Okay, have they breached the walls? They might have. I have no clue. Okay, there's one more over here. We got gotcha. you. Only 25 more seconds left in this invasion. I think we can hold it off, but just trying to find out where else there might be some other piglins. Here, maybe we can spawn in some more friends too. Seems like pretty doable. And then we'll recall them all, to make sure that they're all right here with us and continue on. So it looks like way over here, they might be attacking this wall again. I just need to run over there and start fighting. And you can see some more coming over too, so. The attack is over, but some piglins. Oh, there we go, we got them. So we saved the village yet again. This one was a little bit more complicated, but we were able to build some good defenses You've for them too. <laughs> village saved. We knew you'd do it. The villagers are thrilled that you defended their fountain. They've put some extra resources in the chest for you as a special thank you. Awesome. You are doing well. But piglins do not give up easily. Even now, they prepare an attack upon another of our villages. But this time we have the advantage. If you can shut down the piglin outpost surrounding the village, we might be able to push back this invasion. So there's always something happening. Now we're gonna go to a piglin outpost. Destroy the three piglin outposts that are threatening a nearby village. We'll do that as soon as we open this, this chest where we have some kind of resource. We hit the resource carry limit for something, but... Uh, and cannot collect resources from the chest. How, what do I do with them now? It looks like I've hit my maximum for lapis. The game hasn't really told us what we do with lapis quite yet. Maybe I can trade it at some of the villages or something like that. Um, for right now, it's sort of yet to be seen. But you know what? I think we have some other things to focus on. Like there's a little question mark here. Curious, what could this be? And then what else? I think, is that where we are just right now? The village successfully defended against an attack um, and it produces its own resource. So let's go here. And then we have to make our way to these ones. Is there, oh, I can fast travel too, that's so cool. But I'm really curious about this question mark, so I wanna go check that out too. But yeah, I can fast travel to the villages we've already been to and have helped, so that's good to know. But for now, I just wanna run over this way. And whenever I can, if I can just get the allays, you know, build some stuff, or, you know, I guess not build, but collect some stuff, that's gonna be good too. So running over here, I'm very, very curious. Am I almost there? Almost there. So, we're in the Badlands, ooh. <laughs> oh, Those here it is. Those pigs don't appreciate who's in the bath with them. Pay them a visit and you'll get a surprise. Whoa. Ah, you've discovered an old friend of ours. You two will get along nicely, but we have to focus on the immediate piglin threat. We'll teach you a song to wake this golem up later. Huh, so I can't do that quite yet. Okay, good to know. So I'm gonna fast travel to this little village and then make our way over from there, just to save us a little bit of time. Here we are. So I guess I'll just go to one of the Piglin Outposts and get to fighting. And is there anything in this chest? Uh, no. So <laughs> I guess it was good to check, but it didn't really turn out with much. So we'll run over here and help out this next village. So as you can see, there's a lot to keep busy with. There's a ton of trees over here, so I'm definitely gonna do that. And then maybe even just a couple of stones. Are those not stones? I guess not. Capri oh, I have the max amount of stones. Oh, okay, so I'll definitely have to make the most of that, but we still definitely need more wood, because there's some big trees to capture too. So we're running through this jungle right now. It's very cool. Uh-oh. Are those spiders? Oh, no, they're like beetles. Those are new, I think. Very cool. And what's with these little glowy spots, I wonder? Not quite sure. Oh, is it just another speed boost kind of thing? It might be. So there's a lot to learn in this Minecraft world. That village attack could happen any moment now. You have to go after the new piglin outposts. Okay, I'm Never almost there. Spiders. The pollution they create makes the air breathable for the piglins. Okay, so let's go and beat up this thing right here. We're going crazy on it. So this thing makes it so it's breathable for the piglins? It's sort of hard to tell. But we're just gonna fight this thing, the Nether Spreader Outpost. Destroy the pickling pits and the Nether Spreaders in this outpost. Cobblestone golems are great at smashing buildings. Pine golems are good at, against piglins. Okay, good to know. We're gonna try to call everybody over. I might want to make some new spawners. Yeah, okay, so I can't do that on this terrain. So we have to go all the way back over here spawn in some of those while my teammates are fighting. 
And they're really going crazy on this one, as you can see. It takes a while to destroy. There's not really any kind of like health bar on it or anything, so it's, it's hard to tell if this is really doing too much. Oh no, come on, leave my friends alone. And did we get it? Nope. Huh. Let's get back over here. Let's just create a bigger and bigger army. Like maybe that's what we need. Especially with these guys, if they can destroy buildings more easily, I want to make a lot of them. Oh yeah, your spawn army is full. Okay, so actually I can't make too much more. Um, let's get everybody back together. And maybe I'm doing something wrong because this thing still isn't broken. Maybe I need to break this thing first. Does that do anything? Uh, sort of? Yeah, okay, it, it's definitely doing something. So maybe I need to, oh no, it did finally break. Okay, that's good. But now we're focusing on this. We just don't have too many of our little guys here. So I wonder if there's a way to unspawn some of them. Cause I only have two of the building clusters or whatever. Oh no, I do have more. They just didn't follow me. Okay, come on guys. We need you over here with the rest of them. There we go. That should make a bit of a difference, right? So we can keep pounding on this thing and hopefully, eventually it breaks. Ooh, that knocks us all back a little bit. There we go, we finally got it. So I want to call everybody over and do more of the same over here. It's pretty crazy though how, you know, it takes a lot of work. Is there more people over here? There is. Okay, I don't want that. I want them all over here. And then just send it against this. I hope that's working. It seems like it is. Got it so far. I don't know if there's a way I can maybe hit both of them with my sword swing. It doesn't seem like it. We are taking some damage, but it really isn't too much. It's just crazy how much of beating these buildings take. Really takes a good moment to get rid of them, which is sort of concerning because there's two more like this. Uh, which makes me think maybe I'm doing something wrong. It's taking this long to get rid of it all. Maybe that's just how the game works. Come on, come on. After this, I mean, it says 12 out of 20 on the bottom right, which makes me think maybe I've like missed some along the way. What if I were to recall everybody? But they're all right here. It doesn't seem like it, no. Okay, so what if I just kept spawning in some more of these? Here we go, okay, now this is working. There we go, so let's do that, maybe remove a couple of these guys. Oh no, not remove the thing. Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna remove the, the, the little guys. Okay, well, now I'm fully up to 20 of them. So if we go and attack this, you think that'd be a little bit more productive, right? I guess we'll have to wait and see. So far it's a little crazy, but. Oh man, I think it might be better to attack this thing because we started with this thing, you know? It's just crazy how much health this thing seems to have. It takes a good minute just to get rid of everything. Which makes me think I'm doing something wrong just because of how much time it's taking, but I don't know, maybe because it's, you know, not so complicated part of the game just yet. That it just takes time, but it's not very complicated at all. We're just gonna keep attacking it. I do want to, Oh, we finally got it, that's great. But now we gotta do the same thing with these other two things. Oh my goodness. Go. Okay, that one's broken. Okay, let's get over here then. Beat this up as soon as possible. Here we go. See, this one's breaking pretty quick. At least it looks like it. Let's have everybody attack it. Come on. Come on, we got it, we got it. Keep going. It's definitely starting to crumble a little. Even when this happens, just call everybody back in and keep up with it. There we go. That is that one outpost cleared out. We still have so much more to do, but I guess that's a good start. Destroying those nether spreaders will help clear the air. All right then, so with that done, oh, something's happening. Whoa. So with the air cleared from the destroyed outpost, whoa, it's a creeper, it's so cute. I love how adorable the creepers are in this game. Interesting. The world is waking to the war. Where will this lead? So even the creepers are against the piglins. Well, that's one of them down, but as you can see, we still gotta keep busy here. There's still two more to take on. So 
We'll focus on that in today's episode, a horde of piglins spreading malice and nasty netherrack. We'll get rid of those two for today's episode, and I think we'll leave it at that, but in the meantime, gotta run around over here. So they're still threatening this village, and I, and I don't want that to happen. But hopefully we can find ways to destroy things a bit faster, because that was definitely a bit slower. Um, is there anything I can... Here we go. I want to get a little bit more stone. Lava? Here? We clearly underestimated their capacity for corruption. Remember the ramps you built with us at the well? They don't only have to go up. RCLA is to build you a bridge across that moat. I'm going to recall all of our friends here, and that's actually... I definitely missed a good few of them but uh, we have all of them now. So we need to get to this gated outpost. Destroy the gates and piglin pits in this outpost. Build a ramp to bring your mobs over the lava. Cobblestone golems are great at smashing buildings. Okay, we know about that. So let's try to build this ramp like this. So I guess I, can I rotate it? I can rotate it, sort of, kind of. Um, well, that's not what I wanted. Okay, now we're all burning up. This is uh, not what I wanted. A ramp to get over this. Let's just build this now then, because I just lost all my friends. Did that work? I don't think it did. There it goes. So, I definitely lost a good few. Let's recall everybody. <laughs> Lesson learned, right? I think I need more help busting buildings than I do fighting piglins, so if we could just do that. Call everybody over. Now we'll be a building busting machine. So, here we are. Let's just go for it. Can they break this open? They can. Oh, look at them all go. Come on, guys. We need everybody to, to pitch in here. There we go. It's a little crowded. It's a little crowded, but they're definitely punching through it. Come on, come on. I think this is probably our best strategy, though. Some of them are trying to get over, but that's where I can maybe slice them. I actually can't quite reach them yet. The wall is sort of protecting them from both sides, but it really shows that you really need as many of the cobblestone the bones. There's nothing standing between you and those barracks. All right, Except let's go for it then. Piglins. These piglins are really determined to keep us at bay, but I think we get everybody. Come on, everybody. We're gonna fight over here. And it's gonna be quite the fight. We might lose a couple of golems along the way, but we'll figure it out. So I want to send everybody to this. There we go. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to control things specifically, but I think we'll get the hang of it the more we play, but so far this game is so cool. Got it. More piglins are coming in. I'm just trying to fight those guys off as they destroy this thing. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, so now we go over here. We send them all over. All these piglins trying to cause us problems. And let's just go over here and destroy this one. Once this is destroyed, I think we're good to go. We haven't lost any of our golems yet either, so I think we've done a great job. Much better than last time. So that's another piglin Very thing destroyed. Good. There is still one more outpost, however. Okay, so where could that be? Way over there, huh? No, over here. Can I fast travel to that? I don't think I can. So we'll have to do a little bit of a long run over, but what is this over here? Brilliant beetle. The brilliant beetle calls the jungle home. It can usually be found skittering about, playing among the dense vegetation. I wonder if I can catch them or something. Anyways, we do want to make another ramp. Maybe just here, just so that we can get around. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Got it. Just so that we can adventure freely. Make our way to this next goal point. But so far, we're doing amazing. I think the more we figure out about this game, the better we're gonna do, and that's definitely the case so far. So let's just make sure that the LAs are getting some more wood. Okay, these, I guess these are stone? Huh, they're like stone trees. Very neat. And we gotta remember to run through this little sort of patch of tall grass, because it makes us run even faster, which is cool. I'll set that up there. Let's not go too far to the side that we're actually supposed to be running over this way. We haven't actually gone through the village that we're trying to save yet, but I'm sure we'll run into it sooner or later. Okay. You know, so far, very positive impression on this game. I, I really think it's a lot of fun, so definitely gonna be looking forward to playing more soon. But for now, we're to here. Weather engineering, but those Blazewood towers are pretty dangerous, and their range is impressive. The LAs will help you get up there with a ramp. All you have to do is play the right melody. Okay, so I'm just recalling everybody to make sure that we're all here. 
and we need to build another ramp. So I go here, I go like that. No, no, wait, got it. And now we get to fighting in just a moment. I'm gonna wanna slice away a couple of those guys before we get up there. Okay, here we go, here we go. And I want everybody to focus on this thing first, I think is a good idea. And break this down and they won't be able to spawn in as many bad guys. So definitely wanna do that. It is so cool though to build up a little army and then just command them over, get a bunch of stuff done. I see this people coming over. Got them pretty quick though. And we're almost, yeah, have this thing broken. Calling everybody over again and we're going for this big tower. Gonna watch out with all the arrows being shot at us. Unfortunately, that means we are losing some friends. But I think that while they're busy, maybe I'll run back down and get a couple more. Uh, there's always something I can do, right? So I want to spawn in two more and get them to come with me. I see you over here. I need to help you out. Come on, come over here. And with this thing destroyed, great job, everybody. Let's get everybody together and send them against this last tower. Some of them I went a little too far down. <laughs> That's okay. We're just gonna topple this thing, and then afterwards, that should be all the outposts defeated. Come on, come on, it's almost there. We got it. So there we go, all three of the people in outposts in this village have been destroyed. Apply really good. the right pressure, and even the tallest tower will fall. So what's gonna happen now? This is Creeper again. The curious Creeper is back, and they brought a friend. Ah. What do you think they'll do? We will find out soon enough. Oh no. Ooh. So maybe they won't team up with the Piglins. Maybe they'll team up with us. How cool would that be? If we get to command different mobs like that, that'd be awesome. After defeating all those outposts, you've collected quite a bit of Prismarine. Bring it to me at the Will of Fate, and I'll show you how to build something that will be very useful for you. Huh. You are attuned to the waters of the well. You can travel here quickly anytime you wish. Awesome. So that's what we just did right here. We traveled to the, the Well of Fate. Knowledge? What are you doing out there? <laughs> I'm working on a little something extra to help the hero. Whoa. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, the water and the flowers or something. What do you think? <laughs> they are perfect. Oh, so they're new golems. Friendly with the piglins, I assure you that. Okay, okay, go on now. Join your new friends. You two, little one, go on. That is amazing. So we have some new golems to command here. Now, of course, I think we'll take a Grindstone bigger look at next episode. To join you, but you'll need a special resource to build them. I've written the melody for you. You'll just need to build the right improvement. Huh. Customize your hotbar. Open your songbook. Add the improvement. Gather iron to your melody's hotbar. Very nice. Interesting. Nuts. This is where all the wonderful melodies you learn will be kept. Now go ahead and turn the pages. There you go. Now choose the structure that improves your loot to play the iron melody, and the LAs will build it for you. Okay, so assign improvement gather iron to a slot, Great. so we can do that. Now go ahead and build your iron improvement. Okay, so how do I do that though? I guess I can build it over here. We also are going to improve some stuff, build improvements by gathering iron in the zone near the improvement hubs at the Well of Fate is our current goal. So to do that, I guess we need to gather iron. Oh, like this. Okay, so this is sort of another material to sort of collect. Your relationship with the Allays grows. This tune will help them mine iron for your building needs. Gotcha. And there you have it. Now you'll be able to collect iron in the world and spawn these new friends whenever you need them. That's great. All right then, so our new um, resource is discovered. We gotta gather some iron. iron. You can use it to build all sorts of new structures. Okay, so. Let's see exactly what we can build. Something. I know it. The piglins have their eyes on that last village you saved. They're going to need you again. Okay, so where exactly is that going to be? 
The village that we saved previously way over here, the Piglin Outpost, has something waiting for us. So I guess we have to go over there. So let's make a marker on that. And I guess fast travel. Oh, I never went to this one, so I can't fast travel to it. Whoops. But we'll go to this one really quickly and get started with our little adventure here. This is gonna be great. We learned a lot last episode, but there's still plenty more to figure out, I'm sure. But uh, here we are at the Fate Land. We had to go over this way to start things off. So yeah, I think we'll just go over to that outpost, destroy this new type of Piglin outpost. Gotcha. So we'll get started with that, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of other things to focus on too, but I do wanna see, obviously I don't have the maximum amount of uh, stone and wood at the moment, so if I could keep looking out for those, that'd be amazing. But I think we're just going to head over here. Oh, is this it? No, okay. <laughs> I saw something glowing and it was a little red, so you, you never know, right? But, uh, oh wait, we just ran into something, bounce caps. I do need to read through this. I think that will take a little bit of a deeper look into the journal next, or later this episode, maybe. We'll just have to sort of read through it and see what new things we've been discovering and Man, what it really is about all of them. The banner. Let's try a few more advanced moves. It can give specific commands to specific allies if you need just one type or even just one friend to get the job done. Give it a Ooh. try now. In the heat of battle, you'll need to be ready for anything. Banner view. Destroy all structures in this Piglin outpost. Control hold to enter banner view. Whoa, okay, this is nice. Uh, so we can hold the direct our nearby mobs to charge, which I don't have any at the moment, so if they could just give me a moment to, you know, let me build the spawners, that'd be great. So, of course, we got these um, cobblestone and plank ones. We got the new ones here, the, the grindstone golem and the mossy golem. I don't know if we even have all the right materials to build those, but we might as well give it a try. Something We're going to recall everybody here. we do have. The piglin's threat is changing, but to what end is not yet clear to me. Okay, so... We have all 20 of them right here. So I'm gonna try to call everybody over and go back into this mode. Uh, so this can get pretty crazy, but we can send some out this way and I guess focus on that target over there. So that's how we send either like a bunch or a single mob. Huh. But I guess I didn't really send all of them, did I? Oh, but they can't go across the lava. Okay, everybody. Uh, Come over here if you don't mind, because I didn't realize I was sending them across the lava like that. We do need to build a ramp. So I think for right now, if I could just... Oh no, I guess I have one over here. So yeah, if everybody could just come over. I made a huge mistake there by trying to tell them to go across the lava, but it's okay. We'll learn from it. I'm not always the best at strategy games, but I'm willing to try my best with them, <laughs> regardless of the outcome. So yeah, we'll just go over here, and I think we'll just send them to go straight forward this time. And this is just a huge fight. There are enemies everywhere. They all want to take place in this battle. Jeez, this is actually pretty crazy right now. We might have to go for one of those uh, towers instead soon enough. But right now, I'm just swinging at this as much as we can. I think soon enough, we'll have to uh, maybe even just recall everyone. Oh, there's a couple of guys down here. So for you guys, oh, they're crying. <laughs> Poor things. Let's send them against this. Without anything else. Oh, it's a cage that we can open. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Let's open this up. What is this? Oh, it's a bunch of turtles. Definitely want to save them. Okay, so with that, I'm heading back up here. Uh, we've definitely lost a lot of troops, but if we could just send them at this tower, I think that's the next best idea. Wait, 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 why are they just... Uh, I'm trying to send them right at the tower itself, but it doesn't always work that way. Anyways, I think it might be a good time to retreat really fast and spawn in some more friends because this is a little too much. Improve LA storage to carry more resources. I would love to do that, but maybe later. Anyways, um, yeah, the iron's good to know, but I wanted to read more about our new golem friends. We have the grindstone golem, which, uh, let's see, charging disruptors, fast charging disruptors that stun enemies, very effective against ranged mobs. And then mossy golem spawner, spawns mossy golems, support mobs that clear debuffs and heal allied mobs. So, so we want a decent chunk of those, but not too many. So let's recall everything that we have here. There we go. So, I guess that means we should probably spawn in three of those, a few more of these, and then the rest should be building destroyers so that we can just get rid of this thing nice and quick. There we go. So, everybody should be all together now. Let's charge right back in the battle for round two. So this game can get pretty complicated, it seems, but I think if we just keep working on it, we'll get through it. So, um, I think, yeah, let's, there we go. That might be a better way to do it then. I'll definitely have to get used to the controls a little bit. It's gonna take some time, but, uh... There we go. 
let's see if that does what it's supposed to, and everybody can just beat up this thing. I mean, so far, they're not really attacking it too much, which is weird. Okay, now they're going about it a little bit crazier. But it's really these towers. But after a, a few moments of it, they sort of forget, and they just chase after me. So maybe I just need to not move too far. Which you would think with a game like this. That wouldn't matter too much. But let's get over here. Help out with this as much as we can. There's a lot of guys over this way. We are losing some troops. We're down two of them, but we have plenty more, so it's fine. But I can just keep working on this tower. I think that's a good idea. I'll fight away. Oh, no. Don't land in lava. Okay. Come on. Keep fighting this tower. It's almost broken, and I think that will help out a lot. It's just getting rid of this thing. It's getting all crumbled up. Yeah, our one golem, the mossy one, will heal, right? So that's always good. I think we got to get rid of the, uh, the tower. We get all these guys to start punching it like crazy. Any of the piglins that show up, I can fight them myself a little bit. All right, everybody over here. Keep it going. We're almost through this tower. Come on, come on. We got it. So just a little bit more than with this over here. So we will charge this. Mask us and everybody over too. Well, I gotta get rid of you. Cool. And oh no. It's really sending us back a bit, but there is still more after this. As you can see in the distance, there's another tower and everything. So it definitely takes some work to get through all this. I wonder if there'll be a way to upgrade our mobs later on. That'd be nice. If we could just make these building bashers a little bit stronger, I'd be pretty happy with that. Anyways, we have a pretty decent group over here. I need to let these turtles free. And then afterwards, we are just going to focus all in on this tower. And that's definitely working. They're mostly firing their arrows at me, so that's a good thing, really. It means that we're not going to lose any of our mobs here. Okay. We're taking damage and we need to help. Okay, so do you need to be careful about that, but, uh... So it says I can press escape to do something there, but it didn't really do anything. Anyways, there we go. That's another outpost destroyed. Whoa. These guys aren't happy about it. Oh no. A lot of new piglins here. Ooh, this one looks like they can maybe be a sorcerer or something. These are all really cool character designs, though. I guess we're trying to figure out what to do next now that we're sort of thwarting their plans a little bit. Whoa. That's a big block. No, that doesn't look good. So they're bringing this big cube to somewhere. One of these outputs, yeah, like that. Whoa. Is that gonna act like a giant turret? Oh man, it's a beacon. I think things went just from bad to worse, really. Oh no. The sky's going dark. The creepers are gonna explode. <laughs> They're shivering. First they poison the ground. And now the sky? Our hero must see us through the darkness. So this is looking like a dark chapter in this story. You have to find the source of this magic. Find it and stop it. The night beacon. Find the piglin bees creating this permanent night. With night comes, you know, more powerful mobs, right? This could be pretty dangerous. I'll have to be very, very careful as we move through our next steps. But hey, we got more guys over here that never followed me. Uh, let's take a second though. I think now might be a good time to take a good look at some different things here, just in our journal that we really haven't read about. So of course we have some of the things we already know about, like the plant golem spawner. Um, spawns plant golems, range mobs that shoot rapidly at close range, interact with the structure to spawn them. Each mob requires a falling resource. So you can see each one is gonna require a different resource. Like with the pink plant golems spawner, it's wood, lapis, and flame of creation. 
Um, but for cobblestone golem, you know, these guys do high damage to structures. They need stone. And then for grindstone, it's iron. And then same thing for mossy golem, it's another iron. So just keeping that stuff in mind is pretty important. And we can uh, customize our hotbar if we wanted to. But I think these all seem fine. But for some of our other stuff here, we have like, you know, resources like wood. Gather wood from the chosen area. Wood is essential for many structures. Make sure to keep your ally storage filled with filled with wood to hold more wood. Build one or more improvement ally storage at the wealth eight. See, like I didn't know that part, so we're learning a little bit here. And same thing, stone is essential for many structures. Uh, and then iron unlocks advanced structures and can be used to spawn grindstone golems and mossy golems. Iron deposits can be found in the Fatelands forest and dry savanna. So if we're having a hard time finding things, this journal will be really helpful for sort of figuring out what else to do. And then we also have uh, some of this stuff. So improvement gather iron enables gather allies to collect iron. Each additional improvement allows you to carry 100 for the iron. So we definitely want that. I don't really know how to build that? I don't think we can build that here. So yeah, let's take a look at our map really quickly. There's this huge night beacon over there. But before we get to that, I think we do need to gather some more iron. We're only down to like six of them so far. So I think just managing our resources wherever we can would be pretty important. So yeah, let's go to gather iron. And isn't it one of these? Huh. Maybe that one's already sort of used that. Doesn't seem like it's working anymore. Yeah, we have this one over here. Maybe because this one is already, maybe if I remove this one? Let's remove that one and see if I can't put it here. Nope, still not working. I don't know why. Hopefully we can find some new iron soon because you no, know, obviously we can just use some. But in the meantime, I will put over some, just some wooden stuff. Yeah, I can only really gather the iron around here, was it? Because right now it's it's all just it doesn't really show. Iron unlock cannot find icon. Cap reaches reached on resources. Okay, I'm a little confused, but you know what we could do is try building one of these, right? Oh, I see. Maybe I was building the wrong thing. I don't know. Maybe I was. <laughs> Hard to tell. But um, I'll just build another one of these and see if this gives us more iron. And that's just a little thing like that I'm still trying to figure out with the game. But you know, we'll figure them out over time. It still doesn't let me gather them that way, but it is what it is. Um, I could build another one of those over here, I think. Do I have the materials to do that? Not enough resources. Okay. Then I guess we'll go over here. And then we'll make our way to that night peak and see if we can't help out with that at all. Your help, please. You have to hurry. The LA's can build you a well house to offer a safe place to regroup and for you to travel from right back into battle. I suggest building these close to where the action is, they'll save you a lot of time. Okay, that seems like a good idea. Build a well house. Um, well houses act as respawn points if you die, you can also fast travel to them. Sounds good. So, let me get some extra little friends here and then. Where exactly do I want to build the well house? This is the well house, and I could put it, whoa. Somewhere. It is huge. Maybe way out here? I don't understand exactly. Can't place well house too close to villages. So, oh, I see. So I should probably get closer to the night beacon and build it there. That way, if we do end up dying, we can just sort of come back from that. It'll be a lot easier. But in the meantime, I do want to get some resources. I'm trying to find out if there's anywhere I can build one of these, but so far I'm not really finding any resources. Okay, well, yeah, we're coming up on it. So this might be a good place to build it. Right here. Can't place well houses too close to villages. Are we really that close to a village? Because it doesn't seem like it to me, but uh, maybe I'm wrong? Huh. See, I figured if it wasn't in this little blue area, I'd be in the clear. Yeah, I don't know why it's being so picky with me. Am I missing something else too that's just not telling me? I do not know. 
Okay, so if I went out a little bit farther, it seems like it's letting me build it now. <laughs> Not the most convenient spot. I figured it would just sort of go over the trees. It did it. That's okay. There's much to learn with this game, I'm noticing, but that well house is being built. It's about 45% of the way there already, so maybe we can take the opportunity to head out here, try to fight this thing. I do think it might be nicer to build some ramps and stuff. If I could just get, get it started. Why does that not work? I seem to send it out really far, like that. That didn't work either. Uh, <laughs> why didn't that one work? Huh, maybe I can't build it over water. Can definitely build it over here though, right? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Let's just see what this portal has to say, whoa. So the piglins are definitely getting prepared with their night beacon. Even more reinforcements are coming out. The dark sky is fueling the piglins aggression. What can we do? Whoa. Who shot that? Look. It's the mobs. The skeletons are coming in. And the creepers. This is so awesome. And even the villager zombies. Oh, you guys are in trouble now. What's happening? How did they learn to fight? By watching our hero. That is awesome. So the big ones are running back into their fortress. That sure shows them. This base is beyond anything we have seen, but we know you can triumph together. Well. So there's got to be a way over there. Maybe that's a bit better than this because so far the water is making it a bit more difficult. Night beacon, destroy the nether portal, um, lead these mighty mobs to push back the piglins. Okay, I think I might be coming at it from the, a wrong angle or something because I really can't reach it from over here. So let's just try to run around it a little bit. But our friends are over here. There's got to be a way to build this for them in a way that they can get across. Right? Maybe can I call them over like I can the other mobs? So we've got the villagers, the zombie villagers, the skeletons, the creepers and we can call them all over, perfect. So yeah, I see an entrance over there. So I don't know why my mobs aren't also coming, but I can I can deal with that later. As long as we're getting all these guys over here, we'll start figuring something out. <laughs> They're just sort of all chilling out over there. Sort of a problem, but it's okay. Come on, come on, go, go, go. And then once we're over here, I'm going to want to make some of the spawner things. So. Right now, that should be enough. I don't really need, I don't have any more iron, but I can recall what I have. There we go. Everybody come over, and we're just going to charge in as much as we can for now, I think. Here we go. Oh man, it's gonna be a huge fight. Look at all the piglins over here. This is crazy. So I can definitely slice my way through a huge crowd of them, but we have a bunch of things to destroy here. It is going to be pretty wild. We send everybody to focus in on stuff like this, though. I think we can destroy it pretty quick, right? Keep it up. Oh wow, we already breached the wall with that, amazing. So I don't know if we're supposed to destroy everything. It doesn't seem like it'd be the best idea, but you never know. Uh oh, here comes one of the boars. It is very easy to start losing people. I yeah, don't exactly know. Yeah, I can if call everybody over, right? Not stopped, oh, no. night will last forever. This is wild. I'm losing a bit of health though, so I gotta be really careful here. Because I think for right now, like we're, what we're really supposed to do is get everybody over as much as possible and then just rush the uh, the nether portal, right? I think that's more so what we're supposed to do instead of destroying every single thing here. But whoa, okay, that's a big guy. Um, I'm a little scared, but come on, we can do it, we can do it. Okay, I'm about to die, oh no! So maybe that won't quite work that way. Maybe we have to destroy more of the towers and stuff. Can't just charge in like crazy. But there's a lot going on there. Oh man. Okay, so we're heading back into all this. I definitely want to just focus different targets. It looks like what was broken before is still broken now. So that's good to know. Yeah, there we, there we go, we just broke another one. So maybe I can just gather up all my friends here again. Just go for it. Whoa, 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 how did I get back here? Uh, okay, I'm getting burned up now. That's not what I wanted. I'm a little confused, but we're just gonna get everybody we can. What is going on? Uh, 
<laughs> I don't know, but we're losing a lot of our troops because of that. So I might have to go back and try again. Um, but once again, if we could just send everybody over here. We lost so many of our friends there that I might have to run back really quickly and just make some more reinforcements. What do you guys do? I, I don't know why. It seems like no matter how hard I try to get everybody to come together, some of them just sort of lag behind and don't follow. And I don't know what to do to make that better. It doesn't seem like the controls work exactly the way I want them to so far. I just have to sort of figure out how to work the way they're supposed to. Got a creeper over here that we can call over. Because you can see, even then, maybe there's a maximum of how many people I can control. Because they're in my circle, I call them over, and they just don't really follow. Very weird, very weird. But, uh... I got a good majority of them. I think that might be good enough to march over here and start really working on this stuff over here. This big boar, this big monster, whatever it's supposed to be, is a bit of a crazy thing to deal with. But maybe we can succeed here. I don't know, it's pretty crazy. Oh, man. Definitely destroy that thing, yeah. But this guy is not friendly. Let's also charge it. I don't know, focus. I don't really know the difference between focus target and charging in this situation. But, oh, man. The more stuff we destroy, even if we lose health, you know? The more stuff we destroy, the more progress we're making. I might the back up a little bit just to play it safe, but in general, we're getting there. Oh, no. Ooh. Maybe damage is sink down a little bit, but most of us are focusing on this huge guy. I need to back it up again. While they're still fighting, let's go get some more friends. I really haven't found any iron anywhere, though. And that's been something I've been trying to just find more of. So that we can... Here, let's spawn in a lot of these guys. Because they'll help us fight from a distance. And then we'll recall everybody so that they're following us. There we go. I got as many of them following me as I can muster. Let's get back in there. This thing is still kicking, which definitely makes me a bit worried, but maybe we could all just focus it down super quick. That'd be way better. But I am stuck in the corner now, so I'm a little afraid. I gotta just dodge its attacks a little bit, fight off the other piglins too. Cause this guy is just not playing around. Oh no, oh, I'm really low on health. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, good this way. No, come on, let me through, let me through, let me through. No, come on, is it not going to let me? I guess not, because it doesn't work that way. Man, this is crazy, because they are just destroying all of our units super duper easily. And that's why we need some of the other guys, but I just don't have any more iron, and I couldn't really see an opportunity to get some more. Uh. But I think it's fine. I think we just keep going back and, oh, they pushed me into the lava. That was so not fair. Oh my goodness. Uh, and we spawn in whatever we can. Okay, let's get this a little bit, bring us all the way up to 10. And then same thing over here. It really takes a while to get my health back if I don't have those little guys that you know, help with that. I think in the meantime, we should also be getting whatever wood we can. I don't know if there's any stone around here to mine, but I guess there is. And like I said, there's no iron around here, it seems. So, with what I have, which is all of you guys, we're heading right back in. But we've made very little progress, as you can see, since we're at 99%. Like, we just haven't done too much. So, we need to get in one way or another. I guess just follow this way. It is still there, too. So,. Let's just focus a tower. If we can get rid of one of the towers, that should be a lot less you know, damage to worry about. But man, the attacks come in from every angle. We got it though. Okay, let's focus on this one then. Everybody, oh yeah, destroy this too. I didn't realize we could destroy that. So everybody over here, let's go over this way. Just like that, perfect. There's a lot going on. At some points it's a little bit too much, but we'll keep going working on both this tower and this gate. So, doesn't seem like much for now, but if we can just get, you know, a bigger army out this way, I think it's a big deal. You know, we are once again losing more troops. I wish I could bring the stuff a little bit closer, but it didn't really let me. It usually doesn't let you build it on the red flooring. And this is <laughs> really proven to be tough. Okay. 
Let's just focus on this then so that we can destroy it. Because it's almost there. And that will lead our, us to be able to get our troops in a little bit easier. Like, I feel like it's pretty important at this point. Oh, no. Okay, this is looking bad for me. I need to run. I need to run all the way over here. Because, yeah, I can't spawn it on this space. It's occupied. So, really, we have it set up on the closest space we can manage, really. I think more mobs are just showing up, too. So, let's recall everybody. We'll spawn in some more of these guys. We ran out of all of our mobs there, so we'll do 10 of each. I guess 11 of that one and 9 of this one. <laughs> Whoops. That's okay, though. And then get some more stone wherever I can get it. So everybody called over here, right? Oh, wait, wait. Need all you guys, too. Come on. Every single unit matters. Now we rush back in there. I don't think the spike walls are quite yet destroyed, but they're very, very close to it. So if we just charge and focus on this, we can get it no problem. Come on, come on, there it goes. Okay, everybody, we need you to charge into this tower. There are so many piglins everywhere though, it's crazy. Oh man, but that tower is getting destroyed in no time. Very exciting to say the least, but wow, we're getting knocked back all over the place. So. I don't know how many units we really have left, but maybe we should really push forward with them. Okay, everybody, I want you to focus on this right here and see if we can do anything with it. We might not be able to. We might just lose all of our units, but I mean, we're slowly starting to do some damage to it, so you never know. It's still at 99%. 98, there we go. <laughs> Huge success, right? I think it really only works if we can spawn in some more friends, so. Let's go do that. There we go. Luckily, we were able to help clear out piglins pretty quick. Maybe there'll be ways to improve our own sword and stuff later on. I'd be really happy if that's the case, but right now I just need to run back over here and uh, spawn 10 of each again. Okay. And then over here, same deal. And then we'll also just recall everybody. I don't know if that recalls any of the other kinds of mobs. It doesn't look like it does. So there's just like, you know, random mobs spawning in. Okay, we're heading back over. You know, we're doing everything we can do. I really need to get rid of you. So if everybody can just attack you, you do a lot of damage, but there's gotta be a way to get rid of you, right? I really hope we don't defeat them and then just another one shows up. Okay, I'm trying to avoid their attacks however I can. But man, they just don't seem to ever give up. And as you can see, they've already destroyed most of our mobs. It's just so ridiculous. Come on, come on. Yeah, I don't really see too much more we can do here besides sort of rinse and repeating where we just run over, spawn more stuff in. I feel like I'm definitely doing something wrong, but I, I don't see what the alternative could be. Okay, so I'm working on some stuff over here now. I think really the best idea is just to break down as much of their spawners, as much as their everything as possible. The problem is while we're doing that, just so much is attacking us. It can be really hard to keep up. And it just, by the time I got over here, half my army's already gone. So I don't really know if we're really doing the right thing, but I mean, if it's one last building, that feels pretty good, right? I think I'm just gonna keep fighting. Even if we die, we, you know, we come back. So it's not really that big of a deal. The building is almost down. I really want it destroyed. So hopefully we can get it before we die. I don't know if we will, because all of my friends are defeated, so it's just me now. Uh, ah, there I go. But when I die, it seems like I come back with a bunch of the mobs, which would be really good right now. So we'll have to see if that's any better. So the last time I, die, I died, it, it spawned in a bunch more of the, the mobs and stuff, but this time not really. So I'm sort of in this bad position where so many of them are getting spawned in, but not really the case for us at all. Like we, we can't really, keep up with this. By the time we get over here, we're already losing some of our stuff. I guess I'm gonna have to go to the side over this way too and get rid of some of those spawners. There's so much to do here, it's crazy. So maybe while that's happening, while we're sending things in over there, I just need to run back and just continually spawn more and more and more in because I'm, if not, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> okay, so I see you guys over here. I'm just going to uh, spawn in more. Whatever we're sort of losing, I'll bring back and then more of these guys. And luckily we have plenty of this material. I just wish we could have found more iron. Um, and I looked for it all along the way, but I just really couldn't find anything. So 
it's really hard to reach out to what I want to get to from here, but I definitely want to first thing is get rid of that tower. I thought that we would have gotten that one. Maybe we were, I think we were attacking a different one actually. So let's go for that. Let's get rid of another spawner here. And this one we're sort of hidden behind the wall. So the rest of the piglins can't actually get to us too easily. They're just trying to run straight over and that's not gonna work out super well for them. So things like that are good. So maybe, you know, getting rid of some of this stuff on the side, maybe this is gonna be better for us. There we go. We're gonna focus on this target just straight away to switch over. All right. Got it. Just keep it going over here. This thing is almost busted. And when everybody works together, you know, some of these actually get destroyed pretty quickly. It's great. So, same thing over here. Oh no, definitely go to the boards. Because they do a lot. And that's where I really hope we can maybe improve our sword or something. Because if so, it would make it just easier to get through everything. But some of them have found their way around and are beating up our other golems. We do not want that. Let's try to get everybody over here and just keep charging. This thing is almost broken. But they are starting to charge in farther and farther. So what happens if I just charge like that? Will they be able to destroy this wall? They won't. So we need to sort of run back and then go in again. Because if not, it's just sort of more of a mess like this. So this is a lot of piglins though. Wow, okay. Sort of just slicing them as I go along. Which even that isn't exactly enough. You would think that this is enough to at least run up here and do a bit more damage. So I'm gonna do exactly just that. While all those guys are busy, let's run all the way back over here and get some more friends in. And it's getting lower now. Now that we've lowered the defenses a little bit, it's harder for them to fight it off. So I think we just spawn in some more. Come on, come on. We've still got a bit more to do here, but we're making some breakthroughs. Okay, so calling all these guys over. Even some of the other mobs are available now, so that's good. And they're still out there, still destroying it. We're down to 70% now, so let's just charge forward with all this. Come on, come on. And I gotta help out too. There's so many piglins up here now in this portal, so cool. I wish I could just jump through. That'd probably be a really bad idea, <laughs> considering. Okay, we're down to 50%. Here we go. We just really had to rush it, I guess, but it just One didn't really seem like it was gonna work. Okay, so running out of a lot of friends here, but if I can just keep fighting them away as our golems keep punching, I think we'll be fine. Come on, down to 20%. Just keep punching, keep pushing, we got this. I really hope, come on. We are running more and more out of these guys. Almost down. Keep fighting, break their magic. I'm not giving up just yet, we're down to 6%. Oh, it's so close. I might have to go and restock though. Yeah, we're out, we're out, darn. Okay, so let's run back before we get knocked out. Because we are so, so close to getting this done. I mean, maybe the moms that are there can finish a job, but just in case they can't, we need to go and get some more. Run, run, run. Oh, Mo, so I can't believe that. That was so close. So, I think we mostly just want these guys. But we definitely want some of the, uh, the wood golems too. All right, almost there. And hopefully we can get an upgrade on how many golems we can control at once at some point. That'd be fun. Got all you guys coming over. We're down to 2%. So if I just push this all the way over, you guys know what to do. This is for sure the final push. Come on, go, go, go. What was that thing? Whoa, that's a new enemy too. There's so much going on here, but just gonna keep destroying the portal. We're almost there, there it is. Oh man, that was a lot of work. Everybody is rushing in. That is so cool. Oh, and the beacon is destroyed. They're not gonna be happy about that one. Whoa. And with that, it should return to the daytime at some point. The morning finally comes. <laughs> Nothing like a nice little sunrise, right? Aw, 
<laughs> Everyone's so happy. Well, everyone except for the piglins. They're running away. I think this one's trying to explain what happened. Which of course is that they all banded together to knock us out, but, or to knock them out. <laughs> but, oh no. Oh, that's us. Oh, they don't like us one bit. It's a new world out there. In more ways than we know. All right, well, hopefully we can have a lot of fun exploring this you new world. It. You brought back the sun. This first dawn warms the hearts and faces of the overworld. We can't thank you enough. It is true, we have won the battle. But I'm afraid the war has just begun. Destroying that dark magic has brought all the hordes of the Nether to the overworld and emboldened their hunger for conquest. You must destroy all of their portals to save the overworld. You are our only hope. Oh no. So if we're the only hope, then it's gonna take a lot of work, isn't it? Pick you limitation strategies or something. Man. Off the battlefield. Use them to improve your tools before you set off. Okay, so it keeps telling me I can press escape to see something, but then it just brings me back to this menu. I don't know. Either way, you can see that there's whoa, so much more now. So I think yeah, we're mostly focused on these there big is a things new here. Base in the world. Their hunger spreads like a sickness. Oh, now that you have a moment, I've added a melody to your songbook so you can rouse some of our slumbering old friends out in the world. Huh? So yeah, I think things like the Brilliant Beetle and the f First of Oak. Interesting. Hmm. And the Creeper Homestead. I'm so sure these the are really cool. Be excited to see you. Hopefully not too excited, mind you. And then there's things like, of course, the Horde of the a Hunt. New piglin stain spreads in our world. And then the Horde of the Spore. Interesting. So there's different areas we can explore and sort of clear out the piglin invasions. Definitely something we'll work on then. In the meantime, though, I think what we need to do, we have one of these set up over here, right? This is one of the um, Gather Iron improvements. That's right here. I guess I can maybe set up some more. And while that's happening, gathering redstone let's try to gather coal because i do sometimes run across not enough resources what do i what resources do i need sometimes it doesn't really show that anywhere okay so if i wanted to gather coal i would need 100 stone 100 oh i don't have that prismarine gotcha so like these things are out here now right the gather iron did i need more than one of them <laughs> that's the part i'm just not really getting and I can't put this out because this isn't the actual resource. This is just my ability to get it. And I'm just very confused because I've run around now and I just, I don't feel like I found any iron resources. So we'll have to really look for it, but that's where I definitely wanted to sort of take a deeper look at some of the inner mechanics of the game when we get the chance. But, you know, we can see we also got um, improvement cure netherrack enables gather allies to convert netherrack to a safe block that you can build structures on. That would be really nice. Um, and we just don't have the 100 that we need right now to get that. So defeating enemies is really important, I guess, for the Prismarine. And then improvement, wake the firsts. Enables you to assemble powerful golems found throughout the world for gold and resource cost. So we definitely need more Prismarine. Uh, so iron unlocks advanced structures that can be used to spawn grindstone golems and mossy golems. The first upgrade grants 25 iron and enables village chests located in forest and dry savanna or ally chest in any biome to contain iron. So I guess we can maybe go back to some of those other ones and see if we can't find any chests that might have some iron for us. But so far finding it in the wild doesn't seem super common. So I just might want to take a quick peek. And beyond that, uh, oh, here we go, here we go. So open this chest up and we have um, 473 stone, 61 lapis, and 25 iron. Perfect. So let's go to some other villages really quickly. I think that it showed us on the map what resources they build up. So we'll double check that soon enough. But in the meantime, yeah, run over here, 
open this chest. What do we get? Um, you've hit the re resource for this. So what was that one? I guess coal and lapis, but it's not gonna give us coal just yet because we don't have that thing upgraded. But this one would give us iron, but I never activated the quick travel for that. So you know what, that's the last thing we'll sort of focus on in today's episode, is getting the quick travel for that one village because I was supposed to get that before and I just forgot. So that would be right over that way. But yeah, this game is so cool so far. It seems like there's so much more to explore and to figure out, but we're getting there for sure. And hopefully the more that we play, the more that we'll figure it out. So in the meantime, if I could, just, uh, oh yeah, I have the cap on wooden stone right now. So if I can just occasionally look around to see if there's any iron to grab, that'd probably be a good idea. But as it currently stands, I really haven't seen any, which maybe I've just missed it, totally possible, but maybe it just doesn't work that way as well. I've definitely seen other things like coal laying around and the redstone here. And whenever we see any of these mobs, we probably wanna call them over to us. Oh, I can get the turtles to help too? I didn't realize that. Okay, that could have been helpful before. I think the, the little mushrooms help me jump higher. What about like little, little guys? Oh, I thought I saw somebody. I was like, just try this ocelot over here. It sort of works, yeah. And then this is where I could use that new Alay thing if I can get the upgrade to turn this stuff back to normal. That'd be cool. Probably want to remove this one. Do I get the resources back? I don't know. Hard to say. But we gotta keep moving, we're almost at this village. Got quite the little army following us now. So I guess it'll be good during the night times to sort of scoop up as many mobs as possible. Here we're at the dry savanna. So if we finally made it, village discovered, you can now fast travel to this village by selecting it on your map. You can travel as often as you like, as long as the village fountain continues to flow. Cool. So let's open up this one. And inside, we get villager chest rewards, 25 more iron. So yeah, some really good stuff there. Happy to see it. If we take a look at our other things going on. Is there anything new here? We have things like masonry. Permanently turns nearby wall, towers, and gates into stone. Interesting. So if we really wanted to build up the defense of a village, which I'm sure we'll do eventually, but maybe not too much to worry about right now. Um, so back out of this. Is there anything new around here? Not really, but uh, there is, of course, the actual journal, and this has maybe more in-depth things. Uh, iron is a bit rarer than stone. Tell me about it. But shouldn't it be difficult to find? I mean, so far it is, but I, maybe I'm just not good at looking. Uh, it used to be by the alleys to build structures like the protector tower and the masonry, and the masonry as well as some allies. And then we have things like lapis, it feeds the flames of creation, allowing you to spawn golems and mobs. It is obtained from roaming piglins and may also be stocked in village chests. Lapis is the main reason why you should give every piglin you see a good thwacking. Not that you need more reasons. And then finally, the prismarine. Prismarine can only be obtained from destroying piglin structures and is used to build and upgrade structures at the well of fate. So, can only be attained from destroying pickle structures. So if we want to get more prismarine, we got to go and do those things. So that's definitely something I want to work on. I think then, yeah, okay. So we'll be focusing on that next episode for sure. There's a lot to do, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I'm excited to see, you know, sort of what's next for us in the game and like what kind of things we might end up taking on. But I will uh, remove that pin. It doesn't really tell me when- This village is at peace for now. Let us hope they avoid the piglins hungry eyes. This village is at peace for now. Yep, okay, <laughs> just gonna repeat that for at least. We sort of have different regions that we can take on as well. So, and we also have these little things like the brilliant beetle and the first of oak golem, things like that, that we can sort of discover and unlock. I figure we should maybe try with getting one of these, like this brilliant beetle. The brilliant beetle calls the jungle home and can usually be found skittering about, playing among the dense vegetation. So maybe we should try one of these and see if we can't get to it and unlock the beetle or just do whatever we're supposed to do with this. I'm not really sure how this part works. So it might be something worth checking out right away before we take on some massive hordes of piglins or something like that. See, so yeah, let's get to it. Should be way over this way. We have some of uh, the mobs sort of along with us. We'll try to spawn in some golems soon, but for right now we need to uh, go for this way. And also while we're moving, I mean, actually I maxed out on both stone and wood, but I still haven't really found any more iron out in the wild. Oh, let's call you over. There's another skeleton. 
And I think we're getting a little bit closer. It was definitely here in the jungle. Hmm. We have little ocelots here, I think I can call them over. So somewhere around here should be the big beetles. And what do I do with them? Can I just call them over? Is there something I have to do? Swap mount. Whoa, that's so cool. So now I have a new mount. Whoa, okay. These brilliant beetles can climb anything. There's nowhere the piglins can hide from you now. That's amazing. Okay, so I guess we're not riding on our horse anymore. Um, and I guess at some other points, maybe we could swap them out. You've unlocked the brilliant beetle. It looks like we can even float around and stuff. I think we can climb up things, no problem. That's great. So if we needed some you know, extra help getting around, now we have it. And now might be a great time, of course, to read a little bit more about uh, our different mounts, maybe? I don't see it on here, actually. Uh, I'll write down this way, the brilliant beetle. Brilliant beetles can climb up walls and cliffs. If you can get over the extra legs, brilliant beetles are an excellent companion if you want to reach the higher points of the overworld. You can see there's lots of different things here that we need to read through, but I think for right now, we gotta focus on our adventure. That was really cool though. Um, and of course, if we find any other little potential teammates, I think we should take it. It doesn't seem like it's as fast as the horse, but it's sort of hard to tell. We've got quite the little army being built up here. So, where are we now? We're right down this way. You can see that this was a outpost that we've previously already taken over. I might wanna get some of the mobs. Oh yeah, okay, so this might be a good opportunity. If I remove this, do I get my iron back? I don't think I do. It doesn't seem like it, okay. I mean, it's good to know at the least. I didn't know if I'd get my materials back, but we'll run over here. Grab some of this stuff, but I do think that we want to focus on this over here, the Horde of the Hunt. This aggressive horde will stop at nothing to run down their prey. These piglins have claimed this area. Piglins construct outposts that spread netheract, corrupting the air with spores. This allows them to build larger bases. So if we have things like this one, Horde of the Hunt, there's some bigger ones too. I think we want to focus on the smaller ones for now as we're getting stronger and stronger. So we'll focus on this, and we'll try to just uh, go against the Horde of the Hunt's medium base. Sounds like a good plan to me. I'll build up as big of an army as I can as we're running around, because there's so many of these beetles, we can have a little beetle army. Okay, got some of you. Got it, got it. It's such a cute little noise, too. Because once we get more of these materials, wow, so many. This is crazy. I don't think there's a maximum either, right? I mean, maybe there is. I think maybe 25, if you see on the bottom right there. Um, I think that's like the most I can do. Okay, we're starting to get closer, but this is all stuff I've done before. So I don't think we can have anything larger than 25, but for right now, that's fine with me. 25 of these guys, and then also uh, 20 of our golems is gonna be really good. Never really know if it's golems or golems, but whatever it is. Okay, so uh, we could have teleported to this town. I forgot about that. That's okay. I've still yet to see any iron but I'm sure we'll run into some soon. And we still need more Prismarine. If we can get that, we'll get more upgrades and such, and that would be really useful. Okay. It's over there. Maybe now's a good time to, I, I, I'll save it for later. I definitely wanna spawn some stuff in soon. But honestly, it's just a lot of fun to explore. This, this whole overworld area is really fascinating, and the more we learn about it, the more I wanna explore it. Okay, I think we're coming up on it. The Horde of the Hunt, oh, here we go. They are not messing around. Oh, here we go again. Another nether portal. Look, Whoa. That portal was indestructible. Those lava coils will have to come down first. So to destroy the nether portal. I hate to admit it. Quite ingenious, those lava coils. Their heat protects the nearby portal. We'll have to destroy those nether coils if we want to get through this mission. The piglin so. forces here are quite impressive. Sometimes bravery alone cannot overcome. Gather more friends, gather oh, more no. tools, and you'll be ready for this challenge in no time. So we're already getting attacked here. What I think I want to do is just seven of those guys, seven of these guys, and then three each of these. Okay. 
Everybody should be here. I wanna call on as many of our units as we can. Maybe that's why I couldn't use all of them before, is because there's just too many. But we're gonna charge that thing, and of course, attack some piglins so that we can get our lapis back up. That's another material we need to work on here for sure. But, uh, whoa, we got some big guys. Oh man. Destroying things like these towers as soon as possible is probably gonna be pretty important. So we gotta keep our troops defended. These guys are not messing around though. I can't even really damage them. But our first tower we're working on here, and it topples. Very good, very good. We are losing our units pretty quick though, so I think we should back it up a little bit if I can manage. Oh no, ooh, really getting hurt. It really does feel like this thing's a bit slower. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm getting hurt, I'm getting really hurt. This is where I might wanna also make a respawn point somewhere or something. Got so many beetles and everything over here. But, uh, yeah, call all these guys over. And then I want to recall as much as I can. No mom's available to recall. So this is where we spawn in some more. And then some of these two. This is where we just gotta be careful because we could be running out of iron and stuff but I definitely want to spawn in some more of these guys. But while that's happening, we are earning up more Prismarine, it seems like. Okay, everybody, we got rid of that one tower. What else is over here? Looks like we have a spawner over here. I think that'd be a good idea to focus on that. The more we can destroy this stuff, the better. We got more of our teammates running over, trying to help out which is exactly what we want to see, but there's just so much going on. It gets pretty intense. Uh, but it looks like they destroyed a lot of them. And there's some more over here, but these guys are like healers. I guess I needed more of the, uh, the cobblestone ones. Because this thing still hasn't really taken too much damage. It might be a good idea to spawn in another one of these, where is it? Do I have the materials for the well house? I already get it over here. Just that way we can spawn it if we do end up dying. Not enough resources. What resources would I need for it that I'm missing right now? Um, I think probably more iron. If I had to get 75 iron, yeah, it gets pretty expensive. I think we're okay though. I'm gonna recall as many of these guys as I can. Like that. And then, oh, I'll fight you while I can here, but these guys aren't very friendly. Come on. Yeah, I can't even do damage to the bigger guys here, it seems. Okay. Come on, keep playing more of the loot. Oh, they're about to destroy my stuff over here. I don't want that. So they can damage my buildings just as much as they can, as, as we can damage theirs. Good to know. But man, this gets crazy quick. Now I wanted to run all the way back over here and do that. I don't know if they're actually following or listening to me. It doesn't currently seem like it. So this might've been a huge disaster. Oh my goodness, I'm getting launched around. Oh no. See, this is where maybe I just need to come back stronger at some other point in time, because I just died. Okay, we're gonna respawn in 10 seconds, but so far I'm not the best at this game. I know it so far, but hopefully we can just learn and improve. We're respawning back in. Okay, I'm way back here. So I'll have to run all the way back over, but I think we definitely just wanna keep working on it. Obviously there's some other places we could try, but I think that they're probably gonna be just as difficult in their own ways. So now that I'm going into this one, it's telling me that I'm not ready for it, which I wish it would have told me that sooner. It looks like that really is the case. So what I might wanna do is just get whatever I can over here, which isn't much at this point. And I did notice on the map that this one is smaller. So maybe that'd be easier to do. And then what is this over? There was something over here. I don't know. But uh, this is a smaller one, the Horde of the Spore. This Horde to sort of build a new outpost. So I don't think we're strong enough to take that one on. And that's where it's like, there's sort of a bit of a lack of direction with the game right now, or I guess we're just supposed to sort of head on tackle some things and see what happens. It might not be very much, but uh, that one didn't turn out so well. That's okay. We'll go to one of the smaller ones and see if we can't do that a bit better because this definitely seems smart. It's just sort of way out of the way, you know? If that doesn't work out, then we gotta see what that is because that might be something cool. Uh, but those are the kind of things I'm, you know, I'm just trying to figure out and learn how to best go about this game. So it doesn't seem super straightforward, at least in my opinion. Uh, there we go, we'll put that there. And we're getting closer. Gotta keep running over. We got a beetle we can call over. Really just anything anywhere that we can sort of recruit as we're running through sounds like a good idea to me. 
keep seeing these all around. I don't really quite know what they can do just yet. We're running into some more of the piglins here, which is interesting because this is sort of like one of the little in-between areas, but we'll set up some stuff there so we're getting more stone. I'm still not seeing any iron anywhere. It's crazy. Really trying to just look around for it, but let's see. Gold discovered, you have found a new resource. Where? Uh. I did not see it on the ground anywhere. Regardless, I don't think we had the resources to pick that up, but gold melodies learned. I know that we might be able to get gold by defeating some of these, so I definitely wanna try that, but let's give this one a crack. We're almost there. See, this one's one out of four. Whoa, I'm climbing up the tree. So you'd think that for this one, we can handle it, right? We get a cutscene playing and everything. So maybe this one is a little bit more upper alley. Whoa. So the last one had those lava spires that we couldn't quite destroy. Oh no. What about this though? Plenty more piglins are coming in. The horde of the hunt is always on the move and have very little use for defenses. Be ready for their relentless attacks. Okay, so we need to find a sp space to um, set up some of these spawners. And then we'll do this one and that one. Okay, so first I definitely want to recall anybody who's out there, which I don't think we have any. So I think for right now, I'm going to focus really mostly on just destroying buildings. So I think a setup like this is gonna be pretty good. I don't wanna to spend too much on uh, the iron. So I just wanna do something like that run back out here and see what we can do. I think the first thing is taking on a tower like this. Seems like a good idea. We have all of our friends out here and they can just start punching it straight away. And we can do a pretty quick number to it, I think. We can keep all of our teammates healed too with his one go golem, so that's good. And I just sort of want to damage them whenever we can find. So, so far, that's gonna be broken. I want to go over here and sort of do the same thing. I don't know if they can get up there very easily, but I can definitely get up there because, you know, with the beetle, we can climb up a little bit better. Uh, the spikes, though, can definitely hurt. And this road thing is gonna be a bit scary, as you can see. Oh no, come on, guys, let's just get up here and destroy this spawner as soon as possible. Because if not, it becomes a bit of a problem. But man, are they really packing a punch here. Um, there's just so many, and they're all trying to go for us. I need to back up a little bit and heal. This is a super awkward position for everything to be in. Um, but it looks like, you know, everybody's really trying to break that thing down. So that's good. You think I'd just be able to help all around the side here. But I'm really trying to, but they almost got it. So I just need to play it safe for now. So I don't really have an easy way to get back out here. So if I do die here, it would not be fun. Because I have to try to travel all the way back over. Well, I guess we do have a village there that we haven't checked out. So maybe I should do that soon too. But for right now. Um, they're doing good. They almost have that destroyed. I think I'm just gonna let them do their thing and try to spawn in some more way over here. Come on, come on, let's just, with each building that we defeat, we are a little bit closer to getting this figured out. So we wanna spawn in some more of these guys for sure. And then I think a good army of the wooden ones would be great. Come on, come on. And it's nighttime, so hopefully some of the other mobs start to spawn in here. Some skeletons, creepers, would love to see that, but don't know if that's gonna work out just right away. Oh, there's still a little bit left on this, huh? Okay, we're going back in. I just wanna destroy this thing as soon as possible. So just get back in there and start swinging again. Fight off as many of the piglins as we can as well. And once this is destroyed, it's one less spawner to deal with, you know? So that would be great. And it seems like we're all working on it. It's just one of those things where the position of it is so awkward that a lot of them have a hard time even like really reaching it. And while they are, they're being attacked by a bunch of other piglins. So it's so cracked up, but it's still not down. And we're all the way down to just eight. This is crazy. I just really want to get rid of this one. Okay, I'm about to die again. I gotta be careful. It's a little frustrating. This game is so challenging so far. Uh, it looks like we're almost out of troops again. So I will let them do their thing and then I'll just spawn in some more. I think it is more. safe to say you have the horde's attention. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Here, let's uh, fight this little guy, this little piglin if I can. He's not being very nice. There we go. Okay, 
get some stuff over here. I still don't quite know what to do with the gold that we found, but we did find some gold. I don't know if that was just like a random chance. Because of some other things or what, but either way. Here we go again. This thing is, oh, it did, it did break, awesome. That's really cool. That means we can get our whole army here and then maybe just sort of sneak up somewhere else. I think that something like this is gonna be way easier to destroy because we're not falling off the side of the, the, the mountain constantly. All right, everybody, go for that. And while you're fighting, I'm gonna try to deal with everybody around here, but easier said than done. Oh my I think goodness. It is safe to say you have the horde's attention. Yeah, definitely. I just wanna destroy one more of these things if we can. After we do that, I think we'll be way better off just to maybe charge in. Oh, they are really going for me here. Um, Let's get up here. Come on, guys, you got it. There it is. So just charge forward into that crowd, and while you do, I'll run back and get some more reinforcements. I really wish I could bring the reinforcements thing a little bit closer because it does become a little bit of a chore to run all the way back over, over and over again. So for this one, we lost all of our guys there. So I do not want to spawn in any uh, What's it called this time? I need the healers or anything, because I feel like it's just gonna be a waste of the iron that I have. I'd rather do that, get everybody over as much as I can muster, and then try again. So with a little bit less of the reinforcements out here, this might be a great chance just to go out here like this and send everybody out going crazy onto the nether portal. Easier said than done at times, but here we go. We're already getting started on it. And anybody who comes up this way to try to stop us, I'm just gonna try slicing them away as our teammates. Really, you know, focus on another portal. Problem is sometimes they will get a bit distracted by whatever I'm doing, which I really don't want, but we're already down 10% with it. But as it's happening, what's, what's also happening is that we're losing our teammates. So while they're still fighting, I'm rushing back out for sure um, so that we can get even more reinforcements. I've just not seen any mobs that we could spawn in, you know? Which is sort of a shame. I see a piglin over here trying to cause issues for me. I don't appreciate, but here, let's, uh, I'm gonna have to fight them soon too, but uh, spawn in some more. And maybe this time, it's just, we, we got 20% of it there, which I mean, I guess it's something. Can't really complain too much. There we go. So calling everybody in. That's everybody. And then, oh, if I can get even just a little ocelot. You never know what might make a difference around here. So just grabbing whatever reinforcements we can find. We're at 80% right now. Let's go back in there. Destroy that nether portal. I want it gone. And if this one doesn't really make too much more progress, it might be a better idea. Well, we're knocking them off. That's cool. It might be a better idea to focus on some more of the other buildings, but it just seems like, you know, it's a lot of work. I don't know if I'm really, if it's supposed to be, this difficult? I mean, we didn't do any percentage of damage to this one. Okay, I have no health, but I'm still alive. Okay, I'm a little confused, but I'm not gonna complain. Uh, I did 1% of damage, or that was really weird. So I think we gotta focus on some of the other buildings. We can't brute force this one like we did before. Forsyth, you look troubled. The piglins have set their sights on another village. Uh-oh. They will come tonight. So while we're fighting all this, it looks like the, the piglins are coming in from somewhere else too. So I don't like that so much. I guess you're gonna be focusing on that village. So that's really bad. Um, I really just am not in a position to do anything about it. I think for right now, if we could just attack something like this, I don't even know what this is. But if we could destroy it before they really get to us too much, because they're not over here. They're all still sort of at the, the nether portal. So. Maybe some quick movements over here will help with some things. Let's try to get everybody over. So far they seem a little sidetracked, so if I could just help them focus. Because they're not over here yet, this is our chance to really make a difference. Come on. Because with each one of these things that we destroy, we're at least getting Prismarine, even if we're not successful here, we're getting more resources that we can use. Because now we have 12 gold. I did notice. So I guess that maybe the more we destroy these things, or just buildings in general, maybe we're getting gold that way too. That'd be awesome. So, I don't know, there's a lot to figure out here, but we're slowly making progress. Let's uh, do that a little bit. It's almost broken. The Piglins have finally sort of understood what's happening and they're really coming out here to fight. Okay, so calling over as many of them as I can. 
focusing on buildings. We got this thing. And maybe we could see somewhere what this is exactly. It doesn't seem to tell us. So we'll have to read more about different types of buildings and stuff soon enough. But for right now, we got this thing over here. Because we still have 18 of our little units. So let's call as many of them over. We can find. And then have it have them attack us now. Now we're up to 100 prisoners. So yeah, just grinding this stuff out seems to be pretty useful, pretty important. We're all pounding away at this one now. Maybe a good spot where I can come over here and just create at least these. And then also uh, line some of that stuff up. No iron around here, not too surprised. Okay, help out with this one. They got another one destroyed. Great job, everybody. We're gonna run over here. I wanna recall whoever is needed. Get a little bit more of an army. Oh, okay, because I do, do not have many of the wooden ones. Okay, calling them all over. What is next for us to focus on besides those guys? I think there's even more buildings waiting for us over here. Yes, there is. So let's go for this one. And once again, it's hard for all of them to sort of get around this little wall, but once they do, we can really do some damage to this thing quite quickly. Oh my gosh, there's so many piglins. I, if I can focus on the piglins, oh man, the problem is with that is that we lose health so quickly. Oh my gosh, yeah, I really don't wanna die here if I can avoid it. I'm just trying to run around. But it seems like a lot of them are staying busy, beating up some of the stuff I told them to. Maybe now I back up. And then once again, Yep, we just get some more materials. Back over here then. What can I do? Can, okay, there's nothing to recall. So I think I just go a 50-50 split here. Of, uh, of all these guys. Should be good. So let's continue with that strategy we had before, where we're sort of going around them. So before they can even realize where we're coming in from, we might be able to destroy an entire building. So if there's another tower over this way, those things are definitely worth knocking down because just them having any kind of long range offense doesn't sound so fun. So I think we could damage this thing down a good chunk before the majority of the piglins can get over here to stop us. And that's really nice. So in the meantime, go just keep them attacking it it's almost down more piglins are coming in as you can see they're not happy about it but it's too late anyways we're able to destroy it and then we can call everybody over and get them just to run 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 and maybe we can get somewhere else figured out now this feels like a good strategy okay that's just like a skeleton or something so we're going for this one now, and once again, the piglins haven't quite caught up to us. This might be the better idea. Instead of trying to fight it head on, use the fact that we have more mobility to them to our advantage. And really just run around. We're almost destroyed with this one. And you can see they're just now getting over here. And we still have all of our little units. So, hey, might have found a good strategy here. They're still chasing us, but we're gonna go for this one. And this is where they might catch up to us a little bit. But, you know, throughout this, we just got 10 more gold and more prismarine. So even if this is the slower route, it seems to be well worth it to me. Okay, see, now they're coming in. Now they're causing a lot more damage. But I think we can maybe destroy this before the majority of the horde comes in. And then I think we really need to back up from this one. We lost two. I don't want to lose any more. So if everybody wants to run with me, I don't know what that is, but it doesn't look like it can be destroyed. And now we've sort of made it full circle. So this is where, with a lot of them distracted, Let's get into this spawner one, or yeah, let's do the spawner over here. The spawner takes a lot more work to destroy. I don't know what this is. Okay, that shoots a lot of stuff too. So this is where things can get messy and it's gonna probably lose um, our current grouping, but that's okay. If we can just destroy the spawner, it's such a huge deal that it, I hardly mind. Come on, come on. More enemies are popping up from it. These, you know, these boars, these big pigs, whatever they're supposed to be really put up a fight. That was great. Let's work on destroying this next thing because a lot more of the piglins are coming in, but it's definitely thinner numbers than it was before. 
So I'm really happy with it. You know, the strategies we're sort of figuring out here. It's not perfect by any means, but we're, we're getting some. Now this thing, obviously, a lot stronger, but sort of the same idea. Okay, so I think while those guys are working on stuff, we need to back up and get a new horde out and ready. But hey, we found a working strategy that really feels effective. So that's great. And it's just sort of, I guess in other games is considered kiting where we're just sort of running around and they're trying to chase us, but we're able to get things done in that time. So I guess you could just sort of use that term here or kiting the enemy. Okay, so we got all these, these guys. We're gonna run all the way back out there. And are they following me? They are, they just got a little confused. They got the spirit. So if they're all over there defending that one big box, I probably don't wanna mess with that too much, right? I wanna go way out this way, where there's still plenty more of other things to destroy. But uh, if we can get out here, they are definitely coming over. I think we could at least damage this one down now. And I don't know if the buildings heal over time if we take too long. I guess we'll figure out sooner or later. I definitely want to get rid of this ranged guy. There we go. This thing is almost broken up. We are losing a few of them as more come in. But I think we got it. It's almost down. It's almost down. Come on, come on. Got it. So we call in whatever we have left. 14 of them. Good enough for me. I want to run back over. And get a couple more in, right? So, uh... I think I'm mostly gonna just make him the punchers. And then of course, once again, I want to, uh, even if it's just getting extra wooden stuff, make sure we're building up materials. Cause I think we're at the spot where we can go in and destroy the, the nether portal. They don't have as strong of reinforcements as they did before. So I think we can just, you know, if we can jump over, send all of our troops, oh, they are chasing after me too. So right here, and you are here, so I might as well beat you up. But Come on, come on, this is our chance. Already down to 74%, 72. It's going for sure. They're really punching it. Okay, really cool to see that then. And while that's happening, I guess it's just my job and my goal to defeat as many piglins as we can. This is definitely working out quite well, except for the fact that I'm losing health. Uh, down to 45%. Now we've only lost four of our One units. Push and the portal will fall. Definitely. But I have to be careful. If I die, it's a long walk back. So I just need to avoid that if possible. Um, we've only lost, you know, some of our reinforcements here. Some of them are getting knocked out a bit more. But we're so close. So if we could just tough it out for 20 more percent, that'd be huge, but we are losing more of our units. Come on, come on, we can do it. 13% now. This is getting somewhere. Okay, come on, come on. And then, oh no. Oh, I did die, I didn't even notice. Uh-oh, we were so close though. I wonder if it's still gonna break. It's really close to breaking. There it goes, it broke. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. So more piglins are rushing in, but this thing is about to blow. Uh-oh. You guys are in so much trouble. Boom, that is nice. Uh-oh. So of course they're running back to report the news that they sorely lost that one. Our arrow's coming in through the portal. That's cool. Whoa, but look at this guy. I can't tell who's attacking you at this point. These ghost scenes are so crazy. Uh-oh. Ah! Wait, don't do it! I think he's on your side! Oh no! The piglins are so mean to each other. But they're all rushing in. That was wild. So we did die, we need to respawn, but uh, that was still, I feel like, a job well done. All right, now we're way back here. But look at all we got from that. We got 47 gold. Dangerous stalks the nether, 
biding its time. Soon, I fear, it will hunt you. Oh, no. Behold of a hunt. These piglins are relentless. They never give up the chase. That is for sure. But as you can see, this is where we have this destroyed piglin base. You've dealt a heavy blow to the piglins. I'm still really curious about what's over here. Um, this is the horde of the hunt. The aggress this aggressive horde will stop at nothing to run down their prey mining outposts. This seems like a good thing to focus on. So where are we? We're way down here. I think I want to recollect anything that might be in a chest for us, which there is some extra stuff to grab. So that's really cool. Village chest rewards. We got 25 iron out of it. So that is something that's great to see. And we just got to move back towards that one goalpost. Oh, could I ride the horse instead? Swap mount. I might want to do that for a bit because I think the horse is a little bit faster. Missed you. Give him a scratch for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's cute. So yeah, we'll head up this way. I want to check out that mining outpost, and then we have to save the town before the piglins invade. That should be tonight. Wait a minute. I see. I think I see some iron. I think I do. Yeah. So right here, it can be hard to find these veins of ore, but when we find them, we can really take advantage of it. That's great. I'm glad we finally f found one. So that'll build us up some good material. So now that I know sort of like what the veins will look like, it'll be easier to sort of spot them. Like I see some more over here. Okay, don't mind if I do. I don't know if that undoes what we were doing before, but I don't think so. All right, maybe I've just been looking in the wrong spots this whole time. We're heading back through though. And oh, there's already piglins around here. Most of these guys, I think we're better off avoiding. But I'm glad that we were able to get rid of one of the outposts. I don't think we'll be able to totally clear out this whole section in today's episode, just because that would take a long time, but the word of the hunt. Yeah, so this is what we tried before. Didn't go so well. Now what I'm focusing on now, we're sort of just running through. You're not quite ready for this battle just yet. So I'm glad it did eventually warn us of that fact and didn't just have us running against the wall the entire time over and over. Because sometimes games will do that where it just doesn't really tell you. But it looks like, you know, we're doing a good job. We just gotta keep running over. Oh, we're back over where we just defeated something, but now something else is happening. What? What happened? Oh no. That looks like a piece of a piglin banner. The skeleton's car just provoked the wrath of the piglins. Not just the skeletons. Revenge has come to all of our friends, I am afraid. Oh is no. Is this the price of their bravery? So the mobs that have helped us are being attacked too. Are they showing up on the map as well? Or is that just, oh yeah, way up here. The skeleton homestead. The skeletons are brave, but they will not last long on their own. Then I definitely want to help with that soon, but it has to wait because we have to protect the one village. There's a lot to do. Seems like, I don't know how much of it's limited time, but obviously I'm trying to just learn as much as I can, build up our armies and do all that as I'm supposed to, but not always easy situation. Um, but if we just keep running around, I really want to check out this mining thing because it's just along the way to the village anyways. We're getting a little bit closer. I need to keep running through this grass because it gives us a little speed boost, which is always nice. There's some more piglins, so I think that means we're getting closer. Yeah, seems like it. It's weird that this thing doesn't even show up on the map unless you really zoom in. So I don't know if that's supposed to mean it's a secret or maybe even something we're not supposed to bother with right now. Whoa, okay, hold on, hold on. We do got guys waiting for us here. So if I could just, you know, just spawn in the basic stuff, I think that'd be a pretty good idea for right now. Uh, but it doesn't seem like too much. Oh yeah, I can spawn my mount right now if I wanted to. I don't think I need to. So we're gonna recall whatever we have. Ow! Come on, give me a second here. <laughs> These guys are not being super friendly. Here, recall, and then spawn in a couple. And then over this way, same thing. Respawn, or spawn in some of the cobblestone ones. And then I see, way out this way, a bunch of alpacas to see, I think. So if we could just gather up all of our troops. Wow, that is ridiculous. Um, and then go, go, go over here. I think I'm gonna send you guys over to this, and then I am going to rescue this thing. Open up the cage to save uh, all these guys. So can I make them attack too? Okay. That's gonna go. Okay, they're just gonna run. So no, I can't quite do anything about that. But while that's happening, oh no, our reinforcements are being hit by that giant. Is like a trebuchet out there or something? It has to be. But the big shots, it's firing. We almost have this first one destroyed. Got it, got it, got it. So let's get over here, destroy this thing too. 
But we know we're getting busy. We're getting a lot of work done. Oh man, <laughs> getting sent flying now. Let's make sure everybody's working on this stuff because it's almost destroyed. Actually, I sort of sent that something up the wrong thing, but it's almost busted anyways. Uh, so maybe I can finish it? I don't know if I can, but I'm trying to. Come on, it's almost broken, it's almost broken. Got it. Okay, now we all go into this one. While that's happening, if I can focus away the piglins, that seems good, because we actually haven't lost too many reinforcements. They don't have a lot around here. Okay, so they're all working on that. I notice over here, there's a lot more alpacas to save, so we might as well do this. Oh, and they destroyed it, that's great. So get that, go over here, break that thing. Right? Oh no, okay, hold on. We gotta call them all over. That's most of them. I think there's a few more over here or something. Come on, everybody's gotta help. But it looks like that's the most of it, so <laughs> maybe we're better off doing that. Come on, guys, let's get it all done. Because this is the big thing. We got a lot more gold for this, too, so that's cool. Maybe I should also break that thing? I don't know. Does it really matter if we destroy every single thing or not? But it'll be cool if we can maybe find more mobs. You know, we've had the skeletons and the creepers. There we go. We destroyed that, but that doesn't seem to be everything. The piglin launcher is now destroyed, so. Yeah, it seems like there's more to do here. Well, let's just get rid of this, because these are usually pretty easy to break, comparatively. But it'd be cool if we can maybe like recruit Endermen and different enemies like that, you know? We're slowly getting to this thing. I think this is the last thing here. Come on, come on. Almost there, guys. We got it. And there we go, the outpost destroyed. Well done, you destroyed a horde of the hunt outpost. Amazing, so we got a lot more gold for that and that's all cleared out. So now that it is, I wanna focus on this over here. So we're going to- This village will need your help tonight. I wanna get over there as soon as possible because it is almost nighttime. And then we will uh, have that quick travel there too, which would be really helpful. So really looking forward to all that. I could call over some friends. Oh, it's nighttime. So of course that also means, oh, I don't wanna get poisoned by this stuff, oh no. Uh, but of course I want to try getting any kind of mob to help us out would be fantastic. Which there isn't too many around, but whenever I do see any, I just need to team up with them. Okay, got it. Running over here, we need to speed up with all the tall grass. We definitely need to get some more um, improvements later in today's episode. Now that we got the gold and the prismarine, we should be able to use that to you know, be able to actually uh, collect things like redstone and coal, which we've run around a bunch, but we just don't have the ability to actually take it. Oh no, I think that's the noise. What was that? Uh-oh, here it comes. I'm not quite there, I'm not quite ready yet. The poor villagers. Here we go. So we gotta get over there as soon as possible. Cause they're rushing in. So many cutscenes, it's crazy. Have they found the village? I think they have, right over this hill. Oh, they're using the horn! This is a big problem. Everybody's running away. I would too, I don't blame you. Okay, here we go, guys. We need to get over to that village as soon as possible. The piglin's um, hunger grows with uh, the approaching dark. Be prepared for anything when the sun sets. Okay, dusk piglins are invading. The piglins are on the move. Stay alert, tonight nowhere is safe. Yeah, they're just the popping up right next attack. to me. Wow. Which one? Where? Check your map. They're going to need your help. Okay. More piglins approaching. Protect the fountain. It's everything to the villagers. Okay, so we're just going to send in whoever we can over this way and start helping out with this. So with this one, it's a little bit different. Instead of us trying to invade things and destroy, we need to defend and we have to do it for a certain time frame. While all that is happening then, we need to do things like build walls and arrow towers to help protect everybody. So let's get that going on. It's interesting how sort of, the, you know, it really is like the opposite in the way that, oh man. Uh, come on guys. None of my units are attacking right now, so 
that's not the best situation, but uh, maybe we can charge that way. There we go, there we go. A lot of those towers are still being made. I didn't have much time to you know, set those up. Oh, this is crazy. But this is what we need to focus on. You can see it's getting a bit beat up. We really don't want that. Two more minutes left to survive. I'm getting another tower out here. And maybe one more way out this way. That fountain is looking pretty rough. Don't let the piglins damage it anymore. Okay, I'm really trying to make sure they don't. So that means that we need to, uh, ah, oh, it's at 3%, 2%, no, it's gonna get destroyed. Ah, oh, it was just too many of them too quickly. Maybe if I had gone there sooner and set up walls in those towers sooner, it would have been fine, but this is where it's a problem. Clear the occupation, free the village, clear out all the piglins and repair the fountain. So we have piglins all over the place still that need to be dealt with. I'm still, of course, still, you know, like getting used to the controls and how to get rid of certain things and also, command my units in a way that's actually effective. So far, it's not always the easiest, but uh, we've got a lot of guys over here, and we're just gonna charge them over this way, just like that, because there's still, you know, 30 more piglins to defeat. Charge them over here, too. Well, we're getting farther and farther with it, so that's good. And the towers are starting to, you know, pop up and help out in that way, so that's good. Come on, just a few more. And we got it, occupation partly cleared. The piglins are gone, but the fountain still needs repair. So to do that, what do we have to do? Um, I don't quite remember. And I can open the chest, but this doesn't do too much. Um, the masonry, right, that's what we needed. Let's try building the masonry. Oh, no, 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 it was the carpenter hood? We probably need one of each anyways. Um, so we'll build those. Does the game explain what those are anywhere? Probably does. Uh, well, there's so many upgrades. So we'll be sitting and figuring that out soon. Masonry, permanently turns nearby walls, towers, and gates into stone. Okay, so not the masonry, it was the carpenter hunt. Repairs nearby structures within its zone. Healing effects cannot stack with additional carpenter huts, but can allow you to heal structures in a wider area. The carpenter hut affects most structures within the zone it creates. These, con these structures will slowly repair any damage taken over time. If a building is destroyed, the carpenter hut <laughs> cannot repair it. Okay, so it's back, that's great, occupation cleared. The village has been freed from the piglin occupation. So we didn't do the best of job, um, but it's okay. So we definitely wanna heal up more of these buildings because they're certainly beat up. And then soon enough, whenever we get like the announcement that like the piglins are coming to a new thing, I guess we need to get over there and uh, destroy it, or not destroy it, but like set it up as much as possible. So there's so much going on in this game. It's really cool, but also crazy. Um, I think in the meantime, let's go back to the Well of Fate. There's not too much more I can do there. I don't know if I can even quick travel there. If I were to, no, I can't. It might I can't. be time to put the prismarine you've got to good use. You can do that at the Well of Fate. Yeah, we have a this lot of prismarine. This attack last night, but might not be so lucky next time. So, what I want to try to do now is take a look. We have our improvement in Gather Iron, but if we take a look, there's so many other improvements. Like we can do Gather Coal. Enables Gather allies to collect coal. Each additional improvement allows you to carry 150 coal. Coal unlocks advanced structures and can be used to spawn creepers. The first upgrade grants 25 coal and enables village chests located in meadow or ally chest and any biome that contain coal. So that's what I want to do first is get some coal upgraded because I would love to spawn in some creepers. So we'll get that started. And then we have redstone. Enables gather allies to collect redstone. Each additional improvement allows us to carry 150 redstone. Redstone unlocks advanced structures and can be used to spawn zombies. The first upgrade grants 25 redstone and enables the village chest, of course, in the swamp or ally chest, and any biome that contain redstone. So we've seen a lot of redstone just sort of hanging out. So if I could, you know, get some of this set up, I think it'd be great. The next thing was diamond. They just need the right inspiration. And okay. now that inspiration is just a few notes away. Awesome, so they're talking, but uh, we have diamond. Diamond unlocks advanced structures and can be used to spawn skeletons. The first upgrade grants 25 diamond and enables village chests located in the tundra or ally chests in any biome to contain diamond. But for that, we don't have enough prismarine. You can see there's some other things here too. 
and that some of that stuff requires more gold, like the banner, improves your banner of courage to rally more mobs with you at a time. So we'll have to go out and collect more prismarines soon so that we can make those upgrades happen. But how exciting is all that, that we're really making some progress with some things I definitely wanna work on some more soon, get some more uh, coal and redstone. That would be great, but so far a great start for sure. Um, you can see that here, we got the, uh, Oh wait, that was the impure, improved netherrack one. Oh, I didn't even realize I did that one. Okay, so I did this one. I thought I did the redstone. So cure netherrack, an essential upgrade that greatly aids in fighting back the piglin threat, uses it to push into their bases and build structures at their gates. So we have that one built. Interesting. So that will be really important for just, you know, getting certain things set up. Glad that I, I did that one instead then. We'll get the redstone set up soon enough, I'm sure as well. But as you can see, there's still much more to do here. I want to fast travel back this way and see... Just... Is this still being built? Yep, it's still at 50%, and everybody's still over here. So, maybe I could build some walls and stuff. Would that be helpful in this situation? I guess so. Um, Because we have some towers now. I think if I were to go back over here... Get one over there but I am running a little bit low on, oh, stone now. So if I go like this, I get a lot more stone, and I can collect some more of our, or I guess some of our first redstone. No, that's netherrack, I'm so silly. Okay, so I can't do that just yet, but it'll happen soon. Okay, so if I were to do anything else though to help defend this town, it'd probably be building the extendable walls, because you can do that all over the place, but I guess right around here is what we want, is this is sort of the range of the village. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, the controls can be a little bit to get used to, I suppose, with this. Come on, come on. Uh, there we go. Might use, you know, a good amount of wood, but we can always get more. I plan on it, so. Just doing this can be good. I definitely want to um, get like a gate out too. For that, I need a lot more wood. So we're, so we're sort of running out now. So you get the idea of how this can get pretty complicated, which is why it's great to always just run around. Because I actually have more of these guys I can put out, I think. Oh, no, oh, wait, I can't build right there. I think, you know, they're all working. But I do not see any really any stone to grab over here. And we can also check out some of the other chests. That might be another good way to get some stuff. This thing is all walled up now, which might make it a bit more difficult to actually get inside. Didn't think about that too much, but we want to create some gates soon. Like this. I probably want it maybe like over here. Whoa, cool. Get this here, and then this. Is that not... I think they're too busy. I'll never take the sun for granted again. Better check out your map to see what kind of damage the piglins did last night. Oh no. So they're planning to attack this village up here. We haven't even been to that one though, so I don't know if there's like the too much I can do to, to worry about it. When the sun sets tonight. And I think that just sometimes is gonna happen, you know? And then I can just sort of go through. That's gonna be useful later on. Right now it seems a little pointless because we can walk around it, but look at this. We're at 90%, this fountain is almost totally fixed, which will help out a lot. After that happens, I might want to go... Okay, I'm out of the stone ones. They're still gathering stuff some other places. But, uh... Okay, now we have enough, right? There we go. Um, Once this is done, I want to go to the, some of the other villages and just sort of collect some of the other things. Okay. I did not mean to send them running over, but that's okay. 96% now, we're getting a little bit closer, and... Almost there, you guys got it. So the last little bit is taking its time. Okay, there it goes, I think it's done. So I don't really know what that means. I guess that means we can get back to generating things in that chest. With that job done, let's just go to the other villages really fast and just see if there's anything in the chest that we can grab because that can be definitely useful. Uh, Yeah, there definitely is. So open chest and we get ourselves a lot of stone and wood, which doesn't always seem like a lot, but I definitely need it. 
Because as I've said before, I'm not usually the best at these kind of games. I always try my best, but I'm not the best at actually playing well. So any kind of resources we can get. Okay, that's this the well house. Is at peace for now. Let us hope they avoid the piglins' hungry eyes. Me too. Me too. I'm hoping that as well. But we are going to just check out this last one, this last village that we have under our control. Open the chest up and we got the limit for that one. So that one didn't really have anything crazy for us. So we are continuing to knock down some more of the Horde of the Hunt. The little smaller ones, like we have the Horde of the Spore and like the Horde of the Hunt here. We'll definitely want to work on things like that. But on top of that, I think that there is a village that might become under siege. This village will need your help Ooh. tonight. Maybe we can help out that soon too. And there's things like the Skeleton Homestead. The skeletons are brave, but they will not last long on their own. And this might be what we want to focus on first. So if we take a look at this one, this of course is in the tundra, a frigid contrasting landscape peppered with large sweeping ice waves and sunken hot springs. Home of the noble skeletons, the skeleton homestead is marked by a fierce skull that rises out of the tundra with a roar, occupied by piglins. So we need to go and help out there. So I think that's, that's what we'll do. Oh wait, did I just remove it? Whoops. We'll get that done. Um, there's a couple of things I also learned about the game that we'll be trying to apply in today's episode. Um, things like I can actually control specifically which mobs I want to send where. So if I want to send like, you know, the melee mobs over here and then the range mobs over that way, I can actually do that. I don't have to send everything all in one spot. So that could end up being pretty useful. On top of that, I think that we could, um, focus a little bit more on actually attacking piglins with their melee move, because I didn't realize that the melee move doesn't even, are we going the right way? We're sort of not. Uh, the melee move does not damage buildings or anything. So we just want to focus on attacking piglins with it. Yeah, we'll run over there and we'll just do what we can. Um, it looks like, what is that? Something this, oh, there's some more piglins already, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. We're not even that far along the running the piglins, so. Just sort of want to get rid of whatever guys we can like that because prismarine is a big thing that we need to earn up in today's episode. Um, we have a lot to work with when it comes to that because there's a lot of upgrades we want to sort of try to get. So we're running through this swamp for now. If we find anything cool, we'll definitely have to get it. We're maxed out in stone and wood, but if we find any iron or coal, definitely want to grab that. So far, I haven't seen any. There's some green ooze over here. You can't really get that. And there's a lot of redstone deposits around this way. Okay, here's a lot more of them. And that makes me think, is there anything over here? Not directly, but there is some stuff here for the Horde of the Sport. Um, but we might as well get rid of some piglins along the way because if not anything else, they could drop Prismarine, but I think they mostly will just drop Lapis. Maybe Prismarine is just by the buildings. Not entirely sure, but fight you off. And I think we should keep moving. We still have a little bit more to go before we get to where we're trying to go. Because now we're making our way into the more so like the tundra area. We're moving pretty quick. Oh, there's diamond. So good to keep that in mind. Oh, there's a little fox here too. Uh, huh. So good to know like what different resources we could potentially find. In the tundra, it looks like it's diamond. And I'm pretty sure it'll tell us on the map. Yeah, it'll tell us on the map that like diamonds are there, redstone in the swamp, iron in the forest. So, you know, just keeping notes on that kind of stuff is pretty important. Imagine if we could just find diamond like this out on the surface as easily as in normal Minecraft would be pretty crazy. There's a lot of skeletons around here, which is to be expected considering, you know, it's uh, the skeleton's home over this way. I did see a couple of wolves too, which is cool. Oh no. Oh, something's happening. The poor skeletons under siege. Quickly. Is it too late for the skeletons? Do not lose hope, for hope has just arrived. And that hope comes in the form of us and all of our friends. So here's hoping we can actually make this happen. We got our whole crew here. We've got a little wolf with us, so that's good. Uh, so I wanna get a little bit closer before we start spawning in some of these, but it definitely will be worth doing. Right here and then right here. So we don't have a ton at the moment. Apparently there's gonna be a way to uh, get even more of them soon. I don't have to destroy too many buildings, so I think we'll focus more on this. We have 63 piglins to fight. So once we get all those guys out, we get we just gotta get going. So you now I can charge them that way. And then just get to fighting. We got a lot to stay busy with, right? So getting everybody over. And we're gonna fight all this stuff too. 
Oh, we got the big guys here too. So we're already down to 50 piglins to defeat, and it's getting lower and lower. So while that's happening, oh no. Okay, I see way over this way. We're gonna charge our group over there. While that's happening, I need to open up these cages, get these skeletons out. I wonder if we can recruit them, or are they just gonna run away? Okay, they'll help out straight away, which is really cool. Side. Now they'll help you free their friends. Awesome, sounds like a plan. So huge hordes of skeletons are by our side now. We are just going to keep going. It looks like over that way. But we're not quite done because there's even more over here and even more skeletons waiting for us too. Whoa, we get launched super high, but just gonna open this up as soon as I can. Down to 20 piglins to defeat. Got it. And I might just try out a little bit on my own here. Just to fight some piglins. Already down to just 10 more left to defeat. Come on, come on. Gotcha. And over here, we got some of the big boars. One more piglin right here. There we go, we got it. And I guess any other skeletons that are locked up are freed. That's awesome. So we're chasing the piglins away, teaming up with the skeletons. A job well done. And now the skeleton infantry is at our service. Whoa. That was so cool. So, what do we do now? now Obviously, there's still some more piglins. They can do together. Lead them to the portal and watch those arrows fly. Okay, lead them to the portal. Where exactly is the portal? I don't know. Anywhere it could be. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing it around. Uh, I'm a little confused. Okay, well, let's not attack our friends here. It's gotta be around somewhere. Oh, over there, okay. Um, okay, actually I keep getting the mobs mixed up. These guys are our friends. Let's get more of these spawned in. And then I'll do the same thing with the uh, other two. And we will just first off recall whatever I can and then spawn in a good chunk. And then also a lot more of these guys. Got, okay, a lot happening here. If we could just fight these guys off really quickly before we do too much more because uh, it's not gonna get messy. But I do wanna get some of the healers too. And then just sort of call everybody over. We got a lot of people under our control right now and we just have to go in. With that being said, are there, yeah, there are buildings to take on. Um, we wanna do that as much as possible. They might destroy my spawners. At some point, I just would have to let that be. Remember, I can't damage buildings, so we just have to let them do their thing. We have to fight off the mobs while that's happening. Okay, it looks like they destroyed some of the, the spawners over here, but they got rid of one of them, so that's great. Um, we did lose some, so I'm going to spawn in two more. And then same deal with everything else here. I'm just going to send it out there. Oh man, there's a lot going on, but we were able to destroy everything, so that's good. So let's get everybody over here and now focus on this target right here. While that's happening, I'm definitely fighting off the piglins. And oh, look at this, there's more camps of skeletons to save. This would be really good to focus on too. So, gonna get all you guys to come with me here in a moment, but might as well swipe away at some more piglins. And oh, they destroyed it. So we're gonna go over there, call over whoever I can, same deal. I think we have a couple more friends over this way I can get the attention of. Same thing, focus on that stuff. So it's a lot of action. We have gained more Prismarine out of this, which is nice. I think it really is from destroying the building, so. We have to focus on that when we have opportunities. We're able to stay at a pretty high health here just because we have the healers. I think for the rest of our guys, it's really the same thing. Come on, we almost got it. These piglins are tough to fight that, for sure. So we are losing more of our team here. I need to maybe back it up, sort of recoup a bit, a bit, just like that. I have a lot over here, but it feels like I'm definitely missing a few. So if I run backwards, oh look at all the skeletons over there. So definitely if I could, um, okay, call you guys in, spawn a few more, recall everybody, just like that, perfect. And then same deal over here, I want to spawn in three of those guys. 
Gotta be careful, I'm running, running a little low on iron, but we have so many skeletons over here that I should just be able to get to join me, right? Well, I can't really because my maximum seems to be 25. So while this is all happening, I'm gonna send you guys out there, get back over here. I definitely want to try to increase my maximum for the troops I can control because that seems to be a big factor in everything. So now we have another 21. My maximum is 25, I just really gotta keep that in mind. So. As you can see, what happened there is that they've already destroyed that. So I'm sending out this group there, and then this group I'm going to get back into control and send it out a different one. And this is where, you know, it really becomes real-time strategy, where we need to make multiple calls all at the same time. But look, while that's happening, even more skeletons are showing up for the fight. So I might as well try to get them to group up with some other things. If that means destroying this, then so be it. And I will try to fight off some stuff over here. We still have all of our troops over here and they're really trying to destroy this thing. So if I could help protect them, it's probably a big idea. Come on, we're getting it, awesome. So with that done, there's still more buildings to work on and there's more skeletons to save too. So I'll get this right here. Okay, come on guys. They just hit me right at the end of that. Really, that's unfortunate, but um, come on. I'm still getting hurt here, so I can't, I guess, am I poisoned? I don't know, it was still doing damage to me, so I really couldn't do much. But, if I could just get the skeletons out here, and then have them just sort of attack, generally, I don't think they need to focus on buildings too much. Let's charge this general area. A lot of our troops have been defeated, so I think it might be a good time to go back and sort of recoup whatever we have, and then focus on this target, that spawner would be great to deal with. We've got a couple more around here. Oh, and the healer, still over here. Need to deal with that. Let's spawn in a couple more range attackers. But more than that, I definitely need the building busters, these cobblestone ones. Got it, okay, so we're gonna save these skeletons, I'm determined to. We have 23, okay, well that's not what I wanted. Uh, yeah, come, come around here, guys. <laughs> Don't go the way I went. Whoops. Uh, and there is maybe a tower we can deal with or something. Yeah, right over there. Maybe I should have sent them to do this instead. Either way. Um, they're all going in. We've got a bunch more skeletons and a couple more of the golems over this way. I think I want them to do some similar stuff. Maybe even way out there. Okay, they're going. Very cool, so if I have skeletons like these guys, I want them to also focus on the buildings. This is going pretty well, this tower should be broken up pretty fast. I feel like you know we're really trying to figure out you know, how this game works, it's going pretty well. Getting a better understanding for sure. We have this big group, send them over here. It looks like there might be a couple of extra guys, you know, just chilling out. And luckily they don't just sit idle, they still do help in some ways. There we go, so we're sending huge armies out there. And there will be ways to upgrade our maximum capacity of things. We'll definitely be doing that sooner or later. And that'll make a big difference. All right. So that's all broken up. Send the next group right over there. We're keeping it nice and simple. I wanna destroy as many buildings as possible. So. Working on that seems to be a pretty big idea. And then were there still a lot of guys over here? So we sent them through that one building. There's a good couple of them, so let's get this huge group of skeletons, actually. Yeah, okay. You guys will all follow me, and we are going to go way over here to get started with this building. Um, and we've done some damage, of course, another portal in this time, too, which is great. Sort of just trying to do a little bit of everything. I think we'll all convene on this building. I'll just give it everything we got, and it should break up pretty fast because of that. I hope. Yep, it's definitely getting there. I don't know if there's too many more buildings I wanna bother with here. It looks like a lot of the skeletons are turning their attention on the other stuff anyway, so. Keep focusing on this. Whatever these skeletons want to do. It looks like they're sort of focusing on another portal. Okay, they broke it, that's great. We're gonna get over here, and I think it's time to take out this nether portal. It's already down to 30%. We handled this one really well. Now that I'm sort of figuring out exactly what I can do in terms of like 
but we can hold, manage. <laughs> We're doing a really good job. So that's great. We jumped up over a hundred Prismarine here too. So overall, really good results. And there's that Nether Portal defeated. I think the Skeleton Camp is gonna be a lot safer after that. Awesome. Diamond discovered too, you haven't found a new resource. Hooray, great job everybody. Really glad to see it. Everybody's happy and celebrating too. So what's gonna go on now? Everyone's so sparkly. What the LA's? They're building something. Huh. Is it another flame of creation? An archer's salute. Now that is a high honor. Very cool. So I think it's safe to say that us and the skeletons are pretty the close friends. The skeletons recognize Whoa. you as one of their own. As long as that flame continues to burn, the skeletons will fight by your side whenever you need them. That's fantastic. So as you can see, we can now make, and I'll, I'll try one right now, just to, for the sake of it, um, as we go back in the tundra. There's some new enemies over here too, so let's try fighting them. But uh, we have a skeleton spawner. And I think that took some diamond to create, but you know, this is just to test it out really quickly. We'll definitely have to get some, uh, what's it called, some diamond staff. <laughs> You know what I mean. Uh, some diamond resource managing. We can't actually, it, uh, what's it called? Mine it at the moment, but well, look at our full group here. I mean, it, it gives us more than we can actually work with at the moment, but it's yeah, really good to know about all that. Look, so, it's a frost tower. Oh, what is this then? I'm very curious. We run up to this tower, investigate, huh? Is this like a different mission? What is going on with this? Well, well, this old frost tower is still standing strong. Hmm, I'm trying to remember what I built these for. Oh no, they're running. Whoa! <laughs> Yikes. Oh, he's gonna freeze. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I don't think that was what I had in mind, but it'll do. That was cool. The Elaine's can help you take that tower with you if you want. And there are even more of them scattered all around the overworld. Come back to the well and I'll teach you how. So I can collect it? Improvement collect towers is required to collect the frost tower. Interesting, so I'm right here. I think it's already marked on the map, but that's good to know. Now this town is still gonna be attacked by tonight, so we should probably get over there soon. But in the meantime, we got quite the group going on here. We wanna head back, and I definitely wanna get some other upgrades figured out. So here we are, and let's see. We have things like gather iron already set up, uh, but we could do gather redstone, since we haven't done that one yet. We'll put that right here. Cool. That's great. And then we have things like gather diamond, which I also haven't set that up. I do not have enough resources for this one. That one require a hundred prismarine. So I have gather coal, we have cure nether rack, um, wake the firsts. And that's where I get a little curious. There's a lot to do, of course, but you now we have the coal here, nether rack, gather redstone. Um, and the skeletons. Um, spawn skeletons, long range mobs capable of shooting over walls, but are susceptible to melee attacks. Interact with structures, with the structure to spawn them. So for this one, it's 25 wood, 25 stone, and five diamond. And then also, you know, there's a lot more we can learn about here, but what I'm mostly focused on is this stuff. If the ally storage would be great, abundant allies, the banner, I, what was the thing? Plus 15 mobs that can rally around you at once. This could be really good. We don't have enough prismarine. So just upgrading different things like that is gonna take some time, but this is why it's worth it to go everywhere we can. Enables you to assemble golems found throughout the world for a gold and resource cost. So we, we don't have the prismarine for any of that. It's just gonna cost 100 for each upgrade, I, I assume. So I think we'll go with, you know, trying to figure some things out here, but I'm glad that we could help the skeleton homestead. The skeletons are ready for another go at the piglins whenever you need them. Awesome, so I guess that means we should help out the creepers and the zombies soon enough too, so that they can help with being reinforcements and stuff. So really good to see all that. I wanna run all the way over here though, and try to help out this village before it's too late. 
because that could definitely be an issue. All right, so we'll want to yeah, run through all this. And while we're running through this area, we should see, you know, the crusts of the landscape. We have iron here, diamonds there. Okay, cool. So I definitely just want to explore what we can, get whatever resources we can find. Like right here, is this coal? Uh, I guess not. It looks like there's, oh wait, there is. There is some iron there, cool. So definitely want to earn up whatever iron we can find. If we can find some other stuff too, like it looks like we need some wood and stuff, I should might as well, you know, try to get that kind of thing. Looks like I can maybe yeah, get a little bit more here. Not seeing too much more iron. There's a lot more piglins popping up, which I'm mostly gonna ignore them because we're racing against the clock right now. What is that? That's another type of piglin, I guess. They look pretty intense. So now we're in the tundra, so we could end up finding some diamonds. I think I might see some over there, it's glowing. Is that diamond? No, it's not diamond. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so. Running over here once again, ignoring the piglins wherever I can. Cause they're sort of on the outskirts of their area. Like defeating them doesn't really do too much for me besides like lapis, which I have a lot of lapis. I have near the maximum, 250 is the maximum, so I really just don't have to worry about it too much. Gonna run up here though. Just gotta run, run, run. We're almost at that village. I just wanna be there and ready to defend it because it's gonna happen soon. And this is the only village we haven't been to, so we'll be able to set up that quick travel, which would be amazing. So all these other types of piglins we're running into, I'm mostly just trying to ignore them, but it looks like the incoming horde of the Bastion invasion, the piglins are moving to attack. We don't want that. Oh, what happened to my, I thought, oh, I didn't put down the diamond thing. I guess it was just a redstone that I did. Okay, <laughs> whoops. But the piglins are already here. Village occupation, the village has been occupied by piglins and the chest has been raided. So now we need to defeat all these piglins. We need to um, definitely create some spawners wherever we can find a space for it. That should be enough for now. Um, Cause I mostly just want to get the little wooden ones. And also I can recall whatever might not be here. But I think I will charge some units over that way. Whichever ones are in my control. <laughs> like that, send them off like this, and then spawn in more. So we can get quite a lot right now. All right, so do this, send them off maybe over there. And now we're fighting a lot of stuff, you know? All of our units are getting quite busy. So really, really cool. Only a few more piglins we already have to take out. So that's good. And all of our villagers are locked up. Partly cleared. The piglins are gone, but the fountain still needs repair. So while the piglins are running, I wanna open up these cages, and then we'll craft the things that we need to to repair these villages. And I do wanna spend some time, maybe in today's episode, maybe just more in general, but uh, defending the towns, getting things set up. So one thing I did notice is that you really only need to defend the fountain. So if we can just make a wall around that instead of the entire village, that's probably a good idea. So if I could maybe just get started with that, like even if it means, you know, creating a gate right here and then making walls around it. That's probably a good idea. So I think that's just sort of our first thing of defense that we'll be doing. This is make this over here like that. And we'll have to catch more wood catch. Uh, I guess collect more wood soon. There we go. And then just a little bit more over this way. They have that gate there, so you know, they should be safe. But I know we haven't rebuilt the tower just yet. We'll do that in just a moment. I guess I should have done that first. Get a little distracted, but uh, got it. So that's all nice and protected. If we go over here, we can do the carpenter hut. I think that's what we needed, right? Not the masonry. Here's hoping. Um, but there we go, that should help this stay a lot more protected. And then everything else, you know, we have the scatter tower, which I don't know what the scatter tower does. Um, we can take a deeper look at some things. Uh, scatter tower, short range tower that shoots a volley of arrows at enemies that come within range. This tower can be upgraded by other structures. So I think we do want that maybe closer to everything here. There we go. And it's at 1% now, so it is slowly rebuilding while we're doing all this, that's great. Uh, the village has been freed by piglin occupation, hooray! So things are looking a lot better here. We'll get that chest access soon enough, but um, I think for now, 
The village discovered you can now fast travel to this village by selecting it on your map. You can travel as often as you like, as long as the village fountain continues to flow. So we're doing pretty good with everything there. Um, what would I need for this set? I don't have enough coal. Gotcha. But we can, of course, make some longer range towers, because those only require wooden stone, and I have plenty of that. So if I wanted to, um, just sort of get a couple of those I'll never posted up. Some for granted again. Oh no. Check out your map to see what kind of damage the Piglins did last night. They're planning their next invasion. That's not so good. So we can use our map to prepare a response. I'll be doing that soon, but I need to get more wood. So that's what we'll have to do for all the villages, is really just try to collect resources and make them super well defended. But uh, in the meantime, is there any stone to get around here? Doesn't seem like it. Just trying to keep the galleys busy as much as I can. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Where are they headed to next? It doesn't seem to tell me. I'm a little confused, but uh, of course we could go to some of the smaller ones. I probably want to do that then, because um, those are easier and they give us a lot more rewards that we can use to upgrade stuff. So, you know, we've been helping fail to defend against an attack. An attack last night. But might not be so lucky next time. And that's why we're trying to rebuild it. So it just might take some time at this point. I think what we want to do is get all of our units together. Yeah, let's recall everybody. It's gonna be a lot, isn't it? Oh, actually not too much. Okay. Um what I wanna do is just try to take on one of these. So whatever ones may be close enough to one of our spawn points. But this one over here, I want to focus on the Horde of the Hunt where I can, so I'll place a marker on this. We'll go to this village, we'll also grab whatever might be available in the chest. And work from there, should be fun. So I think we're getting into like a better flow of the game and figuring some things out, but we get a lot of iron out of that, which is always good, but over there is where we need to go. So let's do this, and this is of course the, the forest over there. We're currently in the dry savanna, an arid landscape of dried grass, stone outcrops, and small watering holes decorated with strange coral plants in the forest. Um, a landscape of sturdy, richly colored trees, winding streams, and bubbling puddles. So both of those have iron for us. If we just find any kind of uh, iron resource, we just need to take it. Which right now, I'm not seeing any, but you never know. I do need stone though, and wood, just whenever. I mean, actually, no, I'm maxed out on both right now. Never mind. <laughs> We're good. So, we keep running out this way. I think I might already see it in the distance. We'll just run over and find out. Yeah, I do. Okay, so this is where we could once again at the least build one of those so I can recall if I need to, but I think we're just gonna send everybody out that way. It's a whole bunch of them. Um, and that should really yeah, help us get to work pretty fast. But I think I do need to make more of the stone, cobblestone ones. So if I could just uh, spawn four more in and then have them also focus on that. Actually, never mind. it's already broken. So we'll just go for the next one then. There's a bunch of little alpacas there that we need to help out. Poor things. But same deal. Focus on that spawner while that's happening. Maybe to feed a piglin, release this cage, and this should help us get more prismarine, which is honestly feeling like the most important thing that we could get at the moment. Okay, we'll have you guys move over here as that one's starting to break. Um, but then the rest of them, same deal. Get them over there. We're doing some pretty quick work to this. So these smaller ones are a great way to sort of earn up resources. We should be getting gold from that. Yeah, we do. It's like a little mining facility kind of thing. Um, so get that. Can I slice away this like taller grass? I guess not. Would be nice if I could, but can't really. Um, get them over there. Is that something to destroy? It doesn't seem like it, so. There's not even that many piglins around right now. Like we got one over here. And one over there. This thing is almost broken. Come on, come on. You guys got it, great work. And then over here, I think this is the last thing. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else, so go for this tower. You guys got it. Got more of a group. Send them over. Anybody else that might be around? It looks like we have some skeletons that are just sort of, uh, they chill out in behind, so it's easy for them to sort of not know what to move to next and me to totally miss them. So if we get everybody over here and start fighting this thing, it's the last building, so it should be destroyed pretty quick. 
But we did a great job. This was actually really cool. So I'm definitely getting better at commanding our little army, which is, you know, exactly what I want to see. It's one little piglin over here. Might as well take them out. Ready? Gotcha. Okay, so there we go. Outpost destroyed. Well done. You destroyed a horde of the hunt outpost. Cool. So, try to get as many of my little teammates here as possible. Seems like we did a good job with that. So, yeah, if I take a look with this one destroyed, what else is around here? Because I think just focusing on that, because we jumped up some Prismarine there, not enough to get another upgrade that we need 100. So, it looks like this one might be our next best bet. So, we'll teleport back to this village and sort of just rinse and repeat, do that again. But that chest already ready and waiting for us again. So, I will open this one up. Oh, okay. So I guess the chest will just refill, but it doesn't have any, the, the resources slowly replenish. So I didn't get too much out of that one because we just opened it not too long ago. So that's good to know. Um, In the meantime, a little low on wood. So I'll do that. We're sort of running around the same area again. So if I can find any iron. Oh, okay, there we go. There it is. Yeah, I don't know why. It's so easy to miss sometimes, but uh. And is this it? No, no, no. Okay, so this is where we can not gather redstone, but can't build on this type of terrain. I think that if I do this, it'll return Great. it back to normal. Delays are eager to start healing the world. How much resources does that cost? Anything? I don't know, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that costs me any resources, which is great. So we can, you know, really just get them set up everywhere. Um, obviously, only when I have the least to spare, but that was a good start. So we'll have to keep working on all that soon enough, just so that the world is prepared. And is this redstone? This is redstone, but I don't have any uh, LAs available, so I have to wait a moment, because they're still gathering my iron and stuff, but that is really cool. So we know that the redstone's here. We'll come back for it, I think, maybe, because we have to focus on all this over here. So if I go to this, I think we'll do the same deal again. Um, oh, wrong thing. Uh, there we go. But you know, this is enough of a group that I should be able to just send them in straight away, especially on that giant tower that's launching stuff at us. Um, actually, maybe I'll recall some. Let's see, who does that bring back? A lot of them. So, send that back out. We're just gonna spawn in some more of the cobblestone guys. And they are going to work on that thing. While that's all happening, we can save some villagers. Poor guys are all trapped up around here. Got it. So that tower is almost destroyed. Getting over here, doing more of the same. Come on, come on. It looks like they broke that one big tower. So what I need to do is just run over there as soon as I can. I wish we could maybe set up like a queue of commands, like, okay, destroy that tower, and then after you're done with that, move over that way. Because if not, it does become a little bit of a hassle, you know, to send them. You gotta run all the way back over there and then send them somewhere. Okay, so they're almost on destroying this thing. Uh, feels like there was more over here before. Now it's just this one guy. So, uh, maybe we'll just leave him to it. Okay, leave the villagers alone. And then start going for this, okay. And while that's happening, a lot of these guys, they they did move over. And that's good. Because we're almost done with this one. Like, we're making really quick work of it. This whole fortress area, so, so far so good. This stuff always has a lot of health because it spawns in everybody. Are they stuck down here? Poor things. Okay, they got all that. Let's go for this one. And whatever other units are left. I'll get them to start on the other one over there. Oh, this one guy is just in the lava. Okay, so they're breaking up this wall, this whole thing. Come on, come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Sent them for the wrong thing. Okay, here, just almost get this. There we go. Now we go here. And same thing with this whole group. Whatever's around, send them in. And this should be the last one. Looking good, outpost destroyed. Yet another outpost just totally dismantled. We get some prismarine out of it, enough so that we could get another upgrade if we wished. Um, and I think we'll do that soon enough. But in the meantime, I think we should 
fix up some more terrain. Just like that. And I think we should get some redstone too. Just because we've run by it a little bit. That was uh, back over here, I think. I don't see any other iron deposits around here, but you never know. Yo, it's right over this way, I think, because that's where we were repairing stuff. So if I get over here, yep, I already see it in the distance. I want to get some redstone and another one right over there too, so we can definitely get busy with this. So, wait, no, wrong one. This one. This just looks sort of similar. And then some more over here. Got it. I think we're doing pretty fine on wood and stone. So I guess if we have anything else, I should continue to repair this stuff. Because I'm guessing that once we get it repaired, this will just be an opportunity for actual salvageable materials to show up. Definitely takes some time to get through that. Okay, so with that done, what more do we want to do? We have enough prismarine that we could go back over here and maybe get some upgrades figured out. That'd be great, right? So I guess we'll find out. We're back here in the Fate Lands. I want to get at least one more upgrade because we already got Gather Redstone. Gather Diamond is another big one, but I think uh, Flames of Creation, what would I need more of? I would need 200 Prismarine for that. Let's just take a quick look at this stuff. Uh, we would want the, what was it? The abundant LAs, LA storage. So many things here, but I guess this one, the improvement banner. Or would it be better to, there's so many options. Um, I guess this would be the best thing for now. And um, we have enough for it, the improvement banner. I don't think it's on my thing, on my menu here. So let's customize our hot bar instead of this one. No wait, there we go. Just for now. That way I can place one of these. It'll cost me 100 Prismarine, but that'll make it. So yeah, I should be able to get a lot more than 25 to join us now. I don't know exactly how many. Oh, there's some stuff here. What is this? Is this iron? It is iron, cool. So we'll get some iron there. All right, we're getting some more. We're doing some stuff. Really exciting. We'll get some stone and wood. But um, I think if there's anything more beyond that to spend today's episode on, I mean, there's still a lot we could do. Obviously, the zombie and creeper homesteads, I want to focus on saving them some other time. I think we could go for these two, these other hordes, because we're getting some good rewards for it. So that's going to be this way. I think we'll get rid of those, and that's sort of the extent of what we'll do in today's episode. I don't know if those crop back up eventually. I know that the bigger ones seem to be a bigger deal, so I want to definitely chip away getting rid of those soon. I think we'll get rid of, like, you know... We'll save the creepers and then do the Horde of the Bastions small camp. And then maybe we'll save the zombies and do the Horde of the Spores small camp. Um, I want to do the larger camps for sure, but we're just quite not at that power level yet, it seems. So if we can just get more backup and things like that, I think that'd be a really good idea. This is a lot of iron. Let's definitely grab some of that. I'll grab some extra wood and stuff. But I think overall, we're, we're doing a great job. We're figuring out the game more and more with each episode, which is exactly what I was hoping for. So I think... We can... If we see any zombies or just any other kind of uh, mobs just like this. I hear the, the zombie gurgles and I immediately think, you know, enemies, but not in this game. Those are friends. So now we're getting a lot more iron just because I'm actually spotting the... the ores and stuff, and I'm in the right location for it, but it seems like, speaking of location, we're about to reach this thing right here. So this is where we want to, whoa, one thing, get a ton more iron, and go for this. So I think we wanna just start with the spawners as soon as possible. And then I guess I'll fight some piglins, or if I can free some villagers, that's also a good idea. So, opening this cage up. I don't know if I get any materials. Yeah, we do. We get a lot of iron for that. Very cool. So, that's good to see. This thing is almost broken, so we can just protect our little teammates here. And then definitely send them after this tower. As soon as I can. Just like that. And it looks like they're already doing that, but might as well reinforce that fact. Because this is almost broken, and once it is, go for another spawner. 
right over there. And all these skeletons are chilling out. I mean, they're still doing stuff, so hopefully, you know, it'll stay that way, but save these poor villagers. Some of them have climbed up real high somehow. I almost got this broken open, and that will give me maybe, I mean, we're at our max for iron. Sort of good to know. Um, we can also, of course, increase our maximum at some point if we wanted to. But nothing to worry about right now. Oh wow, they destroyed that real quick. That was cool. So get over to this tower then. Make sure that everything else is getting worked on. So these guys have sort of gotten a little unproductive. Now what we want, maybe we'll just get them to work on something way over here, like this. And while that's happening, this tower just crumbled. Amazing. Okay, so I think this is the last building. There's a lot of piglins coming out of it, so definitely slice them away. Very, very cool. And then once this is destroyed, I think we're dealt with this outpost, but we're not quite finished with everything. As we have to move over to our next one, right over here. So I'm just gonna put that on the mark already. Our outpost has been destroyed, or their outpost has been destroyed, very cool. And then once again, if I can out some of this, probably a good idea, right? So, just get these wherever I can and work on that a little bit. And while it is, are we making our way closer? I think we are, yeah, it's right over here. So this might be a good opportunity to uh, go here, spawn in another one of these. I know I keep just spawning in these, but mostly just doing it so that we can recall what we have, because we're not losing too much. And then we're still in the dry savanna, so we might find some iron around, but I'm maxed out on that, so, because it doesn't matter too much. So let's recall everybody. No mobs available for recalls. We had them all here. That's good. And then I just want to start sending them in. Oh wow, so we got more villagers to save over here. Open up that cage. Everybody else is trying to find their way up there. I don't know if they will be able to too much, at least not from that angle. This one's a little weird. What is that? That's a weird looking like cage or something. I've not seen this before, so what is this? A chest, so open up this chest and I get inside. You need a piglin key to open this chest, found most often on piglins roaming the world. Whoa, okay, so I'll have to keep that in mind that there's a piglin chest here. I don't know if that will stay on our map or something. I prefer that it did, but I don't know if it will. Um, if we can just find a way to get them up there, I don't know if they can. You know, I gotta build a ramp. Okay, uh, so maybe I'll just, whoa. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work from there. I might need to back it up a little bit. Uh, getting a little confused on what I'm trying to accomplish. I almost got right there. Uh, it's not the best, but hopefully that's enough for my crew to actually get up there in a second. I'll save these guys. Also, the building didn't do anything. Um, what is going on? There we go. Okay, guys, <laughs> it's a little bit of an awkward one, I know, but if you could all just come over here, I can do you, there's a few more guys over this way. Uh, get everybody to come over. They might be trying to destroy it, so if we could just get them all up this ramp. Come on, go, go, go. Some of them are doing it, some of them are not. I, I really can't control, you know, which ones figure it out, but <laughs> that's the best I can do. So all that's happening, open up this cage and save these guys too. Got it. Okay, so it's working, slowly but surely, but definitely a bit awkward, okay. Let's get up here, destroy this big tower, and while that's happening, right down this way. Yep, I got all this. Go, go, go. Get you guys to attack this next tower, because I have a feeling that's what we need to do after anyways. Uh, there we go, there we go. So, break down this tower as fast as we can. We definitely lost some troops there, so maybe while that's all happening, I can get over here, spawn in the rest of them, six more, just like this. I'm gonna call them over, but then we're going to make another ramp right up here. And then you guys know what to do. Just attack this end. Because that tower has been busted, but we're not quite done. Can I just, it'd be really nice if I could just, yeah, just jump up here. Excellent. And then have them attack this golden thing. And that should be, between those two, should be the rest of it. I hope. From what I can see, I don't see any other buildings around here, so, whoa, got a lot more gold for that, and then 
If you guys can find a way over there, I mean, go for it. I don't know if they'll actually know how to do that, but that seems to be everything destroyed. Unless, like, this chest is an issue. Here, let's see. Oh, wait, there's one more over there. Okay, so I gotta get all my guys. Come on, come on. <laughs> this is so silly, but get them over there, which I might actually have to make a ramp. I didn't really think about that too much. Uh, dusk piglins are invading. The piglins are on the move. Stay alert. Okay, nowhere is safe. Uh, and I could use the map to see what they're up to, but oh, over here, the Horde of the Spore. Okay, we'll do that soon. But right now, I had this whole group, right? Well, this is just seven of them, but get them over there. I don't know what the where the rest of them went off to. I know there's a few over here, but... Let's see. Uh, There we go. I mean, it should be broken by the time they're over there anyways. There we go. That should be this one done. Outpost destroyed, well done. You've destroyed the, the Horde of the Spore outpost. Very cool. So, seems like overall we, we've done a great job. Um, we do have over 100 Prismarine again, so we could look for another upgrade, which I definitely would like. I don't know where most of my troops are at the moment, so I think what we'll do is we will not worry about it too much. I could go to some different villages and stuff and get some chests worth of things. Um, I don't know really what we're low on too much right now. Like, what does this one do? This one's iron, I'm full on iron. This village so, is at peace for now. Let us hope they avoid the piglins' hungry eyes. I mean, I'll try my best to protect them from it, but if we can get more coal from this chest, that is definitely something I wanna focus on. Things like that, definitely I need to get a better rain on, but as time goes on, we'll figure it out more. Cause like this one had redstone, this one had diamond. So I definitely need more diamonds. So we'll go back over this way. This is the one that's super well defended. Uh, maybe I should give it a bit more room next time, but that's okay. We'll open this up and we will get some more diamonds. So we're up to 18 diamonds. It's not a ton, it's slow going, but definitely worth it. And then after this, we'll make another upgrade. It is cool how quickly we can make our way around everything though. I definitely need to work on the defenses of everything, but it takes time. 74 redstones, that's gonna be our maximum there. Okay, so, obviously we'll wanna increase our maximums at some point, but I think it's better to focus on other upgrades for now. Things like uh, being able to wake up the golem seems like a good idea. Adds a d four additional flames, so I think that means we can make more mobs. Ally storage, that could be good too. Mm -hmm. There's so many options here, it gets pretty crazy. Uh, shared village chest links all village, there's a typo there, <laughs> links all village chests together, enabling access to, to all of them from any village. That actually sounds really good. For that, I would need 25 diamond. That actually isn't that bad. I think I might wanna go for that now because that seems so convenient. A weird upgrade to get, sure. But I think overall, will be worth it. Um, And to do that, I guess I could have, uh, I can't. The skeletons are ready for another go at the piglins whenever you need them. Okay, so I actually can't quick travel to the skeleton thing, which is a little bit of a shame, but that's okay, because we can just run over really quickly. There's definitely a lot to get sidetracked on in this game, in terms of, you know, just things to get, like, ooh, you know, go over here, get some stuff collected. I cannot gather this resource for some reason. Is this not redstone? Oh, I've reached a cap on them. Oh, okay, okay. So we'll just focus on getting some more diamond because there was plenty of diamond in the tundra when I was running by here earlier in today's episode. I just didn't have the ability to actually, you know, keep them or collect them. So we'll also have to focus on fighting piglins out in the wild because apparently we can find piglin keys, which are cool, but I'm guessing only the bigger, badder piglins are gonna give us that. So <laughs> good to know, right? So we'll just have our teammates fight piglins wherever possible. And I will try to find, oh, I don't even have the diamond collection. Why do I think I do? <laughs> I'm running out here trying to collect diamonds, I can't even. Okay, well, never mind. Maybe we'll just get the diamond collection upgrade right now then. So if we go to here, and I go to, what was it? This one, gather diamond. I don't have this one yet. Right? Yeah, I don't have it. Unless it, I do have it. No, no, okay. I just didn't know if I had it and it wasn't there. So we'll put this here. 
And there we go, now I'll be able to collect diamond in just a moment. Very precious diamonds. So that is so cool, I'm glad we could get that out of the way. I think we can see that here. Whoa, okay, yeah, so gather diamond. Diamond unlocks advanced structures and can be used to spawn skeletons. Diamond deposits can be found in the tundra and jagged peaks. And then gather all. Gather all resources from a small chosen area. Excellent for gathering resources, rich areas, but not as efficient when trying to gather a specific resource. So that's good, I have that option there too. So I should probably reorder it a little bit. But we're learning more and more about the game. It's really cool and there's still some more to discover here like redstone launchers and protector towers. There's a definitely a sort of a tower defense element that I haven't touched upon too much that I definitely wanna get into more as we build up these villages. We have the creeper homestead to The creepers to are resilient, but they will be overrun if you do not help them. Which is exactly what I wanna do. So, home of the reclusive creepers, this collection of stone and sulfur buildings is nestled deep in the vast barrens of the Badlands, occupied by piglins. So, we need to go and help them out, so we're going to put a little thing right there. And also, I noticed right next to us, we have some iron that we could maybe grab before the, for the fact that our resources are full. So, maybe we'll worry about that sometime later, but you know, we're good to sort of just continue on our adventure. Should be fun. Now, this time around, I do wanna focus on trying to remember to build more of these well houses, which, require more prismarine, so definitely something I should get, but they help me get around the world a lot more than I currently can, so let's definitely get those set up later in today's episode. I think they're just useful, you know, just for the fact that you can fast travel to them, so. And if we keep going this way, we are gonna end up cutting through, which I don't want too much. We might wanna go around the long way. I'll definitely be tackling some of that later in today's episode. I wanna do one of the smaller camps like we did with the, uh, the other horde that we've been dealing with. The red one. I'll never take the sun for granted again. Better check out your map to see what kind of damage the piglins did last night. Okay, so that's where I'm a little confused. It's saying that the piglins damaged something. Oh, back here, back at that this village. This village will need your help tonight. Okay, so we will definitely go help that village out, but it was just intact last episode. We built a whole thing around it to um, sort of, you know, do something about that. So. Oh, we built a whole, what was it, a, a big wall and everything. So we don't have any of our little guys with us right now, so it might not be worth the focus on any of this. If we could just keep going around, which might not be the easiest when we're sort of, I don't know, dead center in a lot of stuff. You're not quite ready for this battle just yet. You'll have to come back, exactly my plan. So we're just trying to sort of go around the edge of this. If we can run into some extra guys to help us out though, that'd be great, because we just got a zombie recruited with us. If I see no little piglins like this, I can knock out. It might be worth it because we are looking for piglin keys. We haven't run into any just yet, but there's probably only the big guys that will give that to us, so I just wanna see you know, what happens if I get rid of one like that. Not too much. But if I can just call some of these guys over as we're running by. Oh, look at all this iron. Once again, I don't really need it just right yet, but we're going to an area with redstone and then coal, which we're, we're maxed out on redstone, but coal we could definitely use a lot more of. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for that. Hmm. Oh, here's a chest. Can I open this one? I can! Nice, where did that get me? The LA's are eager to help. They'll fill these chests with things that'll aid you in battle. That's fantastic. So speaking of coal, we're now at our maximum for that too. Well, never mind. I guess we're really doing quite well when it comes to resources at the moment. So soon enough, we will, um, just continue on with it. Okay, I need to hop down to There's another chest. Should I even open this one? That's where I get a little curious. Are these gonna pop up on the map at all? I don't think they will. So I guess it's just good to uh, deal with it while I can. What did that get me? 84 diamonds. So yeah, we're getting some nice rewards now. Certainly can't complain about that. Okay, heard of a pinglin or two whenever we see them, but we're mostly trying to run through this stuff because we really wanna help the creepers right now. Having um, the creepers on our side would be super useful because that's what we did last episode. We helped out the skeleton camp and now we can spawn in skeletons at any time. So that's a big deal. And we're almost there. Getting to the jungle for now. Okay. Still a lot more piglins trying to pick a fight with us, but I'm just trying to ignore it. We're right over here, right? We're getting there. We're almost there, it, just, it takes some time. But it's fun to travel, because you know we're seeing different environments and biomes and stuff, like we're in Badlands right now, which is very cool. Oh, there's a creeper. So this is where we want to start running around and just gathering up whatever creepers we can. Hey guys. Because the bigger armor we can build now, the more useful it'll be later. 
It is cool that this creeper's just sort of hop into action now. Okay, so running over here. Oh, there's another chest. See, now that I'm really filled up, what will this one even give me? Uh, 80, 87 prismarines. So actually, really worth it. Maybe I should only touch those chests. Speaking of which, here's another one. Um, when I'm filled up on other materials, because this will give me 91 prismarine. <laughs> That is well worth it. So we're up to 200 Prismarine now. Really, really cool. This might be a good spot to build one of those towers. So if I were to go like this, you can see I could just, um, too close to the homestead still. What about like way out here then? Here we go, here we go. So if I just build it right here, that's gonna be really good. It takes some time to build, of course, but that will just be a really nice quick travel option for us whenever we need it or want it. So. We're all good to go. Let's help out the creepers. All the poor guys. That is a big piglin. Oh no. The poor little creeper. It's gonna explode. Oh. We lived so long without cruelty in this world and now all suffer. This must stop. Interesting that like, I guess creepers are peaceful in this world if it wasn't for the piglin situation. Huh, so this is where we gotta fight. Let's go ahead and first off set up some reinforcements. So I wanna get just whatever we can out here. Definitely get some skeletons and stuff, but we'll also send out whatever we need to right now. So we got some creepers under our control. We just wanna send them out and fighting. Um, and then I wanna recall, cause I do have, I know they're, I, I guess I don't. I thought I had some film somewhere, but I guess maybe they despawned or something. We mostly want this, and then I'll get, I think, like one healer, or maybe a few, and then definitely, there we go. So, we got our whole setup here. We should just be able to send them forward like this, fight some bad guys, and that's all we're focused on doing. So, we don't have to go too crazy with anything else. Like, we can just fight these guys off. There we go, almost got gotcha. And then once we do, I want to just sort of send them out that way and keep them fighting. While they're fighting, I need to go and free larger camps of stuff. I'm gonna do the same thing for them. Control them, tell them to head off and fight. You can see there's more and more creepers around here to sort of save, so. Now they'll help you free the rest. Yeah, that'll be great. So hopefully it won't be too much of a, a problem to actually destroy these piglins. So far, Really doesn't seem like it, but there's a big piglin fortress right over there, which doesn't even say anything about that. So I think that's just what we fight after that. So I think in the meantime, send some more over that way. Oh no. They're all getting to work, I think. But we are losing some of our numbers, so. Let's uh, swipe at you a little bit, send the creepers out, and they're gonna start fighting. While they are, how is my group going over here? I think we need to help out a little bit. We're down to 24 piglins. Definitely as I start to help, the numbers go down a lot faster. So that's good to know. We got some skeletons way over here doing some range moves. I think I will spawn in a couple more. And then maybe some of these guys. And then we're going again. So only 13 more piglins to defeat. I see a lot of them over here. So it might just be easier to focus on this than it is to uh, focus on saving the creepers. We'll, we'll do that after, of course. So it seems like there's enough guys here to do some numbers, but I don't know, maybe I should. Here, go ahead and open this cage. Because they're still you know, busy fighting. Oh no, but if I get attacked like that, I can move while I'm opening the cage. So I just gotta keep that in mind. Running back over this way, what can we do? I can grab all of you and then send you way out here. Come on, charge forward and deal with this. We've got a lot of creepers are, who are also not doing so good. That big guy is gonna be a problem, but we can defeat some of the smaller piglins in the meantime. Oh, there's more big guys coming in. So definitely focus. It seems like they give you more piglins than you actually need to defeat, so if I could just fight off another one, even if it is the big guy. That'd be a good idea. Let's get rid of one of the smaller guys, though. And then, come on, can I get you? Almost, almost a little bit more. 
literally just one more. There we go, we got it. Awesome, so all the creepers are gonna be freed. Hooray! <laughs> Very cool. They're gonna explode these piglins, no problem. Ooh, they went flying. There's still more piglins around, but we can fight them off a little bit. The creepers found their bravery once more, thanks to you. Now finish that portal and help them free their home. Okay, well, that's where things can get a lot more difficult, for sure. So, we need to be careful. I need to call together all my friends here. And just fight off whoever we can. But more than that, I think I need to um, get a few more spawners out this way, I think. Luckily, it's not too expensive to at least get these guys out here. Um, and then I can at least recall everybody, because I don't think I have everyone here. Yeah, it didn't seem like it. Um, and then call up a couple more of the cobblestone guys, because I'm not seeing too many more creepers around. But I can get this whole group, which is 20 of them. And then maybe we should just run straight at it. I mean, there's some other buildings to destroy for sure, and that could be better for like the prismarine and stuff. Oh no, especially with this being an issue. So let's destroy that, and then I'll run around looking for more creepers, but I really don't see any. Okay, you guys are destroying our spawners, and I do not appreciate that. So I'll fight them off a little bit. I sure do make things complicated. Okay, gotcha. And then you over here, they're still working on that wall. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any more creepers around here. Usually, there's a lot more running around that we can recruit, but not really seeing it this time. That's fine, we'll just go in with what we have, which is almost working. We're still trying to destroy this wall. Or this one piglin. Okay, they almost got it. Look at the giant horde that's waiting for them on the other side, though. This is gonna be pretty crazy. Come on, almost there, and as soon as you are, they're all punched. More piglin are coming in from the side over here. We can't worry about that too much because look at all these piglin. They're coming in. Wow. All right, come on, keep going, keep going. This is where the creepers would be really useful. I just don't see any around. And the problem is everybody else is sort of cashing up with us. So let's uh, call everybody over as much as we can. And I might just want to brute forward this one a little bit. I mean, I guess if we could attack some stuff like that, probably a good idea, but oh, I got knocked out, I'm dead. So I'll have to wait a moment to respawn while the rest of our units are going in to fight that stuff. It's just, it might not be so easy. So re we're respawning. I definitely need to look for some of the creepers. Where are we now? Okay, we're exactly where I need to be. So luckily it really worked there with our teleporter pretty nicely. Okay, so if I even just see like one creeper over here, every single unit is gonna make a difference. But we were able to get 1% on that uh, thing. So that's good. So yeah, all of our units got knocked out, unfortunately. We are going to, what does the grindstone golem do specifically again? Uh, fast charging just represents stun enemies very effective against range bombs. So, I think two of them. And then like a good chunk of those. A lot of these guys, of course. And then, a few more skeletons. That should be everybody for now. So we can command all 20 of those guys. We can get four more creepers if we just see any around. Which right now, I do see a few way out there, but it's not too many. Yeah, okay, so let's just grab whatever creepers we can, even if it's not much. Because I can command the 25 units now, right? No, that was my previous maximum, so it should be higher now. Just get whoever I can, wherever I can, and get out there. I don't know why there's just not as many creepers around here. I mean, I mean, obviously after we save everybody, that'll probably make it easier. I wonder if I should go, is that a building? That's not a building, okay. I was gonna say, if we can get some easy buildings knocked out like that, that'll probably be nice for a prismarine count or whatever. So, send them over this way. We gotta keep in mind the strategy that we had before, which is to destroy this stuff as fast as possible, and then, some of them are getting a little bit confused here. Destroy the stuff as fast as possible before the horde really is aware of us, because they have to move all the way over here. And then maybe we could just recall everybody back somewhere else before they have the time to stop us. And just sort of chip away at it strategically like that might be a better strategy, because this thing's almost broken. If I can just keep them busy for a little bit longer. Okay, there we go, there we go. So I'm gonna grab all my teammates again, which that was 18 of them. There's a few more over here. There we go, I'm up to 23. We wanna just run somewhere else if we can. Maybe break down the wall from a different side or something? Or to see if there's, yeah, other towers to defeat. If there's like one over here, 
then we should get to it. So, definitely break that. And this isn't, it looks like it, but it's not. Good. So we can definitely destroy this one before they would get anywhere close to us, and that's really what we need to focus on. So, we're doing pretty good. And the creepers are helping out. You can see the piglins nowhere near us at the moment. I don't think they really know how to handle a strategy like this. So this might be one of our better ideas that we can have right now. While that's all happening, I do think I need to gather more stone and wood because I'm just sort of running low at the moment. Oh, there's some coal up here too if I needed it, which I don't, but what is that stuff? I don't know. I think they're launching stuff at us from a distance, but we've destroyed this tower. So we know what to do now. Get everybody we can and move them somewhere safer. Just keep attacking things. It looks like we got more things way over here. So once again, get back to it. And it looks like there's some other mobs waiting around. I see a skeleton way out here who's on fire and a zombie. So maybe while my little teammates are doing what they're supposed to do, I can get some more. Seems like a great idea to me. So we got five more units. Doesn't seem like much, right? But it will add up over time. This thing is almost broken. We did lose a couple units. Now might be a great time then to go back over here, spawn in at least more cobblestone guys. And also, let's open up this chest. What do we get from that one? 130 lapis. I feel like that's the one thing I didn't really need too much of, but all right. Calling all those guys together and you can see the tower has been destroyed. So I can at least get everybody here. We're up to 26 units now. I don't think we missed out on anything. So we should just be able to loop back around. So I don't know where most of them are at the moment, but it's a couple more towers destroyed. We really needed to do that, so I'm happy about it. Heading back up here, just whatever else we can destroy. If that's this, then so be it. Okay, hold on. These guys are getting a little confused. If I can really bring them in like this a bit more, will they follow me? There we go, there we go. Of course, it's gonna be a big issue for a lot of them, so I need to fight off whatever piglins try to cash at. But right now, not too many of them, so that's good. This is definitely a big thing to focus on because uh, destroying spawners is just always good. They're trying to get over, I don't know what they're chasing, I guess a couple of creepers over there. I missed out on before. And they're still trying to punch this thing away, but more piglins are coming in on this side. And there's these towers here too. You can see it gets really messy. But I think we got a good strategy going on. This is obviously, if we wanted to be super efficient about it and like just get things destroyed as fast as possible, I think we would just want to have to rush the nether portal. But that's not our only goal, you know? Our goal is to get materials to make sure that future battles are easier. So um, in the idea of doing that, we need to uh, destroy as many buildings as possible, seeing how we do get rewarded for it with the Prismarine stuff. The more Prismarine we get, I think the stronger off we'll be by the end of it all. Now this is where things get a little scary, a little crazy though. I'm getting lower on health too, so we might want to destroy this thing and then back up again. Because we almost have it destroyed. Uh oh, I'm low on health. I gotta be very careful. This thing is almost busted, and once it is, what do we want to do here? As the army comes in, oh man. Um, I think for right now, what I need to do, if I can't, oh, I can't quite make that jump, darn. I need to find a way out of here, even if it is just making a crazy jump like this. Whoa, it just barely worked. And then recall all my troops and then go back in from a, maybe a little bit of a better angle or something. I don't think there's any other walls to break open is the unfortunate thing. And I can already hear that all my troops are getting knocked out, which stinks, but here's maybe a good time just to spawn in more of these. I know that they were out there and they destroyed them before. Luckily, we have all the materials to remake them. So, we'll start with this. That's good. And then, I if I want some more of the healers and three skeletons. But they're all coming back out now. Oh my goodness, that's so many of them. I didn't realize that they would all come over here. Oh no, that is a bit of a trouble. But maybe with them all out that way, they'll destroy my spawners again, but maybe we can just ignore some of them and get them to come in to maybe here. Oh, there are creepers in there. Okay, so if we could focus down this wall with everyone that we have here, 
that might be the game changer. So they need to destroy that wall for sure so that we can go out there and get those creepers. Having extra units to fight with right now in any capacity would be so, so useful. So that's what I'm trying to work on. I'm holding the four a little bit here with all these piglins coming in from every angle. Oh man, but I'm losing health like crazy. So I just gotta be careful because of all that. But I need to stay near the healers wherever possible because they will give me more health, right? I think, maybe. I don't know, this is becoming a mess. I don't have any health left, but this wall is almost broken. So I'm just trying to stick around without it being too much of a risk. Oh man, there's so many guys up. And we're losing units really quickly. Come on. No, I'm risking a lot by running around like this, but we're out of units. That is so crazy tough. Whoa, I, I teleported backwards. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Not good, we're totally out of units. No, no progress is being made. I might just wanna run really far away for a second. There are piglins out here too, but I honestly just want some more of these guys. I think that would be enough to destroy some stuff. They're just popping out of nowhere now. Doesn't feel fair. Um, so, spawn in, I might just spawn in 20 of these guys. That might just be the strategy I need to take. And then we'll go back in with all that, but look at all the piglins storming out of there. Okay, so I got them all here. So I just wanna be able to finish off that door. But I did wanna run around and see if there's any creepers to grab. There really doesn't seem to be. So no more creepers, we just have these 20 gobblestone golems. We'll go in and destroy that wall. Once we do, we have a bunch of creepers we can free, and that will be a lot better of an idea. But there's just so much going on here, it's crazy. I just hope we don't lose any on our way up. Or was it destroyed? Oh, maybe it was. Okay, I thought that, no, okay, no, never mind. Uh, it's so close to getting destroyed though. So if all my units can just go in and start punching it, dust piglins are invading. Um, where? I guess I think back over there. Well, not much I can do about that. I'll try to finish things up here soon. But what is this then? I don't know what that building is. Uh, but we're gonna release the creepers from this cage as well. Come on, come on. And they will be really helpful for getting rid of some of these guys, I think. So we'll have all of them, maybe just focus on this building for now, but as that's happening, I need to fight them away. Everybody's getting sent flying right now, but there it is, there it is. Okay, go for this one then. And get this going. Ooh, got it. And we are losing a lot of units, but I was sort of expecting that. Okay, you guys, Charge that way and start fighting on the piglins while the cobblestone guys are focusing on this building. Is this what I'm trying to make happen? I don't know if it's gonna. We're already at 80% with the, um, the nether portal and I haven't even been trying to do anything with that, so that's good. I just wish we could destroy normal walls a little bit. I think that'd make things a little bit nicer, but hmm. Really hard to know exactly what to do here. I think we're doing a good job though. We're the 237 first marine. This is another building we're almost destroyed, but I'm about to die, so I need to run and respawn in. Ah, oh, they got me with the stray arrow there. Yikes, not good. So I'm rushing back in with a whole new army. We're gonna have to run past a lot of them here, but there's more stuff to work on in here, for sure. So a lot of the army isn't gonna know. Like that's sort of one thing that happens a lot when we die that is at least very workable, is that the piglins spread out a bunch and gives us time to, you know, take a building or two. Not all of them, but, you know, a few more than we normally would under this circumstance. Okay, so we get everybody together again. I got most of them, and I'm just gonna charge over here and get rid of that. And I can focus on this group a little bit. As much as I can, just slicing away a lot of these guys. We don't get the chance to destroy this stuff later, you know? So it's really good that we do what we can now. We freed all the creepers in the base, it seems. Like now a lot of them are getting destroyed a lot faster. But uh, what are the healers doing? They need to help out with this. They're sort of just getting distracted over there. I can slice these guys away. That seems like a good idea. Go. the big ones are always much harder to deal with, but now our numbers, numbers are dwindling a little bit here. But I think we should still have enough firepower. Okay, oh, I'm maxed out on Prismarine now. 
Okay, if I'm maxed out on Prismarine, then I mean, we'll destroy this building, but after that, I think it might just be better to focus on another portal. Because, you know, destroying this will at least make it so there's less guys going in, but and we maxed out on Prismarine. That's really something I, I needed the most out of everything, so I'm, I might end up dying here again. Hard to tell right now, but they, they're all going up there. They're all trying to fight. I might get them from the other angle to see if maybe they won't have less of a hard time. Oh, I died, no! Okay, well, that really sinks. It's really hard to not die in this game. This is a lot going on. Okay, we're going back in for one last charge. Gonna focus on this target. Everybody should be rushing in, and that's great. So, basically, I just need to focus on anybody who might be up here giving an issue to my uh, cobblestone ones. So, anybody who's trying to beat up these piglins, not these piglins, <laughs> these, these golems, any piglins that are doing that, we need to put a stop to them. But while that's happening, the big groups are making their way in that I have a lot harder of a time with dealing with, and then we're losing health by doing that too. So, it just gets messy, really quickly gets messy. And it might be one of those things where I'm not supposed to fight it forever. I think that it is a little bit inevitable that those guys are gonna get knocked out, maybe while the, they're fighting. I'm destroying that stuff. I should just spawn in some more. Give it a little bit of like a rinse and repeat. Problem is I have to run really far away and get it set up there. Because if I don't, then I just don't really end up uh, surviving for very long. They could destroy it. So let's spawn in some more. That really seems like what the game is all about. It's just sort of managing these resources. I think I'm mostly just gonna focus on the cobblestone ones. So let's just get more of those out and we'll definitely have to replenish our resources a bit after this but that's what the chests are for too so there we go we're going back in because it's down to 40 percent which i think it was at 80 before so if we can just do what we did there one more time i think we'll get the win while this is all happening the piglins are attacking a village somewhere else which is such a shame i can like really happen that way while we're busy with other things but there we go the only problem with this one is that there's already a lot of piglins ready and waiting for us, but I think we have enough of the cobblestone guys that they should be able to damage it down pretty quickly, I think. We're down to 30% now. We've only lost one, two units. I think we can do it. I think we can do it this time. We just really gotta keep fighting now. Keep slicing. 15%, right? There it goes, 15% now. It's going down faster and faster. We're not even losing any units, so that is fantastic. Come on, come on, don't let them get us. We're almost there, there it is! We have saved the Creeper Homestead. Whoa, that was a lot of work, for sure. That was a lot harder than the skeleton one. All right, it does seem like some of the Prismarines still drops from these towers, so maybe I really should only focus on the ones that are strategically advantaged for us to destroy, but here we go, we got it, the Creepers are so happy. I'm glad. Our hero and the Creepers have shown their strength and shared will. This flame will commemorate the bond formed today. Well, that's amazing. So, we did it. There's all this Prismarine hanging out around here, and I'm it's so sad to see it go. That's a bang your head against it. And thanks to your victory together, you may now call upon the Creepers wherever this battle takes you. Okay, so maybe I can come back here and pick up this Prismarine. I don't know how quickly it does. Oh, it's already disappearing. What a shame. So I definitely have to manage that a little bit better, but good to know and good to learn now. I don't know what we can do about that village has been taken over. I mean, I built those walls and everything. It wasn't quite enough because I wasn't there to really command anything, but we have enough Prismarine to build some stuff, right? So that's something I do want to focus on. Um, but as you can see, the creepers, and we get a creeper spawner for it. So, sponge creepers, mobs that explode, dealing high damage to enemies and structures. Enemies not killed run away in fear. So that's fantastic. We'll definitely be making the most of that. But, um, I do want to see, oh, we got some new things here too. Gotcha. So I'll have to really get into that soon enough. But, um, what do we need? We have two of those, one of those, and something like this ally storage or... Flames of Creature increases the number of mobs you can spawn at a time. I think this would be good. It does require 200 Prismarine. We could do large Flames of Creation, sort of the same thing, but more expensive. Abundant allies, each additional improvement adds two build allies and two gather allies. So there's a lot of things like that to focus on and consider. Fill our hearts with joy. 
Today, however, we mourn. The piglins destroyed a village last night. Oh no. We know you did what you could. Some consequences cannot be prevented, but we all do what we can. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll do the uh, Flames of Creation one. So that should just go, okay, it's already there at number seven. So we just go and put that down. Oh wait, no, just the wrong thing. There we go, right? We tough to fit all those in, but hopefully we can add more to them seeing. Best offense is a good offense. I, I don't think I disagree. <laughs> Interesting way of putting it, but um, yeah, so that should help us a lot. We don't have enough prismarine to really get any other upgrades at the moment, but what I can do is just gather some materials. So I see, you know, some iron over here. Um, we definitely need a lot more stone and wood, but this thing is totally destroyed. And that's where maybe we could set up a teleporter somewhere over here, because it is really hard to get over here. So, uh, let's get to some of the other villages, get some resources from their chests, and then we'll get to some of those other things. So I think for right now, we just open up this chest. We got some good things out of that one. Another one over here. We gotta keep busy with this stuff for sure, but if we do have the resources, I would like to try to tackle some more, you know, these different larger things like the, the Horde of the Bastion. The piglins plan to fortify this base tonight. Oh no. Stop them before they do. I most definitely have to, because that's one of the easier bases. So I think that's something we'll focus on very, very soon. But in the meantime, I get some more iron from that going over to this village i'll see what's inside of this one this one is still rebuilding i think this is 54 percent does it still have maybe it needs another where is it the uh the carpentry hut maybe it needs another one Here, i'll put i'll put another one out just in case it does need that but in the meantime if this thing is totally destroyed, let's go back to the, the well house here, gather up some creepers, and try to take on that smaller place. That might be a better idea. So, creepers will be over there. It's on my mini map still. We are missing some of our golems right now. Like, we have 18 out of 24, so gotta be able to get some more of those guys over, but are there any creepers just walking around? You'd think so. Hmm. So far, I'm not really seeing any. I figured that there'd be a lot around so that we could recruit them, but so far, it's actually not seeming like much. That's okay, maybe they need to replenish over time. But I will use this opportunity to recall everything. There we go. And now I have 18 units. So we can call it the 24 now, which is exciting. So I can maybe spawn in a few more of these guys, a few more of them. And then maybe, we already have some healers, so maybe I'll do that, and then a skeleton, for good measure. But it says that I have, oh wait, here we go. Now I'm calling 24. I think I can call it the like 30 units at the moment. So with all that done, this is what we need to focus on. While we're heading over there, I should probably just craft and collect more materials. So if I can get stone, or even, you know, some extra wood. Get us back at the full in that way. What can we find in this area? Coal. Oh, okay, right here. Um, but I'm maxed out on coal? I'm maxed out on coal, so don't have to worry about that too much. And then in this area a bit more, that's diamond. So maybe we'll find some diamond along the way, but here are some creepers. Just get as many people along the way as we can. And I might want to zoom in a bit more because we do see, you know, different things. Definitely get those creepers. Way down here, we got some piglins to fight. Might as well, right? So, let's see if we can't fight you. Should be pretty quick to destroy you if it's just one of you, right? Come on, come on. Gotcha. So those are the things I do want to try to experiment with a little bit, um, to see if... Oh, here's a chest. Uh, <laughs> they're not happy. What do we get out of that one? 101 Prismarine, awesome! So, yeah, really cool. But I want to see if we can get a piglin key. You know, that's one of my big goals. So, getting a little sidetracked. Gotta head over this way. We still have 26 units following us, so should be everybody that we spawned in, plus two creepers. I still can't quite see what we're trying to get to, but I'm sure we'll get to it soon enough. Ooh. Oh, this is like a bunch of tar. 
You gotta be careful with all that. Oh, here's some more creepers. Definitely want to grab them. Okay, we're up to 28 now. Did I miss this creeper? I guess so. There we go. Up to 29 now. Closer and closer. Whoa, a bunch of wolves. Can I get them? Hey guys. There we go, up to 38 of them. That's so cool, 40. This is amazing. Now I got quite the army. Like maybe I should help out this poor little zombie if I can. But 40 is my maximum right now, so. Doesn't really do too much, but worth the jagged peaks. Oh wait, did I lose some there? I think some of them might have gotten knocked out because I'm only down to 30 now. A little unfortunate, but I guess that's just sort of what happens. Because I guess it's gonna be up here. Well, we can jump way up. Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on up here. Okay. Um, am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Because it's right down there. All right, well, let's get going. There's some diamond here to collect too. Perfect. Really glad to see that. So we hop down. Do I take fall damage? I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. The Horde of the Bastion raised great fortresses. Definitely they not friendly. In strength and endurance above all other traits. So this is our first time battling them. Are impressive. You'll need a good plan to defeat those walls. You have something particularly useful to combat this base. Take a look at the melody to build the redstone launcher. Ooh. Okay. Redstone launcher. That is where exactly? I don't know. I might have pulled this. Redstone launcher. Launches explosives at targeted area requires manual targeting and firing. Interact with the launcher and use your camera controls to move your to your target. Okay, so let's remember your redstone launcher will help in the fight against these piglins. But I can't just put that anywhere. I have to put it like way out here. <laughs> you have broken through their defenses. Oh, great, great, great. So let's get back over there then because a lot of our units are fighting and I want to help them out. So there's a lot going on here that I'm trying to multitask with. We want to make sure that they aren't just, you know, not having any leadership. So even if that means I just need them to fight through the next wall, which it seems like, yeah, that's the thing. Um, I wonder if in the meantime, could I just build? No, no, no. Um, a bridge from like here all the way to there. Uh, not really. Okay, my mouse is freaking out with that, so I can't really do that too much. But while they're fighting over there, we need to interact with this. How does this work? Use. Whoa, that is so cool. So I can launch it over there, but unfortunately it doesn't really reach exactly. What if I did that? Would it actually damage buildings? I don't think so. So maybe that's where I need to get deeper into the strategy of things here. Let's go to uh, this. If I can start fixing this stuff up, we can get it closer. Maybe this needs to be more incorporated into my strategy. Okay, well, all this is happening. Our units are still putting in the fight over here. So let's help them out a little bit. Where are they all? Oh my gosh, there's just so much going on. Um, and we are going to send them all over there if I can. Now we're starting to lose some numbers, but that's where I can maybe swipe away a couple of them. And while all that is happening, I definitely need to, uh, Do that, because then if I can build one, and I know I just built one, oh, I don't have enough redstone to do it again. So I don't know if this is close enough. If I destroyed it, will I get it back? I don't know. Um, remove. I, I hope I get those materials back. We're at 50 redstone right now. Um, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. Jeez, that's crazy. But we're, we're sort of figuring things out. Unfortunately, as you can see, we lost most of our units. So we'll have to go back and recoup a little bit anyways. Is there any redstone in this area I can find? Some out here, I guess. So maybe I should take a quick peek for that. Uh, but while we are, once again, just get the elise to keep working because it feels like a good idea. There we go. So the elise are pretty busy at work there. We can get another redstone launcher soon, as soon as I get more redstone. So I just want to look around really fast. I'm definitely doesn't seem like I'm getting my redstone back from that. But over here, can this please give me redstone? What's gonna give me prismarine? Okay, that's good. Not gonna complain too much about that one. Um, but I'm not seeing any redstone here, but if I cross the borders over to this other biome. I mean, we destroyed a few buildings, so it's not like, you know, by retreating, it's not like all is lost. It's just more so a bump in the road. 
Oh, I see some redstone over there. So let's go grab that really fast. Just like this. Oh, are they all busy? No, wait, no, I'm, oh, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Cause I'm back up to 150. So I guess once it was fully defeated, destroyed, it looks like that's all I needed for my um, stuff. So that's really good. So we can go back in. Definitely from where I've made some space for me though. Well, funny, this is one out of four difficulty and I'm still really struggling. This is not an easy game. Okay, so this is what we have to do. To start things off, I need to, I know that the horde's gonna be coming out here really fast, so let's try to clear my thinking a little bit. I need to build one of these here. And then along with it, if I could get some spawners. Just like this, I think that's good. And then definitely just anything that I can get out here. Problem is, they're all coming out. They're gonna try to destroy all the stuff I'm building. So let's get all you guys and just charge forward for now. But I definitely need some healers out here soon. Okay, that seems like a good idea. And we'll just try to make sure we're maxed out with everything. Like that. And then we head right back out there. And what we're going to do with this whole crowd of them is just have them fight more stuff. So it looks like there might be a tower over here I can destroy. Get them to do that then. Um, in the meantime, I gotta run all the way back over and do stuff with this redstone. See, I'm back down to 50 redstone again, so I think that all makes sense. I wanna use this. Uh, oh, I didn't even see that tower. Luckily, it doesn't use redstone to launch it. And is that damaging it? Okay, it's currently just continually launching, and it's definitely damaging it, so that's cool. So we're learning how all that works. If I get back over here, they destroyed this tower, so I need to get all their attention and move them somewhere else, even if it is just uh, maybe destroying that one. But too many of them are getting destroyed now, so. Oh my goodness, this is so much. I know I'm not really the best at this kind of game. I'm still trying to learn from it, but uh, we'll spawn in some more. Get some of these guys. Oh, they did destroy my healers, which is such a shame. Um, so I guess I'll have to make a new one. Luckily, you know, we're getting better at building resources and stuff. Oh no, they broke that one. And does this need to be repaired? I don't know. Um, but it looks like it can at least, you know, get all that stuff. What was that noise? I don't know. Uh, there's just, there's so much going on here. I'm just trying to get everybody's attention. I think I can get six more of them. Okay, we got a lot of units. Oh my gosh, and they're all over now. So if they're over here, that means that they're not gonna be up here as much. So that's at least good. What do I wanna destroy? I think I go for this thing for now. But as we were trying to get over here, we've already lost a few units, you know? But that's gonna get destroyed pretty fast. I think we just go for the nether portal now. Get them all up there. Just do what we can with that. And then I run back and if I could use the redstone launcher to try to destroy some others. So this tower right here is definitely a problem. I need to get some more guys out here and just deal with that. I hear more towers are getting sort of brought up too. So that's a little annoying, but I can use this. And what do I want to fight this time? You can see the range is still you know, not the best, but should I focus on a tower? It doesn't really light the tower up. I'm just gonna try launching it over there because you can see we're at 78% now, so. Okay, it's doing its thing. I'm getting pretty beat up over here. I just wanna destroy that tower as soon as possible. Defeat some piglins along the way, sure. I'm still down to half a heart here, though. It's really difficult. This game is very complicated, but with this, Almost destroyed. It's at like this weird angle where most of them aren't able to punch it from there. Come on guys. Oh, and I died during all that. That is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm back over. I'm gonna use this really quickly to try to just destroy some stuff over here. Cause I don't know where, it's saying that I have a lot of units. I guess they're all over here. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can get some of those guys and back up a little bit. Just like that. 
And then if I could just find a place to safely set up some spawners, that'd be great. Just like that. Um, I guess I'll start with, you know, spawning in some of these guys. I don't need a huge ton. And then, there we go, there we go. We're all fighting this one piglin right now. <laughs> there we go, we got them pretty quick. And then we need to find a way up there. Maybe there's another entrance that we can find. We're 48% through the nether portal now though, so that's good, it's not looking like there's, but keep in mind, I can make my own. This is the one thing I really am continually forgetting about the game, is that I can just make my own entrance, right? Well, uh, sort of. It, it should work, right? Everybody should go to follow me up here. Yeah, they're, they're following me, it's working. Now we can get up here, and they're all, all all the way almost over here now, I think. Actually, not too much. I can start fighting this stuff a bit. It looks like they destroyed my redstone thing, which is a shame. So that means I just lose out on all those points. But remember, while all this is happening, I really should try to way over this way. I can't quite reach it. Okay. Um, oh, not this. There we go. Let's try to eat away at more of this stuff. So that has become more of a core part of my strategy, is just setting up these things. There's a lot of things to focus on in this game. Not always the easiest, but I'm doing what I can about it. So these guys are trying to take a day off or something. I don't know. Whoa, there's a lot going on in here. So let's send them all over there. And I will just try to fight away whatever piglins are actually here. Oh man. Okay, they destroyed that pretty fast. So now we're just focusing on this wall. And hopefully they're all open. We did miss a couple, but it's okay. Go, everybody just keep on this one. And they're all punching it, which is great. I didn't even see this thing. Uh, so if, can I, yeah, there we go. Whoa, I sort of fell again. Yep, okay, well that's not so good. This is where I should probably switch over to the beetle. Because the beetle could really help with that, but I don't think I can do that from here. I'd have to go all the way back to a village. They're using my bridge. I built this and now I'm stuck. Okay, go, go, go. Because still we haven't lost too many more units. Whoa. What, what, no, come on, I was up there. They brought me back down here. That's not nice. Okay, were they able to destroy the wall or not? Yes, they were. So luckily with the healers, everybody's staying nice and alive for a good chunk of time. I just need them to go for the nether portal. If they can go for the nether portal, they'll be in a much better spot. I don't know if there's anybody over here still. There is, but it's not really getting them. How much slower can we get to the nether portal? Right now it's still 46%, but this is where the percentage should start going down a bit. Yep, it is. While all that is happening, I think I need to go back and just start building more reinforcements. Sort of the same strategy we had before. Where they, okay, so we do take fall damage. Thanks. Uh, One more push and the portal will fall. Definitely seems like, they always go for the healers first, which I need a lot of. Oh no, where, where are they going? That's not what I wanted. You guys get back over here, please. Uh, so we're down to 25%. That's actually really huge. So I think I'll just get a lot of you guys. And that should definitely be enough to get all this happening. So recall everybody at this huge army that we can go in with. This definitely hasn't been the easiest, but this is the final push for sure. I just wanna run out this way, charge past all of these guys. Come on, we can do it. And then just go for it. The piglins are invading, I know, but if we could just destroy this first, that'd be great. Where are they invading? I don't know, I'm pretty sure the place we're at. Um, come on, come on, we're at 17%, 15%, it's going down fast. But so is our unit numbers and so is our health. Come on, just a little bit more, a little bit longer. It's all we need. 3%, 1%, there it is, we got it! Awesome! So that was not easy in the slightest. Every mission gets more difficult than the last one did, but it's at least another piglin fortress destroyed. Excellent. Ooh. Gonna have to report that back to the boss, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, it squished the other piglin. Poor guy, I think he's still under there. Oh no. <laughs> oh, 
into the lava. We are just making the piglins angrier and angrier, and I died during all that, but as you can see, this fortress is destroyed, so I'll take that trade. That's so weird that I just died during the cutscene again. The Horde but... of the Bastion's leader is displeased by your progress. Stay vigilant. They are the most ferocious and vindictive of the Great Hog's generals. This is the Horde of the Bastion. They build great walls and have strong armor. You must breach both if you are to push them back to the nether. So we are making some good progress with destroying some of the Horde of the Bastion, just like we did with the Horde of the Hunt. I think next episode we'll probably save the zombies and then go for the uh, Horde of the Spores base camp. But I think for right now, if we could help out this village, this that might be something to focus on soon. But I feel like we've also they done a great job keeping busy. Okay, so, um, yeah, I think maybe one other thing is to build a teleporter by the skeletons. That is something, because also it's another thing we can spend our prismarine on. <laughs> so I figure right about here should be good for our um, new tower. That way we can stay near that one thing. So I don't really know what that is yet. And on top of that, we can um, just sort of get around a little bit easier. That way, if a village does get destroyed, we still have ways to teleport over there. I think that's sort of just a big thing to focus on. So, I have my well house here. It's going to require 50 prismarines. So, it's a good thing that we got so many of them. Whoa, 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 that guy's a bomb. That was scary. There's a lot of piglins out here. Ooh, but wait a minute. Are we max out diamond? We are not, so let's get our LAs busy over there. And we're pretty low on base materials, so if we could just, you know, get some wood and stone wherever. Seems a little bit, you know, rudimentary in that way, but definitely worth doing. I think out here, what can we do? At least get some more stone. Oh, uh, and some more diamond right here. I'm sure we're quickly getting to our, our cap with that. Oh no, there's still so many piglet around here. Even though, yeah, okay, I see. This is where I went a little too far, didn't I? No, this is actually exactly where I wanted to be. So maybe a little bit farther away from all the piglin stuff, but I do want to build just a big tower. So yeah, right about here should be fine. Put this right here that way. We can get to this without too much of an issue. We can also get to this frost tower. Oh, they do not like that. Will they destroy it though? I really hope they won't, but they might. That'd be such a big problem. Um, well, I guess in the meantime, we can try to clear some of these guys out. Cause like, it's, it doesn't show anything on the map in terms of like, you know, they have stuff over here. We'll just try to fight some of them off here with the uh, little recruits that we have. We are taking some damage from it, but we should be able to get rid of you. Gotcha. Wait, no, a little bit more. There we go. But that tower is nice and ready for us. We lost all of our units that way though. So that's not so good. So let's go to the skeleton homestead so we can maybe just grab some skeletons to help us out for whatever our next adventure is next episode. Cause so I think we're winding down here. We feel a lot in today's episode for sure. Saving the creepers and taking on another one of the, uh, the horde of the bastion. And remember, let's keep busy with this. Get rid of more of the piglins ground. I think that'll help us out a lot in the long run. What is this? Oh, these are some of the destroyed buildings from the skeletons. Is there any way I can like help rebuild those? Would that revitalize things for the skeletons or would that not make a difference? I don't know, I guess we could try it. Let's just get some skeletons to help us out, you know, for our future adventures. And let's see, the carpenter hut. If I take a look at those, Carpenter Hunt repairs nearby structures within its zone. Healing effects cannot stack with additional Carpenter Hunts, but allow you to heal structures in a wider area. Maybe if I heal these structures, do you think that would, uh, I would need more stone if I want to do that again. But uh, I wonder if that's going to really do that much for us in terms of making these buildings better, because they're all cracked up and stuff, you know? 
what it, oh yeah, look at that, They're, they are healing. So that's really, really cool. So I think that there is definitely some time we should spend in these areas, building up these villages, making sure that they're running in tip top shape, because I think we'll get more resources for it. I can only imagine more skeletons would be out and about. So definitely something to think about and focus on, but for right now, we still have over 200 prismarine. I think we should go back to the Well of Fate and install some kind of extra upgrade, because it seems like we're getting a lot of prismarine. We need to spend it when we have the opportunities to, because if not, we'll hit our maximum, and that's definitely not good. Um, so if I could just, you know, improve the ally storage, I'll put it there. We don't have any of this. We have the materials to get it though. So the ally storage, I'll get it right about there. The allies can now save more resources for you. I'm glad. And then if we take another look, I don't have this one. That one's at 50. So pretty affordable actually. Um, So do I wanna go for something maybe a little bit more expensive? Hmm. Clit power towers. Enables you to clit special host towers found throughout the world. I mean, I could actually go for the week the firsts. Enables you to assemble powerful golems found throughout the world for gold and resource costs. We might wanna try this one. Okay, so get that right about there. So I guess we could run out of like real estate. Go wake up our old friends. Gold is an essential ingredient in awakening a first. When you want to wake one, have some gold with you. We have to be careful with which upgrades we do because like, there's only so much space, it seems, which feels a little silly. I mean, as long as I have the materials for it, I feel like I should just be able to, be able to keep upgrading. Maybe at some point we can expand that space, so. We have a lot of things we need to get done. First off, we need to go and save the zombies and the zombie the homestead. The zombies are defenseless against the cruelty of the piglins. Please, you must help them. And that's something I wanna do pretty soon. On top of that, after we get the zombies on our side, we probably wanna get the Horde of the Spore, the first little camp there figured out. We also have to help out this village that got taken this over by piglins. by the piglin attack in the night. They could use some help rebuilding their fountain. Will do. So there's a lot to get to, a lot to figure out, but I guess for right now, what we should probably do is just go to our different camps, if we can, um, use our well houses, just to build up whatever troops are available around there. Let's let's just try to gather some of them up so that we don't have to do it manually. Um, piglins are planning something, but where? It doesn't really tell me just yet, but I guess it'll maybe it'll enlighten us soon enough. But uh, for right now, yeah, we'll just go over to here is our goal, just to get some extra troops from this camp and the other one. And then also while we're running by, you know the deal, we just need to get some of this stuff set up. Always good to have some of it. And yeah, let's make our way over to the skeletons and, and get a little bit of a collection going on. Okay, we're at the skeleton village and you can see some of these buildings are rebuilt because of our little carpentry thing. Because of that, it definitely seems like more skeletons are around. So that's great. I don't know if we can actually make it so that there's like more skeleton buildings, but whoa, <laughs> they're getting launched around there. We have 13 of them now. So if I were to go over to this well house, I haven't built the carpentry buildings here. So I think that's just something we'll work on. I don't know if we'll actually be able to get too many creepers out of it because of that, but that would be right there. So in this direction, I mean, I guess it shows us on the map there, but now we'll just get over. Basically do the same thing. So I need, what is it? The carpenter hat. What do I miss for that? I don't have enough wood. Okay, well that's something we can actually solve pretty quickly. If I just go over here, I'm a little low on wood at the moment. We should probably go to some villages. Oh no, I'm taking small damage or something. I'm in the spikes, <laughs> whoops. I really does damage down really fast. And then I guess I will, I might be out of the builders. Or no, maybe there just wasn't anything over there. So that should be enough for us to build this, right? Yep, okay. So that's good. So maybe right about here? I guess I'll, I'll do it here. Hey, do I have enough for another one? Not really, that's okay. Uh, we can always get some more. But that's basically the kind of things we need to work on. All of our allies are working pretty hard at the moment, so let's just hope that we can get another one soon. What would we need for it? Just more stone. So as soon as more allies are available, we'll get more stone. Just like this, perfect. And just try to help out these buildings a little bit, because right now I'm not seeing too many creepers. I think that's simply because these areas just need to be rebuilt. Okay, we still need a little bit more. Okay, so we'll get another one of these built right there. I'm not seeing any creepers around, but this should help replenish these buildings and I think bring some of them back. So with that dealt with, 
I guess we just have to go and help out the zombies over here, right? So maybe we'll go to the villages first because if we do need more resources, the chests should have us have you know some for us. That'd be good. Lots of preparation we have to do, but we're doing a good job. That is a ton, so yeah, we're fine. I think we'll be A-OK -okay with maybe just going to this village and then making our way over to the zombie homestead. We'll probably want to make another tower a little bit closer. I don't know if we even have the prismarine to do that quite yet, so we'll have to wait and see, but for right now, we're just gonna run over here, open this chest up, and we get ourselves a bunch more. So we're maxed out our stone and wood, as well as a couple of other things. So really, really cool. As we're running through this, there'll be coal in this area and then redstone in this one, so I'm just gonna mark this on the map and we're gonna get going. So where was it exactly? I think over here. So as we're doing all that, we don't really need any stone or wood, but if we see things like, is this coal? This is, but our, oh, we're maxed out on coal, so I guess we don't need to do that too much. Never mind. The redstone, though, that'll be in the next biome over is definitely something we need to focus on business. Iron? It is iron. Okay. Iron I could use a little bit more of, so we can just grab as much of that as possible. And if there are some other mobs to grab, like these guys over here, I definitely want to recruit whoever. Oh, there's like big piles of sticky tar here. That's not so good. But I do see some, some guys stuck in there. You want, want me to help you out? There you go. The water is like reflecting the sun right now. It's very pretty. This game has been super pretty just to run through and visually just looking at everything. I do definitely appreciate it. I wish that we had similar lighting effects in Minecraft. Okay, here's some redstone. So definitely wanna collect that as much as possible. I don't know if I should put two on the, of them on there. I don't know if that makes it any faster, but might as well. I love all the little loot noises. But that should get us gaining a lot of redstone, but oh, here we are. We've already reached the zombie village. I like how they're little farmers. Piglins are attacking them. The zombies are overrun. They fought bravely to help you, but they don't know how to handle such an attack. No. So just like with the other two camps, we definitely have to help them out, but whoa, we got some fearsome opponents waiting for us. So we need to spawn some stuff in quickly. I'm going to charge these guys forward, um, maybe even get some of them to help me out over here so that I can release these zombie villagers, and then shortly after, we need to get ready with, um, ow. You know what, I might have to before I do that then, because they're gonna keep attacking me. Let's just get our basic stuff out for now, and maybe some creepers. There we go, there we go. Because as you can see, there is a lot going on over here. They're still fighting over that way. I wanna open up this cage if I can do it without getting hurt, though, is the thing, because I can't just... And now I'm poisoned, so that's the frustrating thing. So I don't know if I can really do that quite yet, but in the meantime, I can fight you guys off so you're not attacking my stuff. I want to spawn in some friends. But I guess I don't really need too much of the cobblestone ones. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. We're getting beat up really quickly, so if we could just get the healers too, and then maybe just send them out that way. There we go. It gets really difficult, really fast. And I'm already dead, because I think I was on fire there. That is sort of ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I, just, I didn't have really the chance to get my troops ready. Because I think we were farther back, but when the cutscene happened, it sort of spawned us in the middle of everything. So that was really unfortunate. I need to run all the way back over there now. So that's definitely maybe a good sign that I should, um, do I have the materials for it? What am I missing? I'm missing the prismarine. So I can't even really do that quite yet, but as soon as I can, I should set up another tower. Okay, we are really far back this time. So if I could just, even if it's just these two, they're pretty important, but look at all of the zombies that are over here that we have not released. So definitely getting them out would be, are you kidding me? It would be helpful if I could just do that without getting hit by stuff, but geez, they do not give you much time to work with. So if I could just get like even a huge army of these guys out, I think that's pretty good. Because all we need to do right now is just fight the piglins. So I'm charging them forward like this, and then we will of course get more friends out here as soon as we can. So especially since those ones are good against range. And I'm just gonna try to hide behind the cage as we let these guys go. There we go, awesome. So they're still fighting over there. I need to... The piglins have awoken something dangerous in the zombies. Keep fighting Ooh. and the zombie strength will join yours. That's great, so let's get some of this stuff out too. 
I think a couple of the cobblestone ones and the healers. And then this one. Seems like, you know, a random assortment, but I think overall this will definitely help. So, there we go. Some of the zombies broke free. I think that's all of them. Awesome. So I guess we just got rid of enough piglins there for it to work. That's amazing. Ooh. Chase those piglins away. That happened a lot faster than some of the other ones, that's for sure. So we'll call together whoever we can. Are eager to rejoin the fight. Now you can stop the piglins together. Okay, so this is where things can get pretty crazy, but we need to run over there and just try our best to, um, well, you know what I need to do first? I need to build some ramps. I can see that now for sure. Um, so if I could just, whoa, not this. <laughs> that surprised me. Um, we need to get up here just like this. While that's being built, and now we can climb up and destroy this tower, first and foremost. We got some piglins coming in too. Gotta get rid of them, but I'm sure there's some bigger armies maybe back here that we haven't quite gotten to. Oh no, they're still destroying a lot of stuff back here, but if I could just get the numbers on my side, I think that'd be better. So, all these zombies over here, they destroyed my spawners again, which sort of feels like, oh, what can I do? Really? Oh no, the spawners are over here. Okay, those are my old spawners. So luckily they haven't destroyed these ones. Oh no, come on. Uh, spawn in some more. We're on fire right now, so that hurts. We can get some of the healers, that'd be good. And then my spawn army is already full. So we just get all these guys together. It's gonna be 21 units. I just need to rush forward with this. They're trying to destroy my steps, which I don't appreciate, but we just gotta keep going. And then over here, I guess I need to get this. I know that there's more under them, but there's not really too much I could do about that at the moment. I mean, this feels like the best idea, right? It's hard to tell, but they're working on that next tower as the rest of the piglins rush in. And then while they're doing all that, I definitely, whoa, whoa, need to go over here, build a new one. Okay, if that works, I'm not gonna complain. There are so many units around, but I think I got all the ones that are mine. And then we might just wanna rush this straight away. If we can get up here, just destroy this nether portal. And then, while all of that is happening, defeat some piglins over here, really fast. Gotcha. And see if I can do this without getting in trouble. I don't know if I can, but if I could, could be a big deal. There we go, we got them. And then there's some more zombies over that way. So we're just gonna run over, have them attack this portal, and hope for the best. I see a lot of piglins really trying to put up a fight though. So I need to fight, fight, fight. We're just gonna go for the fast takedown on the nether portal this time. It's already down to 50%. I wanna run down this way because look at this, there is plenty. Oh gosh, they got me with the fire. Those guys are really good at aiming. Come on, I just need to wait for the fire to subside and then I should be fine. There we go, cause it's, ah, oh, no, come on, come on, come on. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's down to a few percentage, so maybe we don't even need it. There we go. Yeah, we did a really good job this time. This is a lot faster than the other two. So we're learning, that's great. And we definitely wanna run around and collect as many of the Prismarine as possible. I really need it, so if we see any from any of these buildings that were destroyed, we just gotta run over and grab but the cutscene. I hope that doesn't eat into our time to collect them. But look at this, we saved the zombies. They're gonna join our squad, our army. Very cool. They seem pretty happy about it. The flame has been lit. You've earned their trust. The zombies will fight with you wherever, whenever. Okay, well that's great. I got plenty more Prismarine to collect, but we're up to 110 of them. So whatever, whatever, wherever there were buildings, which I think there's a few more over here too. But they might have disappeared by now. Oh, they're about to disappear. No, see, that's why it can still be good to um just go over there and defeat it yourself than it is to rush in and then try to cut them after. It really depends. I mean, we got most of them, and it didn't cause us too much of a hassle, so that's always good. But um, I might as well collect as much of an army as I can, because we will use them for our next little adventure here. But I'm glad that we made quick work of saving this village this time. Usually it's a lot more complicated than time consuming. So I definitely want to get as many as I can. That's the most I think I can rally up for the time being is 40. But it's cool that there's even more than that, you know? There we go, I want to try to get 
this little killing guy. There we go. So we'll be using them pretty soon. I think for right now, we have a lot of wooden stone. If we can create more of the carpenter huts so that this um, village is sort of restoring itself, that would probably be a good idea. So I just need one about there. Maybe one over here, and then maybe a third one. This is a pretty big village area, so I could just place that there. Okay, feeling pretty good with that. So, there's still a lot going on. I think that we could also focus on some of these smaller ones that are around, like the Horde of the Bastion here. So, maybe that'd be a good thing to, to work on, but seeing how we don't have one yet, I would like to get a well house around here. We might have to go out pretty far for it, but that's okay, we'll figure it out. So for this, you know, we just need Prismarine and stuff, but not giving me the option to use it just yet. Oh, this is just the water, okay, I see. Sort of went the wrong way. There's gotta be a place I can put it. Oh no. Ooh, not good. <laughs> Keep getting caught on fire, poisoned. Okay, I could put it up there. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best idea, but. Hmm. There's gotta be a good place somewhere. This is a lot of trees in the way. You know what, I'll put it up there. Seems like fun, right? <laughs> I guess nobody else will be able to beat it up from over there either, so. Let's just try to get up here then. And we're slowly making our way over. It's a little bit more to the right. Oh, and there's a chest way up there. I don't have the beetle mount right now, so actually making those jumps might be a bit challenging, but I might as well try, right? Especially if we could get more prismarine out of it. Okay, well this is already not going so well. Specific platforming doesn't seem to work for this game. <laughs> I guess I just need to come back with the beetle. That's okay. So we have a huge party here though of, of like, you know, 40 units. Let's work on clearing this stuff out and then just go and start attacking some stuff here. So I see focus at target, maybe get some of them to focus on this one just to spread them out, divide and conquer kind of deal. Um, okay, I want to open this up without getting attacked too much because it's gonna be a bunch of villagers. Definitely want to save them. But it looks like they mostly have broken some stuff over here so they can all change our attention to this one. The zombies really making some good work happen. Looks like it, they have it broken. Great job, everybody. Let's move over to this now. So cool to have a huge army like this. It's so much fun. So that should be beat up in no time, right? Got some more up here. Okay, everybody come on over before that stuff explodes and focus this down. We still have all 40 of our units here, it seems, so we're destroying things quite quickly. I don't even really see any pick ones around. Some of them are over there attacking the villagers, so I guess that's keeping them busy. And we're just gonna go for each and every thing. So while that's happening, I definitely need to run over here and save some more villagers. Open up this cage. Well, some of them went into the lava for some reason. Got it. And then this is all broken up, so I just need to rush over here. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Oh no, there's another over there. So maybe I could get you guys to start breaking that one up because these get destroyed super fast. That's the one thing about them, is that they're really not too big of a deal when it comes to things. Uh, post have destroyed, awesome. And we can use more of our LEs to clear out this area a bit, wherever I can, whenever I can. There we go. Always super satisfying to do. And it just, I don't know how necessary of a thing that is, but it seems to be useful. So I, I might as well do it wherever I can. Um, in the meantime, that, that was just one of them cleared out. We're really getting better at that, making quick work of things. I think we want to basically do the same thing. We want to save this village, right? If we want to do that, let's make sure we have as many of our units around as possible. We're down to 35 now, but I think that's just because we lost some in the lava over here. So if I could just yeah, get some of them back. 39. Okay, we only lost one though. That's not the end of the world. We'll go back over here. I have enough prismarines maybe for another upgrade if we wanted to. Actually, I should save it so that we can set up another tower maybe around there. Um, So I should though make some markers to take on other Bastion things along the way. If there is any more iron ore deposits around here, I should go for those too. A lot to do, obviously, but uh, willing to work on it and just, you know, keep going. If we could 
Also, get some more stone and wood. It seems like I need more wood than stone right now, so I'll just do that. That'll keep them busy. We'll definitely have to upgrade our allies, though. Just the more the merrier. This area is always so pretty. This is one of my favorite parts of the game, is just the lush green forests. Okay, heading up this really quickly. And, okay, here's some iron. All of our allies are busy, unfortunately. I guess I don't need the iron that bad. We have 183 of it, but I could just wait a moment. Wish I could like cancel out some of the other ones. But it should be soon that they're done, I would think. I don't know, we could always come back. We can get iron from other resources too, just from like going to the chests and things, so we'll leave it. Just because we're busy enough as it is, but oh, there's a bunch of wolves over here too. Okay. And of course, we still wanted to do this, the Horde of the Spore over there, so. Just gotta keep that in mind for later. Uh-oh, here we go. Um, it looks like some of these are becoming available again. We have 40 units. That should be enough to fight some stuff. Um, so I got all my guys coming over. They're ready to go. Dusk piglins are invading. The piglins are on the move, but where exactly? I guess maybe this one? Hard to see, hard to tell. That's why I do also need to prepare some of the other villages and stuff. But uh, this horde have an upgraded base. Huh, and this seems pretty typical to me, but let's get them to get to destroy that stuff now. And then I wanna open up this. Oh, they're getting all the foxes. It's so mean, it's so cruel, leave the foxes alone. Okay, this thing is almost broken. There's not even really any piglins around here, so really not that big of a deal to do. Um, let's rush them over there. And then while that's happening, of course, we'll free our little friends over this way. Got it. Let's send some more over. So apparently they're not all over there. Just wherever there's piglins that we can fight away. That's also good. Okay, I'm in the lava right now. <laughs> not what I wanted. Uh, so these should give us gold. Looking forward to that. I don't really see any piglins around. Okay, there's a couple over here. Really not too many left. So we've got one more to deal with right over here. There we go, we got it. And that should break up basically straight away. Alpha's destroyed, glad to see it. So amazing work so far. With that one done, I wanna make my way to this village over here. I think we still have all of our units, so that's good. And I have enough of the allays just to clear out some more of this. I don't know if that really makes much of a difference for stuff that we're already done. But you never know. There's a lot of piglins over here. But I think this might be around a good spot to set up. I might wanna do it where there's not as many pigs running around. So like maybe over here. Yeah, over here. We'll set up one of these big towers. I say that and then of course what, what shows up? A big pig. All right. Maybe I'll send them over here. If we could just fight away some piglins. I don't know if there's like a way to clear out this area so less piglins spawn. Not really quite sure if it works that way, but. Go. And I think we're all right now. I think we can, wait, a little bit. I'm only down to 26 units. Now what happened to the rest of them? We're missing out on 10 units somewhere. Are they still back over here? Maybe they got knocked out. Okay, well there's a few more at least. Now we're back at the 39. That's great. So, let's follow our markers so that we can save that village. If we could set up some reinforcements there too, that'd probably be a good idea. With that being said, we're definitely gonna need maxed out wood. So there we go, we got that. We'll definitely need that for crafting things to improve the health of villages and stuff. Leave the wolves are alone. Piglins are so awful and mean. All right, so we're going over. This is under piglin control now, so we'll have to really work if we want to save everybody. So 37 piglins to defeat. That is something we can definitely handle though. So let's send out some army over that way. And now I'm just gonna start slicing and dicing wherever I can. Because the fight begins and it gets pretty crazy. Already down to only 24, 14 piglins. Yeah, it's getting down really, really low really fast. So we can definitely handle it. There's a few more to slice and dice, and there we go. Occupation partly cleared. 
The job isn't quite done, but that certainly helps. So they're all gonna run away. And this is where we can free some villagers. Um, we'll have to build the carpentry thing. And then also some protections around the building would be nice. So we'll do all that just in a moment. We do get more materials for saving them like that. So I just wanna get here. Start getting those kind of things figured out. So maybe another one over that way. And maybe about here. Okay, so while that's happening, I think that hopefully that's enough to heal this. Do I need to do anything for this? I don't think so. I think now it'll just slowly get better, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it's at 2% now, so it just takes a lot of time. So in the meantime, if I could just build some other stuff, Occupation cleared. The village has been freed from people in occupation. Exactly what we want to see. We'll get some of those walls up. Let's see, just like this. And then I will, just to like save on walls a little bit, if I could just make it diagonal. I know it's not perfect, but that's okay. Just so that we can get in and out. I don't know, did I leave a little spot? Uh-oh. <laughs> there you go, there you go, I fixed that, I fixed that. I might not be the master builder, of my dreams, but sometimes we just gotta be quick about things because there's a lot to do in this game and I just don't wanna rush into, or I don't wanna waste any time, so I do rush a little bit. Um, but I'll get this over here. There we go. So there should be a wall around this whole thing and then of course to protect that, we should get some of the, I don't think I have it on my list right now, but these scatter towers are like close range and those can be pretty nice. So if we could just um, get a couple of those around the entrance like that, I think that'd be a good idea. We've got one right there. Another right here. And then another way over this way. For the long range stuff, we'll definitely want these kind. But this is where we have to be careful because we are definitely running out of wood. So you know what? We should be doing some multitasking. Why don't I get the allies to you know, sort of stay a bit busy? Maybe have some of them get some stone from somewhere. Not too much of a deposit of stone around here. We got one maybe over here. I don't, I don't have enough alleys for it. That's okay. That's enough so that we can go back to crafting and just get a couple more of the arrow towers. We can keep this village nice and protected. We need to do this for all of them, not just this tower. So like you can see, this guy is gonna be popping up. Not only can I slice and dice him away and use my army to finish him off really quickly, but hopefully the towers will help with them soon enough. Because you know we have, I think this one's sparkling, that means that this is the next one that's gonna attack. I'm definitely concerned about that, so maybe we should reinforce that village next. That's right next to it. That might be the best play we can make. Okay, we got some stuff happening here. It's feeling a lot safer, so that's always good. Um, but that's all we can really do for now. We should go to some of the different villages and collect whatever's available in the chest for us. All right, well, here we are. So, I think, Go over here, open up a chest, and for this one, we we'll get some villager rewards. Some of these are actually looking pretty beat up, so I might just help out with that. And like I said, this is one of the ones I tried to build it around the entire village, thinking that's what I had to do, but it doesn't really seem like it. I think I just need to protect this, so I should be fine for now. Let's just go to each village that I can, get some extra materials from them. So we have this one now. I think I need to... And there's more beat of buildings around here, so once again, if I could just help those out, because I don't really know what these do, but I'm, I'm sure it might actually improve the amount of resources we're getting if these buildings are better. That might be how it works. And then there's one more village over here. Just wanna go to the one we're supposed to be fortifying last, so that we have like the max amount of materials we could use for it. Okay, so... Maybe we were already at this one because that one didn't give me too much, but that's okay. We were, we were right here. We just need to go to this village. We also want to go here next, so there's a lot we're doing. But with this, I'm pretty sure this is the village that's lined up to be attacked next, if I'm not mistaken. So if we could really just max out a lot of our materials, we've got 25 iron there. I want to focus on getting the gates out. So there'll be one over here and then one over there. And then we create the wall around it, just like we did before. Okay. 
and I'm just going to block this off. We really only need two entrances, right? I feel like getting all four of them is a little bit extra. So I'll do that. Then we'll run over to the other side and just do the same thing. Because the doors will lower for us, but not for the piglins. That's sort of the useful thing about it. Got it. I keep on hearing the zombies gurgle and it sounds like a monster's attacking us, but no, they're our friends. Got it. Okay, so that's looking nice and protected. Then we focus on these scatter towers wherever we can. Of course, this uses up some coal too, but we have a good chunk of coal, so I think we're fine. Um, and then I'll do maybe one more on this side. So with that figured out, what other kind of like defenses do we have here? You know, we have things like the arrow tower, obviously, but then we also have like ice trap, freezes enemies who approach but deals no damage. That could be good for lining up other things. Protector tower, destroys enemy projectiles in a wide area surrounding the protector tower. So things like that might be a good idea too. The well house we know about, but the spyglass overlook increases the firing range of nearby arrow towers, scatter towers, and redstone launchers. Really cool little things there. The piglins are planning, and they're actually going for that village. Oh no. So maybe we should not worry about this one too much. We should prepare a response for the next village over here. Oh my goodness. I, I'm sure they're going to attack the right when I'm not ready for it. village tonight, and they are not prepared. Then our hero will build strong walls and towers. The piglins will have their work cut out for them if they come here. That is for sure. So we are just going to, just like with the other one, stay as prepared as possible. This is like new music. We just want to make sure that these piglins have a really hard time if they try to get over here. I don't know what this building is, if it's supposed to be like this. I think it's just destroyed, right? Can I just remove this? There we go. The LAs are going to get rid of this one because it's sort of in the way. I don't know if I put that there or not. I think I did, but it was just sort of destroyed. Okay, so let's do that then. Um, and as it's being removed, I can switch back over to the walls. There we go. And then same thing over here. Just wall this all off. And we gotta be quick about it. Sorry if I'm rushing a little bit, but I really think we have to. And right there. Okay, everything's walled off. We know that we need to make these towers then. And we are running a little low on coal. I wonder if there's anything left in, in the chest here. Uh, oh, I, I, did I swap mounts? I think I did. Uh, we just get some wooden stone, which is still useful. Got it, okay. So, I'm feeling pretty set up here. I think we want some arrow towers, or yeah, arrow towers. Just wherever we can get them. Because these are actually, you know, pretty inexpensive compared to most things. So if we could get a lot of them out here, I really don't see the problem with it. The only problem is the builder alleys sometimes, you know, need some extra time. We can get that there. Maybe another one over this way. There we go. We have a whole horde of them now. Uh, what does the masonry do again? Masonry is right here. In no, that's the spyglass. Really? Yeah, okay, I see it now. Um, this is the masonry. Permanently turns nearby walls, towers, and gates into stone blocks, which significantly increases your durability. That actually sounds amazing. So we should, if we have the materials, we don't have enough iron is the thing. So. Where can I get iron from really quickly? This village gives me iron. So I might rush back to there and see if there's any extra iron waiting for us in the chest. Um, Cause if we could get to 200 just really fast, it'd be amazing. So back over here, open this chest up. We don't really get any iron from that, no. <laughs> okay, so maybe the well house from over this way would have some iron. Cause I know that this area sometimes has iron. We passed up some of it before, but uh, well, this area specifically has diamonds, so maybe I'd be better going to the well of fate. Sorry, I'm very indecisive right now as I try to figure everything out, but it would be in this area out here. I just want to do this stuff before, you know, nighttime falls upon us. So I just want to rush back out there and see if there's any iron that we can just grab real quick. So I unfortunately could not find any iron. I swear I could never find it right when I need it, but it's okay. We don't have enough for this, but at the least, there might be some other things I can build. Um, oh, there's a protector tower. Uh, let's see. I think I might just wanna go for this and destroy enemy projectiles in a wide area surrounding the protector tower. This might be worth getting. I'm gonna put this over 
this for now. And I guess it's a wide area over the tower. So I really don't know exactly where we set something like this up. I guess like right here, uses a lot of coal. But beyond that, oh, there's a little bit of the wall here that we've not cleared out. So let's deal with that. Let's make sure that this is nice and snug. Got it. So hopefully that keeps everything protected. I can't stay here forever. I wanted to go and take on the Horde of the Spore now. So I think that's what we're gonna be focusing on in the meantime. But we did a good job. I do have 100 Prismarine if I wanted to consider an upgrade. Now might be a good time to do that too. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see if there's any upgrades I could actually afford to get that we don't already have. Um, we take a look here. We do have things like, you know, just getting extra alleys, alleys, whatever you call them. Uh, I might want to do that. Yeah, just right over here. Seems like a pretty simple one. That'll um, use up 50 of our Prismarine. You'll be a better loot player than me in no time. I don't think there's any other things like that that requires just 50. I could do another one, actually. I don't know if that's using up the space a little too much, but I could just try it, you know? Because um, I think that having more LEs is really, really useful. So that's all done there. Let's go here and fight that big horde of things. It might be a little nerve wracking, but you know, we have a pretty strong team. We have 35 units already and it's already on our map. I think we just head over. I definitely need to work on defending this village more, as you can see. I didn't really get the best setup, but that's okay. So we're rushing over. We do see any extra materials to collect. We should definitely get them, but I'm actually full when it comes to redstone, so we don't need that one at all. All right. Still don't really know what's with the green stuff. Is there anything I can do with that? I haven't discovered it quite yet, but I'm sure sooner or later. But I'm glad that we've been able to save all of the mob villages. Okay, I think, is this it? I think it is, sort of, but also not really. Oh no, that's the smaller one of the Horde of the Sport. We'll do that soon enough, I'm sure. There's plenty of those little ones all over the place. And they're not really that hard to get rid of. Got a big pack of wolves over here. I might take a couple of those guys if they're, well, one well, that join me, I'm stuck on a lily pad. Here we go, here we go. Traveling across water so far is a little tedious. But this might be a good spot before, oh no, oh, they're already attacking us though. So I don't know if I'll have the chance, but I think if I could you know, get some of those guys out, I would like it. And in the meantime, I need to do something like that. Okay. We're not even quite where we need to be. Okay, here we go. The cutscene's gonna play, but then we're taking this one on. The Horde, the Horde of, the Spore. of the Spore are perhaps what antithesize our overworld the most. They are chaotic, noxious, and without reason. Whoa. No! Don't go that way! Oh no. Run, little fox. Oh no! It's so evil. It is going to be particularly unpleasant fighting these piglins. Well then, let's give them an unpleasant fight. Oh, that's max height, okay. Maybe I could put it on top of the mushroom? Maybe that would help? I don't know how else to get up there. Come on, come on. Got the it. piglins never back down. Now they'll fight even harder. There we go, we found a creative solution. If it would work, okay. Come on, come on, right there. We're, we don't have so much time, you know? So let's get out this way, focus those targets, and just do what we can. While all these guys are working, I think we should probably go back out to our spawners. It's a long trip, right? But, you know, I could also make a couple more of these guys if we wanted to. So boom, boom. Call over our friends as much as possible, and then create some new ones. And I probably want to make some healers soon, too. So if I could just, uh, wait, uh, get that. Time is of the essence. Okay, got all that. Gonna call over one more of those guys. Okay, and then we just go back out there. Should be a good plan, right? But as you can see, I'm trying to get back out here. Come on, we should be able to get rid of them pretty quickly. And once again, as it's happening, I think we need to get some of those set up. All right, we're, we're back to it then. A lot of these guys are just sort of hanging out for the time being which I don't want, I want to get them all together. Because once they fall off the side, I think they get really confused and we don't want that. 
Come on, come on, come on. Because they're about to break that tower. That is fantastic. Send everybody to that one now. Some more of them might end up falling off. So I'll have to be aware of that. But if I could just uh, craft a little bridge over here. All right, everybody. Huge army coming through. Let's get it to it. Destroy that one super quick. That really shouldn't take as much time at all. Um, and there's a lot of them over here that we can work on, you know? But also, fight these piglins out of the way. And they immediately should be going to this one. Come on now. Break that. And then I guess we will make a ramp from here the horde of the spore to here. It's their not strength. the most ergonomic one, but that's okay. Uh, after this. Oh, no. Okay, maybe this is a great chance for us to rethink our strategy here because I don't know if we could get up there very easily. So we're getting over here, sending a big horde over that way. Then we do something like this, perhaps? Got a lot of our units working on it, but those piglins are coming in. They're not happy with us. Got it. Let's see who out of all this group we can just get to come over here. We're on the 34 now, which isn't the best, but it's okay. And then I want to build a ramp from here to here. Here we go. I just wish there was a way to make them a little bit more angled. A lot of the time, I feel like I just need a diagonal one, but we don't get that. Okay, so everybody's gonna focus on that. While they are, if there's any groups of piglins like this I could just deal with, even if I just push them off the side and don't fully defeat them, that can be good. Anything to make sure that they're not attacking your friends. And this thing is almost broken up. There it goes. Great job, everybody. Um, we are going to get over here, and I think we have enough. Enough power here just to focus that. I don't think they can stop us too much. By the time they do, we'll have it mostly destroyed, I think. I might have to now run back though and get more spawned in. I say that, but we have 24 out of 24. There's not really too much more I can do in that regard. So maybe I just keep fighting them off while my army works on what they gotta work on here. Because we do have some healers. So if we protect the healers, I feel like, you know, they'll keep everybody else protected in turn. But I guess we'll see if that's the case. Ah, oh, the healer just broke. But that's okay, we're already down to 47%, so we're getting somewhere with it. Come on, come on. One more push and the portal will fall. We're definitely losing some units now, but I think we'll be okay. It's down to 20% and we still have 20 of our golems and the, the zombies here too. So I think we're all right, down to 10% now. This should definitely be it. Five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Another group destroyed. That's amazing. Hold on, we're zipping away. Oh no. All right. Oh no, but of course, they're not gonna be happy about it. Is he taking a hot tub bath? I think he is, he's getting soapy and sudsy. Is it mushrooms? I think they're mushrooms. Huh. He's got an apple in there too? What is going on? No. Whoa! Whoa! He ate the piglet. That's horrible. The piglet just want one little mushroom for himself, and this guy's eating them all. He's so selfish. There are many scary pigs that we're gonna have to fight sooner or later. That was the big gluttonous one, I guess. Let's run around and grab as many prismarine as we can from those destroyed buildings. So, oh, and the gold too. That's nice. The devourer has been awakened. Oh no. They are slow to act, but their insatiable hunger will get the better of them sooner or later. Ugh. The horde of the spore makes my blocks crawl. They are such a foul breed of piglin. Okay, so that is something we'll have to be aware and careful of, is the Devourer. So I'm guessing that like with each area comes its own big piglin boss. We got 133 Pismarine from that. So that was great, but we you know eliminated some more of their ground. That's always good to see. And it looks like this village is yet to be attacked. So some things are definitely working out in that regard. Um, I definitely lost some of my units are way up there. I think I'm just gonna leave them. We can always recoup some more of them. Uh, at this point, with our extra prismarine, there might be some extra upgrades we can sort of prioritize. 
we'll have to wait and see. Um, so what haven't we done? We haven't done large flames of creation. So this would add 10 flames. I don't have, I don't even have that many prismarine I can carry at once. So maybe there's something that will improve the amount of prismarine I can hold. Cause I think I can only hold like 200. So the fact that this requires 400 prismarine is a little much. Um, the shared chest is something I really wanted and we have everything for it. So I think I'm just going to put that there and we are going to put it somewhere because I really want to have the chair, chair chest. That way I don't have to travel to each village. There we go. That's going to use up most melody, of my prismarine. will connect all the village chests for you. All right, very useful. We're going to go and experience the benefits of that right now by going back over here and just doing what we can. So open up this chest and inside we get a bunch of stuff, including enough iron to build this masonry, right? I think. I don't think I have it here. So let's go here again and masonry, put it there. So the masonry will work about there. You can sort of see where it covers up and what it doesn't, but it's, it's sort of hard. Uh, but if I do this right there, that's gonna make all these walls into stone walls and that'd be really great. I still don't know why there's like, it looks like there's something here. Like the space says it's occupied, but it's not really. It's very odd. Um, but I guess in the meantime, there are gonna be some monsters coming here soon enough. I hope we're prepared for them. I, I don't really know if there's like a timer on when they're gonna show up, but I do just want to be available for when it happens. But we do have over here some spawners, so I might as well add some more. And I should also recall just to make sure that I have everybody here. There you go. Cool. I definitely need a few of these guys. And then some more of them. So we've got quite the big army now. 37 units in total. Very cool. So I'm just hoping they show up soon because there's not really too much more for me to do. Except for maybe change my mount. I sort of want to change to the beetle. It's a little bit slower, but I've been needing to climb up on things lately, I feel like. So maybe I will uh, swap mounts really quickly. It'll let me. There it goes. This makes it a little bit easier to get around from time to time. But if we have any extra time, I think it'll just be spent gathering extra materials if I can find any. And hopefully the game will just tell me when the piglins are attacking. It should. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't. This should get us back at the maximum pretty quickly. I just don't see any other resources around here. Where are we at currently? Down here, there should be some redstone around. That's the one where I don't really care too much because I have plenty of that. So if I go back this way, there's supposed to be iron around. I can never find iron for some reason. Oh, and there's some stuff maybe I can clear over here. There you go. I should get that figured out. Because that's across the water here. It doesn't even show that there's water on the map. Weird. Oh, there's a pickle right here. Here to them. The village is targeted. This village will be attacked tonight. Build defenses and repel the piglins when night falls. Yep, we're just waiting for nighttime then. And where am I standing right now? Right here. So, still not seeing any iron. There's got to be around some around here somewhere. Okay, here we go. I think it's finally happening. The poor villagers are under attack. So we gotta get over there really fast. So we're just gonna make a marker here. Actually, we'll just quick travel to it. I don't know if the masonry has made any of the fences in the stone just yet. Oh no, it is. Slowly but surely. I guess it just takes some time. Um, that's really cool to see. Or maybe it just doesn't quite reach all those. Hard to tell. Um, and I can't quite afford to build another one right now. I don't have enough iron. What do you know? Story of my life. Where are the uh, piglins coming in at? Is the question now. Because we have six minutes to survive. This is the most powerful we've ever had a town but it seems like they're already rushing in over this way. So we just want to send out whatever units we can to fight, fight, fight. And let's take out whatever piglins we can find for five full minutes, actually six full minutes, really. We're gonna be keeping real busy here. Okay, so wherever I see them, I guess I just have to, you know, send out a couple of them because I can send out one or two at a time. Seems like there's more coming out over this way, so we'll just charge everybody. More piglins approaching. Oh no. But so far I think our defenses are holding up pretty well, right? 
I sure hope so. And we can always build more. Now this only requires wood and iron, or wood and stone, so pretty affordable to do that kind of stuff. Okay, we gotta get whoever we can. There's a lot of guys just hanging out right now, so if they could just go over here and fight, it's probably pretty good. There we go. Now we're working on it more. And is the timer going down while that's all happening? I think it is. Like if I leave that area, will the timer still go down? I think the answer is yes, so. And I think we need to fight these things. I really don't know if there'll be a situation where our defenses are so strong, where we don't even need to be there to defend against it. I think that is always the requirement, is that we're a part of it, but yeah, there's a lot going on over here. So if we could just rush over some extra units everywhere. And that's why I wish there was sort of a stand your ground option for our units. Like there's a charge and then there's a um, focus target. But those can be pretty different, you know? I wish that there was a way to get specific targets to be like, okay, you guys stand here and just attack anything that comes near. And maybe that's what focus targets really supposed to be more like, but it doesn't really seem like it. Hard to tell. Okay, a lot of more piglins are heading over this way. Attack in the masonry, which I do not appreciate. Took me a lot of work to get that, you know? But so far, none of the buildings look all that much scuffed up, which is really what we were hoping for. Plenty more piglins over here, though, causing more issues for us. And while they're fighting, I could also just, you know, run around, do all things myself. So they are sort of fighting. The piglins have sent reinforcements. Oh, no. Uh, more reinforcements. I mean, that means it's a good opportunity to get some more uh, golems made. So if I could just, uh, even if it was just a couple more of these guys, and then maybe, okay, no, that's all I got for right now. So we're gonna send them over that way, and then fight this big guy if I can. There we go. <laughs> Gotta get him out of here. Well, we're already halfway through our time here. It was a six minute time, but we're three minutes in. There are big fights happening all over the place. I could get back over this way. You can see a lot of them are just standing around, even though I'd much rather they be fighting some piglins like that. So if I can get you guys. Yep. Oh, this one's a bit damaged, isn't it? Such a shame. But uh, honestly, there's not too many piglins over here. they sort of just, you know, running around. I don't want them to go too far out. If they can't even reach the village, then I think we're doing a good job. So those guys are holding that point. So that really is what is supposed to be the right click move. Um, it looks like I do just need to keep some of them over here. So if I could just little bits at a time, get some of them to set up over There's there. Still more coming. All right, I'm doing what I can about them. Will they attack? They will. It would be nice to get some skeletons out, I think. I really can't spawn too many more in, though, is the problem. So, uh, even if I just get one skeleton, though, it might make a difference, so. I'll get that there. Two minutes remaining now, and there is a bigger horde coming in. I think I'm just gonna have them set up over here as those guys get closer. Here. We'll spawn in a skeleton. Okay. This ain't so good. But so far, you know, our main tower is at 100%. It's really good to see. And while I'm doing all that, is there anything more that still needs? This stuff doesn't have any healing protection, so doing that might be a good idea. A new wave of piglins is headed oh, no. your way. It looks like this tower is about to bust. Oh yeah, that tower just got knocked out, but they're so easy to build that I could probably just create another one really quickly. I make two more in its place. How do you feel about that, piglins? You knocked down one tower, I make two more. All right, let's see what we can do. I see a little bit more over this way. I see all these guys sort of just hanging out. So maybe I'll get them over there with less than a minute remaining now. We're holding on tight. I think there's definitely some more stuff I can do over here. So even if I just spawn in a few more, get all those guys, send them over for more of a fight. 30 seconds more or less remaining now. Trying to see, you know, where the piglins are coming in from. I'm dealing with it any way I can. And yeah, look at our stone fortress here. Looking amazing, right? Uh, ah, they were able to knock over some stuff. I do not want to stand for that. That's the guy. I guess the guys with the bombs and stuff. Oh, they're hard to deal with. But with only a few more seconds left, 
I think we can hold it. I think we can do this. Let's send these guys over there. Okay. Uh, only a few more seconds, and these piglins are done for. There we go. Now it is time to remove the rest of the piglins. So whatever piglins are around, we just need to defeat. Clear the area. I don't actually really see any piglins. Oh, except for this guy. They destroyed some of my spawners, which is very unfortunate. But um, looks like you know my teammates here are getting to work. If I could just you know help out with some of that, that'd be great. Oh man, a lot going on, but just a few more piglins defeated, and there we go, we success successfully defended a village. And they didn't even get to touch our tower, or fountain. That's amazing. Really happy with the turn though. Invasion sure. repelled. These villagers are safe again. At least for the time being. So with that, we can collect some additional rewards from chests, so let's definitely go and do that now. Right over here. What do we got inside of this one, then? Ooh, 100 iron, 87 prismarine, gets us back over 100. So I think we can celebrate with that by, of course, going to the Well of Fate and just sort of seeing whatever whatever other stuff we can get. So, here. Still can't do this one, but I can do Collect Power Towers. Enables you to collect special host towers found throughout the world for gold and resource costs. We can. Do that one, or this one's a little too expensive, the expert carpentry, the expert mason. So I think we'll go with this one then. Um, I'll put it over that, so it's number six. And we'll just set it up somewhere. So I almost have all the upgrades, at least for the time being. I'm sure more will open up soon. But there we Perfect. go, fantastic. Now all the towers in the world are at your disposal. Remember, you'll need gold and a few other resources handy, so the LAs can build the towers for you when you need them. Okay, well, we've done exactly that so far. We have a few things we need to get done. First off is that the zombie homestead is about to be attacked. Piglins target your friend's home tonight. They will need your help. As Forrest, I just said. So we're gonna go over to the well house and try to reinforce this area a little bit, just in the same way that we have with other locations, just to make sure that we're in as good of a spot as we can manage. Um, okay, we're way up here for now. So let's just set that there and we'll head off to where we're supposed to be. Mostly just because, you know, we really just want to uh, make sure we don't lose that stuff, seeing how we just got the most of it. Is there going to be anything besides redstone around here? It looks like it's just gonna be redstone. So, let's get over as much as we can and just sort of build those reinforcements. Mostly just like, you know, wall around it. I don't think we have enough for the masonry. We would need more iron, which, you know the story with that one. Uh, but Help your friends prepare defenses for the coming attack. I definitely will. So, as you can see, there's a lot of zombies around here now. I don't know if this one works the same way as it would with uh, the other fountains where we'd want to have something around here, but I will do this just in case. So, we will uh, just set up a little gate here and there, nothing too crazy. This one's a lot smaller than the uh, other one, so that's nice. I need to go back to the wall. So we just want to set up a wall super quick. Beyond that, you know, there's still plenty of other stuff we need to do in today's episode. I'm hoping we can get some more um, of the towers and stuff found, because I think that we unlocked the ability to do that. Uh, there we go. That's being built, and I think there might be a little spot, yeah, right over here that we can just fix up. And then we also want to put down another carpenter hut, because I think this building just is broken. And it looks like we already have the spawners around here too, so we can prepare with that soon enough. But uh, if I can, while we're waiting, we absolutely need to set up some of those, get some wood out of it. And we do have more LAs now, right? So we should be able to put down more stuff. I think we have more builder and normal LAs, builder and gatherer LAs, whatever they might be. I don't see any stone around here though, which is a little unfortunate. That's okay. I mean, I mostly need wood anyways, but I think We'll just set up as much of a fair portion of these arrow towers as we can, because they were really useful before. They definitely got the job done. So I could just get out here, really cover some of these up. And if we had the chance, why don't we also uh, get a couple of these guys out, just like this, however many I can muster. If there's more zombies around, I probably want to grab them, but most of them are following us at the moment. Yeah, here's a few more. Here we go. Okay, let's get back to uh, building the arrow towers, because still plenty more I can do with that. Because it only requires stone and wood. Which, speaking of stone, I think I could... No resources to gather, which I don't have the LAs anyway, so... Right now, just more of these. I'm going a little bit extra with them, but 
I just don't know how intense this army that's gonna be coming at us will be. So if we can just defend things as well as possible. So we'll have a lot of zombies here with us too, so that's great. Got it? And then maybe just two more. One there, one there, seems good. So there's no stone around here I can get? It really doesn't seem like it, um, but I can get some more wood. Okay, that's good. What other things can I craft though? We could go with some of these scatter towers. They require basically the same thing, but some coal as well. And we'll just put those around there. So that they do break in a little bit more. Hopefully it's not too big of a deal. But those are some really helpful things to build, but we can also, you know, add more stuff. So if I wanted to uh, switch over. Oh yeah, we never read this, did we? Spawn zombies, high health mobs, resistant to debuffs that have a disruptive melee attack. And then, um, is there anything cool I wanted to build here? We could do with the protector tower. Uh, what is the kaboomery? Adds an explosive knockback to projectiles from attacking structures such as arrow towers, scatter towers, and redstone launchers. That could be cool in the battle drum. Increases the firing speed of nearby arrow towers, scatter towers, redstone launchers, and traps. All those require more redstone. Well, this requires more redstone. This requires diamond, this requires coal. I do have all the redstone I can get for right now, but I would need to raise my maximum to actually build that. So in the meantime, if I can do anything, let's do a redstone launcher. That could be fun. Um, so I'll put that over here, I suppose, and just set one up. There we go, and that gives us the opportunity to go get whatever other redstone was around, because I know that there was some right there. I think there were some more around somewhere else. If we run around a little bit, I'm sure we can find it. Yeah, we're doing a pretty good job just sort of preparing for everything. We'll get more of the uh, zombie villagers wherever we can. Okay, here's a bunch of redstone. So I definitely want to grab that. And also probably just clear more of this stuff out. This is where we were building all the ramps and stuff. This was just last episode, wasn't it? So yeah, pretty good. At this point, I guess we're just waiting for the, the piglins to attack. Don't know how long that's gonna take, but it'll happen eventually. I guess, yeah, in the meantime, we could look around a little bit, just at what else is going on around here. Might be able to find some more zombies and skeletons for us to team up with, like this little skeleton right here. And there's not really too much else in this area. So we're just sort of waiting for that to happen. Well, I do definitely hear a chest up this way, so I figure I might as well try to grab this, if possible. There we go. What's inside of this chest? Hopefully some more prismarine, but We'll see, 118 lapis is probably the thing I need the least, but you know, hey, we got it out of the way now. I don't know if those chests ever replenish. But I guess we'll find out eventually. See, it's, it's sort of good to look around. I already see way in the distance another chest on top of another tree, so want to make the most of that while we're waiting for these piglins to attack, you know? I'll put this, oh, no resources. Oh, okay, there we go. That should help. So we'll jump up there as soon as we can so that we can maybe, I don't know the best way to get up there, but we just want to get to that chest. I did also see though, right over here, got it. And I think the game will tell me when they're starting to attack, so hopefully we don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, can I jump up here is the question. It's a little tricky. Uh, there's gotta be a better way. Maybe from over here, there we go. Much better. And I jump over. Break open this chest, and we have 114 Prismarine, very cool. So we'll definitely be using that for upgrades soon enough. Maybe that's what I should go do right now. I'll, I'll take a quick like, run around to make sure there's no other treasure chests that we could grab. If there isn't, then definitely worth prioritizing getting some more Prismarine, or getting some things built with the Prismarine, and then, you know, hopefully getting more Prismarine. I don't know, not only seeing too much more, still really don't know what to do with these. I know they heal us up a bit. But I don't think I see anything else. So and I'm listening out for it. I'm trying to look around at the top of the trees and stuff too, just for whatever treasure chest might be around. And then, you know, there might be you know some secret stuff around here. Who knows? So I couldn't find too much else going on. So I figure we might as well go back really quickly and see what other upgrades we can access right here, because we're still missing some things. I mean, some of it requires 200 prismarine, but we could either keep saving and get like Flames of Creation plus four, or we could get 
you know, some other stuff here. If I wanted to get like a higher redstone cap, that could be good. Hmm. Lots of options for sure. Um, I think we could go for this and then build some of those other upgrades. So, you know, we, we will obviously get other things later on too. If I can just put this, sure, right here, that might be nice. So if we were to go back over here, I should be able to, you know, capture some more redstone. I could also go to some of the other chests. I should probably do that soon too. I'll grab some of the redstone that's chilling out over here because there's actually quite a few clusters of them. So we will just go like this, this, and that. I don't see any others around here. So while the LAs are busy at that one, we just need to go to any village and just grab the stuff out of the chest. Open this one. And look at that, we get even more stuff. So that can be very useful for building some reinforcements. I'm gonna go back over there and get that one building that we couldn't get before because our redstone limit was too low. Now we should be able to make it happen. Okay, so here is our battle drum. Like I said before, this will increase the firing speed of our projectile launcher kind of things. With that being said, it's, you know, very specific with the range here. I might want to put it somewhere like this, where we're reaching some of those towers for sure. Hard to see exactly what it's reaching. Uh, maybe I should get it like this one step forward. That's not quite reaching these towers. So the spacing isn't playing itself forward too much, but I can get this one here. There we go. So that'll get those closer range ones. I could try to build another one, but I don't quite have the redstone for it. But just doing little things like that is helpful. And since I have the extra wood, I might make a bigger wall around everything really fast. You know, nothing too crazy, but if that could just hold back some enemies, I feel like that's a great idea, right? So we'll do that, put it about here, and then same deal over this way. We should probably build a gate somewhere though. So even if I did just, you know, a gate right here, nothing too crazy. I don't know if I should have the, arrow towers outside or inside the walls. Hard to tell. I mean, I think this is fine. We can do that. And while that's happening, I should definitely be getting the LA's to just keep busy, get some more wood and some more redstone. Okay, so back to crafting these walls because we have plenty of time before it's night. If we have extra time after this, we could also go through some of the smaller um, pickling camps that we run into occasionally. I don't know if those pop back up after defeating them. So far it doesn't seem like it, right? Actually, maybe they do. Because there used to be a lot more around here, right? And now they're sort of just gone. So I guess after you defeat them, there's a sort of, like these right here, there should be a lot more of those across the map, but there really isn't. So also another thing is I definitely wanna get this um, first of Oak Golem, if possible. But for right now, I'm just gonna go back to setting up this wall a little bit. Just gotta get this here. This will definitely help out a lot when it comes to uh, keeping the piglins out. And get some more redstone and plenty more wood. There we go, because you know, we're using a lot of it up, but we're making the most of it for sure. And we need to do this for all of our villages eventually, I feel. It just might take some time. So we're doing a pretty good job with this, but there's still plenty more to go. But I guess we should maybe about here, set up one of these. We, we definitely will need it. So let's rotate it like this. Put it about there and keep it going. We're almost there. I definitely want to keep th these things inside it. So maybe I'll just do this and then make another gate. That might be the best idea. So I'm not the best at planning these things out. I sort of just wing it, so it might not look the prettiest. That's okay with me though. Okay, put this here, and then one last wall should do the trick from here to there. Awesome, so those walls will be ready and waiting for any enemies that try to take us on. In the meantime though, if we do have the ability, just, you know, get some more wood, but it looks like the lasers are still working. So, I guess we don't have to worry about it too much. Let's take a look around then. Is there anything I can fight in the meantime while we're waiting? Because, I mean, I guess it's almost nighttime. It's sort of hard to tell now that it's raining. Uh, but if we could really quickly, you know, get something like this, that might be nice, but that one's a little bit of a jog away. I'm not seeing too much more of them though, so I guess we've really done a good job at knocking most of them out. Maybe I should go with this one, just really fast run over there, beat up a bunch of bad guys and leave. That could be good. 
Because like I said, it's still not quite nighttime. Okay, so where was that? Over here. So I definitely just want to run off and get to fighting and stuff. Some of our units are running away really fast, which is a bit odd. I don't know where they're going. Uh, but I can grab some more redstone there. I think we're heading the right way. Gotta watch out for the toxic stuff on the ground. Still don't want that. But okay, around here, let's see what we can do. I should probably also, if I could, just get a couple of these guys out, but I do need to get up here. So we'll do that, spawn in a good couple of these guys. If I can just get 10 of them, that should be more than enough just to get up here and start breaking things. So go with that first. It shouldn't take too long to do that at all. So while they are, we start breaking this open too. And there we go, we freed a bunch of little bunnies. Okay. Destroy this building. And then as soon as they do, I definitely need to craft that over there. Get them to destroy that one. Okay, run over here really quickly. Open this cage. We're getting there, we're getting there. Cool. Then, get as many of their attentions as we can so that we can go for more towers. It looks like they're going right for the next one though. We do get some gold here. We're maxed out on gold. Oh, gotcha. So that's a little unfortunate, but it's okay. Okay. Get back up here then. And they're actually going straight for the next thing. I do appreciate it when they actually do that. No, don't push me back. There you go. So some of them are really struggling with how to get around, but we're about to pop back down from this afterwards anyways. There we go. Great stuff there. Break this tower down. I don't know who else might be waiting for us over this way. It looks like a good chunk of them. Just get them to go for this tower. Get a good early start with it. Luckily, I can get up here pretty easily with the beetle. Okay, all of you guys in. This whole huge group. We need you to go down here. We'll save some more bunnies, which I don't know if saving the bunnies or you know these kind of units really changes anything, but we're gonna find out. It might just give us more prismarine. Hard to tell. Okay, one last thing up here, but once again, it's sort of hard for us to get up. Look, we actually haven't run into any piglins around here. It's weird. Um, I think we're missing some units around somewhere. Hard to tell. Got it. So they're gonna break, but that should be the last one. So let's poke around a little bit. Did I miss anything else? There's like a zombie over here. There you go, outpost destroyed, well done. He destroyed the horde of the spore outpost. Cool. So that's what we wanna see. So with that done, we'll grab all of our friends again. And now we're at 94 prismarines. So we're trying to get up to 200. We have a little bit of work to do. And is there anything going on out here just yet? I don't think it's quite nighttime. You can see the sun is setting, but it's not quite there. So in the meantime, get rid of some of this stuff if we can. Clearing out this whole area sounds nice. Oh, here we go. It's nighttime, so we gotta get over there quick and help them out. This is what we've been waiting for after all, so let's go and do this. Uh, so which way do we have to head? Let's put this on our map. We're going over here. Oh, see, this chest definitely was not there before, so good to know that these chests will replenish. Can I please get up there, though? Okay, well, it's, it's not going anywhere. We'll come back for it later. We really need to go and help. Time is of the essence. Oh no, the poor zombies. They're so sad. They're all running around and panicking. We're almost there. We gotta go quick. So, incoming Horde of the Hunt invasion. Piglins are coming, so we gotta stop them as soon as possible. And look at this, we're already here. So, that's Don't nice. Let the piglins break your friends' trust in you. Help them. I definitely will fight with everything I got here. So far, I'm not really seeing any piglins. Okay, there's a couple over here. So, let's definitely work on sending my army out that way, because that's a lot of them over there. So, it can be hard to tell exactly where some of the other ones are, but we can just fight ourselves for right now. Is this first one I can get? No, it's not. Okay, it's already, I think, grabbed, basically. We just have to hold this for, I think, seven and a half minutes, it said, so we got a lot of work ahead of us here, but it's definitely doable. More piglins approaching. Okay, so we cleared out this one pretty well. 
I think we need to grab as many as we can and get them to show up wherever there's more. I don't know if they can get through the wall too easily, can they? <laughs> That's all right. Um, Over here, so we gotta run quick. Just like this, almost here, almost here. Don't let them destroy that wall. Let's see if they can get over here or not. I sure hope they can. But in the meantime, this is a perfect spot for them to attack, sort of, because we can just spawn in some more. Okay, so. Get all of these guys, get them out over here. It's a huge amount of them. I wish the game would sort of just show us exactly where they're coming in from more often, but it doesn't quite work that way. Okay, let's grab some extra zombies here and there. And maybe what I'll do is I'll use this to get a good look. Oh, they're coming in from over there. Okay, so if I go like this, I can launch it over, and then I need to get over there pronto. So what we wanna do then is just probably, oh man, get over like this. They've breached the wall, that is huge. All right, um, so let's craft really quickly. Just one of these, it doesn't have to be anything super crazy. I'm usually really just using it to recall everybody over here, because if not, it gets a little crazy. So, um, recall everybody. There we go, that's a lot of them coming in. Send some out this way, but also a big bunch over that way. And then fight all of these little hogs that we got going on around here. This stuff is crazy. There's just so much to keep up with around here. I'm getting beat up trying to do it myself. So, we got all of you sending you guys out there. And then while that is happening, I think we need to also grab these zombies. Have them run out there. They might have to run across the wall. I don't know if they will know to do that. But, uh, rushing back over here. You can see that we still have more units waiting for us here, which needs to change. We need to be able to grab these guys and have them help out in other spots. So, yep, all of you, mostly just zombies at this point. Reinforcements. Oh no. And I want to grab some of these guys too. There we go. That should be good enough for now. Uh, where we're going? Way over here. It's just so much everywhere. And this is where, you know, I'm not really the best at this kind of situation. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is so many. That is so very many. An overwhelming amount. We still have to hold out for four more minutes here. This is insane. Uh, so hopefully all my friends are hard at work here. It looks like they are. This is why I like to, you know, like queue up movements. If we could just have them like, okay, go destroy this army. And then after that move over here, it'd be really cool, but it doesn't seem to quite work that way. Uh, they're breaking all the walls. And luckily the walls aren't too expensive to make, but all you guys over here, I need you to, to charge that way. Try to put a stop to more of this. There's so many piglets. Four more minutes still left to survive out of all this. So it really shows that I need to put out way more reinforcements most of the time. Because if not, this stuff just gets so messy. And I definitely don't want to lose the zombies here. This game is so difficult. Okay, uh, I know that there was a lot over There's here. Still more coming. Notice. Oh, they're destroying this wall quite a lot too. So it looks like a lot of our units are still out here, still fighting. So maybe I just get this out instead? Hmm, okay, so don't have much time to think about it. We are going to just spawn in some more. And then maybe some of these guys, and maybe I should get some like creepers and stuff too. I don't know. There we go, there we go. Send these guys out, yeah, have them fight whoever we can. Um, Spawn in more, more, more. Oh no, this guy's not very nice. Come on, everybody. Let's get some creepers out here. Don't let them destroy that stuff. So I place some of that over here. I mean, luckily they've been mostly focusing on the walls and the towers and stuff. They haven't been going for too much within the area because it looks like it is what I thought it was before that center thing that I sort of set up and protected. Oh man, you can already see there's a lot of them over this way. Well, actually not too many, but down here, there's a lot more. So if I could just send my guys like this, then we will run through. Slice away a lot more of them. <laughs> Look at all the zombies over here just chilling out. That's why it'd be really cool if we could just have them run a perimeter or something. There's a lot more zombies over this way. So we just want to run through. 
send as many of them at this guy as possible because he's not very pleasant. And then I can spawn in some more friends. A new wave of oh, no. is headed your way. This is too much. Way too much. Get them to fight around here. Defend that wall a little bit more. Two minutes now that we have to survive through. This guy and all of these guys to fight. Okay, this is actually perfect. They're not in a bad spot at all. Yeah, so far so good. They haven't made the way to the, you know this little area here in the center, so that's good. But I need to stop them here. So keep slicing at them. I don't really know where most of my units are at the moment if they're not here fighting. Really is a lot, isn't it? So, uh, I guess I just keep fighting these guys myself. If we can just withstand the minute, they might destroy more of our walls, but the walls are fine. You know, so if we can rebuild those, no, no problem. But this last minute is where things get so tough. Come on. So if we have some zombies over this way, we need to call them over right now. No reason for anybody to be just standing around time like this okay so there is some range stuff coming in here this is the thing that needs to be protected then I don't know I don't think so I mean it's still 100% so I don't think so all right so do this send these guys out with only 30 seconds remaining there's got to be more we can do here okay it looks like we have a lot of units that once again are just hanging out and not getting anything done this is exactly what I'm trying to put a stop to. There's a giant army of piglins. Uh, got it. Ten seconds remaining though. We're almost through this stuff. Then I don't know what we have to do, but hopefully it's not too bad. Three, two, one, and are we done? Did we do it? Turned. Now it is time to remove the rest of the piglins. So these piglins are charging and just clear the area of the remaining piglins. We can do that, no problem. There we go, we did it! Awesome! So, while it was certainly not easy, we were able to scare a lot of them away, and we, at the end of the day, were able to keep most things protected. Invasion repelled you, defended the zombies, their flame remained safe. Return. I would like to. The problem is that the resources of it are pretty intense. So, one other thing I definitely want to see. We have a carpenter hut here, so that's going to be healing things up. Wherever there's not a carpenter hut, we definitely need to build one. So that hopefully some of this stuff can be healed and restored, even though luckily not too much of it got damaged. Okay, so hopefully that stuff will all start to restore itself. We definitely will want to build some walls, just wherever possible. Get that stuff back to where it's supposed to be. Just like that. Now also I need to get my reinforcements back, but we can also recall them. That shouldn't be too bad, big of a deal. Let's rush over here, because I think this one, you can see this tower is being healed, as far as I can tell. So we will just add this here. Piglins are drawing plans for the next invasion. When it says that, it doesn't really tell you exactly where or when, but I guess this is sort of a constant thing. Okay. Putting this here, we'll have to replace the one gate that we had. But honestly, overall, we did do bad, so I think it's okay. We'll definitely want to work on that kind of stuff a bit more for next time, though. Because obviously, while we didn't do bad, we could have done a lot better. I think this is the last one. Oh no, there's definitely some walls over there that need to be fixed up a bit more, too. So we'll call over all the friends that we can. We have a maximum of 40 that we can bring, so might have to leave some behind. That's okay. We'll leave some zombie villagers back this way. And then way over here at this wall. Oh, this one spot right here. I guess I will do that. And then way over this way. We just gotta repair this wall. After this, I want to get that one chest that was near the spawner. And then I wanted to, like I said, go check out that one golem, if not anything else. There we go. Okay, so. Go back here and see what else we can do. Because we didn't really get any Prismarine or anything from fighting those guys off. 
So yeah, I should just be able to get up to here and hopefully, there we go, make this jump, open up this chest, what do we get inside? It will be one gather ally, whoa! That's cool, that's a really useful upgrade. So these chests can definitely make it worth it. I don't see any others, actually I see one over there. So let's definitely try to get that one. Let's get over here. Try to jump over a little bit, that one's really high up though. I don't know the best way to get over to it is. There we go. We can sort of climb up things a little bit, but I might want to get that mushroom down that way. Just like that. And that can help us jump up a lot easier. There we go. And now let's get this chest. And this one has 149 redstone. Hey, I'll take it. I don't see too much more going on around here. There's some big ones over that way, but mostly I think we just want to focus on this guy right here, the first of Oak. Powerful golden that blasts enemies from a great distance requires wake of the first, which we have, gold and wood. This ancient giant planted the seeds that grew into the mighty forest of the overworld. So I definitely want to try something like that out as much as we can. Because we didn't, couldn't do that before, but now that we have the wake of the first, shouldn't be a problem. So we'll run over there with our squad right now. We have 38 members, so you know, pretty good. If I want to, I'll try to get ready with, I don't know if we have to fight anybody or anything. That's why we have to figure some things out. Maybe we just have it run with us. It's right over here, so. The first of all. Whoa. Without our old friend here planting the seeds, there'd be no forests in the overworld. It seems they are in a bit of trouble. Would you be kind enough to help them out? I'd love to. So I just have to assemble you. It costs 100 gold and 500 wood. I don't quite have that amount of wood right now. Whoops. Okay. Uh, maybe I should go back because I'm not going to find any wood around here. Um, I did not realize I was that loud. So let's just fix that really quickly. Pretty easy thing to fix, after all. All I need to do is just, just set these up all over the place. And I can do a lot of them now. So really just top ourselves off. Okay, now we go back over there. So it's way over this way. And if I could, you know, get some stones and stuff too. Might be a good idea, I just don't know exactly where I wanna do that. Doesn't look like there's any stone around here. And this is the Badlands, so there's gonna be some coal for us to grab. I definitely need that, so if I see any coal, I'm gonna make sure we get it. Does this count as stone? Well, we don't have any leaves right now, that's the issue. Okay. We're jumping back up. I have the wood now, let's grab it. So this is our first of these ancient golems. It's so cool, whoa. Oh man, it's really big too. So this is gonna be nice to have. Hi. So I guess it fires stuff out of its mouth there. Awesome. So, first of Oak and Lot, you have a new powerful friend. And does it just follow me around at all times? The first of Oak is an ancient golem with a strong long range attack. Oh, creepers. Uh, You've already seen how useful your plank golems can be. And the first of Oak was their inspiration. They will watch over you and all the creatures of the world now that they are on your side. That's amazing. So how do we go about controlling them is the thing. I don't quite know, but this is where we can maybe take a look here at the overworld. Uh, we have the First of Oak. The First of Oak's powerful cannon can launch booming ranged attacks against the piglins. To assemble the first, you must build a special improvement at the Well of Fate and collect the required resources. When a first is defeated, they will meet you at the nearest village fountain or beacon. There you go. So if they do get defeated or we lose them, we, I guess we can just meet back up with them there. Um, in the meantime, can clear that off on our map. I want to go and try, you know, this kind of stuff. Any kind of horde of whatever we can take on is probably a good idea. So I want to make my way over there and just take one on so that we can uh, make some more progress, get some more rewards for it. I need to get it to 200 Prismarine after all. And while we're doing that, we should look out all over the place for any kind of uh, chests again. It doesn't seem like I find as many in these biomes that don't have the jungle. Okay, I'm maxed out on coal right now. So I guess we should just... Focus on stone, wherever we can find it. Oh wait, not wood, stone, there you go. I was like, why is that not working? Does this count as stone? I guess not, huh, weird. 
we are headed in the right direction. I know we need to get more mounts soon. I think there's some more mounts to find in some places where we just have to go out and explore, right? Because, I mean, we have everything that sort of seems special marked on our map, but I'm pretty sure there's other things to stumble upon that we just haven't, and it's just sort of a chance. So I'll try to look into finding those things sooner or later. But way over here, yeah, this is exactly what we need. So I do think in the meantime, if I could just clear out some space, make it a little bit easier to get out there, that might be a good idea. There we go. Let's send our troops out to help though. Everybody go in on that target. While you are, I'm going to free these ocelots. Come on, come on. Got it. Okay, so the ocelots are free. And with it, these guys haven't even really noticed that we're here yet, it seems. So we can help out here a good chunk. Way over that way. Let's do that. You can see this guy's just sort of hanging out. What do we want to fight next? I think the same thing. Maybe we could actually just get them to start attacking that right away. Because as you can see, th this stuff gets destroyed really fast. So we're just trying to divide up our guys here. Have them do what they need to do. Let's go for this thing next. Cool, very cool. Our units are doing a great job, and I don't really think there's any more piglins that can even be spawned in. Except for the ones that are like already here, so. I think we're already about finished this. Once we get this, we just need to break open that thing, and we're good to go. So let's grab all this Prismarine and all of our units too, and have them run over there. Great work, great work. Don't go through the lava, it feels like a bad idea. <laughs> okay, well they're gonna do what they're gonna do, so we'll grab all this. But this has become a lot easier to get through. We just sort of show up, we destroy it, and it's done. Okay, ready, gotcha. Oh no, not into the lava! <laughs> Yikes, outpost destroyed, well done, you've destroyed the horde of the Bastion outpost. Can you get out of there? There you go. So we did lose a few of them there, but that's okay. So with that done, am I seeing any others? I mean, I could try going for one of the smaller ones. I feel like I wanna try with, these are both big now though. See, sometimes they will upgrade over time. Like this one is gonna upgrade over time. So like, I think we should focus on that. If we can upgrade that, that'd probably be a big deal, right? So. This field just still beat up, huh? There's still smoke coming out from it, so that's not good looking. Why is that the case? I mean, it seems pretty well defended to me, so I actually don't know why that is the case. It doesn't seem like anything happened. Weird. Maybe, could I craft any more of these uh, masonries? I can afford them. I just needed iron, which you know, I have more of now, so that's great. I'll put this here and we'll just try to make some more stone fences out of it, that'll be really good. In the meantime though, open up this chest and inside we get a bunch of stuff. Mostly stone and wood, but some diamonds too. Okay, so we're gonna try one of those. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but it's certainly worth the attempt. So yeah, we'll just get out there as soon as we can. We already have 37 units, so. Oh, and we can get some diamonds out here too, if I don't already hit the maximum. Actually, I am at the maximum. Wish I could hit the maximum of diamonds in every other version of Minecraft. Okay, so we're just charging forward. Once we do get a bit closer, I'll definitely want to start trying to claim the land land a little bit just to give us more things to work with, more space to work with. If I could get a couple of extra units along the way too. Trying to work towards, you know, our maximum of 40. I feel like it'd be nice to upgrade that so we can command more units. However many possible, I suppose. I think we're almost there. Just gonna get a little bit closer. The piglin are already showing up though. So let's get ourselves over there and start fighting them. While that's happening, I just want to claim some of this land. So that way it makes it a lot more difficult for them to try to stop us, you know? Cause then I can get some of this stuff out here. And that's mostly what I want. Okay, what do you think you're doing? You gotta go out this way. They were able to destroy all those guys, so that's good to see. And then you, you're the one that's out here. We'll defeat you really quickly. I think I'll just make a couple of the healers. I mean, I guess what I'm really missing is a lot of the stone golems, but what we could do, right, is I can make a good chunk of them, but then leave them here for later. There we go. Leave them here for later. I'll come back for them. In the meantime, we need to figure out how we're even getting up there and doing things. Um, 
This one is two out of four, but it's not telling me it's too difficult. Usually it would tell me, hey, this one's too difficult for you. Not this time. So I think we're gonna use that little strategy we did before. Like this. Is really agitating the piglins. Oh no. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But we've learned a lot since we've tried one of these two level two rated difficulty ones. So hopefully there's more we can do here. I don't know what all these zombies are doing, but I guess I can go over that way. And in the meantime, if I could just build a bridge over here. The only thing is that's gonna leave them to be able to come over too. But if I could just do that really fast and run back over here and get the rest of the things that I spawned so that they can start destroying stuff too, I feel like that's the best way to multitask and mitigate all the things going on. So let's get this back out here. I will get one more of these, one more of those, and then just run, run, run with this whole group. We gotta go back in there because I don't know exactly where the nether portal is, but we'll find it. Horde of the Spores going down if I have anything to say about it. Because it destroyed all that now. They're pushing up here. So I need to damage that spawner. The sooner we can get rid of the spawners, the better, I think, in most situations. Okay, this is 29 more of them. Let's grab the skeletons here. So with the 35, that feels pretty good to me. Um, and just get them to maybe help us fight these guys first. The horde just push them off somewhere. That's not so bad. Um, I feel like we just need help with this. So everybody get in here, destroy this thing however we can. I'll help you with, you know, dismantling this. We almost got it busted. These spawners usually have a huge ton of health. So it's not too surprising that we're struggling with it a little bit, but we'll get it. And then we can send everybody over to this thing. And is that a building over here? Yeah, I guess it just makes more redstone pop up. Um, I'm taking some good damage. That is a bit concerning. Send some people out to this tower. This thing is almost broken. I need to be careful. That I don't lose too much health here. Oh, and I'm down to three health again. But they got it. Great work, great work. Get all of these guys. Send them at this tower too. Our numbers are slowly starting to dwindle though. If I could push this guy back, that'd be great. Just push him off the side. <laughs> there we go. Seems like a sound strategy now. You've lost the first, but don't worry. Oh They'll no. Join you the next time you visit a village. Okay, so that eventually happens, of course. I'm not really seeing too many of my golems here. I don't really know what happened to them, but I'm gonna send these guys up there now. I think we destroyed enough of that stuff that, you know, that can happen. I need to go back and find my golems, or at least spawn in more and recall them all. Oh, some of them are down here, huh? Okay, well, that makes sense. Just have them continue their work with trying to destroy that, and hopefully they'll have it destroyed by the time I come back. That way it makes it just one more thing that, you know, dealt with. Okay, so our spawners were over there. I need to get back and heal anyways, but hopefully some percentage is being done to the nether portal. Okay, come on, come on. We're doing what we can, but I need to recall. Sort of see what we have. It looks like we're at a spot where I can spawn in a few more of those. A few more of you guys. One or two of those guys, and then the rest of them need to be cobblestone. Okay, our army is ready. Let's rush back in. And this simply, you know, is not easy, but we have 79% through it already. And there's so many zombies down here that had fallen to the wayside. So this is the kind of stuff that can be really tricky about this game is that the units just aren't always the easiest to control. And now we have 32. That's quite the army we can push in with. So let's see. Ooh, can we get back up here? And it looks like, you know, we might have some villagers or zombies that are out here still. So maybe we could just rush this thing. Get up here, start slicing our sword a bit, and see if it's possible for us to uh, just damage us down from what we have right now. It might not be. It might be too difficult, but I'm sure there's something we can do here. Come on, come on. It's down below 70% now, so it's getting there. And I feel like their numbers are dwindling a lot. The one thing I am a little bit concerned about is the towers, though, are still around. And they're still doing damage, but okay, there's a couple of piglins on this side that are just sort of chilling out, so if I could fight them away, that'd be a big deal, because we're down to 60% now, and we really haven't lost too many more units. The healers are doing their job, of course, so that's always good to see. There are some more coming out this way because the spawners are spawning the men, but overall, not a bad situation. Another one of those piglin chests over there. We still have a piglin key. I'm not seeing any of those. We're almost down to 50%, so it really is getting somewhere. Let's get you guys back over there. Focus on that tower and be healing up 
our friends. Okay, yeah, you're right here. Gotta get rid of you. The fact that we're under 50% now is a really good sign. Even if more piglins are moving in, and they're being a little bit tough on us, I think we can handle it. Just slowly but surely, we're just getting somewhere with it. So we'll have to run around like crazy after this to make sure that we actually pick up a bunch of Prismarine. We're almost at 200. I'm really low on health. Let's get you over there, come on. There we go, that's just in the back out. We're at 35% now. The portal will fall. I think we got it. I don't think they're gonna be able to stop us in time. I just need to be careful about my own health here. Whenever I can just even swipe away the smaller piglins, but man, they just damage down my health so fast. Okay, now the numbers are getting a little bit lower. 25% that we're so close. Oh, and I died, darn. Okay, well, they're still fighting, so we'll leave that be. This might be a good time to just sort of rebuild some more. And that way we'll have even more to come in with. The first will always go to where the waters of the well of fate flow. Oh, where are we though? Like having the extra company. Okay, we're really far off though, is the one thing. So. That's my one regret here. Uh, I don't know if that one's any closer, so we just need to run, run, run back out there. I don't think the percentage will go back up, but I guess we'll find out now. <laughs> oh no, I'm a little nervous. Okay, we're almost there again. I wanna spawn in some friends, but somehow the, you know, the friends that we have out there are still fighting. So maybe this will be enough. There you go, okay, call these guys in then. You know, it's a decent little army. Is it seven percent? So whatever guys are still out there fighting, they're getting it down lower and lower. It's down to five percent now. Okay, so they're making it work. The dream is still real. Come on, everybody, go, go, go! There we go. They did it. <laughs> All right. Well, luckily I was here to witness this. Still, there we go. Excellent. Oh no. So all the spore pigs or the piglins aren't gonna be so happy here. Oh, the last guy who complained. Eat him in one bite. Uh, whoa! Explosive mushrooms? Oh, talk about indigestion. Oh no, don't tell me he's coming next. No, he's sitting in these guys with the explosive mushrooms. All right, well, this just gets messier and messier, this right? This horde is feeding something terrible in the nether. I fear that soon we will all be on the menu. Oh, no. So let's run through this as fast as we can and just grab Prismarine from wherever we can find it. It looked like there was a little bit more over here. I think our maximum is like 250 or something. So if I could just grab, like I said, whatever I can before the time runs out on these, because eventually they will disappear, which I feel like is so silly. It's such a shame when that happens, but Okay, I can maybe climb up here, or not. Uh, come on, please. Well, that might be all the ones I can get then. Uh, I don't see any other towers around here, but 275 isn't bad. That'll help us at least spawn in one more thing. But more than that, we were able to take out, you know, our first ever sort of two-star thing. So, really, really happy to see that. I do want to get back up there and get my reinforcements as soon as possible. Um, so can I not climb up these walls without those a whole point of this? Maybe only certain materials can I climb. That didn't really go too well. But yeah, it looks like the Prismarine is gone. So I'll just get right back up there. We'll get our army. We might want to take out one more smaller outpost since there's a few nearby. Okay, so here we go. We got all of our little guys over here. I think that's about all of them that I can see. So it might not be worth fighting these guys too much. Instead, you can see there's some smaller outposts around. There's one pretty close. Yeah, wait, right up here. I want to go for that. So. My marker set on it. We're gonna run over and get that one done. That'll be the last one we do for today's episode, but if we could get up to 300 Prismarine, I think that would help out a lot. So I definitely wanna work on that while I have the chance. And for this area, it's just diamonds, which we're still maxed out on, so I guess instead, do something like this. We'll just run, run, run. See, those were the guys that were in the cutscene. So we can climb up this no problem pretty darn quick, too. If there's any chests around here, though, I definitely need to go for them, which, I don't really see any. There's a lot of diamond up here on the mountain now. Whoa, there's a chest on the very tippity top of that one. And I think that's the one I'm looking for over there. So we're at the jagged peaks. Very cool. 
Come on, almost said that we can climb up this no problem. And we get one gather ally. That is great. Really happy to see this kind of thing. So now we're just gonna hop way down here as much as I can. Look, we lost some of our units as we were traveling around there, unfortunately. But you know what we could do? Is we could just spawn in some more. So there we go. And uh doesn't have to be a ton of stuff, but if I could just get extra builder units, an extra of these guys, that should be plenty enough just to destroy some buildings pretty quickly. Okay, so get everybody I can here. Let's just hop down this way and see what we can fight. There's another piglin chest. A little unfortunate considering that I still just can't uh, do anything about it, but I will build a bridge up here. Here? Are you kidding? That's not what I wanted. Um, rotate, no, rotate, rotate. These controls are so ridiculous sometimes. Uh, come on. It is so tricky. Just get up here, please. Wow, okay. It's it's enough, it sort of works, but man, that was ridiculous. All right, we're 285 Prismarine now. If you guys could all just follow me up here. That'd be great. Destroy this tower now. You know how this one works? Of course, we need to destroy every single tower, every single building. Oh, do I have a key? I do have a key. What did I get out of this one? Take, they stash away for the horde. How can I see how many piglin keys I have? I was told the last time I didn't have the piglin keys to open it. I've not been informed that I caught a piglin key. I'm a little confused by that, but okay. All right, come on, if we can just keep fighting this thing. Looks like some villagers were breaking free. They're trying to run out of here now. Okay, there's not really too many piglins around, or too many uh, piglins around that we can really fight. So let's just go to the sex tower, keep fighting it. We don't have any healers right now, which I'm sure isn't the most helpful situation, but it should be fine. These guys aren't able to get over to us too easily anyways. So I think, once again, I will make a bridge, seeing how this thing's about to break. What is going on with this? It really is a hard time no knowing what I'm doing. We need to get over there, so everybody who's in my command need to come with me and try to break that open. It seems like they should be able to get over there okay, and while they are, I'm gonna break this cage open and save these villagers. So I guess our maximum isn't 300 Prismarine. I don't know if our maximum has gone up, if I did anything that would have raised the maximum, but yeah, it used to be only like 200. But now if we could get up to 400, that'd be fantastic. Maybe just by upgrading everything else, it just slowly upgrades our limits on other things. This is almost broken. And then we just have the super easy things to break open, I think. So, there we go. We'll get that. That only takes a moment to break, even with a smaller team. So. We should be able to get that. I wish we could recruit the villagers here. Whoa, watch it. Okay, they got rid of one of my guys there, which I don't like too much. Okay. Where was the last thing at? Oh, it was right there. I don't know if my, my guys will be able to get up very easily, but if they could, I just destroy this. Yeah, they don't really know how. So I gotta do it some other way. I'm trying to get all of them over here. <laughs> Hopefully that's all of them. It's a little ridiculous if I could go all the way back around, back onto our ramps, just like that. I think they're all following me still. And send them after this thing. While that's happening, I guess I can plop down here and save these other villagers. And they're slowly getting that, so that's good. Got it. And I could go and make some more, but I think they have that broken. Once they do, excellent. Look at that, really good stuff then. Um, is there another building out here somewhere that I still need to destroy? Oh, over here, okay. There it is. Get that there. This deceiving amount of, uh, or deceiving amount of buildings around here, huh? Okay, so, we'll do this. I think I got a couple more units over here that didn't hear my command, that's okay. Some of them are falling over, unfortunately, but I think we'll be fine. It's almost broken. Come on, come on, just a few more hits. You guys got it. There it is. That should be everything. Looks like outpost destroyed. Really glad to see it. So, yeah, there's that done.
There's still some more things we could explore around here. I think I'll save that for some other time. We did pretty good in today's episode. You know, we destroyed another one of these big outposts, the Horde of the Spore this time. We'll do the same thing, I think, for the Horde of the Bash next time, because that's one of the two-star ones. These ones look like a bigger deal. So we're getting there. And of course, we got the um one of the first. I think there's more to find. Now. Let us hope they avoid the piglins' hungry eyes. Okay, so with that being said, we'll go pick up some stuff from the chests, and then we'll see if there's anything we can build with the prismarine. So here we are. We got you. Hey, buddy. Glad to have you. Open up this chest, and inside we have some iron. Happy to have it. And... Oh, what did I click there? I don't know what I did. <laughs> I think I might have just teleported the same one. Yeah, okay, so let's get to the well of fate really quick and just uh see what other stuff I can spawn in obviously I want to prioritize things I haven't opened or built yet so you know things like the large flame of creations um, I still can't afford but beyond that there's also expert carpentry one-time improvement adds 100% repair speed to the of carpenter hunt and 50% construction speed of all structures defensive upgrade that improves your ability to quickly raise and repair your structures Sure, I think this could be important. And then we also have this one, which I won't be able to afford both. The Expert Mason. It's basically the same thing, but for masonry. So we'll start with this. I'll try to find a spot to fit it in. It looks like it'll fit in right there. Preparing it because I think the uh, piglins are gonna be attacking again, as they always do. But on top of that, I wanted to try to find more of these firsts. So one of them is going to be, I think, in the village, this meadow area. So we're just gonna be trying to look around different biomes that we this haven't quite explored. Let us hope they avoid the piglins' hungry eyes. Me this too. All right, <laughs> okay, I'm just ready. Um, but I'm just uh, hoping that we can find stuff. You can see there's sort of these dark spots in the map that we just haven't explored yet. So that's what I sort of want to try to poke around with, are these dark spots of the map. There should be one, as far as I understand, in the meadow area. A lot of you guys let me know. So I want to try to find one there. So I'm gonna open up this chest and see what we find inside. Just some basic village rewards. Um, looks like just stone for right now, which isn't too much. So I, w I do want to swap out for the horse because it is a little bit faster. I don't think we'll have to climb too much out here in the meadow. So I might just make a marker like there and just start looking around and see what we can do in the meadow biome. Because at the least with the biome, we can find coal, which we're maxed out on. So I guess that doesn't matter too much, but uh, you were actually really topped off with a lot of things. So. Not really too much I can do in that regard, but I'm sure we can still find something if we were going the correct direction, <laughs> or just to say this way. So it can be a little bit difficult to find the firsts, but definitely worth looking for them. Maybe we can call over whatever other things we can find too, but yeah, we've got some mobs over this way. Um, I definitely want to work towards, you know, improving whatever we can do around here. Looks like for right now, is this a claimed area? Could we, uh... oh no, no, it's just mud and stuff. For a second I thought it was, um, claim stuff by the piglins. We could claim it back, but can't do that quite yet. I'm sure we should probably work on expanding our coal and our iron reserves a little bit at some point, or at least our ability to get more of them. I'm trying to just sort of get to this coastal area over here so we can sort of maybe circle in on everything. Cause I don't know how close we would have to be to the potential first for it to actually show up on our map and the game recognize, oh, you found it. So, you know what I mean? So we gotta look around. I think that sometimes some question marks might pop up on the map. I have yet to see any. Maybe they pop up on the little compass on the top of the screen. That's where we just gotta look out a little bit. Cause you can see sometimes there'll be rivers and stuff too, but those don't pop up on the map, unfortunately. It'd be very convenient if they did, but they don't. So I'll try to jump over here a little bit. Sort of get a little situated with what's going on over this way. Cause as far as I understand, you know, most like with most Minecraft or other things, there is some kind of random generation going on where it's not exactly the same for here as it is, you know, maybe for when you guys play. It might spawn in in a different location entirely. So just trying to keep a lookout for everything. We just have to thoroughly play through. And so far, I definitely don't mind. It's at least fun to explore these areas, but it is interesting how there is such a big gap of space where there really isn't much to do around. Like, we'll hopefully find that first. But uh, beyond that, there's not like any piglins to fight out this way from what I can see or anything else to really find. So that's a bit odd. But I'm sure we'll stumble across stuff soon. I mean, there could be treasure chests too. We found some treasure chests in the past and they've give us, given us plenty of goodies. Let's try to get over that little tree. Anything on this little, uh, almost like a peninsula. Not really looking like it. So maybe we will 
hop over this way, still not really seeing much. We're clearing out most of this area, so hopefully somewhere soon, and maybe there's more than one meadow, I haven't really checked. But I guess different biomes just, you know, have different things to look out for, so I'm sure we'll stumble upon something soon. Oh, and look at this, we can see something on our uh, map here, so a little question mark thing here. This is why it's just good to clear everything out then. So where was that exactly? Over here. Huh. Hey, watch that pile oh, of there it is. There. It looks so familiar, and yet, upside down. A long time ago, this mighty giant helped to shape the overworld. Hmm, it looks like our friend needs a hand. Well, I'm happy to give it to you. Let's assemble, and let's see what our next first is, or our second first. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Whoa. So they're upside down at the moment. Let's put them right side up. And one piece at a time. Put this big guy together. He looks like he's a big rock type then. Oh, we got the, the wooden one before. This one's rock. Pretty cool. Hi. Whoa. Nice to meet you. So here we go. This is the first of stone unlocked. You have a new powerful friend. So let's take a look at them in our journal, maybe. Can we find them here? I would hope so. Uh, yeah, right Let here. The first of stone. To the first of stone. The first of stone moved mountains for us. They will do the same for you. The first of stone uses their great strength to fling large boulders at piglins. To assemble the firsts, you must build a special improvement at the Well of Fate and collect the required resources. When a first is defeated, they'll meet you at the nearest village fountain or beacon. So we know all about that and seeing how we got that done, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Maybe we should look for more firsts and stuff. Like there's different parts of the world that are sort of darkened. Maybe I can just sort of run over them and find more stuff. I, I should also scroll through a little bit to make sure there's not any more question marks I've really missed anywhere. And we can take on these smaller things for sure. But um, from what I can tell, I'm not really, well, I can use the, the, the keyboard buttons to sort of move through a little bit too. But um, I'm not missing any question marks at least. But wherever it's dark, I guess we should really fill those pl places out. So you can see something over here. I can just, you know, keep going. So maybe I'll mark it on my map a little bit so I know roughly where I'm going. Because not only are the the first to find, but there is, of course, different mounts and such that I need to discover. So if we could get a lot of that figured out in today's episode, I feel like that'd be really helpful as we're trying to gear up to sort of complete the game. Here we are, more of the meadow. Not finding too much, but let's go to this little spot over here and see if we can find anything more. I know there's towers and stuff we can find as well. We found one way over this way, the Frost Tower. We haven't done anything with those quite yet, but I definitely plan on doing that soon. Some creepers to find over here though, so I would like to do that. And then this is going to be, we're entering the Badlands, which has more uh, coal, but then we're going into the forest, which has more iron. So hopefully we can just slowly gather some more materials. Getting up here for now. Whoa, and falling back in the, oh no. Can I not fall in the water? I guess not, it makes it sort of reset. Interesting. Okay, running across here a little bit. This is all an area I've technically been to, but over here. Oh no, the poor little pocket. That's not what I wanted. Um, We're in the Badlands, but then we're quickly out of the Badlands in just a moment once we reach the forest. I'm not really seeing too much though. But that's why we gotta keep looking around. But you know, it's a very pretty game, so it's enjoyable just to explore like this. I don't know, hurting the horse a little bit. Because it said that the piglins are arriving at dawn, so I don't know exactly, I don't think it's told us exactly where they plan on getting to. Maybe they're trying to buff up this one, so we should probably do that soon. I think we'll look at this little corner, and if we don't find anything too much, we'll, we'll very quickly switch over to what we're supposed to be doing right now, because we, we don't wanna miss out on any of that. Um, are they getting hurt? Okay, they are trying to follow us. But this whole section is really what I was missing before. There's gotta be something cool over here then, right? I can only imagine. So we're at the dry savanna. Looking very dry. Ooh, here we go. Uh, so let's get that iron. It can be very easy for me to miss. I don't know, I'm usually looking ahead, not at the ground, trying to figure out where we're going, what we're doing. So it's easy to walk by. But, um... <laughs> hmm. I'm hearing some shimmering. I don't know if that's just, I guess it's just a patch of grass. Didn't know if it was. Oh, here's another creeper. And another one right down there. Building up quite the army and we haven't even uh, built any golems yet. So that's good. But really not too much on this side. I think we will run over in a moment. I'll just make sure you there's no question mark or anything. Just want to fill up this little corner of it over here. 
to jump over and yeah, not looking like much over here. So unfortunately not finding everything we need, but that's okay. That does still mean we're one step closer to discovering more stuff. So we'll look at some of this soon. I think if we want to take on this Horde of the Bastion, we should do it sooner rather than later because this arrow basically means that they're, I think, about to upgrade it. We don't want it to be any stronger than it currently is, that's for sure. So let's get over to that. Well, we'll set up some of the little things with our friends here, and that should be good. Okay, so we'll get a little bit closer, but we are coming up on it, I think. Yep. So I'll grab you. Any kind of little buddies that we can send in in the meantime would be good, because we have two first firsts now, you know? So that's really good. We're getting a little bit closer. Get a nice little speed boost there. I'm used to having, whoa, whoa, there's a lot fighting happening over here. Let's help out with that maybe a little bit. And I see you over this way. I'm just gonna be with you myself. Go, go to these guys too. Because apparently I had gotten some keys and hadn't even known it. We were able to open up some treasure chests last time and I don't really know how. Um, like I really don't think it told me anywhere. Like, hey, you got, a key for a piglin treasure chest, so it's a lot of fighting going on. We can always participate in more of that soon enough, but trying to go over here. Am I running into any other smaller ones? There's one over that way, so for right now, we'll just focus on the bigger one, and we'll see what we can do after. So I definitely need to climb up into a good spot. The Horde of the Bastion is not gonna be an easy thing to go against, but we can certainly do it. This is a good spot to at the least for right now. Um, cure some netherrack because the horde has now noticed us. I think we probably just want to chase them out like this. And while that's happening, could I build a ramp that sends us over? I guess not quite. You can't like, you know, really destroy the wall in that way. Um, and why I'm doing this, of course, is just so that we have more room to work with up here. Just like that. But we did get to destroy our first building pretty easily. So that's always nice to see. We got more units over this way. Some of them seemingly got destroyed though, uh, which is unfortunate. You know, let's not get too sidetracked here. We gotta do some stuff like this, but it looks like they're breaking the wall by themselves. Whoa, okay. Uh, that's good to know, right? Um, yeah, they're just throwing rocks and that is so cool. But here they come. You have broken through their defenses. All right, everybody. I need you to go, go, go. So everybody is gonna go out here and really fight. So those firsts truly pack a punch. How exciting. But now that there is a lot going on there, what we can do, right, is we can actually build this ramp. So hopefully I can, you know, get these guys who are under the ramp to move. So that they're actually going on top of it like this. There we go. We need to destroy things like this tower over here. While that's happening, we can still build some more stuff. So we can also send them to attack this tower and stuff like that. But in the meantime, if we can get more building busters, that's exactly what we should do. This is gonna be quite the intense stack of them. They can already go for another thing way over there, but we gotta be careful, because that's what's happening. Piglins over this way are trying to make their mark. Okay, well, I was hoping that you guys would maybe figure out a better way to do that, <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. We get you up here. We're going to send you against this spawner as soon as possible. And the rest of you, got a huge chunk of them over here. They need to fight this wall. Without it, it just sort of gets messy, but we have you over here. I don't know if you're really working, if you're really helping. It's hard to tell from this angle, but maybe you could work on this thing. We got these piglins that we need to take out as soon as possible. Come on, can't let them beat up our friends. And there we go. These firsts are so good. They pack so much of a punch. They really make troubles for everybody. There we go, we're almost through this thing. And once we do, it's big news. We're getting up this way. Come on, fighting through it, fighting through it. They're sending their strongest warriors your way. Well, then we gotta do the same. So I'm getting some of you guys, send them out there. The tower's getting destroyed left and right. We need to fight, 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 and then go up to this wall. Because things are going pretty well, but we need to keep it that way. We lost a few targets here. The piglins are coming back in over here. We can slice them away, no problem. Just like that, so we'll spawn in one, two, three of these guys, and then two more of these guys. There we go, quite the group we got going on now. With all this stuff busted, oh man, they're not taking lightly to it, but we'll rush out like that. Come on, come on. And our whole team is doing so well. We'll just make sure that we have everybody so that we can send more stuff out there. They're rushing it. 
There we go, it's already down the 90%. Some of these big guys we can try beating up a little bit, but for the most part, I think it's just about sending them into the actual nether portal and just damaging as much as we can. We already have it down to 76%. That's really good, seeing how this is our first wave of guys here. Like this pickling a little bit. There we go. And then send these guys to keep attacking. Luckily, they're all ranged so far, so they're really good. I don't know if all the firsts will be ranged, but so far these ones have been. Not really good. But unfortunately, some of our units are taking damage, but that's to be expected. We'll hop back over here. Spawn in as many as we can. And sort of send them back out there in just a moment. But we already got it under half, so that's some really good stuff. And then here. We're gonna call this whole group over. Everybody, please. Run back out. Go, go, go. And while that's all happening, we still have friends out this way. Fighting the fight. Push and the portal will fall. Definitely. So I think here's where I just need to help a little bit. If we could just get out this way, protect, especially our first seer. I think that'd be a pretty big deal because it's down to 20% and it's getting lower and lower. Of course, we're losing some units here and there, but nothing too bad. I think we can handle it, maybe. That's a 12% now. They're gonna keep punching. I'm gonna keep swinging. Okay, come on, under 10% now. 4%. I think the first could probably finish it from here, but that's if they can survive. There it is! We got it. So another huge station defeated. That's exactly what we want to see. Oh, and of course, they won't be taking kindly to that one. Oh no. This guy is big and mean. He's got a lot of the, the ones with the dual wielding weapons. Whoa. Now, this is one of the big guys we just fought. Small compared to him. Whoa. They're all revved up, they're going in. Oh no. So I figured that if we destroy all the outposts in these the areas. The Bastion seems more agitated than normal. The Unbreakable is furious. The Horde of the Bastion will fight even harder to avoid punishment now. Okay, so, yeah, exactly. It seems like we'll probably have to fight the big guy if we destroy all the outposts, so we have some big things coming up, for sure. Um, right now we have a lot of Prismarine and gold. I'm trying to get up, get as many of these as I can as they start to disappear. Once again, this is why it's sometimes better just to go around defeating some buildings first. And I try to, but, uh... Oh, we reached our maximum. So you know what, it, it worked out in the end. And we have one of these treasure chests. So do we have... We do have a key. There we go. That has a pickle and chest with 64 prismarine. I don't know if we could actually even collect that. Did it go over our maximum? I don't know how that works. Um, that was very weird. Anyways, guess we don't have to worry about too much more of it. If we wanted to, you know, just do a little bit of something here, we could always, you know, work on taking back some more of this area, but we don't really even necessarily need to at the moment. So now that we've done that, I'm really proud of us. You can see that the Horde of the Bastion is really starting to get low in numbers. Uh, but there's gotta be some other stuff we can do around here. I think we need to continue our adventures. If there's dark spots on the map, I really wanna explore those and see what else we can discover. So for right now, you know, even if it's little things like this, there's this like cross section area just haven't happened over and over, you never know what might be hiding over there. That's the forest. So we're gonna run over there first and foremost and just sort of take a peek. If we can do that across the map, I'm sure we'll be able to discover a few more of the different things we need to collect. But something's happening. Whoa. Oh no. Poor villagers, what's up? It's the middle of the night. It's odd to see them so far from home. Their world is changing, and they are curious to learn how. We saw where that led the creepers. No. These gentle souls' strength comes from their peace. They will find their way back home. So the villagers are exploring, which is very unlike them. Huh. I wonder what that means for us. Will we be able to find them out there in the wild? I guess we'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, though, like I said, we have blank spots on the map that we need to discover, but with so much prismarine, I think it's worth our while to also consider what we can maybe build. Um, things like, there's only some things I haven't touched upon, like improvement large flames of creation. That'd probably be a really good idea, so I'm gonna put that there. And, gonna be tough to find some space for. I might have to like unbuild some things and then rebuild it, which would be a shame, but that's what I have to do, then I just gotta keep it in mind. Uh, because all these are pretty well filled out. 
Yeah, is there any way I can, like, what is this one? This one's maybe the redstone one? I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my stuff, though, am I? Hard to tell. So just so that I can put this here. Uh, here we go. So I can at least put that there and just sort of reorder it a little bit. The best offense is a good offense. It doesn't really tell me what I lost there. Maybe it was, I don't know. Anyways, we do have improvement expert mason. Um, one time improvement adds 100% faster conversion of structures into stone um, by the mason. You're like, that could be really good too. So I think if we could, once again, sort of have that same concept somewhere else, where we just remove one to make space for it. I guess this, this is the first thing. So I'll have to, well, that was improvement alley storage, I guess. Uh, no, 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 uh, that's what I, okay. That's why I had equipped, right? Let's get the expert mason. Not enough resources. What do I not have for this one? Oh, I'm out of prismarine. Okay, well, I'm being a little bit silly then. Um, a little unfortunate, but I guess, how much more do I need for it? Only 200, so we'll keep saving up. Uh, I don't know because of that if I can't get the firsts anymore. I guess what the wait and see, it's so weird. You, you'd think there wouldn't be such a, a limit on what we can find, but that's just how it works. Anyways, yeah, it looks like my maximum first one might have went down. We'll head out here, and we're just trying to look to see what else we can find. Was there, I don't know what that is in there. Oh, it's, it's iron. It's sort of hard to tell. <laughs> Be very reflective, but I do need a lot more stone, so if I could just fill these out, probably a good idea. That should help us get back to our maximum pretty quickly. We're almost there, though. There's some piglins out here fighting. Let's put a stop to this if we can. Call everybody over. Get to fighting a little bit. There we go. Are they pickling over this way too? And that was mostly this area explored. So not really anything here. But that's exactly what we need to discover. So next one's gonna be over that way. So we'll go over to this village. We'll also take a take a look to see if there's anything like to pick up. But uh beyond that. We'll be good to go. So we're making great progress in today's episode. Ooh, we get some stone, some lapis, some wood. Not too bad. No really special materials though. So we just gotta make our way to wherever the yellow marker is on our um our compass here, which is right over here. Which as long as we have these bigger units with us, it feels like you know we can really do anything here. Definitely worth our while to find them. And there's also like things like the towers as well that we could try to figure out soon. But I think for right now, we can keep charging this way. I see some more unpleasant units. But this is, it's interesting that the piglins are hanging out exactly where we haven't explored at all. It's like they sort of know for some reason. Trying to be really sneaky with it, huh? Well, we'll destroy who we can. They're finding some of the ones over there too. We'll get over there and try to help. Oh, did we pick up gold from fighting them? Or maybe that was one of the keys. Or to tell, it just sort of was very yellow and uh, zoomed over to me. Okay, gotcha. See you over here. And there's a lot more piglins around, but, oh wait, here we go, Regal Tiger. So let's, let's take a look at this. I'm gonna put this on my map. Uh, but what does this say? The peaceful regal tiger calls the dry savanna home and can be found whiling the day away, running and playing and munching on purple coral. That's so cool. So let's try to find this this new mount. Uh, It's gotta be somewhere super nearby. It's a little dark out, so it's not always the easiest to find. Oh, there it is. Hey guys, you're so cute. So we can swap them out. There we go. So cool, a brand new mount. Regal tigers are the fastest things on four paws. Just what you need to hunt those piglins down. All right. This is amazing. Mount unlocked, you unlock the regal tiger. Look at this guy, this is my favorite one so far. So, love to run around with this thing. And that's why we need to explore those little pockets. We just happened to entirely miss that one mount, but now we have it, so that's great. Now, if we take a look around, there's more stuff like that, especially way out here. Um, and it might be good to set up one of those towers around here with Prismarine because we don't have one. Just in case this village does get knocked out, it's going to be good to have something like that. So maybe about, I'm gonna say here, might be a good spot. So we'll run all the way out that way and then we're gonna craft one of these towers, which I do have the materials for, so that's good. 
Gonna run off this way. I don't have too many uh, units in my command at the moment, but just a little bit farther out. I guess in the meantime, I could fix this up a little bit, make it a little bit more easy for there to be actual land around here. And this seems like a good spot. Yeah, right about here, we're just going, we're just gonna craft one of these towers. And now we can get around a lot more. So while that's being built, we've been over here before. Yeah, this is where there was, um, I guess, a piglin outpost. Not as much anymore. I do want to make sure there's no piglin treasure chest or anything like that, right? Which it doesn't seem like there is. So at least we got that out of the way. So now we're trying to just go down here. So if we want to follow this direction, and while we are, if I can, just set up more of these, make it difficult for you guys, that'd be great. So we're going farther into the jungle. If I find any kind of material on the ground, is this iron? It's iron, perfect. And then what about this? Is this another iron? It is, okay, now we're getting really lucky with it. And it's cool. Ooh, here we go. Another question mark already. See, we're finding loads of hidden stuff. Hmm. I guess, yeah, we'll head over here. Oh, I'm getting beat up. That's okay. Don't really have any units on my side at the moment, Look, but. There's an interesting glint at the top of that stone spire. You should Ooh. investigate. Way up here, huh? Okay. I don't know if I can quite make it with this mount. Um, I'm a little concerned but maybe just at the right spots I can jump up. There we go. Okay, here we go. Come on, no, 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 leave me alone. <laughs> okay, I can't quite make this jump with this guy. There we go. Oh, here we are. Let's see about waking them up, shall we? Ooh, so we have another first. Oh, see, I don't have the, the first of brick um, because I don't have that temple thing right now. So this is where I sort of messed up. I had to remove it so I can make some other stuff. So I'll have to go back and set that up. But now that we know that that's there, I can always come back later. Let's clear out the rest of the map, whatever's here. So it looks like it's just gonna be a little corner way over here, but this is the stuff I really needed to figure out, so I'm happy to see it. Okay. I think they dropped some gold there. So now let's help out the zombie. We'll just sort of pick them up and keep going. And then is this more iron? It's so shiny. And it doesn't seem like there's actually too much over here, but once again, it's just worth the check. And down this way. I don't really see too much more we can do besides, you know, maybe get some wood and basic materials like that. But that's that cleared out. So, what well, might be a good idea is taking on some of these smaller ones so that we can get some more prismarine and stuff. Uh, so, let's try this one. Because I think that these don't respawn, but I could be wrong. Really hard to tell. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. Um, Let's go for this though. I might have to set up, you know, more of an army than what we currently have. I want to take this on. So I'm not too far off from it. It might be a good idea just to do it from here. Actually, you know what would be smarter than that? If I go back to one of the older villages, I'm gonna set up a bit of an army and then go back in there and take them on. Okay, well luckily with our newest upgrade, I can carry up to 34 units, or I can create up to 34 units. I don't even know if that's as many, yeah, I can hold 35 right now, so I gotta be careful with that. You really can't hold any much, anything much extra, but we can run straight over here, and as we get closer, this is the one we're gonna take on. There should be a lot of prismarine to get out of these, so that's always good. Um, and I guess we'll start with what? I need to get actually get up there, so maybe I could start with this right here send all of you guys straight up that ramp. Come on, you got it. While they are, we're gonna free these little ocelots for sure. Boom, we got it. Running over here then, I'm going to build another path because of course um, they are moving quite quickly with it. Um, go and destroy that one now, guys. Okay, well, you, you tried. Thought that, that counts there. Um, they didn't really use the ramps at all, so I might have to run around and sort of retreat some more of them. So yeah, if I could just Get all these guys who are just sort of hanging out. <laughs> Get them all together. You two. I don't have the firsts with me right now either, so I do need to keep that in mind. Here, send you guys over. Start destroying that. I think some of them may have yeah, fallen down this way. More than some. But, uh, okay, now they're all with me over here. <laughs> this is sort of messy. Let's open this up. Can I get more spruce marine out of it? I got um, 60 gold. I mean, gold's still important, so I'll take it. And then um, over here. 
We don't have this one yet, so I might as well just get it this way. And as soon as this is done being built, I'm just gonna jump up it like that, start destroying this thing. There we go, great great work, great work. And then from here, no, 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 no. Uh, let's see, it is a mess. So I don't think it's gonna work super easily. I'll try to get back over this way and see who we can destroy. Hopefully there's not too many more confused units around here. Doesn't seem like it. They're still working on destroying that thing, so let's get all these guys together. We have lost some of our friends, unfortunately. We're down to only 25 out of the 34 that we made before. So I'll open up the ocelots over here. And then we need to make some bridges. Now that that one tower is in the way, hopefully it's easier. What I need to do is we get torched up there is I need to, oh my goodness. You know what, I'm just going to make a bridge from here to here. There we go, just so that everybody can stick together. We get up this way, we grab some more friends, we send them after this thing. After we do that, you know, while they're working on all that, I, I might as well um try to get them over here. You know, we're getting somewhere with this, it's a little bit of a mess, but it's mostly because they just can't climb things very well. There's a few more units that once again got stuck down here. We want them back up this way pronto and destroying the thing. Once this tower's broken, we have one more on our sights right over here. So we're back to 100 Prismarine. I think we needed 200, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see soon enough, but this should be the last building of this area. I will clear out more stuff. Outpost destroyed, that's what we wanna see. So what I might just do is go somewhere else, try to find some more things. Like there's another one over here. And this one's so close. So um, we'll do that. And then I'll, I'll spawn them in. I'll, I'll, I'll create just one of these to sort of get them all to follow me and hope that that works. It should. Okay, we've got 100 Prismarine now. We're gonna get a little bit more by destroying this next one. But we're almost there. We're making our way over. And then once we can, I'll just rebuild the first thing so that we can get the next first. The third first. <laughs> so silly. Um, get that right there. Just like wait for it to build. And as soon as we can, we're going to recall everybody. Spawn in a lot of these stone guys. Because we have healers and stuff. So as long as they all stay as like, you know, pretty cohesive unit here, 32 of them should be pretty darn good. So once again, though, we are going to have to make ramps and stuff to actually get to where we're trying to get. So let's do this run up the ramp first, because if not, they just get so confused. And then we have all these zombies over here, which is actually really good. Usually it's units that we can't recruit, but these guys we can, and have them attack a little bit. Usually, we'll see if that happens here. Okay, so while that was happening, they broke some stuff over here, so rotate this, bring it all the way over to here. Once again, it's a little messy, but look at how many zombies we got over here. So I need to just jump up, please. Um, get them to follow me, go over here, start fighting that thing. While that's happening, we still have a whole gigantic group of them that can go over here and work on the other thing, tower. So they're going to do exactly just that. The skeletons, don't be lazy. You can still, you know, use your range to your advantage, get over this way. With these zombies being absolutely everywhere, we can do some stuff here for sure. So I'm going to open this up and open up the next one. Well, actually, maybe first I should build this tower, and then we gotta find a way over to that other side. So there's just a lot to do around here, but it looks like they're busy breaking the next thing. So we're fine for the most part, get all these zombies, get all these zombies, and then so them across 30 zombies is plenty enough to you know do some damage here. So we just need to build it across again. Right there, perfect. It can be a little tricky at times, but this time it worked out. We're sending them in, get a bunch more over here, okay everybody? Come on, come on. There's even more down that way. Uh, so just break it off. Try to get some of these ones. Okay, well some of the ones above me also got called over, which isn't exactly what I wanted, but as long as nobody just idly sitting around, right? We should just be able to walk over and destroy this thing super duper quick. There we go, a lot of gold, and of course another piglin thing destroyed. And then I'm gonna try some careful jumps over here. Never mind, let me try that again. Look at the zombie army we have right now. Oh my gosh, it is so difficult to make jumps with this guy. Um, ready, jump, and then jump. Why is it not working? I just wanna to get to the treasure chest without having to build. I might have to build that. 
Got it, there we go. So what do we get out of this one? Hopefully more Prismarine. We get 55 more Prismarine. Very cool, so that should be enough, at least for right now, to go back to the Well of Fate, where we'll do a couple of things. I mean, we should probably get our firsts back and also get the, the first thing, because I don't know if I can actually, yeah, I can't get them to follow me at the moment. Ah, oh, see, that's how how much the situation has changed. So, this thing right here. Um, wait the firsts, I gotta get that there, and just get it somewhere where I can actually build it. So, I mean, this one's pretty small, so we can just get it like that, and now I can actually now, use the firsts again. Go and wake up our old friends. I'm working on it, I for sure. I built the using a lot of gold, but it tarnished over the years. Take some with you when you wake them up. I definitely will, so. Our adventure to continue, you know, to find more firsts. We have this first of bricks. So I just need to get right back over there and continue on. Okay, we're back here again. The first of brick. They shielded us from the elements while the world was being constructed. I remember they had a beautifully carved emerald core that, uh oh, it fell out. Yeah, it's right there. Looks like they could use your help. And let's help them out. We're gonna assemble the first of brick. Get that emerald core. Back in. Whoa, this is so cool. So with that in place, we have our third first. <laughs> the first of Breck. Man, we are gonna be unstoppable. Very cool, and they are the biggest one yet. The first of Brick unlocked, you have a new powerful friend. We can take a look at them right over here. The first of Brick is uh somewhere. Um Right here, first, the of, first brick. of brick was our protector in the early days of this world, and now they will do the same for you. The first of brick shields will protect your allies in battle. Very cool to see. The rest of that was this description we've seen before. So the last first we need to find, I think, is in the Jagged Peaks area, which is right up here. I mean, there's multiple Jagged Peaks area, it seems, so we'll have to really explore around, but hopefully we can discover it up this way. I feel like that's gonna be the most likely spot. So let's head over there for now. So now the firsts are gonna be wherever we go, you know? So that's really nice. And we wanna head that way, so let's get to it. Um, gonna rush over here and just hope that we find those first. As long as we're running through the map and we potentially discover it, it's gonna tell us, you know? So it's pretty good with those kind of things. And if we see any kind of smaller you know, zones, like this one, I should probably go for it. But for right now, just focus on exploring the jagged peaks while we can. So I have that set on my map, right? Oh no, I don't, so I'm going the wrong way. Whoops, okay, put the jagged peaks like that and go the right direction, but there's also on the map something over here. I don't know what it's telling me. It must be a treasure chest, actually. So let's try to take a look at this. Actually, yeah, I do remember there being a treasure chest in one of the things in this area. Would it be right or, yeah, it's right in front of me. Okay, cool, so open this up. And what do we get out of this one? We get 60 gold, not bad. So now we're heading this way? Yeah, because I'd be pretty happy with wrapping up today's episode, finding the rest of the firsts. Let's recall all of our friends too, because I think we you know, sometimes lose some. That is so cool that they get recalled with us out. So. Quite the entourage, right? Let's run out here as fast as we can, and just get some more stuff done. Um, a lot of redstone deposits in this area. We're not quite at the peaks, we're still in the swamp. Yeah. But we're about to enter the Jagged Peaks, and this is where we just really have to run around. Probably where we should have switched to the beetle. I think we'll still be able to get up it, okay. Jump over like that, oh man. Let's see, the Jagged Peaks, that's where we can find some goats probably or something, right? We haven't explored this biome too much. This is where we can also find diamond, but we're actually maxed out in our current sort of reservoir of diamond. A lot more uh, mobs up here too, but we're maxed out, like I said. Try to get up here, just like that. And it's pretty, pretty high up. Pretty scary up here, we don't wanna fall. But as we're exploring around, it is clearing up a lot more of the map. And we don't have to like specifically, whoa, this might be bad. Oh wow, I didn't take fall damage. Oh no, I did, it just took some time. <laughs> oh geez, I gotta be really careful of that then. Um, there is though. Oh no, we've already found that one. Oh, I see. Um, whoa, hey, what, what? What was that about? I guess it's protecting us. There must be some piglins around. Um, 
So we haven't even really quite got to the area I haven't explored yet, but there's a chest here. So I might as well open this up and inside we get 72 Prismarine. That's what I like to see. So trying to be careful on my way down. Don't take too much damage. It can be really challenging to explore this stuff, but well worth it if we find stuff like that. And that's why I also have to take a good look at our compass whenever we have the chance, just to see what's around. Because not everything pops up on the map, like those treasure chests, you know, the one we just opened, doesn't pop up on the map, but it does pop up on our compass. So basically anything to the north of that place we haven't explored yet. So I sort of want to stay to one side and then make our way up. Okay. We did miss a few units, I think, just from the fall damage, unfortunately. And this is where it becomes more of a swamp, which is weird. I mean, it says Jagged Peak still. Huh, isn't that odd? Okay, keep it moving. We're swimming through right now. I do like our new mount a lot, and I'm sure that there's more mounts to find soon. Just gotta sort of climb up wherever it makes sense. Not always easy with a mount like this. It's probably, like I said, where we could have switched to the Brilliant Beetle. Yeah, I'm not getting up very easily from that side. Huh, how do we wanna do this? Maybe get up here, but this might be where we could set up, because there really isn't much up here in terms of like a teleportation thing. Maybe I should just set up another tower, <laughs> cut our losses with that, go and, um, can't build on this type of terrain. But even if I could build, do I have the right materials? Hmm. Not much of a spot to actually, okay, here we go. Confirm this one. So we can, once it's done being built, which only takes a second, um, we will teleport, we'll, we'll get the Brilliant Beetle, just really quickly, and then come back over. Okay, we're back with the Brilliant Beetle. This should make it so much easier to climb up and also to float downwards so that hopefully we don't take any damage or anything. But look at this, so much easier to climb. Exactly what we were looking for. Um, okay, I get a little stuck on the tree sometimes. That still happens, but no worries. The farther we get up these peaks, it could very well be that one of the the first is up on one of these. So let's just keep moving. I don't see anything out of the ordinary just yet, but there are still more peaks to discover. So I'm floating over to this one. This is so cool. What about that down there? That looks like something, doesn't it? It is something. This might be what we were after. Almost there. I'm gliding all the way down. It's Come good on. to see bright white diorite blocks on the surface. Take a look. Okay. I don't know what you'll find. I think the it's a first. The wouldn't be as friendly as it is today without this old helper. Just look like at this. Need some help. Well then let's help the helper. Assemble. So which first is this? It might be our last one. I think this is supposed to be four in total. Whoa, this is the coolest looking one so far though. This is made out of diorite, did they say? So I guess it's a diorite, first a diorite. There we go. First of diorite unlocked, you have a new powerful friend. And let's take a look at it, of course, as we have with everything else, right down this way. The first of diorite spawns other golems to you fight by your side. The diorite. They're a friend who will make you even more friends. You'll see what we mean soon enough. Happy adventures to you both. So as far as I can tell, that is all of the first. I'm so glad to have them. Um, and that just means, you know, we're even more suited up for our adventures. We might as well continue to explore onto a little bit. But yeah, as far as I can tell, we, we did a great job. But as it falls to be nighttime, we'll have to be careful around here, but um, I think we'll be okay. I know that the piglins are planning some attacks, but I think like really now that we've done that, we need to find some more mounts. I'm sure there's some other things to discover, especially, ooh, this thing. I guess that horde is going to be attacking soon or something like that. We definitely need to just continue to take these things out, but now they've gotten stronger and stronger than ever. So just making sure that I'm as powerful as I can make myself is really important. We'll climb up here, get another good look at things. I don't need any diamond right now, but if I did, I'd be in so much luck. As there's just so much around here. Man, what a view, we could just glide and glide. From the very peak of that mountain all the way over here. I can take a look too. The first has fallen. Oh no. Oh no. Now I wasn't looking. I got distracted. Okay, I shouldn't have done it that way. I think they had fallen from the height. So literally they had fell and also metaphorically they had fallen from lack of health. So I think we'll leave that there for now. We'll go somewhere else. 
I think we'll just go back home for the time being. Maybe we'll take on a couple of other things, but we can reorganize our firsts here. We can spawn in some new friends if we really wanted to. We have 127 Prismarine. Is that enough to, you know, consider getting some new upgrades? Uh, I think for right now, I mean, some of these uh, are like one-time improvements, I think. Like these ones are grayed out because of that. But uh, that's the one I really want. I need 200 Prismarine for that. So if I could find a way to just even go for the smaller ones for now, That'd be really good in my opinion, just so that we can uh, really just make sure we have that for the upcoming episodes. I feel like they're gonna get quite serious now. Um, we're gonna really try to take on these last hordes. Whoa, speaking of which, the Dusk Piglins are invading, the Piglins are on the move. What are they gonna go after? It doesn't even say, they're just invading from this. I just, I don't know really how that works, what we're gonna have to deal with. But for right now, I just have these firsts. So we'll get out to one of these. Oh, these piglins are all over the place now. We don't have much coal, so actually, we just sort of hit the jackpot there. Lots of coal over this fight. Um, and I want to open this chest here, where we will get 109 iron. Very nice. And then there's another chest over this way. I'm pretty sure these chests refill after a set of time, so that's always nice. I do need some more wood, so I'm just trying to get that where I can. This one has... Uh, one gather ally. Those are really good because those are just like a long-term really positive benefit. Okay, so with that done, we're almost there. I wanna get a little bit closer before we start spawning in some friends. And I'm not gonna make it too complicated seeing how we have these first. We can really pack a punch. I'm probably just gonna do cobblestone and plank golems. Maybe a few mo mossy golems for the healing. So right about here seems like a good spot. Just like that. I might not even spawn in the full repertoire. It really just depends. Okay, got it. Then over here, same deal. Spawn in some more friends. They are attacking us, but we're just gonna leave it be for now. Okay, there's, these guys are so big and we have so many of them now that they sort of block my way. They don't mean it though, so I don't, I don't take it personally. Uh, here, let's uh, do that and send them out that way. This does actually seem to be a little bit more of an intense one, but if we could, while all of that is happening, just craft. Oh wow, they finished that up fast. Okay, good job team. Get everybody over, send them at this one. This tower is the next on our list. And we are just smashing it like nobody's business. That is crazy. So over here we go then. All of these firsts really getting super busy. That is so cool. I am so happy that they're, you know, able to do that so easily. The firsts have really changed up our game plan for the better. So while that is happening, I need to free these ocelots. We'll see who actually finishes first. They will, they'll beat me there. That is crazy. Remember when it used to take us forever to break buildings? Now it's just a blink of an eye and boom, it's destroyed. So we're getting a lot of stuff here. I'm trying to get up to 200 Prismarine now, so. Got that broken. That's just gonna give us gold. I don't think it gives us any Prismarine but it's still worth it. I don't know what these two are doing way down here. They definitely need to be with their friends. Go, send everybody in. They're gonna destroy that stuff, no problem. And it's just nice to have these units that we don't even have to spend resources on you know, maintaining. If they get knocked out, we can just go back home and get them again. Come on, just a little bit more, you got it, you got it. This one's a little bit slower, I think, because their units are a little bit more spread out, but the outpost is destroyed. I thought there was one more, I guess not. All right. Well, that's 166 Prismarine, so we're still not quite where we need to be. We needed 200, but hey, a little bit closer is always good. Oh, I guess there's some more over here. Didn't even see that. So now we're at 176, even better. Where might there be some others? There's one way out there. A little bit of a pain to get to though, so if I can look around for any others. We've done such a good job at clearing them out that there really isn't too many others. I, that's the only one I see, and they, you know, pop up even if they're in the dark, so that's crazy. Might as well just get this one gone then. Maybe it'll get us up to 200, I think it would. And then I can at least get that last upgrade ready to go. And since we're here, isn't there, don't I have spawn things here? I guess I don't. Um, I can make a couple. Just around here, just go like this. And at least for now, that should be good enough. I will recall all of our friends. Is any ones that we didn't have? Uh, because I have 22 here, this does not look like 22 of them to me. So I'm a little confused. Are they, are they stuck over there? I wonder. 
yes. Okay, so come on guys, gotta go this way. Cause I think if they get lost from us for long enough, they despawn, which is not what we want. We're spending a lot of good resources keeping these guys, so we need to make sure that we have as many of them as we can muster. Okay, so that should be good enough for now. We just need to make sure we continue to collect resources wherever we go, because we need a lot of them. Back to sort of running low on iron and stuff, but everything else we're maxed out on at the moment. With that being said, we need to create more of those things, but right now, like, Prismarine is the big key to everything. We just need to keep going. So this is an area we actually haven't really been to. So it's cool that we're expanding out here. I guess there's gonna be a swamp. All right, gotta keep moving. I think we're getting closer. I think I might even see it in the distance. Hard to tell, but we'll see soon enough. Okay, now I definitely do. So I'll get some Cure Netherrack ready. And place that along the way. And then we're definitely gonna have to create some ramps, but for right now, send them out that way. Start fighting these bomb guys. Okay, they run right past me. They're going for the alleys, which honestly, I don't mind. It could be way, way worse. And they already destroyed this one, so I guess we should try to, like I said, create a, a ramp somewhere. It's just with these first, they do so much damage that it's hard to uh, sort of keep up with. So I guess with that being said, we need to free our friends later. We just need to focus on the ramps and stuff. Send them out like this, then. Rotate this, get it about there, and then over here. Perfect. That is getting further destroyed. All of our first buddies didn't even come with us. Come on, come on. Get them up here. Get more Prismarine. We're almost at 200 already. Break this tower. Only a few more left after that, so we're doing good. I need to create a path over here if it lets me, which it won't for some reason. I think this, the other towers and stuff are in the way. Here, um, so yeah, just destroy this thing if you guys can. It's almost there, got it broken. Same thing with whatever's in our way. Oh, and we can't forget the golden thing down there too. So, uh, once again, why doesn't that work? Okay, will this work? It will, it's not the best though. Um, so it's a little frustrating, but we're getting back out there. Come on, I got beat up. But we can just get back into the shield. Oh, there's a lot of guys down there. Once again, not good. But they're all getting stuck up like that. It gets messy, it gets really messy. That tower is going down. We have over 200 Prismarine now, which is definitely something else we were after. Come on, got it. Okay. We're doing it, we're doing it. Just a little bit more. If I could just send you guys over there, I don't know if they'll make it across the bridge, but they're trying, they're trying. And anybody who falls, just send them after this one. And hopefully with that split, that's enough for us to get, just get done what we need. I think so. Bunch of gold dropping from that one. Thank you. And just everybody we can, if we can get them to fight this, that's good. I don't know what happened to some of our bigger guys, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Come on, this thing is almost broken, right? Sort of. <laughs> it's so hard to tell where my units go. They just get so confused. A lot of them are just stuck down here. So I could build another bridge, even if it's a super simple one, just a ramp. I would love to, but it fights me so much. There we go. All right, well, there's that. That should be enough to break this pretty quick now. Come on, come on. Is that it? Right there, come on, just a little bit more damage. You guys got it, there it is. That's another one destroyed. So this outpost totally demolished, and look what's up here, some kind of mystery. So I might as well go see what that is. It can't be another first, right? I'm pretty sure we found them all. So maybe it's a new mount? Oh, or it's another tower. Okay, so maybe that's what we should be after. Next episode is more towers. We'll have to wait and see. Um. Hey, I think I see one of Knowledge's old power towers over there. We definitely do. So the Stun Tower, Sun's Piglins in a very large area. So we had to figure out these towers soon enough. I haven't yet, so it might be good to build another one of these, but that is gonna require 50, and I really wanna save so that we're over 200. So I'm gonna save it for later. For right now, we can just walk back out. We're gonna go to the Well of Fate. All our friends should come with us, at least most of them. And we are going to try to find a spot to spawn in some other things. Cause like, what is this one? Collect power towers. 
I want to, yeah, I just want to remove this, but like, when I remove it, do I lose the Prismarine? I might. Because all I want to do right now is get this last upgrade so we have one of everything. This one, of course, is the Expert Mason. And it's not that big. I might be able to get the squeeze in here. Okay, never mind. There we go. We did it. Awesome. So that's one of each upgrade figured out then, as far as I can tell, once this is in there. And got it. Yep, we have one of everything. Amazing. So with that being said, I guess we can work on upgrading some other things, like if we can hold more coal. I feel like holding more resources is always good. But on top of that, if we could rally more mobs with us, it's not too much more expensive. We just need another 100. So that'll definitely be something we do soon, use them out to prepare a response. But for what? It doesn't tell me where they're going. I guess it must be this thing which this war didn't really do anything. So it's very weird. I wanna be looking for different towers. We have things like the Frost Tower over here, which freezes piglins in an area. And then this one over here, this is um, the Stun Tower. Stuns piglins in a very large area. I don't really know exactly how these work. I haven't gotten one yet. I need to, of course, get um, Clutch Power Towers, Gold and Diamond, which I believe we have all those. So we might as well check out our first tower here, figure out how this works, and then go get the other tower. So that should be pretty fun. Um, if we find any resources along the way, we should definitely scoop those up though. Like I'm a little low on just simply wood right now, so I'll definitely be trying to get some of those, but I don't need any diamond at the moment. So we'll work on getting some stone. But the tower is just chilling out over here. We got a cutscene for the other one, um, or no, for this one actually. Um, so if we walk up to it, what can I do? How do I like achieve it? Collect. So what happens now that I have it? I don't really quite know how this works, but uh, maybe I can build something somewhere? I really don't know. Um, so if I go to maybe, yeah, I don't know how the towers work. Um, but you know, it's probably good to get all of them, regardless. Oh no, it's like unbuilding. Still, okay, there it goes. Frost tower unlocked. Collect more of these in order to construct additional frost towers. So there's more frost towers to find, is what it's saying? I guess, yeah, here it is. Frost Tower. Fires frost cubes that slows enemies over time. Cannot be buffed by other structures. Ancient host tower attacks nearby enemies with a frost cube, slowing enemies over time with intense cold. Lost permanently if destroyed. Oh, I see. So basically I can build this, right? But once I do, I guess maybe if it gets destroyed, we'll have to find a new one somewhere out there. I think that's how it works. So we'll go find the other one soon enough. In the meantime, though, if I can get some more diamond now that I'm out, it'd probably be a good idea, and I can grab that one pretty easily. So we'll do that, and then of course, get some more wood. Ooh, there's a chest waiting for me too. Maybe this will have more prismarine in it. I would hope so. What do we get? 127 lapis. Not exactly what I was after. But yeah, we definitely need to focus on clearing out any kind of dark spot on the map, um, because there's a lot of goodies inside. That's how we found the rest of, um, the firsts. So we'll definitely have to, you know, continue to do that around here to see what else we can find and discover. And if we just see any kind of cool question marks on the map or anything like that, we just gotta keep working on it. So we're heading right down here for now is my goal. Um, we don't need any more redstone, but once again, if I could just get more wood and stone, that's probably a good idea as well. We don't really have any of our units following us at the moment, so I guess if I wanted to get some extras, I could. I don't really know where any of them are right now. We're almost maxed out on this kind of stuff. So lots of water around here. I'm trying to be heading over this way. But I guess in the meantime, if I could, once again, try to find some more stone, that'd be a good idea. It's just hard to get away around all this water and stuff. I keep moving. This is the slowest mount, of course, but sometimes it can be worth it for just being able to climb up on things. Okay, here we go. Here's something. And that's the kind of thing I'm just trying to find is anything on the map that we can discover is always great. So if I do keep cutting across here though, maybe we'll find even more things. I really don't know. I guess we'll just sort of play into our curiosity here. What is the question mark? Oh, it's another tower, here it is. Okay, so what will this tower be? It'll probably require redstone. I think there's a lot of redstone around, so let's check it out. Finding all the towers seems like a good idea, right? So we're just gonna go over here and check out this. So I can investigate it. I think, yeah, it'll play a cutscene or something. Here we go. The villagers once used these towers to call to the LAs for assistance. 
When that bell rings, it makes the sweetest sound you'll ever hear. Ooh. Oh man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Apparently we don't share the same taste in music. <laughs> Not everybody agrees with you. So that one was pretty cool. Guess I should have read the description of it first. Uh the stun tower. Stuns piglins in a very large area. So I guess these are the same kind of tower. Okay. Interesting. So surprising me that there's one here. You know, there was one there, one here, one over there, and then none over around this side of the map at all, you know? Um, but we'll definitely collect this if we can, just like that. And now that we've got this stun tower, are we still able to get the other stun tower? That's what I'm really curious about, but able to take that. I think that one required coal or something, because now we're out of, or at least lower on coal. So that one's going to be collected in just a moment here. Once it is, I guess we can just keep moving forward. Uh, and we'll keep looking around this area to see if there's anything else to find, because there's got to be something. Um, so here it is, the, no wait, not this one. Okay, there it goes. The Sun Tower unlocks, to collect more of these towers in order to construct additional towers. Um, and we can take a look at that right here. Emits a sonic attack that will stun an enemy within range. Cannot damage enemies, cannot be buffed by other structures. Okay, so that means we are headed this way. Because I want to clear out more of the map, as much of the map as I can in today's episode, and then destroy, I think, one of these giant ones for the Horde of the Hunt. I think next episode we'll really get started on trying to fully clear those out and finish them off. But for today's episode, it's all just about, you know, surviving and doing what we can with what we have. Okay. But it has been cool just exploring all this, even if so far... It's weird that it says this is land, but I think it's just more shallow water that we can explore. And the unexplorable, unexplorable water is to our left. We could take all these turtles with us. They won't really help us fight at all, but... We wanted them to follow us, we could. Or just have them, you know, stay here. We have not seen too much around here, really. But even if we could find some treasure chests or something, these guys are still following me. They don't really listen, do they? <laughs> All right, guys, I could just, uh, there's a way to, there we go, yep, make them stop. You're not really finding any treasure chests out there. There really isn't too much around here. Okay, so I made my way a little bit more north. We're here in the tundra, and with it, we have another mystery. So, of course, we gotta go discover what that is. At this point, I'm assuming it's a tower, but I guess we'll find out in just a moment. It's very exciting that we're still finding some more things out. So, what is going on over here? We're here at the tundra. And I see it in the distance. There is another tower. So it's gonna be another frost tower, I think. Looks like, actually, maybe this is different. It's hard to tell. Can I investigate it? I can collect it. So it costs 100 gold and 25 diamond. So I do not have the gold for this one, but it is another frost tower. So I don't really know if I need it, but it's good to sort of have these marked out at the least, you know, just to know exactly where they are, how I can discover them and just, you know, keep running through the map. Make sure everything is as cleared out as we can in terms of uh, just making sure that everything is unveiled. So now that I've done that there, I could continue up the coast a little bit, go over here to the left. I haven't been to these places in the tundra, so I think I'll just keep up with this. Explore the map a little bit, find things we've never found before, even if it is the same things, sort of, now. Um, that's still good to figure out. Fun says that there is enough oh, skeletons. I thought I was saying this is a chest over there. I guess not quite. Okay, we are almost at our mystery, and I'm hearing some peculiar noises. What? Oh, it's the tower again. Is that really what's making that noise? So yeah, it's yet another tower out this way. Huh. Well, we can't clip this one either. We don't have the gold or diamond, which if I already have one of them, do I really need another, you know? So it's cool to clear that out, but we hear that I was making that noise. I, I don't feel like I've heard the other ones make that noise, but I guess it's good that I at least checked. And there's not really too much on this edge of anything, huh? I guess not. I mean, I can of course collect some more friends here at the least, but Really is interesting how there are just large sections of more or less nothingness. Whoa, I'm at least finding something neat. These little geysers here. I don't think we've really seen these anywhere else, have we? Ah. Okay, I thought that would, yeah, it launch us up a little bit. It sorta did. It's not the way I was expecting it to. That was cool. 
interesting little environment thing there that doesn't really seem to do anything, but it's definitely neat. And there's a couple of those around too. Whoa, neat. It's a little bit more of the map I wanna clear out just over this way, but beyond that, we are good to just head over to a different thing, I think. Uh, which, I'm sure there's plenty to find. There's some more mobs to discover too. So let's get you guys. I think I saw a couple more over here that I'll just grab and recruit so that we can uh, worry about other stuff later. So there's all that, that that done. I guess I could try this section. I feel like it's gonna be more of the same. Um, but this area I definitely need to explore anyways because I need to do that. So trying to figure out what do we wanna leave for later. I think we'll actually, we'll continue over this way. Clear out all this and then this section and then we'll leave this for when we're actually tackling that area, if that makes sense. So that should be pretty good. Let's go for it. And as we're making our way up, I already found another mystery thing. Once again, going to guess it's a tower? Wait, it's a new mount. Okay, here we go, look at these little birds. Oh, they're so cool. So let's take a look at you guys, hi. What are these? Whoa, they're adorable, so colorful too. Oh man. These big beaks glide majestically from any height, which will give you a soaring advantage over piglins down below. Very nice. The big beaks, huh? So that might be our last mount. Um, it made a little achievement noise. Uh, let's see, big beak. The big beaks call the jagged peaks home. And despite their flightless disposition, they still enjoy climbing craggy peaks and rock outcroppings and gliding to the ground. Interesting. So happy to find them. So yeah, they sort of uh, glide a little bit. I guess they might get more distance than the beetles would. Interesting, right? So. Glad to have that figured out. That gets us around a little bit better around too. This is so cool that we have all these different mounts now. What the experience we're building up, huh? So let's just try to get all the way up these mounts. And this is where it still might be better to have the beetle, <laughs> to be honest with you. But uh, we'll do what we can with what we got here. I don't think there's gonna be too much. I'm just looking to clear out the little bits on the map that we haven't found, just in case there might be some little secrets waiting for us. But so far, holding out on that idea. So. That was that one. Um, if we see up here, there's like a little section, so I guess I will mark it on my map and try to find that too. I'm doubtful there'll be anything over there though. So now we're making our way all the way up here. This is a pretty wide section where we just haven't found too much, so definitely need to take a good look around if I can walk through this stuff. There we go, so I can move a lot faster. That's always appreciated because I think there's even more out this way. Yep, for sure. And really, we just need to run through it. If there's anything to find, the game will give us little question marks that we can take a look up on our map. So, really, that's all I'm worrying about. We'll go straight down here for a little bit longer, and then turn a left. Should be good, just like that. So, yeah, we're running into piglins and stuff like that, but I'm not really too worried about those. We still have our friends behind us, too. And, ooh, got some free lapis over here, as well as a little bit of gold. Haven't really seen any treasure chests in a while, but I don't see any more popping up. But uh, we just need to get up this mountain, explore a little bit more in this direction. We should be good. I'm not, I'm not really seeing anything, but we are about to change biomes, so maybe at the least I can get a little bit of extra stuff. Okay, I do not want to look at my map at the moment. The last time we did that <laughs> way up here, it was a regrettable mistake. But you can see we could definitely glide for a lot longer as these birds than we could as the beetles, which is always nice. So it seems like each mob has their own strength. And now that I'm pretty sure we have found all of them, I would love to hear which one is your favorite. Hard for me to say. I think in terms of the de design, the cat is my favorite. But in terms of actually getting around, a lot of the time having that beetle, just having that ability to climb up stuff in that way is really nice. So here's yet another tower. Not too surprising, but it's the tower hey, we found. That looks familiar. Okay, first off, where are the piglins evading? It looks like this one, so we'll definitely have to get there soon. Is this a new tower or is this, this is a new tower. So let's check this out um, if we can. Investigate. Oh, so a third tower. Glad that there is another kind. This is one of my old lightning rod experiments. Uh oh. Ooh, I don't think they should be doing that. Not good. Oh man. I remember we had a terrible problem with forest fires until you built these towers to catch all the lightning from the sky. Yeah. I never decided what to do with all that energy. <laughs> Looks like you have your answer knowledge. 
Very cool, so a lightning rod tower. I don't think we have what we need, or maybe we do. We got just enough gold to make this one, which is fantastic. Worked out pretty well in the end. So this is being unbuilt. I definitely need to go over there and deal with some stuff soon, but if I could just clear this out first, it'd be fantastic. So I might run over here. Go, go, go. I'm really happy we could find some of that stuff. I'm ignoring these piglins because just don't really need to bother with it. It's a nice little metal area though, for sure. Uh, I do see some more coal over here. Blast tower unlocks, collect more of these towers, construct additional blast towers. Will do. I'm maxed out on coal at the moment, so I guess I don't need that. But, um, yeah, we have the blast tower. Fires projectiles that will knock back enemies on impact cannot be buffed by other structures. So, really could I have all those? I'm really gonna save them for when I definitely need them if they are if they get destroyed, you know what I mean? You have to like just refine them. We're totally out of gold now, too. So, sort of a shame on that front, but We'll head over here and just do whatever we can. Lots of piglins around here, though. Makes me think that we're gonna find something piglin related around here, but who knows? Maybe that's not how it's gonna work. Wanting more coal. Sometimes we'll find iron in these biomes as well, but not seeing too much of that at the moment. Okay, yeah, not too much over here. Let's see. Yeah, we're doing good. Could still find some more stone though, so might as well make the most of that because there's definitely stone around. There's some more over here and there. Very nice. And then over this way, is that just more coal? Looks like more coal. If we're not maxed out on stone, I'm definitely getting that. Okay, so we'll turn back around. Can't really get all of it in one run, it seems. Oh, the little chicken's being attacked. I gotta save the little chicken. No, I feel bad. There we go. And there's a villager over here, a zombie villager, or just zombie. Oh man, the whole army's coming in. Oh my goodness, wow. Well, I can't get distracted on too much here. Um, gonna head over this way. Just cause time is of the essence, there is another tower right over there. It looks like the same kind of tower we just got, so. I'm not really too worried about it. Hmm. Chasing me again. I'm sort of just trying to leave it, but I think I want to yeah, go down this way now. I mean, it's still very beautiful and fun to run around in, but obviously not anything we just haven't experienced. So, going over here. Just, you know, make this a mark on our map. It is, of course, whoa, whoa, so cool. Oh man, and it's actually attacking some of the piglins just by being here. That's awesome, I didn't realize that. So let's cut this little spot here in the center. So piglins beware, that thing is not messing around. The uh, the blast tower here. Oh yeah, so that's the blast one, that's not even the lightning one, very cool. Almost there at clearing this spot out. Once we do, we'll go take out that one piglin thing that they're trying to create right now. Just a little bit more of it around here. Okay, we should be good. Let's get out of here then. I mean, they were building something. Yeah, that this is what they were building. Funny how, you know, it's a pretty small thing. It's not really that big of a deal, but it's definitely worth getting rid of. All right, we're, we're coming somewhere. We're sort of falling. Uh, and we'll just run straight over there with what we have. It's not the biggest team in the world at the moment, but it's enough to at least do some numbers. So, we heading the right way. It looks like it was over here. And if we need to, we can, of course, create more. Okay, I'm sort of going the wrong way. Okay, now we're coming up on it. I will, of course, put some more of these together. But we have enough right now that I should be able to march up there and, you know, get some stuff done. Of course, you know what we have to do, though? We need to, uh, yes. And then maybe build some of these guys to help us out. But mostly we're just heading up here. Just like that. Start destroying this tower. Once you're done, we'll start doing some other stuff. But I think that's enough that I can, you know, craft some fronts. So we actually don't have any spawned. That was all just from stuff we found out in the wild. So they're doing pretty good. They're gonna work on that tower and eventually get rid of it. But I got some extra here. I guess I should work on getting some of these guys out. I thought I had, maybe they destroyed it straight away. Huh, 
Um, I don't see any of the firsts out there. I'm gonna call them back just in case because I really don't see them out that way. Um, but now we have 26 units in our control. We run back out there, try to destroy this tower while the zombies are helping out. Um, just like that, craft another thing soon enough. Maybe I should wait. Cause that thing's yep, now broken. We go over here, do more of the same. Some of them, not super interested in it. Maybe they can work on this tower down that way. Okay, here we go. Oh, I fell. This isn't what I wanted too much, but luckily we jump really high. Oh, and they're creepers too. So, um, we'll work on that soon enough. But I think what we'll do, if I could just get up here, that's really, really nice. Yeah. Get this whole grouping of everybody over here to break that stuff. While that's happening, we're gonna free the creepers and then send them against the tower that's on the floor. Should be a whole combo, I think. So, as soon as I can command them, tower down there. Then, back over here, there's a whole entourage of different people to control. We just need them to walk across nice and simply, destroy this tower. We're not quite done with it though. Um, after that, there's some more creepers to save, so. We're back over 100 Prismarine, that's gonna be this outpost destroyed. So they just made this one and we have already destroyed it in the tiny little pieces. So that's amazing, we can open up this chest too and inside of this one, we get another build away. Awesome. Glad to have it. So look at all these creepers, oh my goodness, we can't even, you know, sort of have them all follow us. But I'm glad to have over 100 of the, the prisms again, or the, whatever it is. Um, feeling pretty good. I think at this point, the map is really well uncovered. We, we've discovered some of those towers. We have this section here, which is what I'm, I'm gonna take on one of these, and then um, clear that spot out, and there's a little bit in the corner. Before we do, let's go to the Well of Fate, because we should have enough Prismarine, that's what it's called, to at the least discover um, the ability to have more stuff, right? We should be able to, I wanted to do another improvement banner so we can have 15 more mobs that can, you can rally around you at once. That feels really good, but I mean, yeah, I have all these too. Uh, some of these can only be built once, so I don't really see too much of a reason to do that. Uh, yeah, I, I think that we're better off just getting this one. So I'll get that here on number four. Did that work? Okay, improvement banner, put that there. So now we can have, I think, 55. Now more will follow your lead. That's fantastic, right? So that's really good. I'm really feeling a strong sense of accomplishment with everything we're doing. I might wanna go to the zombies and see what other you know recruits we can get in here. Uh, but with as many as we can hold now, it's going really well. So the zombies would have been over there. Okay, we got a lot of zombies around here. We already have 40 units. So if I run around and get some more, as you can see, we can have a total of 51 now. I can keep running. Get even more, 53, 55 should be my maximum. How cool is that? So now if I try to get some more, it's not really gonna work. So that's enough for us to go to this village and take on one of the Horde of the Hunts. This is the big one, the aggressive Horde will stop at nothing to run down their prey. Large base, large rewards. Let's go for it. So this is our first time taking on a large base. I think if we defeat enough of these, a boss fight will come out or something, because you know, it keeps showing us those cutscenes every time we destroy one of these bases. So I can only imagine something to that degree is gonna happen. I do wanna get these towers ready just in case I really need them. So if I could just do that, I feel like that's a good idea. Um, maybe we could get some of these other things, but I don't really quite have the materials for them, like a kaboomery but I've never really done these too much. Um, I feel like they're better for just defending the towns than they are for uh, being set up in other spots. But I see a lot of iron to get, so let's just focus on that. And no, now they're targeting this village. I'm not ready for that. I'm gonna take this on for now and we'll just sort of see what happens. Um, so yeah, over this way, let's get going. And then I'm going to have to, of course, create some spawn things. I might wanna do that closer to here. Um, even though I'm not quite over there, I think just having some extra space to do it now might be a good idea. I mean, I have my maximum units for the time being, but I'm going to have to come back. So just having all these units here, we'll run all the way back over when we need it. And while we're heading over, you know what else we could do? And we've already gotten started on this before. Just creating more and more helpful paths over here. Because we're almost there already. Because this was a, uh, uh, previously, it was just a normal one. 
Oh, this is more iron. Oh, but we can't get it because it's, it's corrupted. And this one's a three out of four. So this is not gonna be easy, but we're gonna go for it. Especially if we could just send some in like this and just destroy them really, really fast. That's exactly what we wanna do. And then move over to this stuff. Come on, guys. Yeah, let's get everybody over. Can't let anybody go away. I just wish there was a way just to call all of our units over super duper fast. They've barely even realized that we're here yet and we're sending in tons and tons to do stuff, you know? So that's really good news. Destroy this spawner as soon as we can. I don't know where exactly the nether portal is. I haven't seen it quite yet, but. I think it is safe to Ooh. say you have the horde's attention. Yeah, for sure. What kind of building is this? This is a new type of building. I have not seen that at all. So of course, while they're fighting, I need to fight too. Maybe I have to destroy some of those. So this is all new to us, how that's working. Um, And we're of course gonna lose units as we go around here, but we just keep going for as much as we can. We just keep fighting this fight. And wherever I can, I'll swing my sword. Whoa, I'm getting launched, I gotta watch my own health too. But man, is it wild out here. There's so much going on. Whoa, okay, those are not our friends. I don't know why I thought they were, they were um, our firsts. Keep attacking these spawners, because even if we can't survive this round, getting these spawners out of the way means less to fight for next time. And we're getting tons of Prismarine, which will go to our upgrades later on. There's just so much all over the place. I'm starting to see the Nether Portal in the distance. Oh man, this is crazy. We can really get a lot of Prismarine around here. Let's send some stuff out that way. That was a lot of units for sure, so. It wasn't all of them though. We lost a few back over here. Man, this is crazy. Okay, they destroyed that one. Great job, guys. Let's all come over then and go for whatever this is. I think that if we destroy these, that's what will allow us to go to the nether portal. Yeah, these are definitely some kind of like protection unit. Um, so we need to do what we can with this. Now our first can still get taken out. We need to be careful things like that, but down with this one. If we can get rid of this, it'd be huge. So there we go. Another one destroyed. And this is really only like a fraction of the things we can do, you know? So we just keep getting out here and destroying stuff. Sooner or later, a yeah, a first is gonna fall. I was sort of expecting that though. It might be a good time, while they're still working on things, to run out and try to rebuild a little bit. Because it's to be expected that we can't do everything here. Um, but if I can just get out here, um, I can get some more friends out. Just like this. I'm mostly gonna focus on golems and stuff, but the zombies can definitely help. Um, so. We can recall all of our friends. Hold on, did that work? There we go, we have all four of them. Let's spawn in a couple of you guys, and then yeah, we got a good chunk of those. Getting all sorts of different units here too, intentionally and unintentionally. We got a few more over here too. Don't forget about the creepers and the zombies, but I definitely want some more building busters. So I'm gonna get some of that. And then while I'm here, I might as well get this coal that I see. Looks like I might need a little bit more stone and stuff, but okay, we're good. We got everybody we can get here. 45 units charging straight back in. Get some more of that figured out and we're just going right back in. They're not even gonna be ready for us or expecting us or anything. So we can go for another one of these. We got one toppled. Here comes another. Now they're realizing and rushing over, but we already got it totally dismantled. Let's go for another thing over here. Come on guys, we can do it, we can do it. A lot of our friends do get destroyed pretty darn quick. I really think it's way better just to sort of hustle, destroy these buildings, keep a distraction on these enemies where we can. Because there's so many, oh my goodness. Because over time, no matter what, as long as we're destroying buildings to some degree, we're getting there, we're making it happen. And that one's toppled as well. Already up to 96 Prismarine and growing. So, you know what we do? We send more out this way. Very cool, very cool. This one already is gonna get broken up pretty quick. I could just fight off some more of these guys as this thing falls. Come on, just a little bit more. Destroy that building. There it goes. Get everybody I can find run over here and destroy this thing. We'll get some extra gold out of it too, so that'll be good for getting more towers in the future. And they just, they break so fast. So, 
Get all of our friends, everyone I can find, which is just 18 units now. We've definitely fallen a bit. We're going to run all the way over here, I think. And I don't know how much more we can do here with this giant mob of enemies chasing us, but there's at least a little bit more, I can think. Um, there we go. So that's getting destroyed. That's making good progress. I think once again, I don't know if I should build some more or if I should go back to the ones that we already had, but there is another one of those here. So could be good to keep in mind. I don't know, I think I'll let, our friends are still trying to destroy this tower. We wanna be out there to help them however we can. More than that, we wanna collect the prismarine that drops from it. So uh, let's just be around for that, grab all that stuff. Fight away some piglins, but more than that, we need to go back and retreat, get all of our units. Yeah, I was expecting that. So get all of our units back, spawn in some more, come in from a different side, because they'll all have to rush over. And by the time we do, they do, we'll have um, a few more buildings destroyed, you know? So that's the move to make. So we're doing some really good stuff here, and we just got to keep it going. I definitely want some more of these guys, but. Where the real magic happens, in my opinion, is the healers at the cobblestone ones. So definitely a bunch of cobblestone friends here. And once again, if we need more coal, we have more coal. Let's get it. There we go. So I want to run in from this side this time. I mean, I know that those actually maybe we should go all the way around because there was that one coil thing. We need to destroy three of those if we want to get into the thing. So we have 53 units following us right now. That is fantastic. Yep, this huge army, it's so cool. And let's see, run, run, run. If I could, even then, uh, let's see. Send the melee mobs to focus this target and then like the special mobs to focus this one. Sort of dole it out in a different way. Then we can send these guys out here. Just to get started and everything, this thing's gonna break pretty quick. But um, soon after, I can just get them all back again, destroy this thing over here, and then work on that. And you can see how we can sort of divide and conquer things quite quickly. So go to this one. We might lose some units along the way. That's always what happens, but let's at least make sure we have our firsts here, not getting too distracted. Come on, big guy. And you can see they're here now, but look at this. We already destroyed a few more buildings. It's too late for them. So as long as we can continue to whittle them down, they can't do anything about it. This thing is gonna get destroyed, no problem. Super duper fast. We have so many units. Everybody come on over and then go for this. Ah, sad to see it, sad to see it. But uh, we're getting somewhere. We only need to destroy one more of these um, sort of defensive buildings before we can uh, this is where we're losing a lot of units fast. We can destroy this. Come on, come on. Keep breaking this building down. So many piglins. I know I need to start swiping at them, but that's usually when I end up losing us so much health. But I feel like it's just smarter to not even worry about it. Okay, we're almost out of units here. I think if they could just finish off this building. I don't know if they can. I don't know if there's anybody else left here but me. So now maybe a good time to break back up. But man, we did a good job there. Okay, here's one. First, if they could just break this thing, just as like one more thing to do, that'd be amazing. Cause I don't see any other units out here. Oh, there it is, perfect, thank you so much, buddy. Okay, so we're gonna retreat again. We'll get back out here, we'll destroy that last coil as well as some of the other things around here. We're doing so good though. This is exactly the kind of strategies we need to take up to do what we need to do. They're launching big things at us, but we'll be back. Will be causing so much more trouble. I know, I'm so sorry. And go out here. Takes a while to get all that stuff uncovered. But where's our spawners? Our spawners were right over here. So we do have some creepers and stuff that just never came with us. So recall. No mobs available for recall. Well, there should be my, huh. Maybe now's a good time to go back like this because I need to find my first friends. They are sort of a key element to this. So if I can just get them all together, there we go. And then get back over, it was like about here. Now we'll get back out there, destroy some more buildings. 
Okay, we have ourselves a new little army here. I couldn't find my spawners from before. That's fine. We rush back in because there's still more to do around here. Last more. I feel like I'm just a little bit turned around, but we'll figure it out soon enough. So there's the big nether portal. We can run over here and at the least, you know, destroy more of these buildings. So even if it is like a spawner building like over here, I think we need to go to that farther edge. So still a lot more buildings to destroy. Maybe not the best angle to go about it, but it's okay. So here they all come. We're breaking that one. We're sending them all out to that tower now. So just keep getting their attention. Get the healers all together. Send them over there. Fight some piglins too. Don't forget about our friends in the back. They need to be out there and participating as well. There we go. We're almost there. This tower is destroyed. There's a lot of that taller brush around here too, which can make things very complicated. You have the horde's attention. Yeah. I, I agree. Okay, we're rushing now. I want to destroy the coil. Easier said than done. I'm not sure if I can quite do it, but I'm certainly going to try. Right over here. Destroy this thing, guys. You got it. You got it. A lot of the building busters are out here. So are some of our, our um, firsts. So I think it will get destroyed fairly quickly. A lot of piglins taking chase immediately after, though. Does make this a complicated mess. Come on. Almost there. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. I need to fight these piglin pig boar things away. Come on, keep smacking you. Almost there in that tower. It's destroyed. That should open up the nether portal. Oh man. Here they come. They're not happy about it. They're the rushing out. Exposed. You know what to do from here. All right, we definitely will. But before we do, we got so much else going on. If I could destroy even just one more spawner, I think that'd make for a big difference maker. We definitely need to back up and sort of recollect ourselves here in a moment because we just have so many towers we can chip through to sort of, you know, take this stuff on. But that was great. We were able to destroy a lot there. So I just need as many of my units here as possible. Every single building we destroy, it gets a little bit easier. And we get a little more prismarine out of it. So win-win. Let's get to this one. I'm definitely missing some of my firsts. I don't know quite where they went. We're getting some shielding. That's great. Got it. Building destroyed. We're going over here. A lot of them know that. It seems like they just moved over anyways, but... Always still good to get the command. And once this one is broken, I think it'll be good. Yeah, it'll be well time to back off. I don't think they'll have the strength to defeat the next one, but I'm going to have them get started with it. The next tower... While they are, I need to back it up. I'm a little hurt here. But over this way, I'm fairly certain, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, there should be my spawners here. So I can recall a lot of my friends. We can rebuild some new ones. Oh no. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. That's not good. I need to go over there. Jeez, I can't believe I fell in the lava pit. Why is that even a thing? And I died too. All right, well, we have a lot of units now. What's weird is that we have a lot more than what it says, but we can still spawn in more through the flames of creation. I think that maybe after they've been spawned for a long time, they're no longer spawns of creation or flames of creation. They're just out there in the world. So we might, might as well spawn in as much as we can. That allows us to uh, get all the way up to 34. And then we have a crowd here of 53 units. And I don't even know where our firsts are. They're not here. Uh, for whatever reason. I think we should just, you know, start tackling things from here. It looks like we can destroy this tower pretty quickly. So I'm gonna send the whole squad out here. This thing will get busted so quick though. So don't go too far. Once they all get over here, I definitely need to grab. The skeletons and stuff could be a little bit disappointing just because, you know, they'll just stay back there and they'll never follow through. And then we have to do it all ourselves with a run back and sort of recollect them. That could just be a little bit frustrating, but we're destroying things so quickly that it's hardly an issue. Fight these guys out here a little bit more. Come on, come on. And then this thing, totally dismantled. We just go for the next thing. This sort of burst tower, we need to destroy these because these get a little, rid of a lot of units fairly quickly. So if we could just go back in, do as much damage to this as possible. And I think with this one out of the way, we're in a position where we can just really start to go for the nether portal. So every single unit we have here, let's just send them straight into the nether portal. There'll be a lot of enemies coming in, of course. It's not gonna be easy, but it is certainly doable. And while all that is happening, if we have little friends back here and over this way, send them in too. 
now that they are, I don't know where our thing went. Where did our firsts go? Are they still back in the village? Because if not, then I have no clue where they are. Yeah, they're all back here. We're gonna collect them really quickly and then run right back out there with them. Go, go, go. Come on, guys. We gotta run, run, run. And send them in. And that should be enough, I think, to really do a good number on that nether portal. Um, we are losing units, you can see on the bottom right, but not too many so far. Come on, come on. We're almost there. We've done a great job so far in today's episode. It's exactly what we wanna see. Oh, get some more iron. Already back up the full. Um, the piglins are invading. What are they invading though? Oh, they're invading this. I don't have the time right now. We got too much going on. Um, so we might just have to lose that one and take it back later or something, because it's a total mess right now. But I just want to sort of do full focus on this. So get you guys out there, and then I'm just gonna help fight as much as possible, because a lot of them aren't focusing on me. So I would hope I can really just bring back the fight, especially with these big guys coming in. We can do a lot. Okay, they're already getting it down to 50%. I could run back here, spawn in some more friends. Get them to come out too, of course. This cat makes a lot of weird squeaky noises. Um, and it's going down in health a lot really fast. So, One more push and the portal will fall. For sure. So I want to get this mount. Just because it makes less noises. <laughs> uh, get this figured out. Get some more coal. This should be pretty good. I think we get some more cobblestone. And we just go. Because we don't want to waste too much time here. Especially with so many more units out that way just fighting. I don't want to leave them, but you can see the way out there. 16%, maybe they didn't even need this, but we're sending it in anyways. Oh, maybe it's the noise of us getting stuck in this, like, stuff. I don't know. Uh, anyways, there we go. That should be another nether portal destroyed. We did an awesome job. All right, very cool. They're not gonna be happy about that one. A huge rush of piglets all over the place. It's a mess. <laughs> They're fed up with it too. Oh no. Whoa. Oh, and they're going in. This one might not have as much of an intimidating figure, but it is definitely just as scary. The beast knows you are besting their horde. That only makes you a more appealing target. Okay, well, we only got so much time here. Let's pick up this gold. Let's pick up all oh, this prismarine. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, this is great. It was on this side that I didn't really do too much. So yeah, I can get a lot closer to my maximum prismarine. I don't know if I can reach all of it, but I'm really just trying to run around. I think that might've been it. Okay. There wasn't too many more buildings left. But yeah, we jumped up the 340 prismarine there, which most of it we're just gonna use for some straight up upgrades. So you're really happy with how all that turned out. I'm also running the wrong way. I think we found it all though. So if we could go back over here and save this town really fast as they are getting invaded, this might be our best time to do it. Um, Has it happened yet? I don't think so. Oh, okay, it has happened. What is going on? Okay, go, 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 fight, fight, fight. That scared me. Piglin's approaching. I've noticed. If we can spawn in just one of these so that I can recall all my other friends and just get them out here pronto because they are demolishing this wall. Uh, recall, recall, recall. And I was gonna bring back the ones who were with us over there fighting, but we have 55 units now, so I can like um, send out like maybe melee mobs over here. Uh, Specifically like zombies over this way or something. I don't know how many zombies I actually have. I hope you get what I mean. I'm just trying to do what I can here. There's just so much going on. All of you guys are just chilling out now. That's not what we need. We need to hold this for three minutes. So, I mean, as long as we can keep the stuff in the center, I guess we're overall fine, but so far this is pretty crazy. Got it. Go, go, go. And then you, you guys cannot afford just to be chilling out. So if you can even just Run over here, do some stuff like that. That sounds like a fantastic idea. And I guess we should build some carpenter huts, especially if there aren't any around, but it doesn't seem like there is. That will heal our buildings back up. This is exactly what we need. Now you 
not happening. Okay, I need to keep swinging my sword. Get rid of these smaller pig ones because you know, the rest of my mobs are getting work done. I need to too. Only, you know, about two and a half minutes left over here. If I can do this, maybe spawn in some more ranged ones, that'd be great too. Come on. <laughs> no, 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 don't do it. Oh no, wrong button. Let's just spawn in some more. And have them help out and attack wherever they can. I'm rushing back over here because I want to see if there's any other spots where I can make some stuff. Because look at all these guys, just chilling out. Not what we need. I guess there's not too many piglins coming in from this way, so they've just, you know, been posted up. But we can definitely help out over here. And there's still, you know, some stuff that's yet been to be covered. We can help out just like that. And then if they're done fighting over here, they're not quite though. But they're almost, they're almost. So, got them, got them. Back over this way then. Oh, yeah, there's so many. So, get them to rush in. Less than two minutes now. So we're certainly getting somewhere. The piglins have sent reinforcements. I've noticed. We're sending you guys out, and then I think there was a good cluster of them just chilling out over here. See, so let's go send them into you. All right, we're doing whatever we can. Oh, we can ask for, right? It looks like there's some more coming in that way, though. So this is where we really gotta spread some of them out a little bit or something, because I just don't know if I have enough. But no, we know we have units here. Just couldn't really see them beyond the green glow. A minute remaining, come on. We haven't taken any damage either, so. Let's just go, go, go. Fight them however we can. One minute left. How are things going on the other side? It's going all right, actually. I mean, some of these guys are just standing here. Um, that is not what we need when they're attacking the wall like that, so go over that way. And send some of these guys out here like this, I guess. Okay, they're chilling out again. Don't let them do that. Oh no. I don't know how long it takes them for them to you know, pop back up. But we only need to last for 30 more seconds. So even if I could just spawn in some more basic friends to fight with us, that'd be pretty good. So I'm gonna call them over like this. Send them over that way. There's Come on, more a few more seconds though. We just have to hold out for a little bit longer. Seems to be all of them over here. A couple more piglins coming in this way. Oh man, it is a mess. But five, four, three, two, one, and we made it. So at this point, we just need to fight off all these piglins. The rest of the piglins. I don't know if this counts as clearing the area when it's outside of the range of the town. Okay, it is. Awesome. So we survived and protected the town without it taking any damage. Or at least, you know, the heart of it, the fountain. Um, the rest of the stuff definitely took damage. Um, so we've defended the village. Very cool. I need to rebuild this wall, it seems. But it should... I don't know if our masonry was destroyed. It looks like it might have been, which, if so... That makes me so sad, because, uh, how expensive that is. But, um, we'll get another one. All set up in here soon enough. But, uh, I think overall, we did a pretty good job. I'm happy that it de they decided to attack something that already had some strong defenses waiting. So I could, uh, no, there's one over there, it seems to suggest. I mean, or are those the carpentry buildings that it's, I think it's the carpentry building. So yeah, I don't know, it's, it's very weird like that, but this will just require some iron. Luckily we have iron, so I'll just place that there and that'll slowly turn back into stone. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so we have a lot of units around. Some of them we'll just have to recall, but we did a great job in today's episode. We found all the towers, all of the mounts, and we, of course, um, were able to defeat another one of the Horde of the Hunt. I think next episode, we might just go back there, get another army set up, go back in, and try to win. Just defeat the Horde of the Hunt entirely. So yeah, we're really setting things up quite well. But to do that, what else do we have to get done? If we can improve some other stuff in the meantime, that'd be fantastic if I could Improve this again, if I could just get more of an army, I feel like that's always a better idea um, than a lot of the other stuff. I mean, of course, getting um, a lay storage. So this would allow me to carry more wood, stone, lapis, prismarine, and gold, which I feel like out of everything, I max out on things like coal the fastest. So maybe I should you know, get some of this stuff out, but 
Is that really as important as some of the other things? I don't know. I do not have the prismarine for this one. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like the... What is it? This one is the most important one, having more mobs on my side. So I might just do more of those if I can fit one somewhere. And we're, we're really starting to fill out here, as you can tell. So I'll put one right there. We can consider some other options soon enough. But now I want to take on one of the sort of final difficulty level um, hordes. And this one is going to be the Horde of the Bastion. Because as you can see, it's about to invade something anyways. So if we can go and destroy it. There will be a new piglin base in the world tonight. That's exactly what I do not want. I think that's going to pop up right here. So if we can destroy this before that happens, that'd be huge. So this base will build a new base somewhere. Large base, larger wars. Let's go and get rid of it as soon as we can. So I guess for right now, this village is at peace for now. We can just go to this one. We'll have to set up some reinforcements to run out eyes. there and just really get a proper attack going on. Um, but also, I guess before we do that even, we should go to like a zombie place. We have upgraded how many units we can control. So if we could just do something like this and just grab as much as possible, I really want to hustle with it though, make the most out of our time because I don't know exactly how much time we have. Is the sun raising or is it falling, you know? Um, Cause if I destroy this and another one pops up, I'm gonna be so bummed out. But you know, we've done a great job exploring the map and finding just about everything we need. Um, so I just really gotta make the most of it now. So uh, hopefully we can find a way over the swap. Just be able to jump over like that. There we go. And is any kind of zombies or any other creature that we can join up with soon would be great. So, got all of these guys here. Looks like we have a lot more of it this way. Usually, yeah, they pile up in the center too. So, just trying to get some. Right now, we're already up to 23 units. I think we can bring up to like 60, which is pretty crazy. So, let's grab all of you. <laughs> Look at this army we got going on here. So, let's recall everybody we can. Just to see what else we got going on here. 56 units, that's crazy. Um. And I probably just want whatever I can spawn into this stuff. So let's see, 61 units now. Maybe it's even more. How many? 64. Just trying to find out how many I can actually control right now. That was awesome. Over here, a few more of these guys would be great. We can get a lot right now. It's pretty crazy. Okay, that's all I can do. Looks like 70 is my maximum. So now we go back to the well house with 70 units under our control. And it should keep them with us. When we go here, we're up to 70. So, you know what to do. We gotta go over here and take it on. This is gonna be so exciting. Some of them are running off without me for some reason. A little confused as to why, but uh, they just sort of do what they wanna do. There we go, there we go. Okay, so while we're running around, you know, if we can clear out stuff like this, I definitely need to get um, more iron and such soon enough, so that would be a good idea. But for right now, we should have more or less everything we need to take on this giant army and just destroy as many buildings as we can. We really need to move with it, but I don't know if I'm quite going the right way. Okay, so good to know that I should probably not take this one anymore because <laughs> the mountain path, you know, while it seemed like it was a short trip, it really isn't. And we could craft maybe a new one if I wanted to really quickly, if I wanted to craft a new one of these towers somewhere, just so that we're closer, that might be convenient. Even though I do want to save some of my stuff. I do agree that like we need to get over there sooner this next time. So maybe I would just try to find out exactly where this stuff is and try to set up. I would need this thing. Um, so let's just do something like that there, just so that we can teleport to it later. We're losing some of our units. I don't know if it's fighting or what, uh, which is not good. So that's the kind of mess I've been trying Their to avoid. Fighters have joined the fray. Oh no. Their strongest fighters, huh? Well, let's go out and find out. Wow, look at this place. This is crazy. So this is where we just have so much work cut out for us. Um, and this is gonna be a whole episode worth of battling this stuff, you know? So let's get out here and just send whatever we can, wherever we can. So hopefully they know to, you know, go across. Go across, guys, uh, not through the lava, please. What is happening? Dude, come on. Um, rotate, build. Come on, guys, across the platform. Send them over, send them over. We gotta break this stuff. So this is not the best start. This one is just so protected by the mountains that it gets to be a little nonsensical. So it's gonna be a long episode with a lot of work ahead of us if we wanna destroy everything. But it looks like, ooh, over here is a spot I can really get started with when it comes to um, clearing some things out. I think that's just something I need to work on here. 
this might have been a better place to set up a tower. Uh, but that's okay. Reinforcements are spilling out of that portal. That means more Ugh. trouble. Not good. So we need to get out there as soon as we can, even if that means you know, grabbing all these guys. We have 25 units out here. They really are spilling out. We want to do this, break that tower up. Um, while that's happening, build that over there. Really, really good. Fight away some of these piglins, piglins myself, I think, as this tower is starting to crumble. So we still have a lot of units here. I can make the most of that, for sure. Um, but come on, everybody. You need to follow me. Go way up here and tackle the next thing. They just get so confused and they don't understand, and it really, really sinks. Come on, get over here. If they could just follow me, that'd be great. But they just really don't for some reason. Come on, I need to bring them like all the way over here and then all the way back over. That seems to work out a little bit better. Come on, come on, come on. Destroy this thing. That's what we're gonna work on next. And it's at least a lot of units. It's not all of them, unfortunately, because a lot of them do get destroyed. No, 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 what are you doing? Get over here, get over here. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a mess so far, but we'll keep working on it. Come on, up here, big guy. If you can destroy this tower, that'd be huge. Okay, some of them are sort of showing up now, so that's nice. I don't know where they went, but uh, we got them over here. More buildings to destroy. I know it doesn't seem super worth it for right now, but if we could just sort of, are they building some more? Whoa, whoa, this one's just appearing right in front of us. That's crazy. Um, So definitely go to this stuff while we can too. Oh man, I don't know if I've ever seen the building just be built right in front of us like that. So crazy. Luckily, that means we can destroy it pretty quickly. The first is falling. Ugh. Okay, so get out here, because what we really need to destroy are those spires over there. But if we could work our way over, that's a fantastic idea. Got a zombie up there for some reason. If I can get them down, help them out with this stuff. There we go. Um, because we've lost a lot of our other units. Come on, this is what we need to destroy. If I can just hold them back in the meantime, you guys just get out of here. That'd be huge, that'd be a big deal. So this thing, it's getting lower, it's getting more beat up. Come on, keep at it, keep at it. Put a stop to these piglins. And it's working, for sure it's working. There we go, that's the first of three that we need to demolish. So let's get to this now too. And you can see it's not really the easiest way to get around here, but I can definitely still do something, right? Um, I might want to get a little creative with uh, how I want to do this. You can't really build them over the walls like this though, so I guess I can't. Um, but it doesn't mean we can't do something, because can they just destroy any wall? I think the, the firsts can do that, but not the normal ones. So this is sort of also a maze in a way that gets totally crazy. Um, because if we're not going that way, we can bring our whole squad over and try to take on another one. Even if it is just destroying this wall for now, and while they're working on that, I definitely need to retreat myself um, and work on spawning in some more friends. Because I can definitely do that over here. But if we could further this stuff, just so that I can have more space to work with here, you know? Um, get that stuff here. There we go. I also just want the golems to focus on. A lot of these guys for sure. And we can afford it. There's a lot going on here, but we got it going. Over here, spawn a few more of those guys. And definitely these healers too make a huge difference. Besides that, I think it's all gotta be cobblestone. And then if we recall, it should bring in our firsts as well, or at least some of them. Not all of them, unfortunately. And see, that's where it gets a little frustrating. It's like, what happened to the rest of my firsts? They're not here. So, probably just need to go back to a village to find them. Um, but everybody should be able to follow me up here, right? Here's hoping. Um, so far, they are getting a little confused, but if I get to send them up here like that, it doesn't work. They get so confused around here. So, um, I can just get them to get up here. Come on, everybody, come on, everybody. There's gotta be a better way. <laughs> You know? Um, well, come on, there's enough here that I can destroy this for sure. They're charging in a little bit better now. But you guys need to stop. You need to cut it out. There we go, we got 27 of them. They could all just turn around and follow me. Go right back up here, send them in. Got a lot of piglins over here too that I can fight off myself as well. Can't forget that, we can join in on the fight one way or another. There we go. 
So we can't do too much here in terms of a lot of stuff. We actually do need to turn it around, but I'm really glad that we were able to destroy that. So if we can get rid of this tower now, as much as we can. Some of these first still confused, but it's really only this one first. Oh, and you know, this first is spawning in more units too. Can't forget that. Okay, they destroyed that tower. Go for another. And you know what, while that is all happening, they're destroying that one. I wanna go, oh, this is a well house, so there's not gonna be any um the firsts here, right? Uh, oh no, they are here. Perfect, perfect. You guys get over here, then we're going right back in. We're going straight back in with our firsts. Should have just went to this well house end, but you know, whatever. Um, and I know it's not the best situation for them. I really should get the beetle, but they're following me. And that's what we really, really need. So we're running back over. A lot of these towers popping back up again. So I think that's maybe just what one of them does. It just creates this kind of thing. Okay, so grab you guys. We have 13 units now. Hopefully they can follow me up here. Come on guys, you got it, you got it. They're, they're figuring it out. We run out this way. A lot of these units did get demolished and destroyed, but we can get them all together. Keep pushing down here, because I'm pretty sure the next thing that we need to destroy is along this perimeter. I'll knock out some of these guys, but I really need them to follow me so that we can just keep contributing to destroying this spawner. The sooner we can get rid of the spawner, the better. There's a lot more piglins here, so get rid of them. And you guys over here, come on, come on. And we're going right over here. On to the next one. This one has, oh yeah, those things that explode. Don't like those too much. The more we work on this, the better it's gonna be. We still have all of our firsts here, and as long as we have those, I usually feel like we have enough of a difference maker, but I gotta be careful, I'm low on health. We destroyed this tower, cool. Getting back out this way, come on, go, go, go. I am really low on health. This could be a huge danger. Maybe while that's happening, I'll hop out here. So I'm trying to find out, oh, the next one's way over there. So there's just so many buildings to destroy, but we are destroying them. See so if we can grab all this. Ah, we lost it first. I don't know which one. We still have the diorite one, so we're, we still have more units being spawned in because of that, so that's really good. And another building down. The firsts are such a difference maker. Like, I could not be doing any of this without the firsts, you know? It'd be so much more difficult. See, that one's destroyed. We go for the next tower. And I just fight these guys off for as long as I can as my health slowly raises again. This tower's almost busted, and once it is, it makes a big difference. Okay. Got it, got it. Going out here, we're just slowly chipping our way over to this side so that we can <laughs> eventually, slowly but surely, get to that final little spire thing. Come on, keep on it. Some of them are getting distracted for sure, so I'm just trying to keep them moving forward. That was a lot for sure. This guy's looking a bit beat up. They almost launched me out of here. Leave my first alone. Oh no, I'm getting beat up too. I'm down to one heart. I really need to play it safe then. Destroy this thing next. Oh, it's actually on that side? How do we get into there? Oh no, I sort of see it though. I sort of understand. We need to go up and through. So this might actually be a good time for me to sort of cut my losses a little bit. Jump over like this, float over like that, and then try to recoup a little bit, because I'm really hurt anyways, and then I land in the lava, which is not doing me any favors. Oh no. Okay, so. I need to get back a little bit. Ah, oh, and I die anyways. Darn, okay, that's fine. We still destroyed a lot there, and it's not like they're gonna be rebuilding right away. So let's take this opportunity. Once again, maybe even get some extra units from some different towns and stuff. Uh, that sounds like it could be a good idea, so what we wanna do is just how about we get some more creepers this time? We got all the, the zombies before. Let's get some creepers. We'll rebuild our army. We'll be able to do a lot. So, Creeper Town's gonna be over this way. Let's get all you guys. Come on, everybody. So we got U4. Get this speed boost for sure. Speed boost make a big difference. And then the creepers should be out here. I don't know if there'll be like a huge ton of them, but there should be enough to, you know, make a difference. Yep. Okay, some more over here. Usually they, they're they mostly hanging out in the center and that's the case. Look at this little creeper party. Cute, cute. Um, and then you know what? I think, looks like we need, I don't wanna get too sidetracked with this, but we need some more masonry buildings. We are out of materials right now. This is crazy. 
So sorry I'm getting so sidetracked, but there's just so much to do here. I think I might want to go back and get some things built because it looks like we really are running low on materials. If we could go get some stuff from chests and such, I hadn't even realized how bad of a situation we were in with that. Hopefully there's some stuff in some of the village chests waiting for me. I think I chose the wrong one though. <laughs> this might have been another tower. No, it wasn't. Okay, perfect. Let's hope we got some nice rewards here in the chest. Open it up and we have um, enough. That is enough to keep me going. So that's great. We are going to go back out here to this well house. We'll build some more of an army. We'll get back in there. We'll destroy that one spire. I think we have enough here to make some serious things happen. So um, need to go this way though. Because right now it says 99%, but it'll be much lower once we're through the nether portal and things. We're going back in. My spawners are over there though, so let's just glide over, just like this. I know my units are, they're, they're gonna find their way over, hopefully. Um, what I could do also is recall them, like this, excellent, okay, there we go. Um, now, we can spawn in some more friends, just like this. Definitely get some healers too. This music is cool too. Definitely enjoying that. Okay. Just a few more, and that's everybody. We have uh, 67 units now, that's great. We run all the way back over. Come on, everyone. Now this is where things get messy. But once we get up here, it sort of figures out what we're trying to do. I think they're trying to single file it, which certainly isn't the easiest thing to do. What is this thing? I think this is just like a, I think this is a new building they're trying to create. And not everybody is here once again. I don't know how to get them to follow me. Where do they go? They're all here. Which is not good in the slightest. Like we have some over there too. It's a mess and I just don't know how to get the game to listen to me. Cause all I can do is, you know, try to run up here and see if they follow me. But the firsts just don't get it. And I, this, it's just a very narrow spawn of what I can access. But, I mean, some of them are starting to climb over the walls and get through this stuff, so maybe, you know. Okay, they're destroying more of the walls, too. I just can't get them to specifically do that, you know? This isn't even all of them. It's not even close to all of them, but it's a lot. Maybe enough that I can just charge over here while we are taking a beating. If I could just get them through to here. Oh man, they are really beating me up. It's the same thing over there. Come on guys, go, go, go. Wow, I can't handle that. This is a mess and I am actually maxed out on some things here. So let's just back it up. You can see I still have lots of friends over here. Very frustrating situation, but maybe, just maybe, I can just do something else. I wish I could just build a ramp onto a different ramp or something, but it's just, what does that do? You know, not really anything. I wish I could destroy this one, but I don't think I can destroy stuff. Not these. Oh no, remove, remove. There we go. Maybe that would help. Come on. Is it being removed? It said it for a second that I was gonna remove it. Remove it, there we go. Okay, everybody, we need to move up this. Ugh. And they're still, they're sort of getting up a bit more. Here we go, maybe it was just the other ramp was really confusing them. What else do we have out here besides a bunch of guys who really, really want to beat me up? Is this destroyed? It's not. So it might be a little foolish of me to expect to be able to push through all that. I think what we need to do, go back again, spawn in more friends, and we just have to destroy those buildings. We cannot just run past them and charge through it and hope that it would actually turn out okay. It's not gonna work out like that. So I just need to spawn in some more stuff. Okay, we have 50 more units here. I'm running back out. Now with the ramp being a little bit more advantageous, it did say that Dusk is happening, they're attacking something. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be from here though, so maybe they're too busy fighting us. And they're still struggling a little bit, but not as much. Yeah, they're coming up, they're coming up. So we get up here, we start destroying some towers like these ones, um, uh, but once again, I can't just have them run at the tower. I just, the whole game is about controlling units and the units don't listen. <laughs> I don't know, it's a little silly sometimes. Maybe if we're a little bit more straightforward about it, have them attack a tower up here. You'd think that the pathfinding for them would just be a little bit easier to maintain, but it's not. So I gotta do what I can with what I have. And these towers aren't entirely my priority, it's the spawners. The more spawners we destroy, the more units that won't be able to get to us, you know? So that'd be great. 
So let's get some more friends out and run them over here. We need it, we need it, we need it. Come on, everything must go. That's destroyed. Might as well get rid of this one because it's here and also we get free gold out of it. But I can't even pick up this Prismarine, which is pretty crazy. Um, now I can destroy some of these because these do actually end up doing a pretty good job at displacing our units, making things difficult for us. So we'll get over to that other Spire soon enough. But man, is this challenging. We got more people to take on. You guys don't go down. Go back up here. Come on, charge back up. That tower is almost done for, but we definitely need you over here. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Destroy this spawner. We need the, the first of Brick though, because he creates some really, really useful shields. The spawner is almost broken. And some of our friends here are trying to destroy this nether portal. That's not gonna get anything done. Not without the spire being destroyed. So let's get this stuff over here. And then after this, I think we're at a point where we can make a great big push. I guess while they're doing that, I could get over here, get some resources. What do we get inside of this one? It's going to be one gather ally. Okay. LA, LA, I don't know. Uh, Okay, I have 33 units at my disposal. More spawners must be taken on. So there's a little section over here. There's nothing really over there besides buildings to take out. Okay. Get who I can, use them to fight. Keep charging forward, just do everything we can. After this one, I think we're in a spot where we can charge in there. They are definitely getting weaker and weaker the more we do this. I need to help out. Now that there's not as many units, usually when there's so many units getting spawned in, it feels sort of not worth my time to swing when I could be just commanding them. But now that there are a lot less units, why would you guys go that way? <laughs> just go down the ramp, silly. Here, down here. Come on, everybody do it. There we go. Get in here and destroy that thing. And I think, yeah, they just have very little opposition now, giving us a huge opening things were and there we go with that done the nether portal should open they're in so much trouble so what's gonna happen now oh man you're almost done the portal is exposed let's go up there just like that we have our whole huge team here and we're not quite done with it i think that while they're doing things we should probably go back and spawn in some more but for right now maybe i should just fight off the piglins that are here with what we have because you know we have a pretty solid squad the netherite the first netherite should spawn in some more friends too which will make a difference but we're already down to 92 percent i wouldn't mind a bigger armor army out here getting it down even faster so you know what yeah let's do that uh so back over here we go it's already down to 86 percent the firsts are doing their work too we need to go the correct direction almost just ran away definitely wouldn't want that Okay, so first we just need to glide over here, spawn in as many friends as possible. It's already down to 70%. So if we could just get very simply as many of these as we can spawn in, and then maybe a few healers, but there's already a few healers waiting over there. So maybe even not even worth it. We'll just get these guys because these guys are specialized in destroying buildings. So 18 of them spawned in, run all the way back over there. I'm pretty confident they'll be chasing us and following us throughout this whole thing. There's a creeper down there. There we go. <laughs> Get the creepers with me too, come on guys. Get up here. It's down to 55% already, so with these guys, it's gonna be a big final push. All right, and you guys know what to do. Just go up there and start fighting. I'm gonna push off all these guys. They're flying all over the place because of that. And we are just going to be able to make quick work of this for sure. And then these guys, keep going, keep going. This is excellent. One more push and the portal will fall. We got it for sure. Come on. 24%, it's in the red. We got this. 17% now. And with this nether portal de destroyed, I mean, this will be the horde of the Bastion destroyed. That's a big deal. What are they gonna do? Come on, get you a little bit. And there we go, we did it. I thought like a big boss would pop out of this one or something with all the cutscenes we would normally get. Here he is. So I don't know. Yeah, that's us. That's our little statue. We did it. Oh no. This blaster army is not happy. Whoa. <laughs> the 
try to fix it. Oh no. Oh, he's coming through the portal! We're in trouble now! So what does that mean? Where does that pop up? I don't know. I mean, we're all celebrating. It seems like a great time, but I'm a little bit worried this is actually really bad. I guess we'll see soon enough. Yeah, way over here, the Unbreakable There is leader. a new piglin base in the world. Their hunger spreads like a sickness. Okay, here it comes, the legend, the Unbreakable, leader of the Horde of the Bastion. Defeat the Unbreakable, the piglins built this brand new base. Oh no, see, so yeah, this is what we're after. I don't know if we can do that right now, but I, I mean, we're as strong as we're gonna get, right? I mean, we have as many units as we have here. Um, just call over everybody. Um, oh no, I sort of messed it up. There we go, I have 51 units. Is that everybody then, 53? Cool, I might be able to run around and get a couple of extra that are hanging out, uh, like you guys. Cool, now what I think we'll do, we'll go to the Well of Fate. We will upgrade things as much as we can upgrade them. Uh, whatever we really wanna do here, I guess it's mostly, uh, we take a look. I guess we either want Flames of Creation or Flames of Creation. I don't think I have the room for these, so if I could just do more of these. But at the same time, do I want that or do I want larger armies? I mean, both are pretty good. I wish it was just something that would straight up make our stuff stronger, if that made sense. Uh, really hard to decide. And it would be nice to have maybe just higher maximum on things, but I mean, overall, I guess we just need more more, more iron. Because everything else, uh, I don't know if we would, would want to upgrade that. It would be nice to just be able to carry more base materials too, so maybe I should do that. Um, Right about here. And now we're really running out of space for things. Okay, so. I think beyond that, we just get this so we could have an even bigger army. Just something ridiculous, you know? Um, now, I can't quite do that one or this one. I would need 200. So, hopefully, we can do that soon. But in the meantime, you know, I can still hold a big army here if we could get some skeletons and stuff. So, let's just recruit who we can, wherever we can, and make it just a big army to push in. So, the skeletons are going to be way over this way. And I'm excited for this. I just want to go straight in and start fighting this guy. But of course, we need to prepare. We got plenty of other stuff to do first. But if, if we just have even a couple units like this, because I think we gained 30 possible units. So we should be able to hold up to 100 in total now, which is pretty crazy. Okay, so here we are at the Tundra Village. This one isn't super healed, so we don't have a ton of skeletons running around, but even just a couple more added to our party from whatever buildings we can find be huge. So, got those guys over here. I guess I gotta build some stuff around here. The piglins are planning, I think, oh no, they're gonna be attacking the creeper homestead. So, we'll have to do something about that soon, but I'd rather, you know, focus on this where I can. Okay, some more in there. So, I guess we'll go to the zombie place, do some more things there. Just get more and more to my army until it is as big as it can get. Okay, well, ra while rolling up the zombies, as you can see, we now have 100 units. I think that's as good as we can hope for. Um, should we go back over here? This one's a little damaged, but uh, we'll just go with this one and see what ends up happening. <laughs> can we do it? Can we actually defeat this guy? What was his name again? He was the, uh, doesn't really tell me or not, the Unbreakable. Oh, man. Okay, we have about 100 units here. This is where we just gotta go in. They're sending their strongest warriors your way. Well, so are we, so we'll just do everything we can here to get in and try to fight. I don't know where the boss fight is, but it's gonna be pretty crazy. We first, of course, need to lower anything like this, and hopefully they won't all go through the stinking lava. Uh, but if I could just, you know, get some of their attention, that just like this, I don't know. Yeah. Size is not everything, my friend. You know that better than most. Trust okay, so. Let's do that, send them out to this spawner, just trying to really, you know, spread things out as well as we can, because there's gonna be a lot to do here. So there is that, 
Let's keep it moving. If we could, you know, start working on this wall, that's another big thing, because this spawner, this isn't even a spawner. This is just one of those redstone contraptions, really. Um, but I need to get it, so. Get some of you guys, get them out here as much as we can manage. It's such a mess right now. Um, maybe I just build a second bridge over here, just to help more of them get across, because there's a lot of them that just aren't really even doing anything. Okay, they're in, they're in, they're in. Let's get some over there. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> All right, so many, so many members of our huge army. Let's show them what we can do. All right, come on, get some of that. There are even some back that way a little bit, but we're going to send these guys out to this tower. Well, oh, they're trying to destroy this one a lot more. Um, these guys, just go over here, take this on. Any spawners we can get rid of is sort of kind of top priority. I mean, the towers are also pretty important as well, but the spawners are what just makes such an sort of ridiculous situation in a way. So, said everybody over here, that, and then maybe a few of them over that way if I can. I don't know if that's really working the way I'm trying to make it work. Uh, there we go. These guys are not so busy, it seems. This is where I could just really wish I could just zoom out a bunch, you know? Um, so I guess we'll work on that a little bit. We do still have some enemies or some teammates over here that we can uh, work with like that. What about over here? These guys have destroyed their other buildings. They seem like they're looking like for looking for something to do. So let's get them to deal with some of that. Okay, they got it, they got it. So just keep at it. It seems, you know, a little slow for now, but with each thing that we destroy, we're just getting a little bit closer. And while that's been happening, of course, there's still more to, demol to demolish over this way. So definitely work on that. A lot more guys over here. And I think, yeah, just destroying some of these seems like a good idea. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, scary screams, because we're just trying to take on the boss. There's no nether portal to destroy this time. So while that's happening, I need to rush back over here. Because these guys are keeping busy. Lots of zombies and stuff. I think we just want to destroy this gold crater. This is just where I wish I could get back and forth a little bit faster. Come on, keep on it, keep on it. Actually, no, go over here now. And I can fight some of these guys away myself. There we go, really good. They just spawned in another horde of them now. So we just need to destroy this thing, I guess. Back out here. What more can we do? There are still units out this way. A lot of our spawn units are diminished, though. I guess we work on this tower. And while that's happening, this seems like an excellent time to sort of recoup a little bit. We will, well, how did that skeleton get up there? Um, we'll run back. I have yet to make a few things that I need to work on right now. Um, so what I need to do, just get whatever friends we might have missed along the way and get this stuff figured out as soon as possible. You can see there's some big guys around here, but if I could just find a nice and quiet spot, even if I had to back up a little bit, to um, spawn these things in. I mean, not a quiet spot of that big guy's chilling out. Uh, there's gotta be somewhere I can build these, but I don't know, there's piglins everywhere. Um, let's do that. And just get back to building. Come on, come on. That should be enough of those guys. They are getting attacked already, which is such a shame. Okay, and then more of the cobblestone guys. And then we will recall a lot of them if we can. It should also bring back our firsts, right? There it goes, there it goes. So, a lot of units. And then a few more, come on. We are missing one first, but this should be good enough with this whole setup with 56 of them, which shows that we can actually have more than this. And of course the boss is still alive and well in that regard, but we just need to keep sort of sieging the building and over time, we'll get closer and closer. Um, Cause there's a lot of enemies out this way. If we can destroy this thing now, I think that's a good plan. Look at all these guys, wow. Um, but I can start slicing them myself, making it easier for my team to not have to worry about it. So with another building about to be destroyed here and I'm clearing out all these units, that is great. I will grab you, 
one of our other friends we can find along the way. Because we need to move on to the next thing, the spawner first. Did I miss any back here? It looks like, ah, oh, there were some healers too. Really didn't want to lose those, but I didn't do too much about it, it's fine. Once the spawner is destroyed, it's a lot more units we don't have to worry about anymore. There we go. So, they just immediately need to move on to this next thing. I can put a stop to these guys pretty well. That's gonna be destroyed, excellent. You guys know what to do, another spawner. And we probably wanna work on this wall because look at that up there. There is another portal, I guess, but with it, the boss. And this time we're sort of just keeping everybody together instead of splitting them up. When it's not 100 units, I feel like that's just a better idea. Okay, so maybe we'll do this tower too, because if not, they're just gonna get pelting into the stuff right away. It's not always the best situation. So then we go over here just like this. Got it, you got it. Send them more in. And they're just gonna be working on destroying this thing as fast as possible. While I fight the rest of them back as hard as we can. Whoa. Some of them are sort of just chilling out. Just not what we need. But now they've destroyed it. There's still another one waiting for us up here, but there's the boss the of that way. The presence protects this portal. You must defeat them first. I plan on it, but it's not gonna be easy. Some of our units falling in the lava over here. That's not what I want. Oh man, this is crazy, isn't it? So I'm probably gonna have to back up and spawn more units in because it's just hard to get them through the situation. Um, but I guess I could maybe make it at least safer for them by, uh, doing this, just like making some sort of places for them to be caught. I know I'm getting damaged here while I'm doing this, but just making it a little bit safer for them. This wall is destroyed and we can send a lot of them in to fight the boss. Oh, this is so cool. Can I help out? Can I swing at this guy? I gotta be able to. There we go. But the problem is I don't have too many units left over. They're all getting quite damaged. So I'm gonna have to come back out here with some more soon enough. But uh, I don't wanna happen to our other firsts. And maybe this is enough, because it's not really too many other units, it's just all of us versus him. Yeah, I don't see any of the piglin freshening in or anything like that, so. Oh no, here they come, here they come. See, they're gonna make it a lot more difficult for us. We did have this time to really, you know, do this. We're at 97%, it shows we need quite the army to defeat them. It's not gonna be simply easy as the nether portal where we can just roll up. Oh man, it is a mess. But I can slice away a lot of these piglins as our friends work on destroying. He's down to 90%. It's gonna take a long, long time at this rate. So I do think all more of these walls are being destroyed too, which is really nice. We need to teleport back as we always do so that we can recoup a little bit. We got this village here. That's a great spot to sort of prepare again. And that does unfortunately bring our guys back. So we're just gonna keep doing that though over and over again to send out more and more heavy armies of people. So we're restocked with more of an army. We know what we gotta do here. Luckily this area is so well cleared out now that we can just sort of send everybody in. And that's really gonna do some stuff for us. So here we go, here we go. They don't really have too much more over here. So charge them all after the big man. And while that's happening, no, 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 come on. After him, after him. Some of them getting a little confused on how they should go about it, but if they can fight him, I can fight the rest of them. Not always an easy situation, we already lose 10 of them, you know? Uh, see, some of them just don't seem to get it. There we go, and I need these healers who are just chilling out over here, they need to be doing some healing. So if they could just post up over this way. We're trying, down to 70%. Stuff is getting launched everywhere though. We got some of our other guys here. I mean, they're trying to fight, but from this angle, it's a little difficult. So if we could just get him over here, he is moving all over the place. This is crazy. Oh man, so cool though. And if this is falling too many people, I guess we could always, you know, destroy some more buildings. Um, come on, come on, come on, you guys. We don't need this. We need you to go right after them. So it seems like they don't really follow the target too much. I am super low on health, so get whatever other units I can. Get back over here. He's down to 65% now but I need to back it up a little. So I'm down to half a heart. Ooh, this is scary. More of our units getting destroyed. So while they're fighting, a good time to once again, I know it seems a little repetitive, but that's how we play this game, I guess, is that we just 
go back, spawn more stuff in, run back over. This time I do have a tower that's really close, right? So I can keep at it from there. So it's down to 58%. Um, I mean, I think, oh, maybe it wasn't, but my other tower might have been destroyed. No, 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 this is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, and it's all over there. Okay, so unfortunately that thing is getting demolished a little bit. I don't know if there's too much I can do about it right now, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, we're just gonna rush back over here, spawn in some more friends. All right, more creepers. Sounds like a great time to me. Get them over here. Oh, but they've been just slowly chipping away at this stuff, which is ever so frustrating. We don't really need the cobblestone ones as much anymore because they're not destroying buildings. But the healers are always so good when we can actually keep them nearby. Well, it, it sort of stinks because it's not really a comfortable, convenient spot to spawn this stuff in because these people are just going to keep showing up. All right, we got a huge creeper army this Nothing time. Nothing in the nether could resist this monster, but you can. Yes, we can. So we're running right back out there because, you know, our other units are still out there fighting. So we can head out there with what we got here. They're down to 43% now. So we're getting closer with every pursuit. That's all that really matters, right? So let's keep adding some more creeper explosions and plenty of other attacks from our other units. Cause look at this, they're out there fighting. It's mostly our firsts. All right, now that we're up here, send them all in. Fight these piglins that are giving them a hard time. Over here, over here. Yep, that's it. Sort of pushing them off into the lava too. And I can get a couple of swings in as well. Don't forget about that. This is getting wild. Oh man, now they're really low. This is our chance to win this. 22% now. There's a couple of smaller piglins trying to give us a hard time. Not gonna let it happen. Everybody needs to just keep fighting. Even if these other little piglins are gonna walk up, we're just gonna swing away at them. More towers are being made from it, which is a little scary. But come on, we can do it 8% now. We're almost there. Oh no, don't fall in the lava. You know, there is lava sort of spiraling up from everywhere. We almost got to 5%. No, whoa! Everybody be careful. 3%. Getting lower and lower. But the more time goes on, the harder it is to survive this. 2%. Jeez, a little bit of health here. Really proven to be difficult, but we did it! The unbreakable has been broken. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, pretty cool. But there's still more going on here. We're not quite done. We need to go destroy that nether portal, right? Or maybe it'll explode all on its own. Oh, that's gonna wrap it up for the Horde of the Bastion, that isn't it? That was incredible. Your wits and heart won the day. The Horde of the Bastion will threaten us no more. Hooray. That was so cool. And we can also get some extra um, of the prismarine here, I guess, until the cutscene happens. But, oh man. So what happens now? The villagers, maybe they can reclaim these areas. Sure hope so. Ooh, what is that? A weapon? What would they do with a, no, put it back. Put it back! You cannot put back an idea, my friend. And it is clear this war has sparked one. Oh no, the villagers are gonna take a fight too! Is this what creates the villagers in this world? Is just the brutality of war? So sad. Oh, there's some gold over here too. Just trying to grab whatever we can before it disappears, but I think we're about out of time to collect this stuff. But still, we're about at our maximum here for Prismarine anyway, so we did a good job. We did a really good job. I cannot believe you know things worked out as well as they did there. So that was fantastic. The destroyed piglin base. You've dealt with a heavy blow to the piglins. Victory! You defeated the unbreakable and wiped the horde of the, of the bastion from the overworld. So that's really cool to see. We need to continue that concept on um, with these other areas. We need to, I think, next up destroy the horde of the spore. The piglins' hunger is endless. And then the horde of the hunt. We do also and defend our creepers soon. Oh no! <laughs> Come on! Oh, are you kidding me? Well, that's gonna make it a lot more work. I'm just trying to let her talk, and she's talking over more stuff spawning in. So that's such a shame. Today we need to defend the creepers that are about to be attacked, and then after that we need to work on something here. Either it be the horde of the spore or the horde of the hunt. I think we'll do the Horde of the Hunt because this is looking to be a, like a lot more. So I, I really don't know what we're gonna end up getting up to, but for right now, let's focus on uh, 
our creeper fence. I think they're being attacked right now, so we need to head over there as soon as possible. We have our big army here. At least we have the ability to get a big army. So if we could just run over there and help out as soon as possible, I think that'd be a good idea. So let's just jump, jump, jump. Oh no. Friends. Not good. Incoming horde of the hunt invasion. The piglets are moving to attack. They already are. Okay, so right now it looks like the piglets have actually won. Um, so we just need to defeat them all. I think we can do this creeper homestead occupation. Yep, okay. Well, yeah, we'll just fix what we can. Poor creepers. All defeated over here. They're trying to destroy all these buildings now. So all we can do is just sort of swing away at a couple of creepers and see what ends up happening. Um, there's a lot of piglins around, but our uh, friends are doing a good job at defeating them too. So we're just gonna help out as much as we can. We're already down to 45 of them. Come on team, you got it. You're defeating this one big one, but you know, I might have them run around, defeat some of the smaller piglins, because that's always a better idea, because it's just a little bit faster. Um, have them go over there. Already down to 30 of them now defeated. I gotta be careful for my own health though too. Okay, let's run back over here then. Get everybody together and then send them right over there specifically is a perfect spot for it. And while that's happening, I definitely need to consider uh, building some of these. Are there creepers in there, the poor guys? I think there are, so we'll definitely try to free the creepers here in a moment. But there we go, creeper, or occupation partly cleared for the creepers. Um, the piglins are gone, but the creepers flame still needs to be restored, which is what we'll work on right now. So to do that, Getting one of these here would be good. Same thing over maybe here. And there are still some buildings uncovered, so I'll do that. That should be good enough. We'll have to get some more wooden stone soon enough, but right over here, open up this cage, save some more creepers, and it looks like there might be more locked up over that way too. So we just need to work on restoring the creepers a little Your bit here. Are free and the flame is lit once more. Well done. Thank you very much. There is still this whole area over here that is pretty well occupied. If we could clear it out a little bit, I'm sure that would help, right? There we go. But I guess we'll get these creepers to join us at the least. Um, Is there more here I could do? No, it looks like it's already sort of being worked on. So if I can get some creepers to join us soon enough, of course these, these buildings will be rebuilt. It just takes some time, but uh, I don't know. Oh, hey. There we go, some more creepers are already being made. Isn't that great? But uh, I don't see too much else going on here, so unless there are more on the map that plan to expand, which there isn't, we're mostly gonna be focusing on the Horde of the Hunt in today's episode, defeating that and seeing whatever boss we have to go against afterwards too. It might be a bit intense, but definitely worth going for. More creepers, more of you guys, and then we have a huge cluster right over here. So that is 30 units in total, can get a couple more. But I think that's about it for here. Hi, creepers. There we go. And boom. So we want to go over here to the Horde of the Hunt. We probably want to create a thing that's a little bit closer. For now. But we can also go here and collect some resources because I think it's been a few moments. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to do, of course. But uh, let's see. Open up this chest. And we get, ooh, lots of goodies. That's going to get us a lot closer to being filled up with all the things. I'm going to put this on the map. As we get closer, we're, we're going to want to craft a well house. And you know what? Actually, before we get too carried away with it, we have a lot of prismarine and gold. There's got to be more I can do, even if it is just expanding like, like what units I can carry or more than that, um, what I can spawn in. And then on top of that, maybe I could also, let's see. That's more lays, which I honestly, I don't know if I even need too many more lays, but I'm thinking more like uh, a little bit more with flames of creation. And then also, just being able to hold more coal and maybe more diamond. Let's see what we can do with that. So first off, we'll focus on coal because I feel like we usually get the max on coal first. Now the overworld can better prepare you for the fight. I guess so. And then for this one, we'll do more space for diamond. And then over here, I think there was one that had yeah enough spot for the Flames of Creation Tower again. So now we should be able to make more. Once that's done being built. The best offense is a good offense. Okay. Well, we'll put this here. And there we go. Now we're all used up on the Prismarine. Very cool. Relationship with the LA's grows. This tune will help them mine iron for your building needs. Okay, so that's done. Now we can head back out here. Now I'm a little low on Prismarine, so maybe that wouldn't make it easier for the tower to be built. So we won't worry about that. But we had so much Prismarine there. I just had to make the most of it. Okay, now we can go back on our adventure. 
And what is that? Is that another big piglin thing over there? Whoa, it is. I really need to make sure that doesn't get too close to the town. So maybe we'll deal with that. This looks like it's, it looks like it's already a gathered resource. Yeah, these guys are just out and about now, which is pretty crazy. Usually it's not like that. And this thing can really take a punch too, so it's gonna take some effort to get rid of this guy, but there we go, we do it. Awesome. So let's get everybody over here, get them out of the, the spikes. There we go, there we go. And we're still heading off this way. Okay, there's a lot of them too. I can't remove all of them at the moment, I don't think would be the best idea. So we're just heading out here. Once again, okay, now this resource has not been taken. So grab some of that and then put some more over there. Perfect. Oh, there's a lot around here. Okay, very cool. And is this it already? I mean, we're sort of starting to enter that zone, but this is one that we've already taken out. So we definitely need to find a good way to approach it. As you can see over here, we got rid of some stuff. Maybe now is a good time to build up a bit of an army because now we can do 38 instead of, uh, what is it? Um, I think before it was, there we go, 34. So let's see what I have right now. I think it'd be cool to recall everybody just to make sure we have everything. There we go, even more, very nice. Um, and then we are going to spawn in some more healers, get over here, maybe the creepers, zombies, and then a lot of the cobblestone guys. Oh, watch it. We can get up to 100 units. We can really go crazy with this too. So. go, and I might as well get some skeletons too. There we go. So we got quite the army going on this time. We could get even more, but I think this will be good enough for now as we're trying to get closer to it. Because that is just something I'll need to work on is maybe creating a path closer to it so that we can make more of those spawners without it being such a hassle. It really just depends on exactly where it is. But yeah, last time we defeated an entire boss fight, I want to do more of the same this time. Just might take some effort to actually get there. I'm going to try to avoid all these guys. Come on, go, go. Jump up here. The longer we can avoid them, typically the better. So yeah, okay, here we are. And I think this is what we're after. Dawn, the piglins are planning. But for right now, we're just gonna go straight into this fight. The first thing we have to take out is some stuff over here. But while that's happening, I'm going to build some bridges to some other spots. We should be able to destroy, especially if we can just get rid of spawners and stuff really quickly. That would be a great idea. So, to say you have the horde's attention. yep. We're gonna get as many as we can then, run them up this ramp, and just start destroying some more things. Um, and then afterwards, I think we'll run right back down, get that next spawner. There we go. Come on, everybody. And we have a lot of units just sort of hanging out at the moment which we definitely need to work on. So if we could just get them over there. I see, of course, we have a first server this way. Should be a few of them, actually. A couple of creepers and healers. They need to get out here, too. So the whole army. <laughs> yep, you got it, you got it. And then these piglins, I'm just gonna start slicing and dicing at these guys as this spawner is about to bust. Very cool. And of course, this is actually not one that has. Oh, really? I wonder then. Okay, so. This is not one that requires, what's it called? Um, us to destroy those big spires that are typically around. So we should really just try to make our way towards the nether portal, even if that means we have to destroy a couple of these along the way. Um, we can definitely work on that. Here, get them over there. Yep, yeah, this one, the nether portal is just sort of bare. We can go out there really soon. Okay, I'm sort of stuck. I think I think they were on top of me there for a moment. Um, I've definitely lost a good few units this time, but we're just gonna keep running and keep pushing. The more we do it this way, the better off we'll be. So let's destroy this thing. There's a lot more of them coming. All right, gotcha, gotcha. And that one's busted too, so we go like this. I tried it, survive here a bit longer, come on. Everybody come on in. Of course not. I wouldn't either. But uh there we go. The first has fallen. Oh no. There goes one. But that's okay. Because we're already at the spot where if we could just go destroy this stuff, like we're really taking them by siege here. I think we just keep giving it everything we got. 
come on, come on. We need these guys over here. We need the bricks protection. The first of brick. If you get that, that'd be a pretty big deal. Okay, I think we're in a good enough spot with another spawner destroyed here. Just start beating up on that nether portal. There we go. And I think while that's happening, this is probably a good opportunity to swipe away at some of the piglins. We'll definitely have to destroy some more spawners soon. But look at this, they'll be able to get started with things up there. I think I need to retreat back, because now that I have 66 Prismarine, that's enough to build the tower. Um, so, yeah. I think we're missing a first evoke over this way. I guess they sort of got lost or something. I don't know where they are. Um, but we've got a lot of skeletons and stuff. These guys are the kind of guys that just sort of, oh, there you are. Okay, you know what? If you guys are around, I'm sure you could do something. If you guys want to go out that way and just focus on that building, I'm sure that's enough for them to destroy it. Just whatever we might have lost along the way, which seems to be a pretty common thing. And while that's happening, of course, we can start spawning in some more stuff over here. So the first thing I want to do, get some more space so I can start creating things up here. I think that's what I want. Put that there. This here. The first has fallen. I understand. All right, uh, there we go. So let's just try to get the cobblestone stuff first. You know, a lot of stuff is going on here. We're all hard at work. Uh, I'll spawn a couple of these guys, a few more healers, and then maybe, okay, that's it. I didn't spawn any zombies in, that's fine. Uh, we're running back out then. We're down to 50% out there because they're still fighting. I mean, it's good to keep that in mind that, how did we get over? Huh, I don't know. I guess I'll just make this here. There must've been some other way that we came across it, but they should still be able to follow me. Might take them a moment, but we just send them right after this thing. Well, there's still a big fight happening. But we're handling it super well. I don't know, I thought this was gonna be like a, a more difficult one, you know, compared to what we have dealt one with before. Push and the portal will fall. All right, this is great actually. So let's just keep fighting, distract these piglins and just damage them wherever we can, because it's down to 30% now. Oh man, I am taking a bit of a beating now. Come on, keep fighting, keep fighting. Down to 27% now, so we're definitely making some good progress as it gets into the red. There's so many of our units that they just can't seem to stop. Our first falling isn't the best situation, but I think we're okay. I think that this is enough. I mean, our numbers are gonna get a little bit lower here, but I think this might be enough that we could just destroy it. Here's hoping, but oh, it's getting down fast. Without the first being here anymore, I think they've all fallen. Yeah, I don't see any first, so it might not work out this time. We might need one more push. I'm really just trying to help out and see. 9% now, <laughs> but the, the longer it goes on for, the slower it goes. Uh-oh, and not too many friends over this way either. Oh, and I get knocked out. Maybe that's for the best. We'll come back in um, with just a little bit more of an army and we'll be fine. So, not the end of the world. It's just a bit of a run over. That's what I'm so, sort of scared about, but uh, we're spawning in. I mean, maybe it'll get knocked out while I'm not even there. That'd be very funny. Um, We gotta run all the way back over, oh my gosh. Here, let's get whatever first we can. I mean, if that's what we have here, then let's see. Uh, Let's recall what we have too. There we go. And then we'll go and try to figure out some other stuff. I need to start rebuilding this wall at some point, but nothing to worry about for now. Got a lot of redstone over here, which is always the one material I actually don't need too much of, like ever. Well, I'll get some more wooden stuff. Go. And then we'll just keep moving. We'll get right back over there. So it's time for one last push. We are just gonna try to surprise them. Get down this way. Um, I think I've already lost my units. Okay, here they come, here they come. All right, come on, go, 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 go. We don't need to really worry about anything. Just straight onto the nether portal. Here we go. And it really should only be a few more moments before they get it knocked down entirely. It's already down to 4%. It's getting closer and closer. Everybody else try to move over there now. Come on, come on. We definitely got this. They're up there, it's at 1%. There we go. The horde of the hunt is demolished. They're going crazy about it. They don't like that one bit. Oh, they're opening up the portal. Wow. 
Wow. So which one are we fighting? I guess the one on the, the, the Minotaur one. I thought it would sort of be the Witch or the Wizard or whatever it's supposed to be, but I guess it's this guy. Run around real quick, here we go. Oh man. That is intense. So scary. It just attacks anything that moves. So here they are. I've never they're seen running anything off. so fast. How can it be stopped? With wits. This horde's favorite target has always been the villagers. Watch over them and be ready to spring a trap of your own. So we can't just go attack it directly? Oh, I guess we can't. We'll just have to wait for it to show up. Wasn't expecting that. So, uh... I don't know, maybe we should move on to the next one then? That is so weird that it just doesn't attack directly. I just thought we'd move on to the boss fight now, but huh, I guess this one works a little bit different. Um, Picking up whatever prismarine I can find before it's too late, but I think that's the most of it. All right, very cool. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad we were able to get rid of another one, but I guess we should work on the Horde of the Spore in the meantime. Grows. There will be a new piglin base in the world tonight. Well, we don't want that. So if we can destroy that, and that's a lower level one, so I think we can handle it for sure. Um, for right now, though, we should go to a village. Something like this, just so we can recoup a little bit. We're missing two of our firsts. I don't even know where they went. Okay. Uh, oh, something's happening. Oh, the sun is setting. This actually seems pretty peaceful. Oh, it's the villagers again. No. Others already fight to defend this world. You don't have to. Huh. We cannot stop this. We must respect their choice. Close, nice. Whoa, it's a crafting table too, so I guess they're building a weapon for the villagers. Does this mean we'll be able to use them in our army? This is so cool. That's it. Very shiny. So they're ready to join the fight, the battling villagers. That is crazy, now here they are. Whoa. So we'll just be able to recruit warriors at any point in time. That is so neat. So if we go over here, let's see for ourselves. Um. The Warriors, the Warriors are your most powerful ally against the Piglins. For them, defending the overworld came at a heavy cost. Oh my gosh. See now any villagers running around? Maybe not all of them, there's some happy little villagers too. But we're mostly looking to recruit these um, these guys right here. That's so cool. And are they, they're not something I can spawn in. So maybe they'll just be around and available at different villages and stuff. So I'll definitely have to make the most of that. Right now we have quite a lot of them on our side. So let's open up our chest here too, where we get some village rewards. And like I said before, we're off to this one. So yeah, lots of cool stuff going on now, huh? We'll wanna run over here. We'll probably wanna make at least one spawner for the time being. 
just so that we can recall whatever units we currently have that are um, in some other spots. So I just want to recall them and boom, our army gets that much bigger. We have 45 units to work with here. So let's make sure we're really working with them. Maybe I'll just do this one a little bit. Just make it a little bit easier to recruit things. There we go. Let's make sure we're running off in the right direction, but that is so cool. I was not expecting the, the, the villagers to become warriors in that way, you know? Um, very interesting. Okay, we're gonna glide over here, but this is exactly where we need to be. Oh wait, did the wrong thing. Um, so let's uh, get started with all this. There we go. Um, is there some behind us or something? I don't think so. Um, so what we need to do here, definitely claim some of this area. And they're already fighting some guys, I'm now noticing. So what if we just charged in here and just got started with the fight? The Horde of the Spore, this is only a one level difficulty one, so we should be able to handle it. I think right now the hard part is just finding out how the heck we get up there. Um, if I could, no, 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 come on. Is this good enough? It Your is. is really cool. the piglins. I'm sure it is, huh? Okay, let's just save whoever we can then. Get them to join us and we run up here. We fight up this way, we take out some towers. Once we're all up here, I think I want to uh, just send a few. And then, I mean, yeah, it's really difficult to make it work that way. So I guess we'll just send them, because I don't want to send just one at a time. Some of them are sort of kind of falling off, but we can destroy this tower super quick. Um, I can get some of these range guys, some of which are on fire, uh, to take on this tower now. And then, of course, the rest of them over here go for that one. And then I need to really quickly just craft our next destination if that's gonna be over here. And so be it. Okay, let's get everybody back over. Even these guys way back over here. We're, we're missing some. There we go, up to 45. No, don't fall, are you kidding me? I'm trying to make it so that they can't fall and I'm the one falling all over the place. That is so frustrating. And some of them are really trying to destroy this tower or this, oh no, and they might actually be able to do it here. I need to move quick. Uh, we're getting achievements though, so I guess that's something. I don't know what they are. Um, get up here guys, come on, come on. Gotta be quick about this. And then from up here, there's actually two of these to defeat. So we really just need to get going. They're coming through, they're coming through. All right, everybody. Problem is I need these guys to move up more because if they're, they're way back here, it just gets messy. So if they could just follow me, get a little bit closer, we can destroy this next thing. There we go. I think some of our units might have fallen. Uh, no, here comes some more of them falling off. Okay, Your come on. Is really agitating the piglins. Let's destroy this. But you know, this is another one that we can sort of kind of just march straight up to the nether portal in a lot of ways. So definitely try to make the most of that. I don't know what happened to the rest of the firsts. Again, easy to lose them. Uh, but now that we've gotten rid of that, I just need to Maybe put this like this or something. We have still 37 units here, so it's not so bad. Destroy this tower and then fight off all of these piglins. I don't even need to really beat them. I just need to knock them off and that works out pretty well. So why does that happen? Oh my goodness. Come on, get rid of you. Get over here. Build it up like that, I guess. Um, then if I can get everybody who's over here, which isn't too many at this point, um, we're definitely losing some units. I need to bring them up this way and at least destroy one more of these towers. That should be pretty good. Okay. They're getting pretty close to it. Luckily, you know, we have these first that do some good numbers. And then we might as well just send them up here. While that's happening, I need to go back and try to figure out where some of my other units are. Because it's saying there's a flag here, which means that somebody's lost. Okay, we got some villagers over this way. Yeah, a good chunk of them. See, that's exactly what I was expecting. So, uh, and here you are. See, they fall over, they get so confused. Um, come on, come on, gotcha. There we go, so this is a decent little army. And while this is happening, we have the nether portal are there already down to 60% and it's falling fast. So let's just make an alternative path from here to, um, I guess here, and then once again, we're using the mushrooms to our advantage. Some serious damage. Okay, this isn't exactly working how I wanted it to, but maybe I could get it. <laughs> we're making quite the complicated bridge, but sometimes this game just requires complicated stuff. Um, okay, this isn't gonna work. That's actually really frustrating. Um, 
What? Okay, it didn't matter anyways. <laughs> we destroyed the nether portal one way or another. Wow, that is ridiculous. But okay. Um, I can't really get up there right now, but I don't know if we really need the prismarine too much anyways. We're sort of at the tail end of most of our upgrades. So at least we got that done too. We got like new villagers. Uh, we got that destroyed. That was all pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other buildings around here that could have gotten prismarine from. I might be able to ooh, get at least a little bit before they disappear. So, you know, that's something. A little bit more over here. I got some gold out of it too, nice. Uh, I think that's all I'm gonna be able to get. So, I guess I wanted to save this one for next episode, the Horde of the Spore, but maybe we should do that now? I don't know. Um, Cause that might take us some time too, but I mean, everything else is looking so cleared out. I do want to go check out whatever is left on the map. It really isn't much, but maybe I could also get a teleporter around there because that's just such an open area for there not to be any way to get around it very easily. So let's go and set that up too. Okay, so we're sort of out here a little bit more. I just wanted to be able to get to a spot where I could create a tower so that if there is anything down this way that we need to get to, we can get to it. But honestly, I think mostly we're fine. The only problem is that there is still gonna be a lot of enemies around here. I don't know if like clearing them out really does anything. I thought this more will come in. But uh, at the least we can try to, you know, fight some of them off and then maybe make the, the tower over here. Go, almost got them. More seem to be showing up, but I'm just going to set this up right over here. And then maybe send a little bit of, of an army over this way, just to get rid of some of these guys. But like I said, it feels like, you know, destroying these guys doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. Okay, I don't know if they really seem like they're helping at all. Uh, I'm a little confused. Come on guys, just fight this thing. We should be able to get rid of it really quickly. Come on, come on, just keep damaging it. And almost there. It's a tough one for sure, but yeah, there we go. We got it, we got it. I think we might have even still lost a few units out of that. We're down to 50 now, but it does drop gold, which I'm actually maxed out on. Pretty crazy. And uh, more piglins over this way, just some smaller ones. Uh, but you know, this really isn't contributing to too much. I feel like, you know what, if we have the time, I guess we should maybe work on the Horde of the Spore soon enough. We do have some other stuff that's like a bit more damaged, but really we've, as far as I can tell, cleared everything out. I don't see any of the smaller things anywhere. I really don't see any of the smaller ones that like we could go and capture. So this is the last thing, we might, we might as well go for it then. So uh, I'll go to this well house and we'll get started. So I figured I'd also might as well get some skeletons since I'm here. I don't know if there's actually too many around. It doesn't seem like it. I only saw that one skeleton. Okay, there's a good cluster of them over here. So just building up a little bit of an army with everything we have before we take on this next thing sounds like a good idea. So, yep, there we go. We'll also recall just in case we have lost anything along the way. Um, no mobs available for recall. Okay, cool. So maybe now's a good time to spawn in some more because we can spawn in actually a lot more. So yeah, get some of those. Get some of these guys. And we'll also get in some of these healers. Yeah, we got quite a lot at this point. It's not even everything we can do. We can still get, I guess, five more. I'm getting pushed around a little too much, but there we go. We're at 89 units. That should be plenty enough to take this on. So we might just have to run over for now. It might just be the easiest way to get about it, but geez, it's a pretty strong situation. And I can get more skeletons along the way because we can hold up to 100 units. So I might as well try to make the absolute most of that and really hit these guys hard. The 99 and what well, I got a fox with us too, so. We'll see, we'll see that one just in case we need more stuff that we find later on. But uh, you know, we're doing really good. I think that now that we've sort of beefed up our army a lot, we're getting a lot more com com completed more quickly than I expected, especially with the, the uh, warrior villagers now. So cool. I don't think, well this is sort of it. We're already sort of starting to get there. Oh no. Some units destroyed there. And we will probably need to make some more spawners as we get closer. We're coming up on it already, so. Let's see what we wanna do, because this one's pretty intense, as you can see. Um, I think for right now, we lost a couple of units on the way, but I can really just start fighting our way over. And it's really high up there, so actually getting into this spot might be complicated, just like with the other one, which is such a pain. But we'll figure it out, we'll find a way out. 
Even if it is just little spots at a time. Um, for right now, it seems like I can get up here. Oakland's never back down. Now they'll fight even harder. That is for sure. But so will we. Did I fall? I did fall under it somehow. Come on, big guys. They seem to be a little bit resistant to the idea of going in here, but uh, we need to just go and destroy the next thing, just like this. Especially since this is a spawner. I don't know why these guys are not going in. It's just a little crowded for them, I guess. But this should be enough space to at least get up here, right? Looks like it. So everybody that I can get together, if we could just get them to follow me up here, I don't know if they'll actually follow me, but if they could, that'd be amazing. And just work on this next one. Very cool. Some of them just don't seem to get it. And yeah, I'm expecting a lot of them to fall over to the wayside. It's just how this game works, it seems. Which once again, I feel like that's maybe my biggest criticism of the game is just, it's a game about controlling a huge amount of units, but the units are difficult to control. They just don't understand how to get up little pathways that they need to get up to for the game to work. So we're gonna try it again. Get them all the way up here. And I see a lot of skeletons down here. A couple more guys over this way. And the luck, lucky thing is that we have this huge army here that can you know, make some good progress. Just very quickly. And I'd love to make more of a direct path up for them, but with how tall these buildings are, you can't really do that. But these, um, I guess more the landscape itself. It's just super high up, you know? So it's just really difficult to get them to work the way they need to work. We got 66 units, even then. Like, that's how huge everything is around here. Um, is that even when our army has diminished a little bit, we still have 60 units, you know? Uh, and we can get even more here. Look at this, here's another 40. So let's see if we can't get them up here. Come on, everybody, just follow me, follow me. They're trying. Now that we're all the way up here, I just need to build a path like that, and that one's really not the best, but I'm trying it. Uh, but now that we're up here, definitely destroy the spawner. That's first priority, getting rid of spawners. They'll be able to do that like nobody's business. The piglins are planning something, but you know, obviously I'm planning a thing or two here too. And this is another one that, um, wow, okay. I can't do that right now because I'm taking too much damage. We can, now that we've gotten rid of that spawner though, focus on moving out of here. Because if not, it's just gonna get messy regardless. So I think we go over here, another spawner to take down. Sounds like a plan. I'm not expecting to be able to survive with our current army. So if we can use the army to just destroy spawners so that the next attempt is much easier. That'd be great. And I don't know where most of our mobs are. They're not here. here get a couple of the villagers. Down here, a lot of them fell. Yeah, a lot of them fell. And then down this way too. Oh, and that fall damage got me? You're kidding me. Or maybe it was fire damage. I don't know. That is such a shame. Oh no. Well, hopefully the units that are up there will just keep fighting and we can just get everybody regrouped and head back in. Okay, we're heading back up there now. If I see any extra units to grab, I just need to be sure to grab them. I don't know what happened to our firsts now. They were around here, but now they're not. So I might have to go back to a village to find them, which would be a little bit of a pain. Um, so here's hoping I don't have to do that, but that's uh, 62 units now. And I'm not seeing those firsts anywhere. So I think we might just need to Hope that everybody can get across over here, and once they do, looks like quite a lot of them did. Um, we might just want to destroy this spawner, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. A lot of them aren't really following through with that, but I don't know if the, I don't think that the warriors can attack buildings. It really seems like they just sort of stand around whenever we tell them to do that. So maybe we send them up here and just sort of see what they can get done and just get started on working through the nether portal. Maybe we could do more work to this than I expected. So we send them through to, um, there is a uh, piglin chest over that way. We can already get it down to 93%. I think what might be smart then, as there are villages being targeted, I need to go back and get the first. They're not here, I think I need to go back to a village to find them. Yep, here they are. The first are, of course, crucial to our game plan, and we can get some more um, warriors this way too. So let's spawn in some friends. Um, Let's see, spawn in. Got a couple of the range ones too. While that's happening, we just need to now uh, 
Get all of you, all 28 units, right here, go to the well house. And I could spawn in another tower, I probably wanna do that just a lot closer. Um, chances are I will totally get destroyed at some point, but you know, it is what it is. So, we just gotta run all the way back out there again, that's just how this game seems to work. So, just trying to make the most out of it. We are back out here again, the nether portal is now at 81%, and it's lowering too, as time goes on, so. This will be quite the strong army. I did build a tower out that way. I don't know if it's gonna stick around for very long. The piglins might destroy it quite quickly. We'll have to wait and see, but the um, towers that we made, or the pads that we made are over here. And while this is happening, percentage is still going down for that nether portal, so I think we're making good moves. Come on, come on, everybody. Of course, they will still get a bit confused at these parts, but I think overall, they're, they're figuring it out. As long as we don't command them too much. Did that work? There we go. It should be more of them, 36 of them now, uh, following me up this path over here. Here's hoping they're still right behind me. All right, I'm gonna get onto the portal itself and then send them into attack. All that's happening, is there any more over here? It looks like a lot of those guys got taken out. So I think we just bring the fight to this. We fight off some more piglins. While that's happening, my well's still there, so that's good. Come on, just slice these guys away as much as I can. And just let my teammates really do the work when it comes to everything else. The only problem right now is I don't have a lot of healers or any healers, it seems. So that could end up being an issue. The one thing I'm concerned about, right? Um, is that the, okay, now they're going. The warriors really don't do much sometimes. Like they get a little confused. Um, we're at 50% health here. I'm getting lower too, because I'm on fire, aren't I? Yep, I don't know. Oh, uh, I lost my life again. I mean, there's not really too much you can do there when I can set on fire like that. Maybe just coming with more units. But we are really breaking up that nether portal. It's getting so, so close. We're gonna respawn really quickly. Um, and then... Okay, yep, I get to run straight back out, so that's good. Um, then I definitely want to... I know they're damaging this thing, aren't they? Um... Pressing all the wrong buttons, but I just want to just spawn in a couple of these guys. Spawn, spawn, spawn. And then a lot more of these guys. Oh yeah, I had some over there. <laughs> Silly me. This should be good enough for now. Let's get back in there, because that nether portal is getting low regardless, right? Let's see for ourselves as we get into here. It's at 9%, so maybe they're just able to beat it themselves. I don't even need to be there, that'd be fantastic. I wouldn't complain. Um, it looks like that's gonna be the case. So maybe we should just not worry about that and try to get into a position where we can get some of the uh, Prismarine, I don't know. <laughs> but there we go, we did it! Another nether portal destroyed. Wonderful. Oh yeah, and it's this big guy. Having fun in his bathtub, eating as much as possible. Greedy, so gluttonous, and so mean. Oh no. Here he comes. Oh, that one's looking all beat up. Oh, <laughs> gross. He's coming through. Barely even fit through the portal. Ugh. But did we did it. That? I felt it, and I think I smell it too. Oh no. The devourer has left the nether. They are here. So where exactly is here? Way over that way. So I guess we can take them on next time, right? Um, pretty cool. But in the meantime, let's go just run around and try to collect whatever we can, either it be units or maybe some extra prismarine, but I have a feeling that a lot of that is gonna disappear by the time I get to it. Uh, just not in the best position to actually get it, but yeah, that was still really cool. A lot of fun that we could get all that done. Let's see, is there any prismarine out here or are we just way too late? Yeah, we're way too late. What a shame, what a shame. I wish it would just stick around for a bit longer. But at the least we can get a lot of our units here and then head out somewhere else because I think that there's a village that's about to be attacked right over here. I don't know if it's started yet. I really hope it hasn't so that we can maybe defend it a little bit more. At least get it set up to be defended might be a better idea. Um, but I can recall a lot of things here. I can open up this chest and get uh, some goodies. It looks like I didn't really actually get anything for that. I don't know. Uh, but 
in the meantime, I guess I could build out some stuff just like this. Let's see. Also to recall, just in case. No mobs available for recall. Okay, just wanted to make sure. We don't really need to destroy some buildings, so I feel like it's smarter to actually get the wooden ones. There we go. So, that feels like a pretty good army right now. We have 66 units. Um, the one thing I do need is the masonry. Maybe you just put it over here. Just to make sure this is like a fully stone area, you know, that would be a good idea. Um, and we could try some of these towers too. Um, that might be a little bit too much. It really just depends on what we get attacked by here. Cause if we could get attacked by the thing that was from the Horde of the Hunt, that'd be really cool. But I don't know, we have time here before it even happens that we might just want to save it for next episode. Hard to tell exactly when they're gonna come in. Um, but do other things like Battle Drop increases firing speed in nearby arrow towers. Um, that could be fun. Let's get that here for now. Uh, right about there. Because we don't actually have any arrow towers here, just scatters. Which scatters are good, but some arrow towers will make a big difference, and it only requires wood, so I feel like we might as well. And a few more over here. Really trying to stack it up, right? And some of them are gonna be made into stone because of the masonry. That's really cool. Um, I don't have enough redstone for any more at the moment. Redstone wouldn't be too hard to get, I don't think. You usually find it around here, so. Hmm. Or the swamp. Let's go into the swamp and get some redstone really quickly. Uh, cause that's a really easy, re easy resource to get, but we might actually have to save the act of, um, doing much about it. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. For the next episode, I just don't know how long it's gonna take for the piglins to actually get there. There we go. That should help out a lot. I think there might be some more around just because usually the swamp has quite a lot of it, but I'm not really seeing, okay, here's a lot more actually. So we will just do all of that. And then there's even more over here. Wow, okay, now there's plenty. Very cool. So we'll set all that up, go back to this village, and build another one of those towers. So this one will be, uh, what was that? One of these battle drums. I'm still collecting it, so it's still going up, but it's going up pretty quickly. Uh, the last one was over there, so I probably want it in this corner this time. Almost there. I don't have resources, but it is, it's getting there. It just takes some time for it to sort of a lot together. Maybe we can come to some of these stones. And then, how many, I needed 200. Oh, my maximum is 150. Oh, maybe with each one that I build, it gets a little more expensive because, how was I able to build the other one? Am I on the wrong thing here? No, I'm on the right thing. I think the more you build it, then the more expensive they get. That's the issue. But, hey, it's fine. That should be overall good enough. If I wanted, I could do a redstone launcher because those are cool. Um, and just put that like, just right here, I think it'd be fine enough. Boom, there we go. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens with this village. Um, the boss for Horde of the Hunt, I guess just sort of shows up when they raid a village or something. That's how it this sort of implied it. Need your help tonight. It's gonna need our help tonight. So I think that's what we're gonna wait for. Then after that, maybe we'll take on the Horde of the Spore boss fight, um, which should be here. I mean, as far as I this understand. This area has been infected with piglin malice. It gets a there little confusing. There is a new piglin base in the world. Their hunger spreads like a sickness. Yeah, this is the Devourer. So we might be taking on two bosses in today's episode, which is actually pretty cool. But while we're waiting, I'm probably just gonna run around and try to get some more resources. I need to get iron. Um, I'm running a little low on iron, so um, I'll be trying to look around for that in this biome as we're waiting for um, some guys to show up. Though it looks like there used to be iron here, but there's not really anymore. <laughs> so I'll have to take a look around and see what we can get while we're waiting around. Also, while we're waiting, I think there's really only like one more spot in the map I haven't uncovered, and that's right over here. So I might as well go and do that while we're just sort of waiting for nighttime to roll around. I also have some prismarine we can spend. I don't know if there's really too many more spots to put them in, but I figure we'll try to take a look at what we can do and just sort of see what ends up happening. Might not be the most exciting thing over here. 
but if we could just clear out the map just to say, hey, we've done it, we've cleared out everything, we know that there's definitely not anything more to find, that'd be fantastic, so that's exactly what I'm after. For right now, though, I just need to run around, jump over here, maybe, okay, and... Okay, we haven't really even quite reached it. It's not even in the savanna area, more so in this forest. So let's get over here. Keep going through these little speed boosters. And that's almost off. It's a little bit more over this way. Ooh, some more iron too. Don't mind if I do. Gotta find whatever I can, wherever I can. Could also use some more wood board. Max it on stone. Oh, and more iron. Really nice is to find it like this. And I guess it will go over this way. And we still have 66 units too, so we have quite the army going on for when the um, piglins attack the village. But I think with that, we are just about cleared out here. And there was nothing really new to find, which I wasn't expecting anything, but you know, good to know. It's weird how most of the towers were relegated to the northwest part of the map. We didn't find any towers anywhere but besides like this region. Like, I mean, there's some in the northeast too, but just on the northern part of the map. But there you go, as far as I can tell, that's really most stuff cleared out. Maybe some little edges here and there, but not enough to be concerned about. We, we can really say that we've explored like, you know, the full extent of the game. So that's pretty cool, because I don't really know how much more is after we defeat these two bosses. Will that be it? Will there be one final fight? Who knows? So definitely gonna be ready for it, but as it currently stands, we're doing a pretty good job with everything. So we don't have too much more room for any more upgrades, but I think the one that I really haven't upgraded too much like is the redstone one. That's the one where I only have one of, I think I have, Get two of the other resources. So if I could plop this somewhere, I'll have to take a look. But if there's not any space for it, I think we'll just leave it be. But yeah, okay, so there's not anything over there. I think we're really maxed out here. Maybe, ah, not quite. Um, hmm. It would be really cool if there's a way to actually expand the improvement hub, but it looks like to me that we, we've got everything. So we really just don't need it. Okay, well good to know. This village is gonna be attacked soon, so we might as well just chill out over there and just wait for it to happen. It should be any moment now as the sun is starting the set. Okay, here we go. Are they showing up? Oh no. So, incoming horde of the hunt invasion. I think the big guy's coming too. There he is! Okay, so yeah, we gotta go and fight these guys as soon as we can. Um, the piglins are moving in. You can see the big boss fight is there too, whoa. All right, so yeah, we'll do everything we can here to fight them off. Let's get our army over there. Yeah, charge in, just like that. And then um, we can't spawn in anything more at the moment, so I'll just go over here and try to help out fighting myself, even if I get, have to get rid of the smaller piglins. But this big guy is definitely what we need to focus on a little bit here. So I think if we could just get everybody to really tailor themselves to that. Oh, and he's definitely gonna break some things here, which is to be expected. Maybe I can swipe away some of these smaller pig ones, but man, a big fight already. He's down to 87%. This is so cool. We're clearing out a lot of the smaller pig ones, though, so it's really just us and him. And we still have to survive seven and a half minutes at this onslaught. No, we're not. So let's maybe make some more of these, but just separated. And of course, we have a redstone launcher, so I really want to hit him with this. Let's see. Um, no, no, no. What happened? Didn't work. Uh, use. Here we go. You are in big trouble over there, Mr. Ready. Boom! Here he comes! Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, I don't know if it really even hit him. <laughs> I think it did. Okay, he's trying to run away right now. Better run. We did lose a lot of units there, so we need to spawn in some more. Some fighters, some friends, all that kind of stuff. Um, let's get them spawned in, go, go, go. And their fight's really extending out that way, so wasn't expecting that too much. Um, okay, getting some more of these guys, maybe some zombie villagers, or just zombies, whatever it's supposed to be. We got a lot of stuff going on over here. Let's just send them out to fight because they've sort of gotten distracted. We can do that, um, get all you guys too spawn in some more. I think the rest of them are just gonna make zombies because we're really already getting them down to halfway. But with that being said, there are other places we might have to worry about. Let's take a quick run around and make the sure that. Have sent reinforcements. Oh, but we also have reinforcements. We got a lot of these uh, warriors over here and they are gonna go out this way because you can see there are some just approaching. But I think I really don't need that many. 
I think some of these guys were sending over this way instead because uh, I just don't see too much else going on over there. So this fight has been continuing. We have a lot of our units just chilling out again, a little distracted. The beast's speed is no match for your bravery. Keep going. For sure. It might be a fast one, but we're able to take it out no problem, right? Um, It's down to 41%. We can get a couple slices in too, keep in mind. Um, I do need to get the masonry out here, so if I could just do that really quickly, um, maybe just like that. Um, Cause yeah, I don't think we even really have any right now. There we go. Oh, <laughs> come on, dude, they just charged right through it. Not what I wanted. Um, There's a couple over here for sure. So let's get all these guys and really just charge them back in. You are done for, dude. There we go. There's Whoa, that was so many you just made. Wow, that was crazy. Is there still any more over this way? You bet there is. So I need to get this huge um, allotment of them. Run back over this way and just keep throwing damage at him. I mean, he's sort of running off. A lot of our units decided just to fight these guys, which makes sense, but I need a lot of them just to not worry about that and focus on fighting the boss. We'll deal with the other piglins later on. I mean, our fountain hasn't even taken any damage yet. We can just take this guy down. We could really rush him here with all of our um, firsts and everything. I think we could actually get rid of him quite quickly. We gotta be careful for when he charges, but he's down to 20% now. Ah, oh, one of the first has fallen, but it's okay. We can keep going. He's trying to run off. He can't handle this. There we go. I think he's gonna charge back in here in a moment, but we just keep hitting him. What is he at for percentage? I think he's about to fall, 10% now, and he's falling fast. We can get him for sure. Oh, watch it, watch it. And there we go, we defeated him. That was so cool. He's no match for our army. What was that? What? Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, there we go, another boss defeated. That one was so cool. So, Horde the boss, the beast. You did it! You have banished the Horde of the Hunt back to the nether. This is truly a triumph. Indeed it is. The Horde of the Hunt is finished with that one, and we also got another entry in our um, thing here. So yeah, let's take a look at this one. We did the Horde boss done. Breakable announces the Horde boss, the beast. The beast's ferocious speed is only matched by their petulance and pride, but more than anything, the piglin lives for the hunt. So cool. Um, so yeah, there's you know, a lot of things we've gotten here. I do want to work on the carpentry stuff, because like I said before, our buildings are really hurting, so if I could just... Uh, Fix a lot of them up, I think that'd be a good idea. And maybe just one more over there. So there we go, we honestly, all things considered, did really, really good. We didn't really lose too much out of all that fighting, and we were able to defeat that guy pretty quickly. So I think with that being said, we should just move on to our next thing, the Horde of the Spore, and with it, that one big boss fight, the Devourer. So we're all set up here, I just need to, um, I think set up a couple more spawners and stuff. This thing got damaged at some point, but I think, for the most part, we're fine. So we're just gonna get one of everything. This could be the last big fight. I don't know what happens after this. If there'll be one big boss fight or if with all the hordes defeated, we just beat the game. I really don't know. So now is a good time to really beef up our army, um, get as many of our spawns as we can here. And with that, I guess we'll get like a couple of healers or something, um, cause I don't think we really have any at the moment. Okay. And if I really want to top things off, I mean, I have 61 units. I could also go over here and actually get the first to follow us. There we go. Um, we could consider even going to one of the like the, the creeper village. Let's go to the creeper village. Let's get a lot of creepers too. Um, really just get ourselves close to 100 units. I think that'd be good. Then we can go and fight that guy, no problem. Um, the creeper thing is over uh, somewhere. Over there, okay. So yeah, we'll just have to get up here, check out the creepers, see how the creepers have been doing. Yep, they're right over here. I mean, they were attacked not too long ago, but we were able to save the town and revive it a bit, so I think we'll be okay. We got a couple more there. We got the alpaca with us too, which wasn't my intent, but that's okay. Already at the 70 units. We can run over here, get a few more. And there usually are a lot at the center. Yeah, they're having a big creeper party. It's so cute. That's 80 of them. I'm not seeing too many more, but 80 to 90 units is really good. More than that, it seems to sort of just get lost anyway, so maybe not too much worth worrying about in that way. Got it. And then 
over here, 87. I'll gladly take that. That should be enough for us to get back over here and just take on this Horde of the Spore final boss, which I don't know if we read the description of it really quickly, so we'll do that right now. Um, the Horde of the Spore, this Noxus Horde is all about souring ground and poisoning the air. The, these piglins have claimed the area, but more specifically, the leader of the Horde of the Spore defeat the Devourer. So I guess there really isn't too much of a description there. But the other ones would have a description, but either way, we're headed this way, we're gonna fight this thing, and we're gonna get a, gonna get a win. Okay, so I have the chance to, I should probably uh, collect some stuff and ignore those guys. <laughs> but out here is where we can really start to um, cause an issue. Oh, here we go. It's gonna pop out of that nether portal, give us the fight of our life. Oh man, and it can barely fit through that thing, it's huge. Oh no. Uh oh, what is that? Ew! Ew! <laughs> it's so gross! What a horrible creature. Watch out for the yuck! Alright, yeah, let's watch out for that yuck. This vile monster needs to be knocked down. There he is! So we don't need to worry about the nether portal, we just need to worry about defeating him. And with that being said, it's a little bit difficult to get up there. We're gonna do the same sort of stuff that we've done before. He's gonna be up high, I guess. So maybe we could just find an easier way up by like just going like this. And if we could just sort of, whoa. Really agitating the piglins. As I'd imagine, we're gonna send as many over to this spawner as soon as we can and just sort of try to very slowly make our way higher up. So that's gonna be a lot of our units over here already getting started. We've even got all these skeletons and everything too. Making some good progress. I'm gonna get them started on this next thing over here. Um, and then some of them can, yeah, just finish that off, go over here, and then I'm gonna get to crafting way up. This way, perfect. Yet the counterattack is definitely coming in, so we need as many units as we can to sort of follow our orders. I don't know what happened to our firsts already. They're missing, uh, which is not a good sign. But we're just gonna leave that be for now. Get back up here and fight this thing. We need to get rid of this first, because I thought it's just gonna knock us off as we try. Where did the firsts go? Um, will my map tell me at all? Not really. And where did they go? I really, really have no clue. So, they got lost at some point. I really will have to go back and find them then. Um, in the meantime though, if I could just pick up a couple of extra units, I might have just gotten confused along the way. Are they under the bridge or not? Um, so, get rid of the spawner right there. We have lost a lot of units throughout all that though. So I think that now might be a good time just to work on connecting some things. So that when we come back up here later, we'll be okay. But I think this is where we go and regroup a bit. We'll go to the village. The village is gonna be better because we can find some some warriors over there too. Yes, we can. All right, awesome. So get all these guys, open up this chest, and then spawn in some friends from here, I guess. There we go. We definitely need the healers though, so if I could just uh, get some of those. You know, while this is happening, you know, buildings are being destroyed, work is still happening, you know, so I'm not too worried about it. But we need these first to destroy buildings so quickly. It's such a big thing. Come on, and got it. So just sort of get everybody together. Come on, everybody. And then we go back out there. We set forth for what we were after before. Okay, we're almost back out there. Everybody is here this time, so hopefully if they can just follow me up here, we'll be fine. Come on, come on, you guys got it. Keep going up here. Fight away some of these piglins, and then I guess just go for this tower if we can. And look at this, immediately some of them just walk straight off, which is a little upsetting. Um, it's okay. We'll get the ones we can from down here and just have them run up here. And if we can just get them to follow us up here, not exactly a uh, charge at anything. Because they only really like to charge in a straight line, so we really need them to be firmly on the platform before we do anything like that. So now they're coming up here. Their leader before you destroy this portal. Of course, of course. But to do that, we need to get to their leader, who's over here. So gonna work on destroying these spawners. The less spawners, the less piglins, the easier it is to fight. 
We'll have some of these guys fight this actual guy right here. And that should help out a little bit. We're already losing some firsts. I, I'm assuming, yeah, most of them fell off. All of them fell off. Oh, of course, one of them fell from that too. <laughs> they just have such a hard time with that, but there's really not anything more I can do. Everything's so high up, they need to be able to climb. So if they can't climb, it's just not much to be done. Can you stop attacking the, the ramp? I really need this ramp. So come on, everybody up here, please. If you don't mind. Can they do it? Can they do it? They can. And then from over here, we got a lot to do, but this is where we're actually gonna start fighting the boss fight. So get as many of these guys as we can, rush them over here. And I think once we get them on the platform, like this, you know, some of them are gonna start fighting right away. I think that could be fine. Let's just go for it. Oh geez. And we're just gonna bring it to you. Let's see what ends up happening. Some of them still making their way over. We got a couple of guys over here just chilling out. So let's try to grab every single unit we can. We already got them down under 90%. Like that's a big deal. The fact that we're able to hit them like that. Maybe I'll get some of them yeah, working on this building just because I think the sooner we can get rid of this building, you know, they're, they're not pushing us off the side. Of course, he's not gonna like that very much. So he's gonna try to stop us, but we're able to break it and then just send them all straight in. You might knock some of them back off the side of the platform too, but oh no, now I'm falling too. <laughs> Not too much for me down here, but he's already down to 70%. This could be a great time, and I don't want to go too far. Don't let up. I won't. Instead of letting up, I'm just going to build up some more things over here. So, um, it just does some stuff up. And they're going to destroy this stuff for sure, but it's going to take them some time. So, if we just do that, um, I can get some of this stuff. And then, let's do zombies. Okay, running back over here. I mean, I don't even need too many... At the moment, I just need, you can see they're really, why not that way, I think. I hope so. Um, come on, come on. And then a lot of zombies. Should be good. With all that filled out, I just get them all to come with me. And we go back out there. <laughs> this one should be a pretty straight path over. Here's hoping. Come on, come on. He's at you know, a lot less health than he was at before, so. Getting up here and just getting this done shouldn't be too bad, right? Here's hoping. Come on, and everybody, where did he go? Did he run off? Is that the thing? I think so, because I don't see him over here anymore and a lot of our friends are just chilling out. What just happened? Come on. <laughs> that was the silliest thing I've ever seen. Um, Come on, everybody. Yeah, he ran away. Where to, though, is the question. If we could, this might be too high up, Ah, it is, such a shame. Okay, that's fine. We'll just keep working on destroying some other things then. Um, if we have a spawner over here to destroy, we gotta destroy it. A lot of our units are about to walk straight off the edge though, especially a bunch of firsts, which I really don't want, so if you guys could just follow me instead, please. Just like this, I'll escort you across. And they're figuring it out. And as it's happening, you know, more stuff is about to be destroyed. Come on, just keep breaking it. Boom, got it, got it, got it, okay. Next target is this tower over here. While that's happening, build a bridge like this. I think I see him over there. Yeah, okay. We got this then. Um, get everybody we can. Keep fighting through this. Destroy this first. We don't have to destroy the, oh, why did you have to fall like that? Why did you do that? <laughs> oh no. Um, it's okay, it's okay. We don't have to worry about the gold producing thing just yet. I could just do this instead. It's probably a good idea. A lot of our units seem to have fallen off there. I'll work on that soon. It's just we're so high up that we can't really create a bridge to get back here, um, but I can at least get some Prismarine. I don't even need a ton of, but hey, I'll take it. Okay, we're gonna get over here in just a second. I just need to get whatever we have of this little squad together. 38 units, that's not bad. And we need to destroy this building first and oh, so many of them are falling off. I can't have it work that way. I need to run across. And of course, he's not liking that too much, but I don't care. I need to destroy this building first, and then we'll fight him, which, now I can get a couple of slices on him first too, right? Does that even work? Okay, now we send everybody in to beat you up. Oh no, ow. Uh, you splooshing everywhere, which I do not appreciate, but, uh, Oh, the fall got me. I don't know why I keep thinking I won't take fall damage. I'm so focused on just getting my units. Oh, no. 
Okay, we're heading back over. I think that fight is still going on. I wish there was just an easier way to get there. I wish I could, I mean, would this be too much? It would be too much. Like, isn't that crazy? I just, there's no way to actually get there very easily. Um, this one might be a little bit lower though. Nope, doesn't count. Jeez, ridiculous, very ridiculous. It's just hard to actually get to anything. Um, but at the least, we can get back over here. I feel like I had more following me, but they're not as much anymore. Um, it is what it is. Get them all up here. And I know we're still missing some of the firsts. I don't know where they went. I think some of them got knocked out and then it just takes time. Here, I'm going to try to do a little bridge because I feel like they get caught up on little dips like that. Because it's still losing health right now. 55% and getting lower. We got to get over there fast. So if we got this crew here, they call in whatever other guys we can find along the way. I mean, they're taking damage, but from what? Oh, these three. It's not even a big party over here, which means what happened to the rest of them? Oh, well, they're still down there, aren't they? Um, they're still all down here just hanging out. Hi, guys. How about you join me What for, for what should be a good time? We're going to run all the way around again with that. He really isn't good against defending against us, you know? So we can get a couple more units that have fallen to the wayside. We're getting there, we're getting there. You'd think that'd be an easier way up, but there never usually is. He's just getting lower in percentage. So like, we're doing the right things. I'm gonna get this whole party up here. And then once again, let's build it like this. Just to, you know, ensure that it's a little bit easier to get across. From there, you know, more of them falling off because that's what they do. This but and the horde will crumble. I'm trying, I'm trying. We got more of them here. There's a zombie over there. Let's go get the zombie. Ready? Gotcha. Get across this way. And oh, they destroyed the bridge. I don't know where he went. It looks like he's ran off to another spot of it. So. Now we can get an even bigger party and start destroying some more things. He's way up there now. Could we just build a bridge up here? We can't. We need to find another way around. So we need to sort of continually get up this way. Come on, come on. Destroy this thing for sure. And a lot of them should just be able to charge straight through to it. While they do, we need to make a bridge like this. All right, all right. Come on, this thing is getting lower and lower. Our firsts are damaging it too. We'll definitely have to, no! <laughs> All my different guys there are getting knocked off. This is so ridiculous. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. A lot of them trying to fall down this way. Um, we just gotta try to make sure that they're not successful with it. I'm sure this next tower. But this is probably a time where I need to be very careful. Probably look to go back soon. So that we can just destroy some other stuff and like build up more of an army because this is just not enough anymore. Once again, so many of them have fallen off. But, uh, come on, come on. This isn't so bad. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay, let's work on the next tower then. Yeah, just get rid of as many of these things as we can. There's not too many piglins over here. Most of them are just you know, using range to their advantage. We're maxed out on gold and prismarine. There's nothing to do here except for fighting. So, we just gotta keep at it. Um, once this tower is destroyed, we'll see what else we can do. Um, ah, there it goes. So if we could just focus on this tower. Come on, guys. Uh, and then while that's happening, I guess I should be a little bit more productive. Build that there. I think I need to go back and sort of rebuild a bit more of an army. Okay, I can only really hope that behind me everybody is still sticking through. It seems like they are. For the most part, they are really destroy starting to destroy this bridge. Why did you, how did you fall? How did you get over there so quickly and how did you fall? I don't know. Um, but we're just gonna try to get everybody together. A lot of them are taking damage from that fire attack that just hits us as we're running through. But I just need to run up here, fight off some more stuff. And once everybody is up here, that's when we can really do some stuff. Okay, good enough. Send everybody after this thing. And while that's happening, I'm definitely gonna try to fight you guys off or at least just push you away a little bit. Come on, they can do it. They can do some good stuff around here. There we go. Um, now work on this one just so that not everybody is getting pushed back. Um, and I died while that happened. Oh my goodness, this is so tough. Just because more than it's tough, it's so very awkward. 
So a lot more fighting has happened over here while we got knocked out, it seems. We do have a lot of units with us, so we're just gonna try to cross this bridge and just bring the fight to him. Um, I think that'd just be the best thing here because there's not really too many other things to do. I don't know what happened to our firsts. They very likely fought off, fell off. I couldn't find them at the village or by recalling them, which sometimes recalling them works and sometimes it just doesn't. So uh, just have all those guys fight him. I'll be fighting all the other guys that aren't so nice. Oh, don't knock me off, you're kidding me. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess now's a good time to look around to see if I can't find them. All, they're all fighting up that way, but the numbers fall so fast. Okay, I can find a few more here. And yeah, I don't know where the first went. I'll probably have to go back to that village for what feels like the millionth time to go and get them. Cause it's just, it gets so ridiculous. I really don't know why it works this way, why there just can't be easier ways to get up and stuff, but no, it's very determined to not be convenient or easy in any way. But maybe, you know, this is the chance I take to try to build a better thing somewhere. I just don't know where or how. Um, I just wish there were different things I could build, you know, because it's just not enough. Okay, so we're coming in with our, our set of guys here. We have the firsts, we have a good set of units. I lost some of them along the way, it happens, but uh, we're almost there. Once we get up here, I'm just not gonna send them to actually attack, and they should just be able to slowly but surely follow me. And then once we're all up here, I might even like run around the portal, just to make sure that they're all like actually up here. There we go. Then, we send you all after him. This should be the last push. We can absolutely beat him with this group. Come on, come on. So yeah, just send everybody we can to attack you. Focus this target, do everything we can. Some of them will get sent flying, and I will get damaged too, but I think we can do this. I'm trying to maybe come around this way. The first are fighting, and so is everybody else. But then those attacks definitely pack a punch. We're at 15% now. Some of them are up here attacking the portal. Um, guys, that's really great, and I'm so proud of you, of you for trying something like that, but it won't work. We need you to fight this guy first. I don't know why they're attacking the portal. It's like literally impenetrable at that moment. Um, so if we can actually get them over here to help, I think that might be enough to defeat them. Come on, the first are fighting, so are we. 7% now, he's getting so low, and there's nobody around to protect him, it's just all of us versus him. Come on, come on. We're so close, this is it, for sure, we got him. Come on, just one more. There it is, we have just defeated the Devourer. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Ew. It's grossly gonna just explode in the gunk. All right. And with it, the horde of the spore is no more. <laughs> you did it! You actually did it! The piglins are gone! I knew you could do it. Isn't this wonderful, Foresight? Foresight? What happened? Where's Foresight? What do we do now? Oh, something's happening. So with all the piglins gone. Oh, they actually look pretty sad. But it's the wizard. It's still here. They still have something planned here. Oh no. Here they come! Oh no. They're going for the home base? And they're destroying the portal? Why would they do that? Or maybe they're supercharging it. Whoa! It's so cool, but it's not good. Now they can create armies wherever they go. This just went from bad to good to worse. It got better because we defeated all the piglets, but then the biggest, evilest one of all, the Great Hog, has come to defeat the Well of Fate. Oh my gosh. So there's a lot going on here. We need to do 
quite a bit of work here if we want to save the well of fate. Uh, but now the big pig has come out and with it, they have attacked the well of fate. We have to defeat the Great Hog, a massive and terrifying place that threatens to obliterate the overworld. These piglins have claimed this area. So we will have to go in here and try to save the well of fate. I don't know if I, I can't teleport to it anymore. So we'll have to get a little bit closer, maybe something like here and just work our way over. But this is where it's a big fight, right? We need to go around and maybe get some extra units. If we could go and get some zombies too. That might be where we want to start. Let's go get some zombies and stuff. And then after that, we will build up some units. We'll just sort of do everything we can do. So if I got people following me right now, we have 32 units as it currently stands. Um, so I really don't need too much more. Um, we'll get out over here. And you can tell just everything everywhere we go has that piglin red aura to it. It's so scary. So I just really want to be able to grab this stuff and hop back into the action as soon as I can. Because we can spawn in another 30 units, which will get us up to 62. So if we could just... Uh, Get a good, like, you know, 30 or so zombies. That should be enough. They're here. I think they can tell, you know, there's some tension in the air. It's easier to get zombies more than there is anything else here. So I just want to be able to grab this stuff. There we go. There might be a few more over this way, but this really should do it for us, especially if we can find some um, more of the warrior villagers. That'd be great, but there we go. That's good, we're gonna go to this village and we'll build, I think, an outpost a little bit closer so that we can teleport in and out a bit better, but this is gonna be intense for sure. Is there any kind of warriors to get around here? It doesn't seem like it currently, so all we wanna do is just leave through here. I'm going to make a marker maybe just for like right there and see for ourselves. We can craft one of these, so that'll be good. And along with it, we'll make some spawning stuff around there. I don't wanna make it around here because we're just gonna have to go back anyways. I'm trying, don't you worry. It's exactly what I'm after. So, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> but I would, the only thing we're after right now is to defeat this great hog to, uh, of course, just save the day, save the world. This is exactly what we're after right over here. We still have 59 units following us, so it's quite a lot. I want to get a little bit closer, but I haven't seen any piglins around, so I don't want to go too far close to it because that's where the piglins will just start to destroy it. But I think I can get just a little bit closer. Right about here might be a good spot just to get that set up. It's going to start building. We'll get even closer though before we start getting our um, spawners in order. Okay, so here are where the piglins are. So you know what? Yeah, let's do it about here. And we can get quite a lot, quite the army built up. There we go. And it's mostly gonna be, you know, these kind of units. But we can get quite a lot of them, so I just, I really need to focus on that. And then of course, a lot of the cobblestone ones. Might just wanna make the rest of them cobblestone. There we go. Actually, let's get a few more of these guys, since I don't have them yet. There we go. Uh, now. Seems like we have just about everyone here, right? What if I recall? Will that bring any more over? I don't know, hard to tell. Uh, we have 89 units. That's plenty enough for us just to head in. I don't know what we have to do here with these like sort of red towers or something to destroy. But there, this area is quite open as you can see. So we're here in the Fatelands trying to save the day. What do we have to do? Oh man, look at this place. This is crazy. Whoa, there's so many buildings. It's like a piglin city. Quite an overwhelming situation. Let's get out here as much as we can. And I might want to also, just for the sake of it, start to craft another one over here just to see if that one might end up getting destroyed. I'm fully expecting it. But in the meantime, what kind of things can we fight and destroy? The big guys in the center, um, any kind of building we can get to and just sort of start chipping it down. It's gonna be an episode full of fighting and fighting and fighting, I think. So if we could just maybe work on some of the smaller stuff first. You know, if that, if that means we need to send like every single unit over like that, then so be it. Um, but we're able to destroy some stuff really quickly. So that's good. And then, and I also of course need to work on being a little bit better with some things. Like uh, if I could just uh, send like just my melee mobs over or something, that might be a good idea. Oh man, there's so much going on. But we're able to destroy stuff so fast that at the least, you know, this is just one way to get through it all. Let's get them over there. 
fight away some more of these piglins that are just trying to try to hit us from the side, but with as many units as we got, it is just so simple to just go in and fight them off. Any spawners that we can get rid of is inevitably gonna help us quite a lot. So, there's another spawner gone. A lot of these guys are just going straight up to the next target, which is great, that's exactly what we need them to do. Okay, so this tower should be a pretty easy one to bust. Back over here, any kind of uh, thing like that that we can get rid of, sounds like a good idea. We haven't lost too many units either, so we can really just work this stuff down as we try to get closer. And you can see him way up there. He's just, just destroying it too. I don't know, if, it doesn't seem like the building, the Well of Fate has like a health bar or something that we have to be worried about. But it might seem, you know, a little bit not worth our time to destroy this stuff, but it absolutely is. Um, because it just makes it so that when we do sort of get our army a bit diminished here, we should be able to rush back in a lot faster and a lot sooner. So while that's happening, um, I do think I want to run over here and just continue to add to this. Just make more space to get over for next time a bit easier. Got a lot of units here who are just sort of hanging out all of them basically. So, and that tower is down. So I think now is a great opportunity to destroy this and then go across that bridge. Excellent, excellent. We're doing really good. The firsts are really packing a punch too, as they should. So, what can we do over here? Oh, something's happening. Yeah, he's really wailing on that thing. Oh no. They just threw that well. Our friends might never be able to come back to this world. Oh, thank goodness. You made it. The great hall must be stopped. I'm doing everything I can then. Let's get into this building. We've made a, you know, a pretty clear path over here now, so that's good. A lot of them are just trying to break through. Some of them are definitely a bit confused on how to do that though. But we almost have it broken up. Come on, everybody, if you could. There we go. Excellent, excellent. This is the final challenge. The ultimate pigeon threat must be defeated. Then let's do it. Let's get up this way. Focus on this redstone thing too, if we can. Oh man, this is wild. We've already done a good percentage of damage. There's like a couple of points there. We gotta keep that going. So you guys could just get up here like this. I need to destroy this redstone thing or whatever it is. It just pushes them back. It always looks like it has a little redstone explosion. There we go. Whoa, and we're in this little ring of fire right now. This is scary. Jeez, come on, if we can destroy this tower, it's at least a little bit less to deal with. I just need my immediate area to be sort of a little bit more cleared out, but we are definitely losing units. So while that's all happening, I think this is a great time to retreat a little bit, build up some new stuff and go back in. So down to 80% now, we're gonna get closer and closer as time goes on, but I can rush back out this way and I need to, um, geez, they are really trying to get me. Um, thank you, I'm doing everything I can. Keep getting that stuff closer while I am. Um, the closer I build it, you know, the closer we can get this stuff over there. So let's do this. And there's not any kind of like crazy heights to climb this time, which is really nice. So I can really just focus all in on getting done what we need to get done. Um, sending out a bunch of this stuff so we can get more materials and just keep going. I'm gonna recall what I can. Hopefully this will bring some of the first back too. Uh, yes, it did. It brought them all back. So we can get some healers out here too. Come on guys. And of course, they're gonna try to break this stuff straight away. So we really just need to get on it. Get whatever we can, because it's, it's getting damaged down quick. Which is sort of to be expected. Get some creepers too, why not? Okay, there we go. Maybe I spawned in too many of the healers because you know they can't really attack at all. Okay, we're going back in then. We have this sort of straight path over. We just walk over this way. Um. You know what, let's, ah, oh, geez, that is crazy. Not what I wanted. I just wanted to do that. So we can just get across this water a bit easier with our friends. I think that works out quite well. And just go in, go, 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 go. Cause he's up here, he's down to 64% now. So we've been doing some good work here. They're all coming in. It's so much nicer when there's not like a height that we have to climb or build up to. It's so much nicer. So it's a lot of fighting for now. But we all know what we have to do. 
Already almost have him down halfway. This is crazy progress, actually. Come on, everyone. I'm fighting off as many piglins as I can find, too. Let's send you guys back in a little bit. Just to make sure that our friends are all healed up. Because we are gonna lose units over time like this, of course, but still a lot more we can do. Get all these guys over like this. Focus on that target specifically. We can feel the corruption weakening. We're halfway there and it's getting closer and closer with every moment. But we definitely need to retreat soon and go back and try to figure out some other things. But uh, if it's working, I'm not gonna complain for sure. There we go, there we go. Get these healers in. He's trying to run away from us right now. He doesn't want any business. Uh, that was weird. All right, come on. 45% now. This might be a good time to also focus on destroying some more buildings. I don't know though. Like maybe I should just not worry about it. If we can just brute force win this, then maybe that's what we gotta do. So they're quite busy over here. I think we go in like this again. Come on. He's gonna be fighting, so I guess we don't have to worry about that part too much. Um, we just go back down. Are any of our spawners around still? Well, we didn't put any around here, did we? Um, so if we could just do this. I know that they're gonna put a stop to these soon enough, but in the meantime, we just get in whatever we can, wherever we can. Come on, come on before this explodes. Ah, okay, good enough, good enough. A lot more offensive units this time if we can manage. Our friends are getting really damaged here. And a few more of these guys. We got it, we got it, okay. So we're calling these guys all together and we're running back in. Let me get ready to throw out some stuff too because we usually don't come in from this angle. Okay, whatever. I think we can just run across it and they'll still follow. Here's hoping. Um, a lot of them waiting for us around here. Some of them might get a little caught up, but it's enough. Stay strong. Oh no, some of our friends getting knocked out. Come on, way out this way. Keep the fight going, there's so many healers. Okay, we got a lot of units here. Keep fighting him. He's down to 22%. And we're in that ring of fire again. He's almost down, we're about to do this. This is crazy, come on. Keep at it, don't let up now. If there's any units at all that are, are not focusing on him, we just need to make them really take him out. He's under 10%. A couple more guys over this way that can be refocused. I'll deal with the other piglins. You guys just keep fighting. Oh man, come on, 4%, this is it. And there we go, I think we got him. Come on, there we go, we did it. The big pig is knocked down. Oh, that was crazy. He isn't looking so good. Oh, here they come. Oh no, one last slam. Well, we threw it into the well. This could be really bad. Oh no. The piglins are getting sucked away. Goodbye. Maybe this is a good thing. Whoa, that did it. Oh, but he's all alone. He didn't get sucked up with them. Wow. So I guess that did the trick. The piglin army is no more. Sealed away back into the nether. And while things are pretty broken up around here and covered in nether stuff, we're all gonna celebrate. Cause at the end we did save the day, didn't we? All right. Quite the adventure, huh? Now everybody can just get along and Celebrate the peaceful world in harmony. Everybody's dancing, it's so cute. Even the little pigs. <laughs> so silly. Oh, will our friends be able to come back? I sure hope so. Oh, here they are. It's 
foresight. Oh, I get it, because they have four eyes. I just pieced that together. It's been the entire game, and now I get the joke. Well, there we go. So is that really it? It seems like it. Everything is so beautiful and peaceful and sunny again. <laughs> the big cannonball. saved this world and changed it forever. You have shown us all what is possible if we work together. This overworld is now capable of a great many things, thanks to you. And now it will find its own path forward. Aww. Uh oh. Well, they're fixing it. One block at a time. Oh no. The warriors don't seem to be getting along. With nothing to fight, maybe they just don't feel settled. That's very concerning. We're not needed here anymore. And that's a good thing. It is time for a new adventure for us. There are endless worlds out there, waiting to be explored. Change blows in the wind, friend. Where will it take you? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. It was great meeting you three. What a crazy adventure it's been. And hopefully we can see them again on another one at some point. Whoa, so pretty. Oh, maybe that's our portal back home. <laughs> Hi. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Back into our own world. Whoa, hey. They all wanna say goodbye. Or are we just gonna join them? I guess we'll stay with these guys in Minecraft Legends. There we go, that was such a fun game.